Explain it, you would understand. This is not who I am. Have become comfortably numb. Do, do, do. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody in there? Just yell if you can hear me. I'll make it on your own. Uh, what's up, guys? Oh, yeah, I have to, exp- I have to explain. Oh, no. All right, weed. And this goes out to all the youth them out there. You hear me? Yeah, Ross and a ting boom by Ross and a ting boom by a Ross and a Tim Speed today. You would them dear, but them dear, but them dear, but them dear, Ari. Um, weed has a hell of a withdrawal symptom stage. And uh, I'm off of it now. And I may never go back. Because that shit hit me like a fucking truck in a fucking psychosis over the past couple of days. I was going insane. I was wandering around my room like a crazy person. It is fucking dangerous for you. I don't know how it is in places where it's legal and there's like mitigations on what you can put in it and stuff. But man, it is a psychosis to get off of it man it hit me like a fucking truck and i'm going all night on this stream for hours and hours my fucking god i actually was scared for my mental health for a while and i'm one of these and you hear me all the time saying mental health is fucking bullshit and shit man when you come off weed just a heads up to everyone out there you may think it doesn't do anything because it ain't cocaine and it doesn't make you fucking put your head through a police window but a police car window, but man, I was going mentally. I was in my bed sweating. I, I couldn't, I don't know what you're going to call me lazy and all of this stuff. I couldn't think straight, man. I couldn't think straight, man. I was in my bed dripping, dripping, dripping with sweat. I couldn't think, man. I could not think in my bed. Like, it hit me. Like, I'd, I woke up. I felt like I had a concussion. Sounds like your shit was laced. I go to different people, so it must all be laced. But I'm not. I'm probably not getting back on it, man. Just a heads up. Burlington still got it. I saw Burlington's performance. Amazing performance. A little bit risky in the early going of the fight because, you know, he's just been KO'd in the first round. He's facing a wrestler. But, you know. He got through it and got the job done. Burlinson's still in the mix. And he's young as well. So this was a good win for him, you know. But man, Joe Rogan starts taking a puff of a joint per day in his mid-50s and said there's nothing wrong with weed, man. It is a problem. It is an actual problem. I'm off of it now forever. My mind is clear. I couldn't think yesterday. I was wandering around. I I was a zombie. I couldn't even think, I didn't even think about my stream. I didn't even think, I actually was sitting here today thinking, oh my fucking God, I've missed two days of streaming. I didn't even realize, man. It is naughty, especially when you've, I've been doing it for like two years, but I ain't fucking doing it, man. Um, uh, Maybe this weekend, but I I don't know, though. I don't know. It's it's not going to be an everyday thing ever again. That ain't happening. Thank you very much for the free Australian dollars. John Jones's fiance. I appreciate you. Happy you got a girlfriend, but sad you neglect us. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm never going to have a girlfriend until I'm like 27. But thank you for the free Australian dollars, dude. Just thought I'd put out a public service announcement. Weed is not a symptomless, negative symptomless drug, you know. It, I was, tr- I can't even... I woke up, I felt like I'd been hit in the head by something. I felt concussed. I was dripping in sweat. I was just in bed like, it was, it was fucking horrible. I don't know what was in there. Leroy Duncan tomorrow. Yes, Leroy Duncan tomorrow is going to be a good one. I heard you were on Hunter Biden's laptop, care to share? Um, yeah, but that was only to play like, you know, solitaire and stuff. Like other people were on there for the child porn. I was only on there for the uh, for the solitaire. I promise. You know? He just handed it into my shop to repair it. Like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Obviously, play a couple games of solitaire on there. 
obviously there were some emails about, you know, uh, Ukraine and energy companies from Russia and million dollars this and million dollars that. And Xi Jinping sends his regards. But I was just like, fuck this. Like, I'm here for the fucking, you know, minesweeper. Clark Knight at heavyweight thoughts at heavyweight. The legs in that fight are going to be on another level. Um, that's worrying because William Knight didn't look in great shape for his last fight. Um, maybe them roids ain't hitting the same, you know. He didn't look like he was in great shape in his last fight. And him moving to heavyweight is kind of like, to me, a sign of a lack of discipline. So I don't know. I'll probably go William Knight there, though. He's taken a lot of, Clark's taken a lot of damage in his career, you know. So I'll trust William Knight at heavyweight. That's a big advantage for him, you know. And I'm singing, socially retarded. Have you ever washed that beanie? It's got a brown tinge to it. It does not have a brown tinge to it. Good, sir. I do wash my beanie. Thank you. Ben Rothwell died. Um, He was at the end of his contract anyway. So what I assume happened is um, that he, he like agreed to fight and then went into negotiations afterwards and then was like, eh, I don't really want to have the negotiations. People make it seem like they just said for no reason, fuck Ben Rothwell, get out of the company. But in reality, I bet it was something along those lines. You can sign fights before you renegotiate your contract. And then we hear about this all the time, you know, a fight apparently gets signed and made and then there's problems and then the fight gets switched up and stuff. But I think he just thought he was going to stay in the UFC, but they didn't improve his contract. They just gave him the same money and he was like, yeah, I can get more at Bellator. So I'll dip out, you know, just noticed your big ass chair. Yeah, I got a new chair. The old chair's broken. Weed and Domino's, Alpha Energy only. Listen, there's nothing wrong with Domino's. The Domino's is still with me. You know what I'm saying? Calling you wheelchair, Mr. Guru. Congrats. It's not a wheelchair. It's just a regular ass chair, dude. It actually is. A, it has a shirt over it. Can you see that? It has a shirt over it because this is all just fucking ruined from when I was like gaming. I used to fucking grind my head on it while I was playing. Uh, this is like a gaming chair. But it's got all like... It's all worn away at the top, so it's got a shirt over it. You know what I mean? Thoughts on Usman prepare. Pre pre Here we go. Thoughts on Usman preparing Burns for Hamzat. You think he's doing it in hopes of not having to fight Hamzat? It's weird to me, man, because if Burns wins, that's your next opponent, Usman. So, like, what is the... Why would you do that? Surely if he thought Burns was going to win, he wouldn't be training with him right now. I think he thinks Chimeyev's going to win. And he knows that there's a chance that if Burns wins, he doesn't get another, he doesn't get the next title shot, you know? And someone else might get it, like the winner of Luke Mohamed. But he's in the gym right now with Burns, which means he's in a gym with Luke. Like, Usman's actually risking his own career against Burns and Luke to add less risk to Chimeyev. It's very... I think it's pretty weak-minded as a champ. You got two potential next title fights for yourself watching you in the gym right now. And Chimea, like, just to stop Chimea, like, to help them beat Chimea. Like, I think it's weak. But it's all good. It's Usman. He's the champ, you know. He's pound for pound number one. <sighs> but I think he knows. Did you see Block Assad's new Chimea video, mate? Dead ass best fighter content, mate. It's great. It's fucking amazing, mate. I love it. It's fucking grand. It's nice. I like it, mate. It's fucking great fight. It's amazing, mate. It's great. Fucking hot, fucking sipping that coke. It's great, mate. Coke or Pepsi? It's Coke. It's just regular Coke. It came with the Domino's, you know. Domino's don't do Pepsi. Thank you for the two dollars, Invisible Bully. I appreciate you. Is Aljo coming on Jan's ass Saturday? Is that necessary? Invisible bully. Um, no, he's not. I do. I do think Aljo has a solid chance. And all of the odds this weekend, I honestly, they've ruined gambling in MMA. Let's see how it is, man. This ain't boxing, and they're acting like it's boxing, man. Uh, this ain't. This ain't boxing. They've ruined gambling in MMA. What's the fucking point? Minus seven hundred on Volk. Fuck off. Honestly, you might as well put a bit of money on each of the underdogs by finish. Honestly. Burns by finish. 
uh, Sterling by finish inside the distance and then Korean Zombie by KO or something like that, or just inside the distance. But KO likely because, I mean, Volk ain't getting subbed anytime soon, I don't think. But <laughs> do you think Jan's going to dominate Sterling? Um... No, he didn't dominate him the first time, dude. Sterling was fucking him up. Like, fair play, it was like somewhat according to Jan's game plan to allow himself to get fucked up a bit, but... Let's not act like it was one-way traffic in the first fight. In fact, round three was pretty competitive, but, like, Jan won it. Like, let's chill out a bit, man. Sterling's got a good chance. If he can dial back... If he genuinely was as injured as he said he was going into the first fight... He can win this rematch, man. I just think Jan's going to... I think Jan's going to get him. And I think if Sterling tries to dial back the pace, it's going to be better for Jan. That's why I think Jan's going to win. I don't think Jan is 10 times the fighter Sterling is. I think that Sterling has to put that level of volume on Jan. And the way Sterling's talking is like, I'm not going to put that volume on him anymore and gas out. And I think if he does that, he's going to leave more openings for Jan to have his timing down and catch him on the chin, you know? Thank you for the $5 sniff. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Um, watched Yan versus Sterling and Aljo didn't fake it. He did. Watching slow-mo, you'll see it was a vicious knee. Oh, no, it was a knee to the face, but he faked it. He got up quicker in the Marla Marais KO loss. Stipe got up quicker after the Nganu KO than Sterling did. Like, it was obviously a fake. We've seen KOs every single weekend in the UFC. Not one fighter has been on the ground rolling around like, ah, ah, I can't fucking see, man. I can't fucking see right now. No one's ever done that on the ground. We've seen multiple KOs. At best, Blades was groaning from the Shadow Realm. And we come to you live with a message from the Shadow Realm frequency of Curtis Blades. You know, but let's not lie here. It wasn't a fake reaction. He got hit by an ear, but the aftermath, how he acted on the floor was some of the most pathetic shit in MMA. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $2 striking Viking. Great. That's a good nickname in MMA. Maybe we would draw as a horrible sweats, teeth grind. I didn't have teeth grind, but I had sweats brain fog, couldn't think, couldn't, I wasn't even doing any, like, I wish I was doing something other than not streaming, like, I wish I was getting head, but nothing, I was just sitting here doing nothing, man, just shorts, YouTube shorts, just mouth breathing at my computer, man, I couldn't think, couldn't think, and then, like, opening up OBS, just sitting there, just not, it just, my brain was off, Thank you for the $2, Striking Viking. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $2, Donovan. Great name. Welcome back, Guru. Thank you. Thank you for the two, uh, three Australian dollars, John Jones's fiance. Use and abuse are two different things. Just smoke two nights a week. Yeah, do that. Don't do it every day because it's, it's, it's not good. Do it like on the weekend, you know. Maybe that's what I'll come back to. I'll circle back around in like a year and and start doing it on the weekend. But I, uh, I, I ain't, that shit ain't safe. <laughs> Thank you for the free Australian dollars. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $20. I appreciate your $20, good sir. Uh, thank you, Pedro F. Hey, Guru, I was thinking the other day about who might replace Dana if he gets re if he retires or if he retired. Who do you think is getting groomed for that? It'd probably be DC, but I don't think Dana wants that because he knows DC kind of... He'll, he'll succumb to peer pressure of the mob. You need like a white guy to do it. I know it sounds horrible, but you kind of do need a white guy to do it in a way. Thank you for the $20, Pedro F. Or the right the right other guy can do it, but I think I should do it. I think eventually I'll do it. Um, get like Let's have Dana for another 10 years, and then I'll be in the mix rubbing shoulders with him and the Nelk boys, and I'll get in there. We seem to think alike on a lot of things. Thank you very much. Can't be Mick or Sean. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, Aljo faked it. Come on. I know you did fake it, but uh, who else could it possibly be? See, I was going to say Dean, Tom uh, not Dean Thomas or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. It has to be, there's a lot of boxes you have to tick to take that role. You know? It has to be. Fuck. Who does it have to be? Uh, I have not uh, Joe Rogan thank you for the 20 uh, Joe Rogan thank you for the $20 Pedro F he probably wouldn't do it 
But I think if he sat there and thought to himself, if I don't do it, someone way worse is going to, and they might ruin the sport. I think Joe Rogan might be a, a, a decent guy for the job. Thank you for the $20, Pedro F. But he wouldn't do it, though. But hopefully they can fork out enough money for him. John Anik. Oh, I don't know about that one. Let's not do John Anik. Dominic Cruz. Not Colby. He's too dumb. Listen, I'm a Colby fan, but he's just too dumb. Dominic Cruz. Perfect. Great name. Chael Sonnen, brain dead. He's losing his mind. CTE out of fucking wazoo. Dominic Cruz. That's perfect. Not Bisping. No, 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 no. Bisping. No, 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 no. Bisping is a meathead, dumbass bitch. No one. Not Bisping at all. I'll take no one. I'll, I'll take the end of the sport over Bisping. Not, not Bisping in any way. Dude's fucking brain damage beyond belief. He's so fucking single-minded. You can't. He's just a fucking dumbass. You can't. I know, I know Bisping's like a well-spoken guy and he puts words together on commentary like a genius speaking in a microphone because that's somehow admirable. Um, but like, it can't be him. He's too dumb. You got to have Dominic Cruz. As, as grating as he can be, he would see both sides of situations. He, he would be good. Dan Hardy would have been great. Dan Hardy would have been great for it, yeah. But I think, I don't know. Dan Hardy, yeah, maybe. But he is a bit, I don't know. Not Dan Hardy. He's a bit soy. Thank you very much for the $20, Pedro F. And thank you for the $5. Jacob Westbury. Dana said in his last press conference that guy to follow him is unknown to everybody. So he knows, it'll probably be Hunter Campbell. Probably be Hunter Campbell then. He's not unknown to everybody, but he probably means you wouldn't guess who it would be. You know? It'll probably be Hunter Campbell. It'll probably be that Australian guy. You know the Australian guy? That does the uh, events that are in uh, the Eastern Hemisphere? There's an Australian guy that does it. I can't. I don't know his name, but uh, he does Dana's job half the time. It'll be him, I reckon. That'll probably be who it is. Who's your not Mick Maynard? I know he's Australian, but the other one, the other Australian guy that does Dana's. He actually does Dana's job a couple of times a year. It's not Mick Maynard. There's an Australian guy that literally sits there after the fight sometimes and just does. Dana's job. He has a name, but I can't remember his name. It's not Sean Shelby. There's matchmakers. Thank you for the $5 Salamander, man. Did you see Morbius? No. It's as good as The Godfather. Highly recommend. I didn't see that it was as good as The Godfather. No, I'm not really a film watcher in general, so I'm probably never going to watch Morbius, but yeah. It looks like a good idea for a film. I reckon. It's just they can't have an evil guy anymore, man. I want a film about a villain. I don't want no film about, but he's misunderstood. I don't want no misunderstood. I want, I want chaos. I want a film about a villain, like and and not oh he's secretly the good guy though. No, I want pure villain. You hate the main character and you want him dead. Joker is the villain. He's not the villain. Oh poor Joker, he got bullied by society. I don't want that shit. Fair play. I want a main character who you just can't fucking stand. You know what I mean? Bro, that's the Joker. I don't know, man. They made him sympathetic. They made it sympathetic towards him. Hitler villain? No, because like that's already done. Like That's cheesy. Just make up a new script and have some fucking evil cunt behind everything. With no bit at the end, like, oh, he was just feeding his daughter with cancer. You know, like, I, don't, I don't want that shit. I just want some villain. It's 5 a.m., I know, I know. Because that's what makes the character complex. I don't want complex. It's not complex when all of them are like that. That makes it not complex. Well, it's different. They have, like, a good side to them. No, that when every villain is like that, that's no longer different. Just make evil. Fucking hell. But he's secretly the hero. Did you like Joker, though? Joker was a good film. I have watched it. But, you know, it was decent. I liked it. It was a good film. You didn't like him and stuff. But there was like a glorification of it, you know. Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler. Uh, what? Oh, he's, well, he's bad. But that's not like an evil. He's not a hero or anything. We're talking about heroes. 
He's just a photographer. I actually watched, I actually bought that film on DVD ages ago, thinking that it was the, um, what was the MV store? There was a free initial store in the UK that used to be open. MV at the end of it. I can't remember what it was called, but there was a free initial store in the UK. that used to sell like old games and old films and stuff. Um, but HMV. That's what it was. HMV. I remember buying it from HMV thinking it was about the Nightcrawler from Marvel, but it wasn't. It's about HMV is like the UK blockbuster. I think it went out of business. They used to have all of the old vintage stuff that you could rent out, you know, that kind of shit. Thank you for the $5, the cooking trucker. I appreciate your $5. Good, sir. Would you consider doing a collab with other MMA predictors? I could see you on the Anakin Florian podcast. Oh, Jesus. Uh, if I'm going to do a collab, we're going bigger than Anakin Florian's podcast. Listen, boys, uh, we're going a bit more than the Anakin Florian podcast. If we're going to do a collab. Thank you for the $5. If we're going to do a collab, you might see me on sub <clears throat> submission radio or something. You know what I mean? Thank you for the $5, dude. Gastelum, the place is cancelled. I saw Gastelum pulled out, but you know what that calls for? Call Kelvin Gastelum. He'll step in. It has to happen, you know? Hey, Kelvin, uh, we know you just pulled out of this fight, but we really need you to save this fight, you know? I'll do it. I'm injured, but I'll do it. I'll step up, you know? Thank you for the $5, the cooking tracker. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Do you think Freddie Mercury would still be alive if he wasn't addicted to colon exploring? Uh, Probably, yeah, he died of AIDS, didn't he? So, yeah, probably. That illness invented to stop people doing that stuff. But, uh, you know, it's normal. Get over it, guys. Thank you for the $2, Jeffrey Teasley. I appreciate your $2, good sir. Um, do you have Olenek subbing Jared V? V, B, long neck. I probably will pick him to beat Jared V, yeah, but... Mm. Yeah, I probably will pick him to beat Jared Vandera, but... I don't know. Watch No Country for Old Men? I have. That's an evil guy. He's the bad guy in... Uh... Let the spy fall, let it crumble, let the sky fall, and they sit all together. You know what I mean? Oh, no Country for Old Men's pretty good, yeah. He tells him to flip a coin in the, uh, that's the iconic scene, I believe, from the film. Flip the coin, and he doesn't know why he's flipping the coin, but he flips the coin and in the middle of nowhere at that gas station, I think. I've seen that. I actually watched a film because of that scene, I think. But that was ages ago. Jeez, that must be an old film. Um, you don't read the chat enough, okay? Joaquin Phoenix, one of the best actors. It's because he got molested as a kid, though. Um, which is, like, props to him, you know, for surviving that shit and, and beating it. But, you know, that's always going to make you a better actor, you know? If you're, as a child, if you're exposed to that level of, like extreme emotion at a young age most children nowadays will never feel those emotions in life you can't act out an emotion unless you've felt it you know his brother died he was beaten as a kid by his parents like you gotta have a real tragic story to be a good actor because you know you gotta know um what's it called i don't know you gotta know the emotion that you're trying to portray you know you can't break down in a psychotic tear moment you know what I mean? If you've never felt that in life. You know what I mean? What is middleweight going to do with Drikas and Amavov now that Gastelum is injured? I'd say Kevin Holland, but I don't think he's going to do that because he'd literally get destroyed by Drikas to Plessis and it'd be a terrible move for his career. But if I had to say one thing... Probably like Brendan Allen. He said he was ready to step up for Gastelum, but they picked Drickus to Plessis. So if Brendan Allen is still willing, get him in there. Promised a winner a ranking spot, I guess. American Psycho is what you're looking for. I've already seen it. It's one of the best films. It's one of my favorite films. I like American Psycho. 
Who's got the best chin in UFC history, pound for pound, Vittori or big boy Blagoy Ivanov? I guess you've got to say Blagoy because he's taken like Derek Lewis blows, whereas like Vittori's taken Adesanya's fucking baby hands. You know what I mean? But uh, Vittori's got a solid chin, but I guess Blagoy, you, just, just based on weight, you know? <laughs> Is Will Smith alpha? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's so alpha, dude. I feel bad for Phoenix, tragic story, but as his surname suggests, he rose from the flames. You know what I'm saying? You had a tough time and you rose above it. <coughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 You know, this is what I'm telling you about names being perfect for people. Names are very powerful things. Will Smith KOs Mariah's and Cody out cold with slap. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe though. Do you know about his brother River? River? River Phoenix? All right. We get it. You're important, you know? <laughs> we get it. You're important, man. I fucking hate those dumbass names, man. I had an uncle named Rooster. My dad used to know someone called Spanner. That was his first name, Spanner. As in... Um... Great win from Berlinson, UFC level opponent. Let's be real, indeed. What at all? Yeah, he did work in cars as well. To be fair, um, I'd rather name my child Bing Chilling than River. Indeed, I'd name him like Adolf. Like that name needs to make a comeback. You know, Ricky Gervais said it best. Where's that name? You know what I mean? Someone needs to bring it back. It's the all floor man's bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the two dollars. I appreciate your two dollars, Lucas Tracy MMA. Thank you. What's your favorite Austin Powers scene? Oh, scene. Uh, the uh, immediately what pops to mind is not how good the scene is, but when beyonce does down her swimsuit and her boob show and she looks fucking hot as fuck because i have vivid memories of enjoying myself to that scene many times um other than that though i'm probably gonna have to go with the car scene meep, 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 when he does like the 50 point turn in that hallway that was quite funny um other than that Some of the earlier films. When he's pulling stuff, the shadow stuff they always do. You know, they do the light and stuff, the shadows. And uh, in one of the films, she's like pulling rope out of his ass. And all of the guards are outside. That's some moments that I remember. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate your $2. French potato, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh. My firstborn son will be named Wolfgang. Great name. Needs to come back as well. Wolfgang. Great name. So you've got to name your son something cool. You can't give him like a regular name. Where is he from though? Are you German or something? Dollars. America. Are you German? French potato? Jeez. I don't know about... I don't know. You kind of got to have some heritage to be chucking out Wolfgang. You know what I mean? If you had like German ancestry, you could say, oh, my great granddad was called it, you know, and then you get away with it. But you can't just be like eh, Ginger Wolfgang, you know. This ain't Coke, guys. I never let down Pepsi. It's just petrol. <sighs> oh, Cassidy Campbell, I get it. I'm not looking it up. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. If you've spammed something for the entire stream long and I haven't read out or done anything, I don't want to. Blaz. I don't want to look anything up right now. Let's look something up. 
<laughs> oh, Kyle Bokniak versus Colton Minus has been made. Hmm. Grand. Oh my god, guys, you know Stefan Bonner's house burned down. All I'm I'm gonna say it in this poll. This is what I thought immediately. I didn't see a single comment about it. I'll 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 just put out my opinion with a poll. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> hey, come on, it's not it's not far fetched. Insurance scams, I mean it, I, it's what I immediately thought of. I bet he did it. Like, that's what I thought of immediately. <laughs> like as soon as it happened, I was like, "This guy burned down his house. He one hundred. There's no way someone's hit with that much misfortune over and over again, dude. He probably CTE inducedly burned down his own house. That's what I thought of when I first saw the headline. Just, just saying what I'm thinking. You know, this guy burned down his own house." <laughs> Uh, listen, I, I, uh, I feel bad for him if it actually did happen naturally, but I just, I think he's just lost the plot massively, you know? What is Drickus to place this is ceiling? Um, well, he's from fucking South Africa. It's probably made out of pig shit. Carlton Minus is the definition of can. Soy boy as well, I think. is a good way of describing him as well. Where were you these past days? I had weed withdrawal symptoms and uh, I had a mental breakdown because of it because it's just not good for you. I realize that now. So I'm probably not going to go back to it for a while. What are your overall thoughts on Alexander Romanov? How far can he go? I think he can go all the way. How heavy is he for the division? Uh, I'd like to see him lose a little bit of weight, you know? At least in the right areas. But I think he can go all the way to like top five, not all the way to a belt, but top five level. I reckon his stand up's actually surprisingly good for a man his size. How big is he though? Two. He's the limit. I think he needs to trim it down a bit, man. Let's go 255. Let's go 250. I think he cuts to heavyweight. So 260. Let's just trim it up a bit, man. Trim it up a bit so we can trust that cardio a bit more. But other than that, I think he's going to be a monster moving forward. And he's still young in the game, you know. Good chin. Decent stand-up, good kicks. Great grappling, you know. Yeah, chonky boy. He's a chonky boy indeed. What do you think of Alan Joban's commentary? I don't fucking know. What has he done commentary for? He's only on any, like, job outside of the UFC because he fucks Karen Bryan and Bocats are on the low. Let's be real. If there's an attractive white person in the sport, Karen Bryan is a cougar all over him. Let's just say it how it is. Attractive white fighter, Karen Bryant. <laughs> you know, she's all over him. Anything she can. Oh, yeah, let's do a show together, you know? Fucking Karen Bryant, the cougar. Karen the cougar Bryant. Hopefully she don't get no helicopters with a surname like that. Romanov beats Blades easy. Um, Nah, I don't think I'd say that yet at all. No. <laughs> Oh, yes, Guru Matthew Byfield and Cage Warriors did an Ed Herman Aljo where he got hit by clean knees to the body by Hugo Guilon and acted like they were groin shots. It ended in a no contest. Jesus, I didn't see that. I saw all of the finishes on the card, but I didn't see the uh, individual fights themselves. Um, I watched back Berlinson's. Uh, uh, had a tough start, but got it done uh, the way he needed to. And other than that, I just watched the finishes. Good for Burlington, though, man. Tough, a fuck, tough fucking opponent to bounce back against. So he wins another fight. Next series of the Contender Series, 100%. Just one more fight, though. Probably win the belt at Cage Warriors against... She... Mateus Figlak. All right. Let's do that. Let's do Justin Burlington versus Mateus Figlak for the 170 belt. And then let's do... Uh, Mike Figlak versus Joe McColgan on the same card. They're going to Northern Ireland, so that's what they should do. Mike Figlak, 
Joe McColgan, main event, Northern Irish champion, Cage Warriors. Come on, makes sense. And then we'll do uh, another fight with uh, Mateus versus Berlinson in the co-main. Prediction on Errol Spence versus, I don't know, uh, Errol Spence, I would assume, seeing as I ain't fucking heard of the other one. Errol Spence by a close decision win. Fuck boxing, dude. I ain't got no time for that shit, man. They're all shit. And they're not all shit, yeah, but like none of their fights are ever good. Like it's very rare. I feel like UFC every weekend there's like at least a war, you know, like a war will happen or a crazy moment will happen. But in boxing, it's like, eh, wow, you outlanded him by one jab around, dude. That's great. Wow, he's the next GOAT. That's why I respect Canelo, you know. Um, when are your 273 predictions dropping? Uh, Sunday, I reckon. But if they put the countdown out tomorrow, then I'll probably do it then. Tyson Fury versus Wilder Free was a war. Mm. You guys beat Pacquiao? Okay. I don't know that much. Would you ever raw dog Karen Bryant if she's all over you? Not at this point. Uh, 10 years ago, I probably would have, but not at this point. It's not even about high standards. Like, li listen, man. There's just levels where you like, you know, you got like you, there's certain things that are just put off a boner. You know what I mean? It's just her neck just puts off my boner. I wouldn't, I don't know. It's a problema. She had it though for her age. Pretty good looking girl. I don't know. Nowadays is a little different, you know. Her neck reminds me of um, you know that guy from the Simpsons who was on the news show. I know she's fifty, and that's good for her. Honestly, good for her. I'm just I'm twenty three, and I'm turning her down. You know, like it's okay. Her neck reminds me of the um, the Simpsons guy on the news. You guys know what I'm talking about where his uh, he has a hair clip behind his head and it pings off and it all slips down and he fucking grabs it back up and puts the hair clip back there and it keeps it all there. It just, I don't know, it just put me off. Kent Brock. I don't know about Kent Brock. Thoughts on your boy Amanda Ribas getting a fight against your boy uh, against Chukagian. Chukagian's going to win. I just don't know why they would do it. It doesn't make any sense. It actually ruins everything in the flyweight division of women's MMA, I'll be honest. I'm working out my neck. Bisping's commentary in Yuri versus Dominic is unbearable. Oh my god, guys, I'm trying to I was trying to watch Figueredo Moreno one the other day and i just can't watch it like the commentary ruined it ruined it tisha torres versus the brazilian girl uh mackenzie Dern. tisha torres wins 100 <laughs> percent. <laughs> bisping has an eye for commentary yeah He also has an eye out for Sinbad, the sailor. And uh, Jason and the Argonauts as well. Let's not forget. Watch out. Here they come for their magic fleece. This being the Cyclops. Now fucking champ, are you? You fucking bitch. Rakic versus Blahovic prediction. I'm going to go with... Him. Jan Blahovic. No, Alexander Rakic. Most likely. Cyclops. Does anyone remember uh, Jason on the... Uh, anyone ever remember Jason and the Argonauts? That's an old film. That's a throwback right there. That's a great film. What happened to those kinds of films, man? Jason and the Argonauts. When did that come out? 1963. Jesus. What happened to those kind of films? Surely that could be done again today. I get it like they did a... 
what's it called? That thing with that guy from Avatar in it. Where he takes on the gods, Perseus, I think. Not a uh, Wrath of the Titans, whatever, but it's not the same, you know. I need like a quest. Roy Jones Jr. is an all time great. He is an all time great. Greek mythological films aren't great. Not anymore, but they used to be quite good. What's your go-to submission in a fight? Head butts to the nose. A great submission. No, I'd go with... Uh, my go-to sub in a fight is probably going to have to be... Probably an arm triangle, rear naked. Simple, you know? Simples. I'm not going to try and fucking... Go go platter anyone, you know what I mean? Or hit a twister on someone. Arm triangle, rear naked. Probably not rear naked. Probably arm triangle. You know? Films need the best CGI or no CGI. True. No CGI, ideally, though. How long for withdrawal symptoms to subside? My experience, two days two days the day after it's going to be fucking tough and then the day after that you're still not going to be there but two days free sleeps i reckon that's what it was for me it's tough dude uh north south choke is an underrated submission it is an underrated submission to be fair and to this day commentators don't know the fucking name of it it's the north south choke it's the arnold allen choke or the almighty choke which could be done. But it's the north-south choke, essentially. But people don't... I've seen it being called the front naked choke. Uh, oh, the ninja choke! Let's not call it the ninja choke, please. We aren't 12. The ninja choke sounds like a fucking WWE special move, you know? Let's not call it that. The almighty choke is just banter because Arnold Allen has like three of them in his career. But North South Choke is the is the best name I've heard. Thank you for the two dollars, Scrap Legends. I appreciate your two dollars, good sir. Are we underrating Burns upset alert? Uh, I wish, but no. <laughs> I wish we were, but no, not really. Because uh Burns is dangerous on the feet and he can catch Chamayev on the feet, but the problem is no one's arguing that. No one's arguing Burns by KO, you watch. Everyone's saying like Burns by sub. As soon as he hits the ground, Burns is going to show levels of jiu-jitsu. Who has Burns submitted? It hasn't happened in his whole career. Mike Davis, a featherweight kickboxer from Tiger Muay Thai? I ain't trying to hear it. Burns don't sub anyone. Burns was scared of the ground game of Dan Hooker. I ain't trying to hear about it, man. He's got KO power, and he could chin Chimaev. That's what I think could happen. I don't see it happening. Let's be real. Chimaev is massive. He's a giant man. Who wins on the feet? Probably Chimaev, because he's fucking giant. And Burns, again, and this is another thing, has to show up on the night with bulletproof confidence, and he was crying in front of Usman in the fight. Like, I don't know what to do. I, I can't pick Burns. I can't rationalize a Burns pick here. He's too small. He chokes in big moments. He hasn't got a sub in his entire welterweight career. Like, I don't know what to do. And he quits. He can't handle being the nail. Like, I, you have to be the nail against Jumeirev. I actually think it's going to take, like, a Covington, an Usman, or even a Luke. Oh, I don't even think Luke. I, I don't know who would beat Jumeirev, man. It's going to take a middleweight of the Tory or a Whitaker KOs him or a Paulo Costa would be a great guy to beat him as well. You mean the hammer? No, he can't be the nail. When Burns is on the receiving end of damage, he just fucking loses it. Starts crying. <laughs> Sean Brady. No, not Sean Brady. No, not Sean Brady. No. Sean Brady. Oh. People are talking about Sean Brady. He is not that good. He might end up doing well in his career. He's not that good. I do not believe he's that good at fire. He's a big guy for the division and he's strong, but 
he's not that good. His stand-up is garbage, and his grappling is not, like, dominant. Like, he wins, and he gets good position, and he stays there. But, like, he gasses. His stand-up isn't good. So, we'll see. Getting outstruck by Chiesa, like, consistently. People are going to say, oh, Chiesa landed a punch on Burns or, or on Luke a, But, like, consistently outstruck by Chiesa to where he had no chance in the stand-up. Like, I don't trust him. Thank you for the $2 real MMA casual. I appreciate you. I do think Burns survives past the first round or shit. Maybe. And maybe Chimeyev will gas out beating the fuck out of him. But the one thing you keep hearing from Chimeyev's team is the cardio. So, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you very much. Thank you for the $2 scrap legends. Usman or KO Chimaev. Oh, my God. People underrate Usman. They don't underrate Usman. They don't underrate Usman, man. They don't. He's the pound for pound number one guy. If anything, people overrate Usman. Not that good. Uh, it's an absolute disgrace to the sport that he's number one pound for pound. Genuinely is, man. People talk about his boxing. He figured out how to jab as a champion. There's n Jack De La Maddalena figured that out on the Contender Series. Usman figured it out as a champion. It's actually a disgrace that he's number one, man. His skill set is so garbage. He couldn't even keep down Masvidal. He couldn't keep down Masvidal. As a grappler, you can't keep down Masvidal for a bit. Ugh. You figure out to jab as a champ. You can't keep down Masvidal. Oh, I just can't stand that he's pound for pound number one. He's tough. His recovery is insane and inhumane. His strength is insane and inhumane. He's got weird power and weird cardio to go along with the power. And spots all over his back came from Black Zillion's team. Acne all over his back. Acne all over his stomach. Acne all over his fucking legs. But, you know, it's all good. He's clean. He's clean. <sighs> If he ever gets beat, he'll pop. I could see that, actually. Like, the UFC going, fuck this guy, you know? Joaquin Buckley is hideous. I mean, yeah. He does look like a goblin, but... No, Vittori's the orc. Sure, Vittori with hair pulls, like, model-level women in Italy. And superstar singer women in Italy. But he's the orc, guys. Not Neil Magny or Joaquin Buckley. No. No, they don't look like goblins. It's Marvin Vittori who does, of course. <laughs> he does look like an orc, though. He does. He looks pretty orcish without hair. I don't know why he shaved his head. With hair, though, Marvin's not an ugly man. Let's be real. Not an ugly man at all. Every YouTube with Usman in it, I spam YouTube search Usman on PDs. Got to spread awareness. You, you. Jet, Josian Nunes. Oh, Jesus. Jack Dilla Madalena could beat Usman right now. Yeah, well, actually, I don't mind his chances, to be honest. I actually don't mind his chances. But, nah, I wouldn't say he beats him. You can't say it yet. That's the problem. You, you just can't say it yet. So I wouldn't say it yet. But I do not mind his chances, honestly. Thank you for the $2. Nicholas Core, MMA. Buckley looks like an Afro Harry Potter Jew goblin. Okay. Dude, the goblins in Harry Potter, let's be real. That is an attack on Judaism. I saw the game trailer the other day. The villains in that game. The mountain goblins. Let's be real. They look like fucking... What are they called? Israel, they let's be real. You know, they they look a bit interesting, the way they're designed. Oh, that they're, they're the bankers. Oh, okay, they're, they're the bankers. Oh, okay, interesting. J.K. Rowling, mm, very interesting. Oh, they own all the banks, do they? Hmm. Okay, I understand. Hmm. Yes, very interesting. Of course. Hey, hey, let's make these goblins and they're nowhere in the entire film other than behind the fucking tills at banks. 
<laughs> There's no goblin other than Dobby anywhere else in the film, and I don't even think he's a goblin in it. There's none other than goblin other than Dobby in the entire film. But once they hit, listen, they're just existing within the bank, guys. Listen, that's how it is. It's just this weird bit of Harry Potter history. It's in the books, you know. It's already been described in the lore of the film. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's chill, guys. You know, they're just this weird, you know ancestry branch that just never went into the real world or the wizardry world it uh, they only exist in the banks of the film thank you for the two dollars scrap legends i appreciate you he's an elf dobby's an elf okay he's a free elf fair play thank you for the two dollars scrap legends predict all the upcoming ranked welterweight fights um upcoming ranked welterweight fights Oh. <laughs> eh? oh, Mohammed over Luke, Chemaev over Burns. There ain't nothing else. Ranked. Uh, Pons Nibio third round TKO over Paheo. Um, I think that's it. Shavkat called out Magni. Magni's not going to take the Shavkat fight, let's be real. Uh -oh. Jesse on Fire was just making fun of you in his last video. What did he do? Jesse on Fire wants smoke. Oh, that's two in a row. It must be true. Thoughts on that? I don't care. I don't trust Pontanibia. I kind of do. Volk TKO. Mm, I don't know. I... I think maybe later rounds. I don't know. Jesse on fire wants to smoke. What's he? What's he? What's he saying? Thank you for the two Canadian dollars, Elliot Bacon. Did you hear Max Holloway is out of UFC two seventy three? He's never. He was never in it. What the fuck are you talking about? He's never in it. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars, person from six months ago. What did he say? Oh, Jesse on fire. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Why did he turn on me? Why is everyone turning on me? I ain't done nothing. He's talking about the backstage video. But that, is, that happened ages ago. New backstage Jorge Masvidal video. When did he do it? JK. Oh, no, fucking waste of my fucking time. Jesus. Fucking annoying, man. It's April 1st. It's April fucking 2nd, you spastics. It didn't even matter. Not even April 1st. Don't know. Thank you for the $10. I appreciate your $10. My main man, Ra oh, Raul. Raul. Ramirez, 17. I appreciate you. Raul. Ooh. Gillette. The best a man can get. Thank you. Imagine Tyron Woodley versus Hamza. Only if Woodley still competed in the UFC. Um... Yeah, Woodley would be destroyed by Hamza, I would imagine. Be a good fight, though. Like, Woodley would have a chance of landing that KO blow. But at this point, like, if Woodley stayed in the UFC and it was him versus Chimaev, uh, Woodley would lose. Most definitely. Thank you for the $10. Raul! I appreciate you. Why is that even a thing? Why Would you want to see that as, like, a risk for Chimaev? Or I think Woodley would get ragdolled pretty easily. I mean, he has good takedown defense, but the fact is, like, we realized pretty quick that Woodley, who we thought was a big welterweight, is a fucking tiny welterweight. Thank you for the $10, Raul Ramirez, 17. Thank you. Thank you for the $2, Big Bird PH. Easier matchup for Chemaev. Is your EPO? I say, is he? Um, 
is your EPO. I mean, Usman's already been fucking 10 8 in EPO for the past 10 years, but well, the past five years, of course, you know, he used to gas out against Emil Meek and stuff, but now he doesn't gas in five rounders, even with like massive KO blows and massive power shots. Uh, it's all good, though. He can't run because of his ligaments in his knee that he can't describe why they failed him. Uh, thank you for the two dollars, dude. I'm gonna go with uh, is oh, is he your EPO? Why did I read Usman's name? Oh, it's the fucking text above it. Um, I don't know. I roasted Usman. No, that's all I need to do. Is it? Thank you for the two dollars, Scrap Legends. I appreciate your two dollars, good sir. Colby versus Chimaev Burns winner. Usman fights Leon. No, I'm sick of this. Oh, let's delay the Edwards fight as long as we possibly can. Fuck off. Fuck off. I ain't trying to fight Edwards. You're healthy. Fight Edwards now. You're in Burns' training camp doing hard sparring with him. You're healthy to fight. None of this. Oh, might have to fight Edwards in September, guys. Like, no. No. Edwards, July immediately after against fucking what's his mush? Chimeyev. If he beats Burns, that's beating the number two guy in the world. You don't want to lose out on a new contender like that. Fuck it. I don't want everyone to have to go through a potential rematch for fucking Usman. Magni accepted Shavkat. Good for him. <sighs> Usman's been doing this bullshit his entire reign. I know. Like, oh, I can be active when it's a Masvidal rematch, but not when it's fucking Shemayev coming up. Jesse on fire is still trying to say the beef is fake. He's such a bitch. It can't be fake at this point. I don't think it can be fake at this point. <laughs> Why does Balao have a pilot's license? I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, man. He also has a book called like Steel Beams and Their Structural Integrity for Dummies, I believe. I don't know, though. It's just the rumors around the camp, you know, around the fight camp. Thank you for the $2 scrap legends. You scared for Colby? No, I just don't want Colby to, like, there's a case where Covington accidentally beats Chimeyev. Chimeyev would destroy Covington, but there's a case where Covington could win. I don't want to see another rematch for Usman and have to hear these fucking soy boys on the commentary go, he's lapping everyone. He's beat the same people twice over. The same three people twice over. And this next one's a rematch as well. He's lapping everyone. Like, no. Masvidal didn't deserve a rematch. You know what I mean? Covington didn't deserve a rematch. Stop risking Chimeyev against opponents that are potential rematches for Usman. Fucking hell. Thank you for the $5. Chimeyev would destroy Covington. I'm all, I'm all down for seeing it. Thank you. But it would be a great fight, though. And same with the Usman fight with Chimeyev. That's the next level of the welterweight division. Thank you for the $5, Hunter Hammonds. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Hamza is interesting because he's been dominant, but hasn't gotten seriously tested. Dude's taken two to three hits in the UFC so far. Love the content, dude. True. He actually has taken more hits on the regional scene, though. I know people talk about the Eliskarov fight, but there's also a fight against some random black dude where he did get tested into the second round, I believe. Am I mistaken? I think he went to the second round against some fucking middleweight sized, like heavyweight sized black guy. It gave him a bit of problems because of how big he was. And she may have like gritted down and got the fucking win by KO or something. Thank you for the $5, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate you. Not even going to read it out, but thank you for the $5, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars, Elliot Bacon. The Hamzat Till interview with Ariel is hilarious. It is very good, yes. Very good. That black dude was undefeated. There you go. I just couldn't remember his name, which is why I said a black dude. That's all. Uh, thank you for the two Canadian dollars, Elliot Bacon. I appreciate you. JK, but Lamau dude, is Jesse on fire a pedo? Uh, isn't that not how you spell it? I've been spelling it like that for a while. Apparently there's an A in there, but I think, yeah, whatever. Uh, why does he make everything like a super hyper analysis? He was breaking down Masvidal's backstage footage way too much. That's how he gets content, though. Like, it's about the titles for Jesse on fire. I respect the hustle because I couldn't do that. I just simply can't do that shit. But I respect the content that he puts out, you know. So good for him. Very good for him. 
Thank you for the two dollars, Scrap Legends. I appreciate your two dollars, good sir. Usman fights Connor after Leon Lamal. Yeah, likely he does fight fight him after Connor. Fight. Yeah. No, not really. But he would be open for it, maybe. I guess. Maybe like Chimeyev beats Burns and then McGregor calls out Chimeyev and actually like actually takes the fight just to risk it. You know, I could honestly people shit talk McGregor. He would actually do that shit. He would 100% do that and he would show up as well and he would talk all the shit in the build up. Chimeyev beats Burns and McGregor calls out Chimeyev and Chimeyev says yes. McGregor is saying yes and showing up. One last Hail Mary, exactly. One last Hail Mary of a chance. One more chance, you know? And it would be too tempting for Chimeyev to turn down. He might as well. He might as well at this point. Like, what's Connor got to lose? Everyone already thinks he's a joke. At least they can call him a brave joke. You know what I mean? I respect Connor, though. Imagine how much shit at a UFC... Uh... Connor's one of my favorite fighters of all time. Imagine how much shit at the uh, UFC timeline would have been if he pulled out as much as most other opponents pulled out, you know? How many more cancelled events we would have? How many matchups wouldn't have happened? You know? Nate Diaz wouldn't be a star right now if he didn't accept the short notice Nate Diaz fight. You know? He had staff infection. You know, like he could have pulled out of that fight and no one would have questioned it. Oh, RDA pulled out. I'm not fighting then. But like, you know, I respect that he didn't pull out of any fights. He had a lot of fights. Not one pull out. I respect it. Actually, never had the Mendez fight. That brought so much, so much more attention to the Aldo fight. <clears throat> I know I'm, I'm not saying that he took the Mendez fight on short notice. Mendez stepped in on short notice, but he was injured in that fight. So if he just said, no, I'm not fighting, they wouldn't have complained. You know, there's literally footage of him saying, who do I take instead? You know what I mean? I was thinking Bonner burned down this house. Same here. Thank you for the $2, Hank Hill. I appreciate your $2. Get Dagestani beard if Hamzat KOs burns in 60 seconds. No, because it looks a bit rapey. I'm not. No, thank you for the $2. I don't know. I think you have to have a certain look to pull off that beard. If you're trying to go for that beard with my kind of look, it, it just looks a bit off skin. It's like just a mustache. You can't have just a beard. You have both or neither, I think, is the move. You know? Or a bit of both. Like a mustache and just a front bit of beard. You know what I mean? You can't go... You, you can't do that. Diet black? No, I'm not going to diet black. I like the difference in colouring of my hair and my beard. I think it looks cool. And when I'm in the sun, guys, I'm gl I'm glowing. I'm glowing. It's the halal beard, yeah. When the sun hits my beard, it genuinely glitters. Like a shiny, diamondy ginger. I love it. It's one of my favorite things about myself. You're gay. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5. Bo Jiden. Shit, I forgot about this one. Sucks that Gastelum had to pull out of the fight against Duplessis. The odds for Duplessis to get a sub was plus 1,900. I mean, that is ridiculous because his guillotines are very, very good. But um, thank you for the $5. Yeah, it, is, it does suck that that happened. It very much does. You're correct, Bo Jiden. You are correct, Amundo. Well done, good sir. Very much does suck. But we're going to have to call up Kelvin Gastelum to step in now. So maybe we'll have the matchup back on. Will Kelvin get cut if he loses? Uh, well, he's not fighting. So no. Uh, oh. <sighs> Notice how Jesse used a Masvidal backstage footage to subtly reverse his view on the beef being fake, Lamal. He knew he sounded like a retard saying it's fake, so he turned around his view. It's not, listen, before the fight, it's not, you can't shame someone for saying that it's fake. Like, there was a very high possibility. But I think after the fight, like, it's not fake. If you're saying it's fake after the fight, like he was, that's where he pushed it a bit. But before the fight, you can say that it's a fake beef. It made sense, you know? 
do 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 members fuck off maybe later yeah but i'm gonna do like a fucking eight hour stream right now And you've been gnomed. Volk by TKO is plus 230. Yeesh. Sheesh. Sheesh. It is quite crazy, yeah. Bisping has gone Hollywood very soft. Mmm. Very boy. I didn't OD on laced weed. I'd come off of it. I don't OD on it. It was just... It takes a grip of you. You don't realize... The effect it has on you until you're off of it for a bit. That's what I noticed. There's your hairless twin. He's locked up in the shed. But I'm in the shed. Am I the hairless twin? I don't know. Maybe. He's having withdrawals right now, boys. Oh, it, I was. I'm not right now. I mean, I'm still a bit brain foggy, but. Two days ago, uh, Wednesday night. In the middle of the night. I was tr I, I I've washed my sheets twice this week. That's like a once a month thing, usually. Wash wash your sheets once a month. You know what I mean. You you do your sheets and stuff like that. But uh, it it was like I did it twice in one week because it was just I was pouring sweat, man. Withdrawals from what? Uh, weed. Just too much in them. No, jizz in my sheets. One well, some kind of sex offender. Jesus, why? why you just clean it up, you know. Smoking up your sweat smell like sweat smell like dope. Yeah, your showers smell like dope as well. You know, you ever taken a hot shower after smoking a bit over the weekend or something? Like you smoke a whole fucking three five over a weekend one Saturday night. You come in Sunday morning, have a shower, reeks of it. Smoke your tobacco. I did like a year ago, but I didn't do that for the past year. No. I used to like a little pinch of it, but no. Nah, I'll go off of that. You end up wanting to smoke just to smoke rather than to get high. That's what I found out. You got any combat sports background? Yeah. I'm a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. And I did Muay Thai for a couple of years. One year pretty consistently. The second year I was in and out of it. And I did a couple lessons of jujitsu. <sighs> Been binge watching penis blinders. Gee, that sounds like a rough show. Uh, do you... Oh, peaky. Okay, peaky blinders. What is your autocorrect? Exposed! Mike Walk exposed. Using his phone. Autocorrect. Yeesh. Watching penis is recommended for him. When he types in watching and the letter of and the letter P, the word penis comes up. Exposed. Exposed Mike Walk. Exposed. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Not even sweating, just liquefing. <laughs> liquefing. Okay, interesting. Liquefing out of your armpits, I guess. You're supposed to slowly smoke less and less until just stopping to avoid withdrawal works the same as alcohol. I did do that, though. I did, like, a couple nights, or a night off of it, one night on, a night off, one night on. But still, once my body knew, like, we ain't getting no more, like, it was different, you know? Like, I swear that the night one, I, I didn't, I did it in, like, the morning. I mean, I didn't do it that evening and nothing happened. And then the next evening when my body was like, oh, we're done? Oh, you think you're done? Oh, we're leaving you. Like, all the water in my body just went, oh, we're leaving, and you ain't going to think straight for the next few days. <sighs> do a sleep stream? I'm not going to do a sleep stream. No, I can't. I'm not going to do a sleep stream. No way. Well, that ain't ever happening. I ain't. That's some Twitch shit, man. You're so small in that chair. It's a gaming chair. One of them curves up the back. Feels good. I like it. A little bit of lumbar support, not too shabby, you know. Kelvin is getting released this week. You heard it here first. He's not going to get released. He's still got a couple of fights left on the contract.
You've been having weird dreams. Yeah, like f not that I can remember, but like frantic dreams where I'm waking up in the middle of them quite a bit. And also, actual dreams. Can't remember them, but they were dreams. I remember having dreams, like vivid dreams. And you don't really have them a lot when you're on dope. <sighs> Do you have a chin? I reckon so. <laughs> I reckon so. Thank you for the two dollars, Hank Hill. Quitting dope is tough. Waterboard when you get an urge. Waterboard when you get an urge. Yeah. Same here. That's what I was just about to say. I think I'm going to come back to it on like a weekend thing. Like a Friday thing. Then a Saturday thing maybe. How do you feel about you doing drugs in the house? If she don't see it, she don't mind. As long as I don't show it to her at all. But she don't mind. It used to be like a terrible, terrible thing, but, you know, it's fine. Rest of the men in my family are not doing well, let's just say, you know, with uh, some of the mistakes they make in life. So I think she realized, like, I'm, I'm one of the good ones and just let me do my thing, you know. Do you play games? Um, sometimes. Not really, though. Ego death guru, you've gone full, full Dan Hardy. No, I don't have ego death. I'm still fucking packing just under eight inches and shit, and it's thick, you know what I mean? So uh, my ego's still at an all-time high. You know what? I'm actually going to start vlogging with my friends very soon as well. I was watching Genghis Khan films. I loved that so much. I was watching that yesterday. It was... I actually had like an epiphany watching it. Like, this is what I have to do. Shit like this. I think it'd be so good. No, you're not. I am, though. I am actually going to do it, though. <laughs> I am. So let me do my work. Indeed. Alex Pahea versus Sean Strickland prediction. Um, Sean Strickland chokes him out round one, I reckon. Please stream in the chair while smoking at war. Zojo. Okay. Thoughts on Top Boy? It's just not realistic to gang culture in the UK, but people that are in gang culture in the UK will act like it is. But it's just not. It glamorizes everything. There's no shootouts. Like, is it like a once a year type of thing? But in that show, they're like, they're acting like they're in the fucking, what's it called? The Bronx. In in Chirac, you know, but uh, it's not like that in the UK. But they like to glamorize it, like they're doing something. But in reality, they're all just bums in their mum's house selling weed. You know, you been in a machete fight? I mean, I've I haven't no, I've never been in a machete fight, but I know they happen. I've heard of them happening. I've I've seen someone with a machete. Yeah, but I've never been in a machete fight. No, what do you think we're fucking on guard? Never gonna happen. You play games every day. I don't play games every day. I play Risk now and again, but no, I don't play games every day. No, I'm not. I used to play games a lot, but not anymore. Tally ho, indeed, tally ho. Guru the Conqueror. Mm. I think Sean will wrestle to be Alex, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. You should have Wade concept on. Ugh, Wade concept. So, guys, let's break down Jake Paul's forehead in his recent video. Thanks, J uh, thank you so much, uh, Wade. Guys, Jake Paul posted a video on YouTube, and <laughs> it does not look good for Jake Paul. You know? Every fucking video of Wade concept. <laughs> I respect him, though. He makes good videos, actually. He does make really good videos, but I just like roasting everyone, you know? 
Guys, Jake Paul posted a video of him walking in his house, and uh, let's just say Alex Wasabi has more of a chance than we fought. Thank you for the $2, Ben. I appreciate you. Watch the movie Snow on the Bluff or the trailer. Nah, I'm not going to watch that right now. But I'll maybe try it out after. Thank you for the $2, Ben. I appreciate you. I will have a little check it out if it's, you know what I mean? Snow on the Bluff. Sounds like an interesting film. Guru's getting too political. What the fuck did I just say? What did I just say? Too political? Roasting Wade concept? Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. Enough of abortion. You know what I mean? I'm not. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm fu I, I roast Wade concept. This guy acts like I just brought up the Gaza Strip for fuck's sake. Jesus. Um. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I find quitting weed harder than it was to quit meth. Like the meth, I knew I'd die if I kept it up. Yeah, but the weed was so fucking nice, and it also doesn't. You don't feel like it's wrong for you, you know. I'm not quitting it. Like I'll be back on it next weekend, but. Like, I just, not in the week, you know, it's just, it kills productivity massively, I feel like. So, I'm just going to stream for like 10 hours right now. I'm just going to keep streaming. Let's see how long we can go for, you know. <laughs> Iranian Hulk got pushed and fell down. Can we stop calling him Iranian Hulk and just call him what he is? Fat man from Iran, please. Let's stop using this Iranian Hulk alias that he has because <laughs> he's. let's just be real, okay? Like, let's stop using that as an alias for him. The Iranian Hulk. Let's just use diabetic male from Iran from now on because that's, that's a little bit more accurate of a description of him. Are you... Okay. Hands on. Thank you. Kills your tea. No wonder why you're looking so sore. All right. I'll take it. Rothwell cut from UFC. I think he left. It was the end of his contract, I think. <laughs> okay, dude. Fuck you. You know you want a big fat <laughs> chem dog joint. <laughs> chem dog joint. Okay. All right, dude. That beautiful smell and skunky taste. Mmm. Crushed up glass. Me gusta. Thank you for the two dollars. Raindrop. Greetings, Guru. Biggest weight bully in the UFC. Right now, you got to go Chimeev. Other than that, Nganu. Other than that, Makashev. No, Makashev. Chimeev. Uh, I won't put Nganu in there. Heavyweight's a bit of a... You can't call out heavyweights for weight bullying. Like, why are you so small? In the other ways, you can say it. You know what I mean? But let's avoid heavyweight. Um, Chimeyev, Makashev, Askarov, Figueredo, um, Sandhagen, let's be real, at this point. Um, what's about it? Usman. You can't say Usman with Chimeyev in his division anymore. Maybe you could have before, but you, you can't say Usman with Chimeyev there. Vera is in that mix. Vera. O'Malley. O'Malley's so skinny, though. But O'Malley is in that mix, but he's so skinny. Thank you for the $2. Clutch Hattrick, I appreciate you. Clutch Hattrick. Uh, got wisdom teeth out today. Life sucks right now, bro. It does suck a high amount of ass, to be fair. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. I don't know. I've never had mine out. Uh, because to get braces when I was younger, I had like... I'll, apparently, I'll never have to have them out. Apparently. I'm in a rare case. That's what my fucking dentist told me. Or my uh, orthodontist. Sorry to use the technical term, of course. <laughs> Different from a dentist, of course. Um, but I'll apparently never have to have mine out. Because I had... I was born with like six extra teeth or something like that. So I had them all taken out and then it like gave space for all of my rear teeth and shit like that. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $5. Hank Hill. I appreciate you. The USA is in the same world cup group as Iran. It'd be nice to see the USA beat up on Iran some more. All right. Let's, let's chill out a bit. Huh? Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. 
what have we doing? Bomb the fucking team? Like, what? let's chill out on the, uh, you know, his font a weight bully. Not really. He looked quite small against Aldo. Aldo is a weight bully. Uh, at this point, thank you for the $2 striking Viking. Why doesn't the media promote more? Is he being gay? I don't think they know. I don't think they know. I don't think they know, they know at all. And also, like, you don't really... If, if you're the UFC, at least, you don't want it out there that Izzy's gay because Izzy brings a lot of, like, the black viewership in. You know? Like, he's the market for, like, the... Uh, let's just say... I'm not going to... Well, let's not say black. Let's say Hot 97 viewers. Uh, and if they find out he's gay, you know? I'm going to lose some fans, let's just say. Montel Jackson's a weight bully. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> Hot 97 viewers. Hey, listen, it's just, uh, you know, let's just be real here. Let's just, uh, you know, some people who might enjoy sway in the morning, you know, like, well, you know, you know, just, just saying it, you know what I mean? Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5. Good, sir. Thank you. So glad I found out you was getting so tired of the soy boys at Bloody Elbow. Even talking crap to them didn't help. Izzy is by for sure, at least. Thank you. I appreciate that at Bloody Elbow. Oh, you were tired of the soy boys at Bloody Elbow. I'm glad. I'm glad you saw the path. Thank you for the $5, dude. I appreciate you. Izzy's by for sure, at least. No, you can't be bi and not be gay. You're, you're, you're gay or you're not. There's no bi. Every gay guy can be straight. Well, I, I kind of want to upload this. Let's chill. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. It's just, uh, you know, it's um, it's just genetic, you know? It's just uh, one of those genetic things. Sorry, guys. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. Rothwell laughed for the boys one last time. <laughs> you right, it ain't a part-time job. Like, it's true, yeah. If you're willing to do it once, like, that's it. You know, the, the straight guys aren't willing to do it at all. It's not like, uh, you know, I dabble. Like, there's no dabbling. Thank you for the $2, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate your $2. How much do I have to donate for a poo stream? Oh, well, you can donate like a, a high amount of food, I would assume might be a good one because that would like load me up for the poo stream, I guess, even more. Cram that poo in my mouth, please cram your poo in my mouth. Do, 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 down in the suburbs. Oh, my God. That film is so good. Over the Hedge. You guys remember that film? Down in the suburbs, did it did do, did it did it did do. We're down in the suburbs, did it did do, and ba da 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 do. Down in the suburbs, over the hedge. Such a good film, dude. He was fighting Gustafsson, no Rothwell. Okay, so who's now going to fight Gustafsson? Kelvin Gastelum. Stepping up on short notice. Shout out the fucking turtle. Yeah, there was a turtle in it. I can't remember the film that vividly, but I remember it being a great film. Saw that in theaters, yeah. Well, I saw a great animated film with my nan once. Man, I should see my nan. She's going to be gone soon. Um, What did I watch with my nan? It was an animated film. I think it was Despicable Me. Do do doom doom. I, I was that, was that was a real nice actually i'm a real nice guy i took my nan to the cinema not nice that's kind of nice i'm taking that as a, i'm a nice person i can now like hit people in the streets and be okay with it and you guys can't condemn me i took my nan to the cinema just me and my nan for her birthday i believe when um when i was like 15 or something like that man i'm so nice I was, at least. Uh, BJ Penn should make a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years.
Must be nice having a nan. I mean, it's like the one grandparent I have, so it's all right, you know? What round do you reckon Burns cries? <laughs> we're going to go with uh, the walkouts, I think we're going to go with. Kelvin pulled out to fill in on short notice for a whole fight. Nice. Maniz is out. No, Maniz isn't out. Maniz isn't out. Is that what you're saying? It's called movie theater. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. It was all a dream. I used to read Maybach magazine with a Dale in the limousine. I had the pictures on my wall. Boot, dog, boot, rod, boot, bitches, molly, mo. I want a tank top, but my rank rock. It's a trip. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5, Charles. Oh, good old Charles, eh? A guy got shot in front of me at a bar and died while I was trying to help him. <laughs> uh, what? What? <laughs> A guy got shot in front of me at a bar and died while I was trying to help him. <laughs> Saturday morning, so I appreciate all the laughs and normalcy you provide. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the $5, Charles. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was just so funny. Why is that so funny? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! That's on you. Let's be real. Just know that till you're dead. That's on you. <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not trying to pass on blame or anything here, but if you knew CPR, you might be able to save him. I bet you fumbled. <laughs> That was all value. That was like precious life he would have had. You know what I mean? No offense, though. I appreciate you massively, dude. Thank you for the $5. You're a hero. You're a first responder, and I respect all the first, first responders, you know? Shout out to all the first responders out there. Fumbled a life, you know? Literally, imagine if your life is in someone's hands and it's some fucking soy boy. Not calling you a soy boy who donated, by the way. But imagine you're like drowning in quicksand and then the one guy who can save you just like, ooh, and he can't pull you out. Dude, I'd condemn. I'd condemn everything in that very moment there. I'd go, I'd go down screaming racial slurs if that ever happened, even if the guy's white. I'd be screaming white racial slurs. You cracker ass cracker. You bitch ass cracker ass cracker. I'm fucking getting sucked into the sand. Like, the guy's got to drag you to hospital, but he can't even fucking do it because he's just so pathetic genetically. Like, that would fucking annoy me so much. Arlovsky versus Gustafsson. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, Arlovsky should take that one. Um, I'd probably go with... Uh, I, I, I'd actually probably go with Gustafsson beating him there, to be honest. Stand-up fight, Arlovsky, Gustafsson. I think Gustafsson wins that, so I'd probably go Gus. If Vandera can make it close to where it's like worried about being robbed, then Gus beats him there in a stand-up fight. It's announced. Oh, well, there you go. Well, wait, you said it, so it probably ain't announced. <laughs> probably isn't announced. Does Frank Camacho finally get cut with a loss? Yes. It was all a dream. I used to read, read Maybach magazine. It's a deep law story. Mm, yes. I got your Gustafsson and Arlovsky prediction. Both suck are irrelevant in today's heavyweight division. Okay. I think Arlovsky could actually beat like an Augusto Sakai. He did the first time, actually. He should have beaten him. He Like, Arlovsky still ranks level at heavyweight. He's very good. He's just got, you know, a problem when it comes to the elite. Thank you for the free Australian dollars. ET was a junkie. Aljo was hurt more from the knee than Charles, mate. Charles, thank you for the free Australian dollars. Yes, true. Yeah. Or that guy who got shot, to be fair. You sound slightly deaf as Biggie. It was all a dream. I'm fat. I'm black and fat. 
Um, anime guru, I just saw Batman. No Batman. I mean, the new Batman actually looks kind of good, but I don't think any can compare to the Dark Knight trilogy. Those were the best films. Max Holloway looks like he's ready to, uh, to make weight tomorrow. You think a fight announcement's coming? I mean, he might try and be the replacement for Volkanovsky versus uh, Mustachio. Korean zombie doesn't have a moustache at all. I don't know why I said that. But, um, yeah, he might try and be the short notice replacement. You dig? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It really didn't know the mal. He knew he was too far into the fakeness of it, so he backpedaled. He's always super conspiracy theorist about everything. Oh, I remember when he went on Bisping's show talking about the moon landing being fake. I mean, listen, I think it's dumb to say that people are dumb to even think about that kind of stuff. But, like, there's a time and a place to get really into conspiracies, you know? Like, sometimes I think to myself, like, someone will come up, or no one's done this, but if anyone came up to me like Jesse on fire, like... Dude, like the pictures don't make sense. The Nixon project just doesn't add up. I'm like, dude, you have kids. Focus on them for fuck's sake. Like, where'd you have the time for this shit? You know what I mean? Like, seriously, where'd you fucking find the time for this shit in today's world? You got kids for fuck's sake, you know? But it probably was fake. The moon's real, I would imagine. I'm not one of them people to think the moon is fake, but I think the moon landing is probably fake. Um... Dark Knight trilogy is mid as fuck. No, Christian Bale is Batman, man. Christian Bale is Batman if he was a bit taller. But I like Christian Bale as Batman. I mean, I was he was great Batman. I I have a better Batman voice than him, but uh, you know. Oh my man. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. They wouldn't even need to change my voice, you know? Better Batman voice, yeah. Heath was a good Joker too. He was a good Joker, yeah. He was a good Joker. I'm Batman. I'd actually have a great Batman voice. They all are like, I'm Batman. Or, I'm Batman. And they have to add like a CGI afterwards, but I'm just there like... I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Fat Man. Uh, fat Man? I mean, what the fuck is your superpower? Diabetes took my leg. They took my foot off. They chopped my foot off. I got type 2 diabetes. It's actually Kayla Harrison, yeah. I'm PFL, man. I'm Batman. Interdimensional reptilians control the planet, indeed. Let me tell you something, Joe Rogan. Would Jared Leto make Conor McGregor? Make a Conor McGregor? No, he wouldn't be a good Conor McGregor. Who would play a good Conor McGregor? Honestly, a young Ewan McGregor could probably play him. They're probably related in some way as well. Um, say Jaguar. Jaguar. Sorry, Jaguar. Thoughts on Eddie Bravo? I have a feeling he's this great dude, man. Seems to have a, be a genuine dude. I'd be good friends with Eddie Bravo. I think he's a cool dude. Yeah, he seems it anyway. I like him. I like how he sticks up to him for himself as well in certain situations. Like, hey, don't get it twisted. I'll fuck you up, you know? Like, I remember there was a podcast episode of JRE where Brendan Shaw yawned in the middle of his story and he went, hey, like he probably proper called him out for it, you know? <sighs> Thank you for the $2, Niger country. Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate you. <laughs> Say alumin aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminum foil. 
Hey, have you got any aluminum? Thank you for the two dollars. I appreciate your two dollars, Hank Hill. Hollywood will have a Michael B. Jordan play McGregor. <laughs> And now Michael B. Jordan covered in chalk. It's him as Conor McGregor, like you've never seen him before. I mean, they were right. It is like we've never seen him before. I mean, they made Black Panther black, so like there's really no limits on what they will change. <laughs> Denzel Washington played the King of Scotland in Macbeth, I swear, as well. So they'll, they'll find a way. Can you see Bilal fifth round finish? Yeah, I guess so. I could see Bilal getting a late finish, yeah. That's what I think probably happens. <laughs> Rear naked choke. Will Smith would play Conor McGregor then, yeah. Dude, that whole thing. I love Tom Segura. I saw his tweet about it. Dude, I like Tom Segura. Every other comedian like tiptoed around it, and Tom Segura just went full in. I didn't really respect him too much before, but I like Tom Segura. Tom Segura, Will Smith tweet. Where is it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck Will Smith's candy ass smacking a dude four inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. He's just in his feelings because his bald headed bitch been fucking around on him for years and he takes it. We all know who he wishes he could slap. Hashtag cuck will. That's fucking good, man. Just full out said it, you know. I respect it. I would have gone a bit harder, but he went enough, you know. <laughs> good night, Gary. Thank you. Chris Rock should hire Masvidal to sneak up on Will Smith. I mean, people are getting away with crimes nowadays. It's quite worrying how... I'm, I'm I'm kind of changing my stance on the whole Cain Velasquez thing, you know? Like, Cain seems to be the only one in trouble. Out of anyone who's done a crime recently, it's Cain Velasquez where they join, they draw the line. Common assault on an innocent man. Don't be silly. There's no punishment to be had here. But Cain Velasquez trying to take out a fucking pedo. That shall not be tolerated. Jesus. Better days watching over me. Such a beautiful girl watching over me. MMA questions, okay. One's a little bit more severe, but more warranted and deserved, you know? I'm just saying, if anyone's going to get away with a crime, why is it the, the where the victims are innocent? You know what I mean? We found life on Mars in 1976. Look it up. Yeah, it's probably fucking Neil Armstrong waving at a camera. We found life on Mars. It looks peculiarly peculiarly like Neil Armstrong. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We didn't land on the moon back then. Um, Kane attacked the LG. Okay. True. <laughs> True, actually. Remember the time Yuri just left Bisping's podcast out of nowhere and never came back? Yeah, because they were being weird with some of the questions and he didn't like it or something. Yeah, I did remember that, actually. That was funny. I actually forgot about that. He did just leave once and didn't explain anything at all. He just left in the middle of one of their questions. <laughs> they were like in the middle of like talking back and forth with each other. He just left their fucking podcast. Because. All of these MMA people, like Ariel is the worst at this, but Bisping sometimes does it as well. 
they don't know how to speak to people who don't speak English. Like I had a couple of people at my school who didn't really speak too much English. So you kind of learn how to communicate with them a little bit better. But um, especially in Ariel Hawani and Bisping's case, they don't like simplify their words, you know? Like they'll use like, what do you contemplate this is rather than what do you think, you know? Thank you for the $2, E&R. Wheelchair Jew, thank you for the $2. Um, for real, on God. On God, yo. No cap, yo. On God. On God, bro. On God. And what do you think, Jep? Is Who's that guy? On God. No cap. On God. On God. I can't remember his name, that white guy that always says that shit. On God. No cap. Keep it about Glizzy on my side, G. Fuck, his name's right there on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember his fucking name. Yuri's a Chad. Hmm. You know. Thank you for the two dollars, dude. Rachmanov versus Magni. Thoughts? Uh, it's a great matchup. Respect to Magni for continuing to take fucking dangerous matchups for himself. Big respect, man. Big fucking respect. Why do you think Balau is good? Uh, he beat Wonderboy. In a fight and dominated him. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, looking into it a bit too much. I don't know. Train Rex TV. No, that's not who it is. It's someone. Oh, Aiden Ross then. There, there he goes. On Twitch. Aiden Ross, that guy. On God. On God. Fucking disgrace, man. I fucking hate that guy so much. Aiden Ross. Fucking hell. Thank you for the seven months of membership, Brady Bath. I appreciate your seven months of membership, good sir. Editing my resume, should I put in that I'm a staple member of the Beanie Cult? Let's avoid cult membership disclosure on your uh, CV. Uh, maybe. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, the club? The Beanie Club, maybe? Let's avoid the word cult, though. Thank you for the $20, ENR. I appreciate your $20, good sir. Thank you. Jew meat. Thank you for labeling me a savory snack of Judaism. I appreciate your $20, ENR. I appreciate it very much indeed. You know? Thank you very much, my man. As long as, long as it's halal, you know? Thank you for the $20, ENR. I appreciate your $20. Darren Tilmaev. Thank you very much indeed for the 20. I appreciate you. Thoughts on Bisping wearing a free cane shirt? He doesn't deserve to be freed. We get it. You're not a pedo. God, I'm sick of these people desperately trying to prove that shit. It's actually kind of sad at this point. My opinion. We get it. You're not a pedo. Like, he still deserves some time. You can't shoot up a car on a highway. You can't do that. Like, it's just simple as, but respect for doing it, but you can't. Simple as. <sighs> Thoughts on I show speed? I've seen him. I've only seen him in clips, so I don't know what he's actually like, but I've seen him. Uh, he, the f uh, geez, he got that black privilege because if he, like, he had this one comment about rape that was. You ain't going to do nothing about it or something like that. I was like, yeesh, dude, that's enough to end you on Twitter for good. But no, he's fine. Uh, thank you for the $20, e and R. I appreciate you calling me Jew Meat. Thank you. I appreciate that so much indeed. Thanks. Really needed. That was a really needed addition to the stream, man. End the poll? No. Brendan Shaw impression. Doi. 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 Brendan Shaw's a genius. Such an intellectual mind is not worthy of being in this time zone that we are in at the moment. Someone so logical and amazing is just we, the world does not deserve a guy like Brendan Shaw, man, or true hero. And the fact that he doesn't let his haters get to him, but like terminates their channels legally with lawyers and shit. Like he's so thick skinned, you know? A part of you wish Kane had hit other innocent bystanders to prove your point. Well, he already hit one of them. 
but a part well no not a part of me because that would ruin the story then no one would agree that he shouldn't go like that would, i wouldn't even have a point then because everyone would agree with me if he like actually killed an innocent bystander then obviously people would say he should go to jail <sighs> joey diaz impression please <laughs> It was 1988 in Boulder. I can't. I can't do a Joey Diaz impression now. Let me tell you something, Joe Rogan. Let me tell you something, Joe Rogan. It was 1989 in Boulder. I can't do a Joey Diaz. He's got a voice that only he can have. You know what I mean? You can't replicate that shit. But half his stories have to be bullshit, though. He should fight that fucking color beep. End of story. End of story. Like a doctor. It was 1988 in Boulder. Mm. Also, to be honest, rewatching Dark Knight Legend, it really didn't do that great, IMO. For the time of the year, it was groundbreaking, but rewatching it wasn't amazing. I think you, I mean, compared to other Jokers, listen, Joaquin. Buckley did a great job in the new but in a new Joker film, but um Heath Ledger did a good Joker. I mean, maybe I'm just comparing it to fucking Jared Leto's gay ass, but um I think he was a good Joker. My father. Why so serious? I think he had a great Joker. Gone. Joey Stories match. Yeah, I don't know if they match. There's too many of them. Listen, I don't remember what happened two years ago. There's no way he remembers all that shit. 1988 in Boulder. I remember there was a smell in the air. You don't remember a smell in the air, you fucking liar, degenerate, dude. You criminal. Uh, no way. Joaquin Buckley is the Joker. He just uncorks that vicious kick on Batman and the film ends. Or the film starts, he gets chinned immediately and, and the whole film's over. Prime Twitch was Tyler 1, Greek God X, and Ice Poseidon. Oh, I wasn't a massive fan of Ice Poseidon, but Tyler 1 and Greek God X. Say what you want about what I'm about to say here. We'll get back into MMA a bit more after. Yeah, Theo's stories are way worse because he lies way more, but you, he knows he's lying though. Whereas Diaz kind of bigs himself up off of it, you know what I mean? I, I like Theo Von, like all of his stories are pretty much bullshit, but he knows he's lying and you kind of entertain the idea of it, you know. But um Greek God X when he first met Tyler One was the funniest person alive. I truly believe that. Not alive. But maybe, honestly, maybe top five in the world. Like when he first met Tyler One, like the first two years of their streams, he was the funniest person alive. The stuff he used to come up with. Ledger was the only one to make the Joker spooky. Mm. Now he's cringe as fuck, so I can't watch him now. But he was really funny. <sighs> Hamzat will have to wait long for Usman. What do you think will happen in the meantime? Um, I don't know. You ruined Theo Von forever for all your viewers when you pointed out his changing accent. I'm just saying, it changes whoever's on his show, I feel like. Like, when he was with Theo Von, I was like, damn, who's this country boy, you know? But then when he's with uh, other people, it's like, Jesus. I watched his uh, podcast with, what's his name, from the UK, uh, Robbie Williams. And he was English, pretty much. He sounded English in the fucking podcast. Thank you for the 10 Australian dollars. Respect studios. I appreciate your 10 Australian dollars. Good, sir. Thank you. Uh, does Colby press charges? Would it be better for his image to not press charges? Would love to know your take. Apologies if you've already said. Um, yeah, he should press charges 100%. Would it be better for his image to not press charges? No, not at all. Um, Masvidal needs to be punished in some way, so he should definitely press charges. Yeah. He should get that money, man. Look, some money makes the world go round. Get that fucking money if you can. Let me let a guy knock your tooth out and take you out of peak condition to fight, like for no reason. Get your money, man. Get that fucking get, get the peas in. You feel me? Get them peas in. You feel me? You feel me? 
Thank you for the 10 Australian dollars respect studios. Thank you. Imagine Bilal as Batman. We've done that whole skit before. We cannot continue that skit. There's already a clip of it online. I think pressing charges would actually be good for his gimmick. Yeah. And just get your money in, man. Like, get that money off Masvidal. Why not? Like, Covington's got, what, a couple of, a year left in his career? Like, one full year from now left, ideally, for him. Like, get your money in while you can, man. There's no point fucking, you know, getting all hoi polloi over it. Thank you for the 10 Australian dollars, dude. I appreciate you. We should definitely press charges. He should try and get, like, 100K off of him, at least. 15k for the Rolex damage and then like an extra 100k maybe for other stuff. Nate Wood moving up to 145 thoughts. I reckon he does bad. I reckon he does bad as well. Stupid move. Why would he do that? I mean, maybe it's like so he can fight on like the next card and that's the only reason. But if he's actually moving up, fuck him. Why? You're not even a big bantamweight. Why do they do this shit? Who is encouraging them to do this stuff? <sighs> UFC really wants us to like Jared Leto for some reason. Like, they've seen Suicide Squad. <laughs> Have they seen it? Yeah. Dude, Jared Leto needs to be on camera at every event. What are you talking about, dude? He's just very famous, so it's good to, like, know that he likes the sport. To be fair, he comes quite early in on the card, and he does seem like a genuine fan. I respect it. I respect Jared Leto a bit. I know he's a bit soy, so it's not like the same fan base that you would have for him and like the UFC. But uh, I respect him. Most celebrities just show up for the main event and stuff, but he's like there at the prelims. Like, I, I like it. Respect, you know. Worst thing is when you see like a whole arena of fans and like the first two rows are just completely empty because all the celebrities that have like fucking reserved tickets just aren't there. So I respect that he's at least there for some of the early stuff. He's there at the apex. So like, yeah, like he's he's there for the fights, the fight night cards and shit too. So I respect it. He's a big fan, you know. As long as they're an actual fan and not just there for the clout, you know. I'll put you down as a reference. Just put your phone number in chat. Oh, yeah, sure, dude. Um, Fish and chips versus bangers and mash. Uh, that is a big question. Uh, bangers and mash, I think. I think bangers of mash. Take that. Like, well done, bangers and mash. Definitely. Over fish and chips. Fish and chips gets a bit shit. I mean, like Steve will do it in Nelk. They don't show up until the last three fights. Yeah, they don't. But at the same time, I appreciate what they do to the sport. Like, Taito Ivasa's popularity is somewhat to do with them. You know? I've, I have to say that. Sean O'Malley as well. A lot of fighters have a lot of thanking to do for Nelk, just giving him a bit more of a spotlight, you know? Like, I know they would have been big names anyway, and they would have won the fights anyway, but a part to do with the hype of the crowd and the amount of following that they have is a lot to do with Nelk. So I respect it. I don't respect that they literally lied about signing a fighter and then didn't do it. No one talks about that either. I'm one, I'm actually confused as to how no media members ever brought it up to Dana White, you know? Hey, Dana, you know when Nelk was supposed to sign a fighter like fucking five years ago, dude? How come they never did it? Not at all. They never did it once. Do you eat porridge? I used to have porridge a bit, but not really anymore. I like porridge, though. Porridge is nice. I actually could see Leto doing a good Ask McGregor in a movie. Give him a year or so, and I bet he could do a stellar performance after studying McGregor. No, he'd be too flamboyant with it. No, I don't think so. Who could be McGregor in a film? <sighs> McGregor's kind of a hard guy to replicate, you know? I don't know. Vikings guy, yeah, the fucking, um, the guy from Split. Oh, him? 
James McAvoy. No, he looks a bit soyish. But the Vikings guy, I could see that maybe. Bale, no. The Viking guy. Yeah. The Australian guy. Charlie Hunnam. No, he's such a shit actor. No, he like... I'm not trying to start rumors. So obviously I am. You know that every time I start a sentence like that. But he got fucked in the ass by like Guy Ritchie and stuff to be in the films that he's in. Because he's terrible acting. So he definitely got pegged by some people to get the films that he did. Yes, Ragnar, Travis Fimmel, that guy maybe, yeah. He could pull it off. Leo DiCaprio, no, too old. Jason Bateman, the character in American Psycho. Okay. <laughs> Jonah Hill. <laughs> Jonah Hill. <laughs> Jonah Hill. Nice. <laughs> Jonah Hill as Jonah Hill starring as Conor McGregor this week this summer don't miss out this summer as Jonah Hill is like you've never seen him before you and McGregor ain't a bad pick that's what I said earlier on but he's too old but he looks a lot like him I think they're related that's what I said earlier Kevin Spacey, and he just fucking molests everyone rather than fighting them. James Franco, no. Not James Franco. Please don't comment of Jonah's body. <sighs> you did it. I didn't even say anything about Jonah's body. Fuck's sake. Why would you do that? Better days, that's not me. Idris Elba, yeah. Jack Shaw on Thick Boy right now. Oh, he was on it ages ago. Okay, I understand that. There you go. I was like, wow, that's a weird pick. But he actually was on an episode with uh, of King and the Sting ages ago. Jack Shaw on Thick Boy. Next, we've guessed Jack Shaw. Oh, but it's like... Oh, no, it's like the knockoff, like no one gives a fuck about any of the people on the show kind of one. I mean, respect for getting himself out there, but no one's watching this one. Oh, no, he probably thought, oh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to get on with Brendan Shaw and Brian Callan. And then... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No one cares about any of these people. Thank you for the five pounds. I appreciate your five pounds. Vault Ted Bounty. I have a short Saturday gift soon. Big up yourself, Guru. Thank you for the five pounds, dude. Vault Ted Bounty. I appreciate you so much, dude. Thank you for the five pounds, my man. Thank you. What, for myself? You have a gift coming? Okay, I'll stay, I'll stay live for a bit longer. I mean, I'm going to anyway. So, thanks, dude. Oh. <sighs> Zombie versus Alex, who do you think wins? Obviously Volkanovski, but it's just like, how does he do it? I'm trying to jinx it so Korean Zombie wins, because it would be kind of cool to see him get a title. But uh, I think Volk TKOs him round four, something like that. Like he makes a point to do it as well. You know Volk's in his feels about never finishing a fight. Every single promo, he says, I'm looking for the finish. <laughs> okay, dude, you're not getting it. Let's be real. And also after he didn't get the finish against Ortega when he arguably should have done, that, that that's pissing him off as well, you can see. So I think Volk, once hurting Korean zombie in like the fourth, makes a point to finish him and then puts him away. He doesn't even finish a piece of cake. <laughs> you got him, B. Johnson. How will he ever recover from that absolute sting? What a burn. Booba, hubbity booba. Feel the burn, baby. You just got stung. You know what I'm saying? B. Johnson just fucking stung him. Mmm. You know? Volk hasn't gotten a finish since his war with Mendez. True. VB. Long neck. Was Don Fry the least soy fighter? You are the least soy fighter. 
Goodbye. Do 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 do. The Count is an OP fighter nickname. That's a good one, yeah, because that the headline that they did in the UK when he won tough was um uh down for out out for the count or something like that. Down for the count, something like that. There was like a play on words with it. The count is actually a good one, yeah. I don't know why he called himself that, but that is a pretty cool nickname, to be fair. Respect where it's due. Where it's due, where it's due. Scusi is Polish. Of course, I forgot, my friend. Do not shame me for forgetting this valuable information, my friend. I'm so sorry. Thank you for reminding me of my misfortune in mistake, you know. He's a Jew, he's a Jew, he's a motherfucking Jew. Jew, 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 motherfucking Jew. Jew, Jew. Easily confused with the cunt bisping, indeed. Once he lost his O in America, they should have removed the fucking O from his nickname as well. Bet365. Colby should roll around in a wheelchair and rock a neck brace. <laughs> yeah. Just a full body cast. He just gets wheeled into his next press conference. <laughs> he should meme it. Dude, that'd be funny. I don't know why people don't like him. He's very funny. I like I like Covington. I agree at first it was a bit cringe, some of the stuff, but I, no one else does anything in MMA. I don't know why there's like an urge to make like make fighters boring again. Like there's like a push for it almost nowadays. It's so strange. No personality allowed. It's Khabib era. It's so fucking annoying. It's like they love the lack of personality. Oh, he's just so boring. I love him. You know, like, God, can we have some fun? There's not even pressed charges. He hasn't pressed charges yet, but the headlines dictate that he has. And it's strange that that's the headlines. But there you go, I guess. Colby has all the white guys behind him in America and Australia. Nah, not all of them. California exists, you know what I mean? You're so dumb. Okay. Tom Segura's wife actually took advice from fresh and fit dudes and is like, I need to change for my husband. Like open relationship and spice and stuff up for him. He was like, thank God during the pod. Jesus, I saw Andrew Tate on your mum's house podcast. But she's probably just joking. Make it a bit less awkward, you know. Thank you for the two dollars, Hank Hill. I appreciate your two dollars. Rolly is in the Colby is the Colby in boxing. He'll KO tank soon. Rolly. Rolando Sanchez. Rolly. Tiafimo Lopez. Which one's Rolly? His, his name's not Rolly, is it? Like it, It's a nickname for him. Thank you for the $2. Rolly Romero. That's it. You're not Rolly? Mm -hmm. Rolly Romero. Okay. He meant Rolly. You're not Rolly? Mm -hmm. Rolando Romero. Yeah, I knew it was Rolando. 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 If Aljo wins, will Yan be denied a trilogy since he would be 0-2? Oh, yeesh, that'd be a terrible thing. Sorry, guys, the score has been settled. You know, I'm the better fighter. I'm better than Yan, everyone. It's clear, you know. There's no need for another fight, goddammit. We know who's the best. God, that'd be so annoying listening to all of the analysts like... This really settled the score if, like, Aljo spinning back fists him in, like, the fourth round after losing. Jan's a favorite, but I hope Aljo wins. You are an anarchist, good sir. I think that's what I can diagnose you as. Capiche? R Rolando. Rolando. Rolando, Rolando. But we said Moreno was the better fighter. Look, 
true. <clears throat> Aljo should illegal knee him. Mm, true. And then it will go, oh, no. And after, like, winning the whole fight as well. Roll. Hamzat for champ. What is your thoughts? I believe he will be a champion. He's too big. He's a weight bully, bitch. Let's call it what it is. You know, he is a weight bully pussy. But, you know, it's sometimes okay to be a weight bully pussy sometimes. You know, like, I'm not shaming him for it, the weight bully pussy. But sometimes you just have to be, like, 10 pounds bigger than all of your opponents uh, to show your skill difference off. You know? It's just one of them things, I guess. Aljo rocks Yan with a fluke shot and then takes his back and subs him. Okay, here we go. Here we go with his Hail Mary things that he doesn't want. I don't want to happen, picks. We were here and new. UFC 273. Yeah, Yan will be and new, right? Oh, that's where it is. I always lose these fucking things. I just found it. This thing. You know those on the jogging bottoms? It's fucking come out because I didn't have this thing. To go on the end. Rolando. Drink water, please. I actually have been drinking more water recently. Aljo rocks Yam with a fluke shot and then takes his back and subs him. Okay, good we get it, dude. Why did Masvidal hang him with Ron DeSantis on TV? Because, like, he's anti-pedophile, I think. I know it's controversial nowadays, but I think he's, like, not, like, uh, open for, like, child grooming, I think. You know? I think, like, he's a fan of schools teaching kids, like, academic stuff. I know it sounds crazy, but I think that's what it is. <sighs> Lakers are officially eliminated from the playoffs. Oh, my fucking God. You joking me? Are you joking me right now? Don't be joking me. The Lakers? Oh, my God. That's quality. Um, Masvidal's going down a bad path. He is going down a bad path, to be fair. And Ignacio, Ignacio, is Jones going to retire? He doesn't have long. He doesn't have long. Um, I don't think he retires. I think he'll make one more comeback. Uh. Yes, Aljo shredded. He's always shredded. Yo, did you see that pro MMA fighter's Instagram? Dude, he's in shape. Like, yeah, they all are, dude. It's like every fucking three months we get a McGregor fucking social media storm. He's jacked. He's the same as he looked three months ago. He's looking jacked. Like, yeah, he's a fucking athlete. Like, like you know what I mean? McGregor's looking swole right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He's in shape. Like, that's how it goes, typically. He's huge. He's 5'8", you know? Like, McGregor's huge right now. <laughs> he's 5'8", 170 pounds. Like, he's not, he's not huge in any way. McGregor's a monster. He's 5'8", dude. Jones can't fuck with heavyweights, yeah. That's what happens if you don't do nearly deadly weight cuts every few months. Yeah, you bulk up a bit, you know. What's the chance TKZ pulls off a bisping? Ooh, I don't know. It could happen because of the situation. Like, he's got a sting in his shots. He does very good against short opponents, typically, because of all, all of his shots are from the hip. Um, but uh, I just don't think he pulls off a bisping here. He's five, four and a half, at least. You just stand up because we can barely see you on the screen, yeah. Masvidal going for the flying knee against Colby was so predictable. It was embarrassing to watch it fail. Yeah. And the crowd go, there it is. There's the knee. Oh, you know, like he hasn't done that every fight he's ever had, but failed it other than the Askren one. 
He did the same thing against Usman as well, and the crowd went, oh, dude, MMA is so funny. I love MMA as a sport, man. New tattoo, fucking awful, man. Fucking awful. Oh, it's the knee that landed once his entire career, and he's thrown it every fight. Wow. Crazy. He does that to everyone, right? I feel for Drickus, man. Dude takes a step up in competition and is left without a fight while Fluffy's still on the card. True, they should just shift that fucking opponent of Fluffy's off and just put that fight back together. What do you think of the age of consent being 14 in so many countries like Austria? Austria? Like, let's go to Asia, it's younger. Africa, it's younger. In certain parts of Africa, it's just if you're married to them and there's no age limit. Let's not call out Austria here of all countries, you soy boy. But still, it's fucking disgraceful, really. Let's be real. In today's day and age, it should be like done with secondary education at least. 16. uh, Like that's a minimum. Like 17, 16 minimum. For those countries, like ideally you'd want it at 18, but I understand like it's hard to just fucking jump it four years up like that. But like let's work it up for now to like 16, 17 at least. Impression of Jan just randomly finding a dude hanging in the woods when he was alone by himself with no one watching far away from any human. I know, dude. I know. Oh, a dude hanging in the woods. Oh, wow. Interesting. I know. Dude, I'm telling you, he hung that man. So just be 18. You can't just jump it that wildly because there's like already existing relationships that you're just going to have to fucking terminate immediately, you know? So you got to like slowly work it up, like like push it up a bit over time. But I'd say like 18 is cool. Or just done with like education in general. <clears throat> like if you're working a job, you should probably be able to get fucked out, you know? Well, actually, no, that's different because you can have like a job as a very young kid. But I don't know. If you're working nine to five to make a living, you should get your fucking punani wrecked a bit. So let's make that limit like 18 and then we should be able to do it. You can't like be in schooling while there's a guy out there who's like 25 who has millions and he just has that much fucking social status over you and he can use it to his advantage. You know, that almost shouldn't be allowed. Had a job at 13. No, I had a job at like 10. So yeah, that's that's why I took took that back. What's the oldest you'd smash a woman and what's the oldest you'd date? Mm, it, uh, listen, man. It, the look of them is not what it is. It's the look of the Pinani, man. Uh, probably like 40 something. 40 something. I wouldn't go over 50, I don't think. In the 40s. Maybe when I'm 30, I'll say in the 50s, but right now, 40-some milf, 40-year-old, I would say. Virgin confirmed. Okay, no, you're right, dude. Pussy looks really good. It looks really good, guys. Looks so appetizing. God, it's just such a great design. Not like, Not like it looks like a fucking overflowing ham sandwich or anything. Anthony Hernandez versus Josh Fremd pick. I actually got Josh Fremd. I know he's very good. I watched him at LFA. I haven't, if you haven't watched him, he's good enough to beat Fluffy. I don't know though. I don't know if I'm going to pick him, but he's very good. You're right. But Anthony Hernandez is pretty good too. Like 4% of pussy looks good. Yeah. True. I'm actually like an advocate for like female genital mutilation. I'm joking. I'm joking massively, of course. Thank you for the one Australian dollars, Evan APW. I appreciate your one Australian dollars. Good, sir. Thank you. That was a joke, guys. That was a massive joke, of course. White girls over 50. White girls over 50 look like shit because they all tan. And they crinkle themselves up. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know why they do it. 
if you just embrace whiteness, then you'll age pretty well. These fucking women are cooking themselves fucking three hours a day in the summer. Why does my skin look old? I don't know. It's a mystery, of course. Don't tan as a white. Yeah, I know. It's literally like cultural appropriation in a way. Kind of like just fucking embrace your fucking paleness. You know, it's a good color. I think it looks cool. I'm happy with it. Sun is good for your skin. It is good for your skin. But like cooking yourselves in it, you, you get skin cancer. Like why do they do it? If you have to lather yourself in cream so you can lay in the sun for five hours, don't do it. You know? How about that? Like, hey, just don't do it, dude. Maybe. I don't know. Listen, I'm not an expert, but like, I think maybe that would put me off of it. Maybe. I don't know. Obviously, I'm just speaking crazy right now. <laughs> Women with Alties should be prosecuted. I don't know if I'd say prosecuted or anything like that. That sounds a bit legal for my liking. <laughs> little bit invasive and government control, but, you know, prosecuted. <laughs> they should be lynched, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how far we're going to go with that thought process there. What do you look like, Tan? I don't tan. I actually tan pretty well. Um, but no. I don't like the look. I think it's cool, but I don't know. It looks a bit weird. I think tan and ginger looks weird. And I've got a gingery beard in the sun. And I think if you're like tanned and you have a gingery beard, because when I'm in the sun, my hair gets more gingery as well. Show us baby pictures. I don't have any uh, baby pictures at all. On me, at least. And I don't want to show you baby pictures. That's fucking weird. No. But I used to be like full ginger as a baby, though. But I got cured by the priest. Came over. I'm not ginger now, but when I was a kid, I was full ginger. Like pure ginge, like ginger, like ginger, ginger, like full out. But it's now like I got cured. I guess I beat it. I guess I like battled through it like a trooper. So it eventually started to go. But I don't know. I haven't been in the sun for a while. So <laughs> if I was in the sun on my hair for a while, I guess maybe it would get a bit more gingery. But no, my hair is pretty dark now. I have a red beard. looks better when I tan a bit. Fair play. Maybe I'll try it out. But I just don't like laying in the sun. It's boring, you know? Like, why would I do that? Sunbeds, weird, annoying. Why would I do that? Fake tan, weird, annoying. Why would I do that? Like, there's just no benefit. <sighs> George Hardwick. I love George Hardwick. I'm big on George Hardwick. I really want him to do well. He's very good. Um, I don't know if he becomes anything greater than what he is. But I really hope he does because he's very marketable and uh, he's a very fun fight style. I like when he KOs people and says something in the camera afterwards. He always has something funny to say. Like he, he I remember he dropped a guy with a fucking body shot brutally. The guy's like, oh, and he's down, like crumpled up on the ground, seizing up. Get that man a pizza. I love it. I can't remember what he said in his last one when he KO'd the guy, but. I can't remember what you said, but it was also quite funny. <laughs> Only tan since I work outside. That makes sense. I get that. I used to have a friend that did a bit of a uh, roof stuff and he used to be really tanned. Would you let a girl eat your ass? No, that's a bit strange. No, I wouldn't be able to look at them the same way if I did. You know what I mean? Like, I saw a, uh, I think it's more on, like, I wouldn't want to degrade a girl in that way. Like, sure, it might feel nice, maybe. But I'm never going to ask a girl to do that. That's just a bit strange. Like, I saw a, I think a girl tried to expose a rapper for saying that, like, you you, you asked me to lick your ass, ha, 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 ha. And I'm sitting here thinking, you licked it? Like, what's the expose here? You know what I mean? You're the one who licked it. <laughs> like, ha, <laughs> ha. I licked your ass. Ah, you made me do it. Okay. You did it. 
Like, who are you exposing here? Thank you for the $5, C. I appreciate your $5. UFC 273 main card predictions. Um, oh, yeah, UFC, that sport that we're talking about. Or that promotion we're talking about, sorry. Um, I'm thinking right now, Volkan Chimeyev, Torres, and then we don't know what the extra fight on the main card's going to be, so we'll see. But that's what I'm thinking. Just a favorite spree on the main card, unless Tisha Torres is an underdog. But I think Torres wins. She might be evens or something, maybe a slight favorite. Yeah. There you go. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5. Have you seen the UFC post about Ian Gary with his acne all over his fires? Samford MMA is helping him out a bit, boys. Let's just, let's just, uh, you know, have a bit more of a stringent testing program for him. Dude has fucking acne all over his legs. Never seen it there before. Must be that, you know, Miami heat. We got to 30K kind of fast. You, you. <sighs> I just mean you don't scrub his legs enough. Who scrubs their legs? Like, how dirty are you? Are you scrubbing your legs? I was watching a video of uh, someone scalpeling off dead skin of their face. Oh, my God. I need this so bad. Like, I just need someone to scalpel my dead skin off. Like, how about you use cream, you freak? Like, Jesus Christ. Favorite rappers? Um, oh, They're all a bit shit. Uh, next question. None of them are really that good. I've gone back to like old school music more than new school music. New school music's pretty shit. I've made the the change. The revolution has begun, you know. KSI. He's actually so garbage at everything, but he has fans, so it doesn't matter. Oh my God. You lie, man. You lie, man. Amosov took the belt with him to war. Nice. Imagine he gets blown to smithereens and it's all because of the belt. Like they're, they're trying to be disguised in his fucking belts, glinting off the fucking sunlight into the enemy's eyes. Someone fucking noob tubing him from the other side of the map from Russia. Every slew eats these days, so maybe Guru's onto something about not kissing slutes. Mm. I mean, I never kissed a girl, though. I'm going to own that. You know? I am going to own that. And it's going to be a cool thing that I can say on my Hot 97 interview in, like, five years. Once I'm done, like, justifying being a white rapper, I'm going to, like, talk about how I've never kissed a girl, and it's going to be badass. Yeah, that's so badass, though. I'm owning it forever now. It's a weird flex, but it's so fucking badass. I'm fucking, I'm going to own it forever. That is so cool. I don't care what anyone says. That's so fucking badass, dude. If I can like get to the point where I'm racking up heavy amounts of bodies. That's so cool. Hamzat versus Habib on 1v1 Rust Quickscope. Um, shit. I mean, Hamzat's more westernized, so I just imagine he's better at COD. <laughs> vlogs from the shit at this exact camera angle. No, I'm going to be walking around in public, I think, is what we're going to do. About girls without kissing them? Yes. Never, never kiss a girl, yeah. I heard Iran versus USA's World Cup game is being played at Rust. Mm. I heard it was at Terminal. You know? I think Iran, like... They just like have a like increased damage bonus whenever there's like a plane involved. So that's where they chose the map to be, you know? That's what I'm hearing anyway. Like I don't mean to like point fingers or anything, you know? Ian Gary might lose. He might lose, yeah. He might lose. You're right, almost as much as Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> okay, 60 year old man. <laughs> 
Yeah, you got me, 60-year-old man. Wow, I'll never recover from that insult. <laughs> Sorry, like, if you're insulting... <laughs> you just really insult me on, like, uh, being, like, Rush Limbaugh. Like, how old are you, <laughs> dude? That's your insult. Fair play, you know, like, I guess. I don't know. A little strange of an insult, but fair play. You know, each to their, each to their own. A rush, a rush limbo themed joke. Interesting. Is the sun actually good for your skin? Vitamin D is good for your skin, but sunlight can be bad for your skin, especially if you're white. But black people need the sun. Well, they need vitamin D, so each to their own, you know. Ever dated anyone? Yeah, I've been on dates. Yeah. In my last years of schooling, I had a few dates. <sighs> but never kissed anyone. Only idiots think Rush is losing. Okay. Are the vlogs just going to be you convincing a homeless man that Garn won the Incarno fight? Yes, it is. Exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Mm, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> One hour, 18 minutes behind here. You only wash sheets once a month. Yeah. I only wash sheets once a month. That is not a bad thing. You cannot get me on that. Once a month is good nowadays. Like, don't be getting me like you're doing it once a week or something, you dumbass man. Once a month is good. Stank bed. No, like, if I'm stinking, I don't go to bed stinking. Once a month's okay. Don't get me like it's fucking exposed. Once a month, like, that's good. <clears throat> two weeks is good. Yeah, I don't have that time though. Like there's, I always leave change in my bed sheets once they're washed to, uh, I always leave it to like the last minute to do, you know, at least every two to three weeks. Oh, whatever. Fuck off. I'm smells like piss. No. When are you doing the every fight to make vid? Uh, soon, brother. Soon, brother. Soon, brother. Yes, brother. You're not this, brother. Soon. You're still live. What the fuck? I'm going. I'm staying live for another eight hours or so. Well, how many hours should I stay live for? Like ten, eight. What do you think? Give me some donos, boys. Let's keep it going. You know. Twenty. I don't know if I'll be able to handle twenty. But I've got to make up for the last few days, you know. If you're single, who the fuck cares if your sheets are washed regularly? True. Bro, what the fuck? You should be washing them shits like once a week. No one washes their sheets once a week. Do not come out with that absolute bullshit. How stinky are you guys? You must stink. If I stink... I shower before I go to bed. If I don't stink, I go to bed. I'm not going into bed after a workout, sweating it up and all that shit. Like, fuck that. Wash them every day, you feral. I'm feral. Okay. I shower before bed and bathe my sheets like once a month, yeah. I, I, I shower in the mornings typically, but... If I'm like, if I work out in the day and I've had an active, sweaty, exercise filled day, uh, I'd have a shower afterwards. Like when I used to work all, all day, nine to five fucking laboring, I used to shower when I got home, you know, I wouldn't go to bed after that shit. Never washed them. Then when the sheet is like cardboard, you, oh God, that reminds me of a family guy episode where he finds Chris's like shorts and they're like a board and he like shatters it. Uh, just told Luke Thomas that he hates on Colby and is a soy boy and he got super irritated. Dude, they're so irritated by it. That's great. I don't even wash my sheets. My mum does. Remember, I'm 12. Okay, fair play. I mean, my mum washes my sheets. I need to wash them. My mum does like all of them at once around the house, you know. Like, we put a towel down to fuck, but the sheets still get dirty. Okay. 
Deontay Wilder versus Izzy in MMA. Who wins? Uh, shit. I don't even mind Wilder's chances, I'll be honest with you. But probably Izzy. Izzy wins. Two more hours of stream. No, not just two hours. Like, who do you think I am? I wash him once a decade, okay. Who should step in to fight Gustafsson? And why do you think Arlovsky? Because Arlovsky is a great stepping opponent, like high-profile name, high-ranked name as well. Uh, ranking spot on the line, perhaps, you know. I think Arlovsky should already be ranked, arguably. Thank you for the £4.4. Four. I think I think Arlovsky beat Walt Harris and Augusto Sakai. Am I wrong? I think he did. Anyone else? Both of those fights? One of those fights? Let me know. I think he beat Walt Harris and Augusto Sakai. He should be ranked already. And he's putting together better win streaks than any other fucking heavyweight on a streak. Thank you for the £4.49, Conrad. Great name, by the way. Thank you for the £4.49, dude. Hey, Guru, started work at 5 a.m. I'll be listening until you stop streaming. Keep going, Juru. Thank you for the £4.49. That's what I'm talking about. The donos are going to keep me fueled throughout my stream. Thank you for the £4.49, dude. Iscarilla, Ciudad de Mexico. Thank you for the £4.49, man. I appreciate you. Good luck. Started work at 5 a.m. Oh, God, you're an absolute nonce, aren't you? I fucking hate your kind. Thank you for the £4.49, man. 5 a.m. starting work. Imagine. I literally did that today Um, at 4 a.m. Thank you for the £4.49. But the problem is you probably woke up early to start at 5 a.m. I'm up late, you know? That's the difference. Your mum's credit card details impression. Zero one zero zero one zero. Oh, fuck. Fucked up my right eye. Are there raccoons in the UK? No, that we have badgers and foxes instead. And skunks, I think. I think uh, raccoons seem a bit deadly, but they're only in some parts of America, right? But badgers are lethal little cunts, man. Lethal little cunts. Instead, we have those two. There are no raccoons in the UK. Shut up. Pretty widespread in the US, yeah. Like a mini bear, true. Like a mini bear, true. Raccoons aren't fighters, they're scavengers. Yeah, but if they gang up on you, you know, there could be some issues. They're a pack, you know. Do you have Mexicans in the UK? We got those all over America now. We have, I said this before, there's like no Mexican people in the UK. And why would there be? Like, it's cold as shit. I don't blame them. There are actually no... There's some... But there's barely any. Let's be real. There's barely like that's like the one demographic we don't really have in the UK. Like Latin people. Hispanic people. Uh Salsa people. Mustache people, you know. Uh thank you for the two dollars, Mason. Pork versus Guru. One round finish. First round finish. I don't get that. Never had a problem with that in my life. Honestly, I think maybe this is a hot take, but I think finishing early is an insult, not a compliment to a woman, I think. In my case, anyway. Like, if I finish early on a girl... It's like uh, I've took my opportunity, you know what I mean? Because I'm losing the bone, you know what I mean? But like, I don't, I've never had a problem with finishing early. Should you wear condoms? True. True point. <sighs> Last over five minutes. Over five, like over ten. Like on my first time, I was like eight, nine minutes.
like if I finish early, it's like if I finish after like five minutes, it's like, like but it's now or never, you know. She's not doing it for me, and like, this is the moment. Like I'm gonna have to like at least do this. There's a lot in Canada, and it's bloody colder here in the U than in the UK. Okay, fair play. The longest most to dudes can last without being drunk or whatever is like two to five minutes, to be honest. That's not my problem. Um, maybe I'm just a bit namage, you know what I mean? From years of expertise of masturbation, maybe. Remember the time where Guru said I might pick Walt Harris over Ty to Ivasa? Did not bad with the Greg Hardy start of the fight. Walt Harris can do that, but a bit better, you know? MMA be like that sometimes, yo. I need to sneeze. <coughs> I put it in pump once and I'm done. You've got to stop overthinking it. It's not that good. Your thought process of what it is is over. It's ruining it for you. It's not really that good. You just got to realize that, you know. Cruz, 32 years old. Why do you think he won't show his ID with the other things blurred out or something? Just show your birth date. I'm no, I'm j I genuinely am 23. I don't look 30 in it. No, that's not a lie. I'm not showing you my ID in any way on any birthday or anything. I'm not 32. I'm 23. Jesus. Um, Never had that problem either, bless. It takes skill to last over 20. That's just, you're just doing that to prove a point, though. That's pointless. Like, I ain't trying to do that much cardio, you know. Good middle ground, about 12 minutes, I'd say. 12 to 15. I can go for 40 minutes. You're a loser, dude. You know what I mean? You're a loser. Let's be real. You're a loser. Oh, 40 minutes, man. That's what I'm in there for. You know, that's just fucking dead. Like, let's move on with our day here. Show me your cock and balls and hide your taint. What's the big deal, man? I mean, it's not a similar situation. I just, I'm not going to show my ID. <clears throat> 40 years Colby. Oh, Colby on the, uh, I'm surprised uh, MMA Island and Full Violence didn't clip more of that Genghis Khan films. There's some golden Colby and Masvidal clips on that, man. I was watching it yesterday. Covington in bed. And he's like grabbing one of the pillows and he says, oh, I can't wait to get in a bitch on this. Eh, eh, eh. And he's like humping the bed. <laughs> it's so funny. Thank you for the $5, Mason. I appreciate you. Hamzat sleeps Usman. Pahaya sleeps Izzy. Glover sleeps Yuri. Mm. Fair play. Thank you for the $5, Mason. I appreciate you. Uh, Hamzat sleeps Usman. Pahaya sleeps Izzy. Glover sleeps Yuri. He sleeps in with a rear naked choke. Yeah. Like Yuri doesn't tap. He gets choked out. I'd imagine so. I think first round rear naked for Glover. Um, Pahaya sleeps is here. Maybe I could see that. Maybe I don't think it would happen though. I, I mean, not yet. If he likes sleep Strickland, I'll be coming around to the idea of it. Maybe, um, Hamzat sleeps Usman. I think that could happen. Yeah. Like the first matchup where Usman's worried about a takedown. Thank you for the $5 Mason. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $5 C. I lasted 76 minutes. My longest time cardio King. Good for you, dude. Thank you for the five dollars. C. I appreciate you. Thanks for the five dollars. That video is just Jorge and Colby looking for puss. I know that's what I want to do, my friend. I want to do that stuff though. Go to America for a UFC event, just record it in that fashion. I'm gonna to talk to him about it in a couple of days, or maybe just like today. That's a great idea. We've always wanted to do that kind of stuff, and I think it. I think we're a good friendship group to do it. If I could hook back up with them a bit, you know. Thank you for the five months of membership, dude. Love you, Guru. Who's your top three favorite fighters? Vicente Luque. Um, Piotr Jan. At this point, he's taken a bit of a front seat. Um. Yuri, no, 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 too soon. We don't know yet. Um, Paul Craig is like an unsung hero at this point, but I'm not going to go with him. 
Um, let's say Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley. To watch. You can't deny Sean O'Malley to watch. Peak entertainment. You can't get better than it. Vicente Luque, Jan or Dillashaw, and then Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley. Guru beatbox. <laughs> Thank you for the $20. I appreciate your $20, Chim Richards. Thank you. I've been off and on ganja for eight years now. I feel like I'm more addicted to the motion of smoking. Yeah, kind of similar. Um, but that's, yeah, let's get through your comment. I could, it could just be a closeted homosexual with an oral fixation. Either way, I'll stop smoking that will you, with you if you're down. I've already stopped a couple of days ago. I'm not doing it anymore. Thank you for the $20. I appreciate you, Chim Richards. But, um, it's not emotional smoking. I think it's because if you do it for so long, getting high is a mild headache. You give yourself a mild headache and it's good. Wow, it's so good. That's what it is. It's like a mild migraine. If you keep doing it every day, you give yourself a mild migraine. So it's the ritual of going out there, rolling it up. Like I'm so going to get the weeds, you know, going to roll it up and then smoking it like it's one of them things. But when you like give yourself time in between, you actually get high. Like I remember when I was younger and I was doing it like once every two weeks. Uh, and then I was, I was just on the floor like, oh, this is great, you know. But then when you're doing it every day, it's just like, yeah, this ain't nothing, you know. Once you build up that tolerance, it's like, fuck, it's ruined. <laughs> it just makes you not want to do anything. Just fucking mong out at something. Thank you for the $20, Chim Richards. I appreciate your $20, good sir. Thank you. Very much indeed. Thank you for the $5, C. Surprised Balal isn't in there? I mean, why are you surprised about that? I'm picking him against Luke K, but Luke K is still one of my favorite fighters. My favorite fighter. You know what I mean? Thank you for the $5, C. I like to go off of entertainment value fight to fight. Yan gives that every fight. Uh, O'Malley gives that every fight but not at a high enough level for me to say that he's at number one. Luke K gives that every fight of his entire career, win or lose, and he's done it for the past fucking decade. So I respect Luke K beyond belief. Thank you for the $5 C. I appreciate you. And thank you for the $20 Chim Richards as well. Facts, yo. You only stop getting high if you smoke mid. No, I don't stop. No, I don't smoke getting higher. I don't, I don't smoke getting high. I don't stop getting high. I just, the high deads down a bit and then it stops being as cool and it's not as worth it anymore. You know what I mean? Fact, Sally. Yeah, I've not got the fucking infused fucking Wagyu weed from California, okay? We're getting fucking Amsterdam rejects, fucking crushed up sand laced with a fucking dosage of LSD type of shit. You know what I mean? I'm not smoking seeds. Why are you up? Why am I up? Because I am up. You are up. America has the best weed of all time. Amsterdam weed was very different, yeah. For sure. Chandler brings it every time he does. And Gaethje as well. They're both up there. Poirier is up there as well. But I just hate Poirier's personality. I actually think Poirier is a cunt of a winner. Every, think about every time Poirier wins, he's a prick. And I hate him so much, man. No one calls him out for it, man. No one calls him out for it, but Poirier is a prick. He's a cunt. He is a pricky little cunt of a man. I fucking hate that little worm. Sorry. Not just the McGregor win. Like, McGregor snapped his leg, dude. Like, you're there fucking walking around. Fuck you, dude. It's so fucking annoying. Like, you just beat the fuck out of him. And then second of all, Dan Hook is like, yeah, let's shake it out. You know, we had our beef. We had our war. And Poirier's in his face like, yeah, you, you talked all that shit about me, huh? Like, rest it, man. You're taunting Hooker and shit. And even after the Max Holloway fight, even after the Max Holloway fight, Holloway's there like, hey, man, like trying to give him a handshake and stuff. And he's dancing around the ring like everything I've done in my life for this 
that's how you fucking fight. You know, like screaming, I want my fucking belt. Give me my fucking belt. Like walking around, like right next to Holloway. Like, dude, chill it a bit, man. And even backstage, you little cunt Poirier, dude. I can see it right through him. He's such a prick. This is why he does the charity stuff. Backstage, yeah. And I know he meant this as a little big himself up. He says, they were, Holloway gave his gloves to the Good Fight Foundation. And Poirier goes, you want to say thanks, thanks to him? Yeah, he's in there. He's, uh, he's busted up pretty bad. Oh, he's such... The way he says it, I'm not portraying it well enough. The way he fucking says it, man, is so fucking annoying. Uh, he, yeah, he's he's backstage getting stitched up. He's, uh, he's busted up pretty bad. Oh, the look he gives when he says it is so like, dude, fuck off, man. You annoying little worm. Thank you for the $5, C. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Thank you. Super Mario impression. Thank you for the $5, dude. What do you want from me, man? Thank you for the $5. That's all I got for you, man. Thank you. <clears throat> Yoshi, Yoshi one. Later, one. Thank you for the $2, Edgar Leon. You're putting in work. I salute you, good sir. I've been off for two days. Thank you for the $2, though, dude. I appreciate your $2, Edgar Leon. Thank you. One of the best Poirier rants in this channel's history. Dude, he's such a fucking cunt of a winner. It actually annoys me. And it's like... People justify it because... The opponents talked a bit of shit, but like they're not talking shit, man. They're just saying that they're going to beat him. I want him next. I think I'm going to beat him and knock him out. Oh, man, you went too far with a shit talk. Absolutely deserved. Like people really pick and choose who trash talkers are. If you say you're not a trash talker, the fans are like, he said it, guys. He's not a trash talker. It's just how it is. You know, it's so fucking annoying, man. Poirier's done it more than the fucking free impressions I've fucking given as well. But I can't remember when it when else he did it. I think he did it after the Bobby Green fight or something. Thank you for the $5, C. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Thank you. Wario impression. Why are you making me do this fucking gay shit, man? Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. Thank you for the two dollars, Mason. Chandler sleeps Poirier. At this point, maybe uh, I could see uh, Poirier getting a bit. What's its mush? I don't know. Thank you for the two dollars, Mason. I appreciate you. Poirier being a bit soft after he's made some good money, and then Chandler coming in a bit more hungry and getting him out of there. Why are you even doing his requests? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, lad. Davy Grant impression. I'm so elated to fight. You know, it's going to be a great fight. I'm so elated. I can't wait to fight, man. Yeah. I was kind of glad Hooker got his ass beat. I don't like Hooker, to be honest. He seems like a weasel. I don't know about weasel. He seems like a cool guy, Dan Hooker. I like him. I think he... Uh... I don't know. I like him a lot. I like Dan Hooker. He seems like a really cool guy. But I just hated that he was sitting there like a superstar at UFC London in the build-up. Just because no one knows Arnold Allen and he's sitting there like, a, you know, you know, like when the UFC calls, I come to town, you know, like I'm ready to bulk up a card about it, you know, like. Dude, you ain't fucking like some former champ, dude, you know? Like, he's well-known, I get it, and people like him and stuff, but he was he was acting like he was McGregor coming to town, you know? That was funny, though. It was, yeah, yeah. I like, I like Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker seems like the coolest guy to be around. Poirier is the most boring human ever. Mm. VB. But, you know, like, he talked a lot of shit to McGregor, and McGregor talked shit to him in the first fight. But McGregor, after the fight, like, I'm so sorry, Dustin. Like, handshake, you know, like, big respect and stuff. Like, 
respect you know you're a great fighter and stuff like it was all respect you know but poirier don't keep that energy when 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 there's a tense build up thank you for the five dollars c i appreciate your five dollars good sir thank you for the five dollars didn't he also shit talk eddie alvarez for something he was like shitting all over eddie alvarez or something or there was some kind of beef. I mean, there wasn't no contest, I understand. But they were nice to begin with, and then they started bickering with each other behind the scenes. Thank you for the $5, C. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Shadow the Hedgehog impression. I don't know, but it was a great game. I like that game, but I ain't going to do it. The Illegal Elbows. Oh, yeah, something like that, yeah. The Illegal Elbows. But they didn't even land. They didn't even land. They landed on his shoulder. They didn't even land on him. Thank you for the $5, C. I appreciate your five dollars, good sir. Thank you, very much indeed, good sir. Thank you. Wonder how his convos go with Joe Lee Lamal. She's probably like my hus is my hun husband retarded. He seems quite funny though in his element. Like when when he does like a podcast with Theo Von, he seems like he's in his element element and he's quite funny. But yeah, bit of a plain Jane, you know. Speaking of the Wario Dono earlier, anyone play that game WarioWare on the Wii back in the day? It was like a challenge game. You had to like go through the challenges of WarioWare and do like different. It was like a Dumb Ways to Die, the original. That was a great game back in the day. It was literally the original Dumb Ways to Die, if you know that other game. WarioWare hype. Great fucking game, dude. Then you pass it along to the next person and they have their next challenge and it speeds up. Smash the ants. Jump in time. Build up in speed. Ever play Worms? Who are you? Ever play Worms. Dude, that was my generation of gaming. That's when I was a kid, like a toddler. Worms. That was the shit. Worms. Boxhead. Lego Racers. Wacky Racers. The game. Come on. That was good shit. Balloons Tower Defense. Yeah, the original. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The scary maze game with the exorcist face that popped up at the end when that was like a new thing. The Sims one, you know, thank you for the five dollars. See, I appreciate you. Go, go, Goku or Vegeta going Super Saiyan impression. Um, no, thank you for the five dollars. Fuck yourself, you fucking prick. Thank you for the 11 months of membership. Hogs of War! Don't bring up Hogs of War. Exactly what I was going to go to next. Hogs of War. Time Splitters. Uh, time Crisis with the gun. And then you let let off the button and you'd like duck behind cover and then pop back out. That was a great game as well. That's some classic nostalgia right there. When I'm a millionaire, I'm going to have a room with all those types of games. Time Crisis. Anyone ever anyone ever go to one of those laser quest places and they had the arcade games while you were waiting for your game to start time crisis dude that was a really well made game back then thank you very much for the 11 months dude and thank you for the five dollars yeah I did play hogs of war that fucking racial propaganda game <laughs> dude they're lucky they didn't have a black pig or they would have fucking really stereotyped him. The, the Hogs of War game, yeah, would not make it today. The Asian pigs in in, in Hogs of War. Oh, how are you? Thank you for helping me. Fung. You know? And, and the UK pigs were all like, what, what, good, oh, good, sir. Jolly good. As they <coughs> hobbing through the little bits of water. <laughs> and then, like, you'd switch to the Asian team. Oh, how are you? Bing pong, king pong, bing. I'm like, okay, dude. This game needs to really chill out on these stereotypes, man. Oh, fuck of our match, you know? Every time. Did you play Cool Math Games? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Cool Math Games with, like, the, uh... Cool Math Games. With, like, uh... Fancy Pants Adventure. Learn to Fly. 
Um, there was another one on there as well, like the end game, which was quite like fancy pants adventure and shit. That, those kind of games. Thank you for the four months at Raft Wars. Yes. Well, you guys know about, I've already said about Raft Wars. Run. Yeah. We well, had to switch to dimensions. That was good. Thank you for the four months of membership. John Jones is cellmate. I appreciate you. Can we talk about how Usman's number one pound for pound when all his defenses are against people he has a 15 pound weight advantage on? Uh, he doesn't have a 15 pound weight advantage over Masvidal though. So that's a lie. But uh, Masvidal is quite a big welterweight to be honest. But Burns isn't a big welterweight and Covington's a lightweight essentially. But yeah, it is kind of sad at this point. But I guess that goes to show the competition levels. But here's my take. If John Jones is on the pound for pound list, he has to be number one. He has to be number one. If Jones is on it, he has to be number one. Has to be number one. But if he's not on it, take him off of it. If they're going to like reduce him for inactivity, remove him from the list. Fancy Pants 1 and 2 are both classics. That should be celebrated. Yeah, true. Rock Band with the fam was the best. Yeah, Rock Band was good. Yeah, that was cool. I was always on the drums. What is going on? We've been live for like three hours. So like naturally we're veering off of MMA topics. Why are you streaming now? Oh, I don't know. I'm come off weed, so I'm extra productive. Bin Weevils. Oh my God, Bin Weevils, dude. Me and my friends played that game, like, ironically, as, like, older teenagers and just used to joke around and just, like, abuse people. On, <laughs> just abuse fucking kids on the game in the chat. Like, does anyone have any more, any more Bin coins? Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch, and just see who can get an account banned quicker. <laughs> Bin Weevils, man. Bin Weevils. Commando 2, yep, that side-scrolling game, that was good, if that's the one you're talking about. <laughs> kill the boss, yeah, kill your boss, you had to find the little things to click, and it would, like, make something happen. They made, like, a, a sequel, like, Kill Your Wife or something like that. What, a vulgar game? Or that uh, Chainsaw Kid. I can't remember what it was called, but Chainsaw Kid. You had to go through the mission and like chainsaw people up and they were shooting. And then the last stand, the last stand with the zombies and you had like to move your guy like forwards and backwards on the screen and shoot them. And you could find survivors and give them guns and they would sit behind the barricade and shoot as well. That was cool. The last stand. That was a cool game. <sighs> Mario Kart 64. Yeah, all the Marios. Yeah, I'm just trying to find like some niche ones. Stick Arena. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Metal Slug, yeah. Or do you remember Flash Animations? I used to watch... There's a video on YouTube that I fell in love with as a kid. <laughs> it's called... Uh, Zhao Zhao, I think. Zhao Zhao Stick Fight. Zhao Zhao Free, 8.9 million views now. That I actually made animations of that. I wish I still had them on like a computer somewhere, but I don't. But me and my brother used to make great animations with that stuff. Or I'd sit there and he'd make them and I'd like give my two cents about what they should do next and stuff. Zhao Zhao with that stop animation stick figure stuff. Plants versus zombies. Yeah, it's too mainstream, bro. But yeah, plants versus zombies. Play Red Bull on Call Math Games. Yes, Red Bull. Yes, Red Bull. I remember that game, yeah. Pretty basic concept, but yes, I remember. Leon is being underestimated. He is as big as Usman and his wrestling is way better. Yeah, he's definitely got a solid chance of winning for sure. I'm considering a pick on him if he's like a massive underdog. I think that might be a 50-50 fight, but I could just... Leon's chin is so fucking bad. I could so easily see him destroying Usman. Like, oh my God, we're going to have a new... Oh, he's out cold. You know? Like, I could see that happening. Like, oh, and Edwards is actually cruising his way to a world championship for the first time. Oh, he's out cold, everyone. Uh, Usman swung a retarded shot, and now everyone's going to talk about how good his boxing is, despite him missing for the past fucking five rounds.
Zoo Tycoon. No, 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 no. There was like a dinosaur zoo game. <laughs> that was quite good. Age of War. That's a good game, yeah, with the uh, you start in the um prehistoric age and move on. I don't know how I noticed Dustin on the pod would just listen to a joke and then respond with his little smile face. He's staring into the distance and then responds 10 seconds too late with some kind of story. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I know. Me and my buddies were actually uh, talking about that once. Uh, what we would do. And uh, I kind of want to open up a restaurant, you know? You know, sometimes I'm just driving and I'm like, man, who the fuck am I? Yeah. Very, very strange. Drinking melted Ben and Jerry's. Yes, I am. Italian. No, I'm not Italian. Why is Gastelum and uh, Drickus de Plessis not fighting each other? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You sound so jealous of poor Yay and his wife's massive fake tits. Okay, you got it. The fake smile thing he does has me dead. <clears throat> Internet historian. I don't know who that is. Do they have paintball in the UK? Yes, we're a first world country. Do they have paintballing in the UK? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, I did not play Tarok. Do they have paintballing? Yeah, we have toothpaste as well. Happy Wheels. Mm. Yes, that was a great game. UK don't have paintball, they have excrement ball. I remember being bullied at paintball as a kid a couple of times. Like just fucking pet, like shooting shots into my spine. You know? Some guy just fucking holding me hostage, just just fucking blasting fucking cold, frozen winter paintballs into the, my fucking spine. Thank you for the $5, J Trooper. I appreciate you. Can Tony weather the early storm from Chandler and get a finish late? Or is a free round, a free rounder of much of a mess up from Tony's gray day management? Uh, I don't know. Thank you for the $5. Uh, he can weather the early storm and get a finish later on. I think he definitely can. I just don't think he can invest as much as Gagey did on uh, Chandler, like with the leg kicks and stuff like that. Like, I think Tony's going to be head hunting. He'll try his front kicks to the body, but Chandler moves around very well. Um, he circles his opponents very well, so that's going to be a problem for him to land those front kicks to the body. Um, I just see Chandler smacking him up in the first round, unfortunately. Thank you for the $5, Jay Trooper. I appreciate your $5. It's a massive mess up from his uh, management, but yeah. I don't see it being as high a pace as the Gaethje fight where they both take shots in the first and they both take leg kicks in the first because if you think about it in a Gaethje fight, both their legs were dead within a round. Actually, Chandler destroyed Gaethje's legs early on as well. I just don't see Ferguson surviving that. I think Chandler's going to chew up his calves and just launch nukes at him in the first round and finish him. But, you know, it could work. The old Lord of the Rings game on PS2 was so dope. They were great, yeah. Yes, they were great. They were amazing. They were really good games, to be fair. Mr. Frodo! We promised I weren't dropping no Eve, sure. Favorite Lord of the Rings movie? Uh, probably The Two Towers. Yeah, Return of the King was good, but probably The Two Towers was, was cool. Return of the King was good, but the ending was shit, I think. The, the ending of Lord of the Rings was just shit. I hated the ending. I mean, the scene where they drop the ring in the fire of Mount Doom and he like clings on and they save him. That's a good moment. But the end battle scene is just dumb. I think it's just stupid. And uh, the whole scene after the end where they, where he's in the bed and all of the people run in, that's just some cringy shit. Fellowship of the Ring had the best ending out of any of the films. I think. With Boromir dying. 
John Jones tweet. Okay. Do you think Volk can get a TKO? I do believe Volk can get a TKO, yes. Twitter. John Jones Twitter. Um, you having fun, champ? Absolutely, my guy. You've been offered a fight yet? Nope, but my plan is to be in peak condition come June slash July. There you go. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, very cool. Steve Pay, Steve Pay, Steve Pay. August pay per view. McGregor Masvidal main event. Jones Stipe co main event. Take my money, you whore. What's your favorite accent to do impressions of? Fucking Scouse, mate. It's great. A scouse. I'm fucking fam. Let's fight. I'm fucking fam, mate. I mean, backpack. Because Scouse is like funny for UK people. I know Americans find it funny, but UK people, if you can do a good Scouse accent, it's quite funny. Edward's impression? Um, I don't know. Well, well, that's no unfortunate. That's no unfortunate. I believe I deserve to fight for the title. What did you think of the new Halo show? I didn't see it. I haven't played the new Halo game. Me and my friend got to like high on. If you know the, if you know Halo Five, you'll know this. Me and my friend got to like high level Onyx for a moment when we were playing it. Like a couple years after finishing education, high level Onyx was achieved, but we never went further than that. We're actually thinking about like, hey, maybe we could go pro here. We're actually very good at the game. That's the one game I've been like exceedingly good at. If you know Halo 5. Doom Eternal, no. I feel like if Tony gets knocked out, it's going to be like he's grabbed. He's grabbing air as his fucking eyebrows roll back in his skull, similar to Barboza against Justin. Yeah, it's going to be a real bad KO if, if Ferguson gets KO'd. He's not just going to go down, like, crumple up in the corner, you know? It's going to be like a... Rolling around in his head. <sighs> Yuri's striking looks so ineffective, but it works somehow. True. I noticed he moves his head very well, but his strikes are so odd. I don't know how he offed Reyes with the weird combo before landing. Yes, it's, it's just because they, he's so, if, if Yuri wasn't a built-in savage underneath his striking, he would not be effective. But it's just the savageness of him. Like, that's what makes his striking so good because people hit him in the face. Like, Reyes was hitting him with KO blows. And his face showed no damage at all. And Reyes is probably there, even like given as good as he gets in the fight, feeling his orbital shattered, his nose broken, his lips swollen up. Like everything's fucking damaged about him. He's swollen. His face is probably like ringing in his ears and shit. And like Yiri, if you look at, look at Yiri's face after that fight, Yuri Prohaska Octagon interview. Look at his fucking face after the fucking Reyes fight. How does that make any sense? That was 11 months ago, man. They really ruined light heavyweight by make, by giving him a title fight. It should have been him versus Rakic, the March, March main event. And then there should have been a title fight afterwards. Fucking Glover being champ deaded everything, man. Really did. If Jan was champ, he would have had another fight. Either had or booked for the next, for this month, April coming up. Beards make damage less visible, new MMA tactic. But I'm talking about his eyes, his nose. His nose isn't even broken after the Reyes fight. That's fucking insane. His eyes have no swelling. There's one red mark on his forehead there, and that's it. And it's not even like swelling. He looks fresh. Like he barely fought anyone. And I can only imagine how scary that must be when you're giving a guy all you can, you know? Bam, bam, bam. Mr. Hand Sanitizer Boy. 
Thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate you, Mister Fucking Hand Sanitizer Boy. Guys, ah, oh, someone in the chat's gonna fucking hate this. Paddy the Pimlet's last vlog that he did. He's so he's such a good personality in MMA. I hate that people don't like him. I really hate that social media don't like him because he's confident and white. But it's like his last vlog on YouTube. He's like farting up the room while he's hitting pads. He's some fat shit. It's so fun, man. This is what you need in the sport. It's got 258,000 views in 18 in 18 hours. 258,000 views in 18 hours. 258,000. He also only really gains weight to his face, which is why he looks so fat. His chest doesn't really gain any weight, you know. Oh, fuck it. It's a great vlog, man. He's just there in his training room letting out fucking dirty farts while he's hitting pads and shit. Dirty farts as well. Not like a little, like a pro proper, <laughs> like letting them, letting them rip in the training room. So groundbreaking. It's, it's not groundbreaking. No other fighter has anything near that. So you've got to like appreciate the little personality that someone might give. Is it hilarious compared to like the most hilarious person you know? No, it's not. But no other fighter gives any personality, but like a select few of them. Farts are so funny. They are. They are funny. I like farts. It's funny. Farts are funny. You guys acting like farts aren't, farts aren't funny. Farts are funny. What's Tony's way of winning against Chandler? Yeah. This is what MMA needs. Like, Tui Vasa. Have you seen Tui Vasa's Instagram recently? It's the second to last post. This is what you need in MMA. Bam, bam, Tui Vasa. His second, his third to last post, sorry. Piss the bed again. He's drunk. Piss the fucking bed again, eh? Everybody pisses the bench once or twice, you know? Fucking Panthers. He's drunk out of his mind. It's so fucking good. <laughs> There's piss all over his bed. <laughs> he could be champ and I fucking love it, man. Funny doesn't become champ. I don't need them to. Just let them fucking have their little burst of little bit of fame. <laughs> his laugh. That's what I was laughing at as well when he opens his mouth. <laughs> He's just pissed the bed. <laughs> just drenched the bed in his piss. I pissed the bed again, lads. Everybody pisses the bed, eh? Sometimes it happens, eh? Let's go to Puffy Panthers. <laughs> so fucking good, man. How do you see the Chandler versus Ferguson presser going, being that Tony's now lost three in a row and Chandler's lost a bunch now also? Um, our backs are against the wall, and this is where true champions are shown, you know? And then uh, Tony's going to bring up Dana White privilege again. I'm going to beat the Dana White privilege out of you, though, and you know it. Some bullshit like that, you know? Some dumb fucking degenerate brain dead shit. You feel me? I hope you feel me, because I'm starting to think that you don't. It's concerning. It really is concerning. I don't want to feel you, weirdo. How dare you? How dare you, you absolute muppet? Hmm. How now, brown cow? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Shut the fuck up about members. I'm doing a fucking 10 hour stream. Shut the fuck up about members right now. Fucking hell, man. Members? No, I'm doing like an eight hour stream. Chill out. Everyone pisses a bit before SJA, FDA. Every MMA champion has to be mute and translated and bow to everything and are a church mice who has to be translated true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. We need to complain about no personality. And then whenever personality comes, we have to hate on it completely and not want it as a part of the sport whatsoever. You're, you've got a point here. Now we're making sense. Here we go again. And I have to re-explain why Paddy's whack and corny. When will this get to you, bro? Take away your UK bias. Is he really that special? Nah. Yes. For an MMA fighter, he is. Because none of them have any personality. Let's be real. None of them have any personality. So for an MMA fighter, yes, he is special. For a regular person, he'd probably get annoying after about 10 minutes of hanging around him. But for an MMA fighter... It's something. So I'm happy about it. Fucking hell, man. Uh, the actual hatred is does, its absolutely bizarre to me. Now I have to break down the psychology of why it's not funny. And he's not funny. And he's not funny. Okay, we get it, dude. Sorry, he's not funny. How many times do I have to break it down to you? He's not funny. Connor's personality and charisma. Paddy, nah, fart noise. It's funny. He's farting in the gym. He's making jokes. He calls people nonces. That's already a good... He's in my good books already. He uses the word nonce as an insult. He said, if you have, like, mustard on your burger, you're a fucking nonce in the MMA on point video. That's funny. Nonce as an insult is always good. I've been on Elden Ring this entire stream. I've been playing the same game of Risk. I'm dominating. Paddy's mates with True Geordie, he has been on his fight companions a few times, he has. <sighs> Shout out to two litre. This isn't a two litre bottle. 1.5. Imagine at one point all we have are champs that don't speak English and are cardboard boxes. I know. Fucking, that's what we want. Right, guys? 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 I'm Luke Farnas. Okay. You should be able to switch to camera angle and UFC fight pass. That'd be cool. Yeah, if they like set up like a free tier camera system that you could switch between, that would actually be really cool. I mean, it'd be pretty invasive onto the... Uh, you know, behind the scenes part of the the the, uh, the studio part of the sport, but uh, I mean they should do that. Yeah, maybe they should. Hey, hey. enemy spy plane and bow. Mm hmm. Enemy spy plane and bow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guru. I'm in Sydney today, me lords. Don't call me that, you fucking spaz. Uh. Or I'll ransack your ovaries. Ali Abdelaziz fighters shouldn't be exempt from our Ariel Hawani interviews. Huge disadvantage. I mean, Ariel Hawani acts like he's some big boss in the sports world, dude. They don't get any views, his interviews. Why would you want to go on Ariel Hawani's show? He gets no fucking views. He's a dead channel. Let's be real. He's just assumed to be a big name, so therefore he is considered a big name. How many views did they get? Like, if Kai Kara France went on Pat McAfee's show, it would get a lot of views. You know? 26,000 views on Ariel Hawani's show he got. If Kai Kara France went on Pat McAfee's show, it would get about 300,000 views. 200, no, probably 200,000 views. Morning streams of coffee. I don't drink coffee. I'm not a nonce. Do Aldo and Aljo beat Marais in a rematch? Uh, yeah, but Aldo had the uh, initial move down in weight, which never works. So he lost to Marais the first time. Even though people can't accept that because they like Aldo, Marais did beat him the first time pretty fucking clearly. I don't know. This is another thing with like the Holloway Volk 2 fight. They just can't take it. Free cane toast. Okay. Guru drinks tea. He ain't no nonce. I don't even drink tea. Uh, I was at I was at work on a lunch break, laboring, and everyone around me was drinking tea, and all their teeth was stained as fuck. So I went online when I got home, and I said, "Does tea stain your teeth?" And it did. 
So I never drank it anymore. But I used to like a cup of tea. It was nice. But it just stains your teeth, like purely stains your teeth. That's why people think British people have bad teeth. They're not bad teeth in terms of health. Just the coloring of them is bad because... People drink a bunch of fucking tea, mostly from the cigarettes. Cigarettes as well do the same thing, but like tea massively stains them. Thank you for the $2 real MMA casual. Cannot stomach Ariel, Luke Thomas, Shaw, Bisping. Well, you are here in the right place, good sir. Here we sacrilege all of them and hate all of them with a passion. We will burn them to the ground. Burn them. Burn them all. Bro, you think Volk can get a TKO? Yeah, mate, I think he can. I think he's going to search for it, mate. If he sees Korean zombie slowing down, mate, he won't play it safe. He'll go for it, mate. He'll fucking finish him off. Sam Alvey's caller in. Shut the fuck up immediately. Sam Alvey is hiding something and he's probably killed many times. Do not give me that Sam Alvey's got star power bullshit. I will not tolerate that absolute fucking garbage coming out of your mouth. Jesus Christ. Sam Alvey. <sighs> yeah, sure, man. It's great. We get it, dude. You're a good guy. Keep convincing us, dude. You serial killer. You absolute serial killing nonce. Are you a fuck? Are you a shut up? I would have fuck up. Are you? Are you a shut up? I would have shut up. Um, only nonces drink coffee. I don't know. Why have teeth when you can have veneers like every fire? I don't know why people go for... I mean, people have bad teeth, so they go for veneers. Tom Aspinall's going to get veneers, and I know why, because his teeth are fucking horrific. I don't need veneers. Ching. Ching. So I pride myself on my teeth. I used to brush them three times a day before I realized it was bad for your gums. How tired are you? Not tired at all, actually. I'm pretty good right now. You live this late? Late? I've just got on. It's the morning. This is, this is what time I start my day. I'm like Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I loved that Mark Wahlberg craze was fucking so funny because it's such bullshit. He's clearly on like roids. He posted his schedule and I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, you have fucking kids, you know, <laughs> you have many kids. What's going on here, dude? Time is of the essence. 6 p.m. Eat one celery bar. You know what I mean? Dude, you have many kids. What, what's going on in your life, dude? You do not keep that schedule. People think The Rock is natty. Oh, my God, dude. The Rock, I bet you The Rock works out two hours a day. I bet you he does. He does an hour in the morning and he does like an hour in the evening, I reckon. It's like, it's like, honestly, I don't understand. If you've got like decent genetics, it's not hard to get ripped. <clears throat> Wahlberg used to assault minority. Based. No, I don't know. Um, is there a prediction of it after this? No. Uh, I've legit had people tell me Arnold was natty when he won Mr. Olympia. Oh, my God. Shows how dumb people are. It's so fucking retarded, dude. It's actually a miracle Arnold Schwarzenegger is alive. Let's be real. It's a miracle that man is still alive today. And I'm honestly... Fuck, I don't even want to risk saying this because it's kind of sad. But I reckon he'll go in the next couple of years. I think that's the next big celebrity to go. I think he's, it's coming up for him. Sadly, I like Arnold... Well, I don't like him because he said, Fuck your freedom. Fuck your freedom, American. Fuck your freedom and all that shit. But um, I think he'll go next. He'll drop next. Or him or like Tom Hanks' supply of like baby spinal fluid or fluid will run out or something, you know? What if Burns guillotines Chemayev? I don't know. I don't know. Rip Zizbra forever, Myron. Oh, my God. That... Makes me cringe. Sorry. I respect Ziz, but I had a friend who is... 
he spoke in that language that you're speaking in right now. And it used to really piss me off. Really piss me off. Like I, and I respected like the gym stuff, but my friend would speak in a language like that. It's not even like he would like mention the stuff like that. You Myron, bro. He would say that about everything. Just Myron. He did this once. Do I have a can of, oh my God, I have a can of Marinda here. Oh my God. He did this once. This was actually quite funny from him. He did this with a bicep next to this. And he went, hey, bro. Hey, look at me, bro. And I looked at him and he went, hey, you Myron Gaines." He actually did that shit. Marinda, the drink. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You Myron Gaines." So fucking sad. It makes me chuckle now, but it was so fucking annoying. <laughs> so fucking annoying. Myron Gaines, man. I couldn't. I fucking hated that shit so much. That stupid Ziz shit. <laughs> Is Marinda good? It's it's good. I like Marinda, yeah. <clears throat> it was so sad seeing Ronnie Coleman give his expectance speech about being one of the goats of bodybuilding. He was sobbing, crying about his mum not being alive because she took she cooked all his meals. It was super sad. That is kind of sad to be fair. Yeah. Sad for him. Very unfortunate. It is sad. Like, uh, I don't know. Ronnie Coleman's cool. He seems cool. I did not like, I had a bad impression of him after a Joe Rogan episode once because he was clearly chatting shit about his body fat percentage or something like that. But he seems cool. Respect, you know. Takes a lot of hard work. Even People don't realize even with roids, to reach the level that these guys reach with bodybuilding is fucking ridiculous. So I respect it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. do you think any UFC fighter has secretly committed murder? My money's on Hamza. Well, like, uh, yeah, maybe. I could see that, maybe, yeah. So call me, maybe. Ed Herman, okay. Christian Leroy Duncan tonight. True, tonight. Tonight. His name. Like he was up on the podium next to Arnold talking about his mum cooking his meals for bodybuilding and how she couldn't be there to see him win his titles. He was legit sobbing. Fans were cheering. Yeah. That's sad. Minus 3% body fat. He said point something body fat percentage. And he's just like, okay, dude. Point 0.8, I think he said. I was like 0.8% body fat. Oh, oh, you were dead? You were literally decomposing, dude? Oh, wow, that's crazy. Thoughts on Berlinson looked fucking amazing. Tough fucking opponent he took on as well, so I respect it massively. He sh me and uh, there's another guy who watch. I can't remember. I think it's Hype MMA that watches the uh, or Jamie, another guy in the stream. They watched the Cage Warriors as well on the regional fights, like me. Um, the guy he was taking on, we were talking about it. We were like, dude, like he should not have taken this fight at all. Like this is the stupidest thing he's done in his entire career. Like. He should be nowhere near taking this matchup on. Um, but he took it, and it paid off, and he won. He had a tough first round, but he bounced back in the later rounds, man. Um, I think he definitely beats Mateus Figlak, 100%. Because if they fight for a title, it'll be a five-rounder. He'll break him. He'll break him in the later rounds. Mateus Figlak is the runt of the Figlak family. Mike Figlak will probably be in the UFC one day, though. For sure. It's coffee bad, Guru. Yeah, it's bad for you, isn't it? It's definitely bad for you. People get dependent on it, though. That's the problem with, with coffee and stuff. People get, like, severely dependent on it. Which is the main bad thing about it. You know? Do, 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 me, 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 me. Who's the most overrated UFC champion? The most overrated UFC champion. Um, she overrated. Do, 
Don't just say Aljo. Usman, I think. Usman. People act like he's a god and he's unbeatable. Like, I watched Covington beat him, essentially. He drew with him. But people act like he's unbeatable. Like, this guy is just a step above the rest. I watched Covington draw with him. I've rewatched it so many times. I've watched Covington fucking draw with him. Like, and Garnu as well. People act like he's turned into a great grappler. He got down Garn in the third round because Garn got his front kick caught up in the arms of Nganu. If that didn't happen, he wouldn't have took down Garn in that third round. He eventually started to realize, oh, wait, I can try and do this in the later rounds. But he got one good takedown on Garn in round four. He got taken down in round five and lost round five. Lost round five. Round three, Garn throws a front kick. He, it lands on, like, the shoulder of Nganu as he's charging forward with punches. And, like, Garn goes down because of it. And then Garnu gets him down. And everyone's like, wow, Nganu um, Gamedov. <laughs> Fucking annoys me, man. Like, when Covington posts something, like, this guy's delusional, Usman's sons, lol, 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 in all of the comments. Like, it's a draw. Like, there's no objectivity about it. It's the rules. It's a draw. What happens to Vucenic and Cartwright? Vucenic wants to go straight to the UFC, but he won't. He'll have to fight Paul Hughes first. The winner of that one will get to the UFC because, honestly, I think he lost the first fight. I rewatched it recently. But he got given the win. But, um, what's it called? Cartwright's probably been offered a contender series spot if he just sits out and waits. I imagine. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. No idea what he's doing. Say AM. Okay. Which Hollywood actors could realistically portray MMA fighters? Um, Tom Hardy did a good job in Warrior. That was a pretty good film. Um, I don't know other than that, though. Where do you do? Where do you do? Where do you do? Mm. Where do you get the wheat? If she may have loses, is it the same round till lost? It's the same round till lost. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking spastic? I mean, what? What's good? If Chimeyev loses, people are going to blame Till for fucking westernizing and soy boyifying him. To be fair. If Chimeyev loses, it is Till's fault. Let's be real. It's all Till's fault. <laughs> it's just 100% his fault. Like, it's on him. Dillashaw versus Aldo pick. Um... She, I'm probably going to go with, I'll probably go Dillashaw. I can see Dillashaw winning that one. He mixes it up way better than Font. I think that put off Aldo a bit. Font's a boxer. That's what Aldo loves to do. Like Aldo's the one mixing it up against Font, you know, whereas like that shouldn't really be happening. Dillashaw's getting worse. Uh, I don't know if you can say that because it was just after his long time off. TJ's too undersized. He is quite small for bantamweight, to be fair. Do you think Wooding knows who his opponent on Cage Warriors is? He must have an idea. It must be someone like in the regional scene at bantamweight. I just can't think about who it would be. It's probably like Gerardo Fanny or something. Or, you know, it might be um, Airlines. Opponent on Contender Series. Oh, he's on the Contender Series. Okay, never mind. I don't know them. Probably Cartwright then, on the Contender Series. That's probably it. I would imagine. Right? If it's on, if he knows he's on Contender Series, then that's probably Cartwright. But, uh, I don't know. If it was in Cage Warriors, I might think uh, Mike Ekendeo. He's only lost to Cartwright. He was like 8-0. Oh, no, 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 no. He only lost to Jack Shaw. He was like 8-0. Oh. 
Uh, Usman is a middleweight beating guys who came from 155. His title defenses are stat padded. I know, and even and even they fake his stats about takedown defense and shit. It's just a new era of MMA. It's a sad reality, but it's how it must be, apparently. How unfortunate. Poor unfortunate. You must leave the tower. You are trapped. Poor unfortunate. You must leave the tower. You are trapped. Poor unfortunate. You guys know that show? Luke K fight Mike Perry KOs current Usman, yeah. But even 6% body fat is absurd. I had a coach compete at 6%. He felt like deaf, like could barely function. Ronnie was capping hard, yeah. And now 3%, you'd be dead. I was eight now. I was about to mention eight is like the... Uh, level of like achievability where it's still somewhat livable you know um i was eight natty and was dead yeah well there you go like you can live on eight though you know what i mean like you can get there it's achievable people forget maya took down usman twice if i recall correctly but definitely once definitely once but they didn't count it because it's usman and they won a ufc africa it's so sad it's sad god damn it it's jolly well not okay. The blasphemy and lies they push. The propaganda, I say. Jovial. Guru, it's eight, lads. Okay. Worst weight bully, Yoel Alvarez or Islam? Um, they're similar, but Joel Alvarez, I guess, because he can't fucking make it and misses the weight. At least Makashev makes the fucking weight, you know what I mean? Well, we actually, he made catch weight last fight, so... But at least he doesn't miss weight at 155. If Yeah, missing weight is like a unanimous sign, like, you don't belong here, dude, and you know you don't, but you're just fucking abusing it. UFC politics is crazy. Indeed it is. And Maya had his back! Dude, his career is so weird. Maya had his back, and they took that from him. Like, he had his back. One hook in on his back. Damien Maya. One hook in on his back. And they're like, no, 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 no. He's, in the time that they separate it, Maya's punching him in the body. At the time that they separate it, Maya is punching him in the body. Punch, punch. Oh, what? Well, that's enough. Enough, enough. Like, it's so fucking sad, man. Imagine if Ma Masvidal, when, when Maya had one hook in on the first round, they're just like, hey, 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 separate this. Fucking pathetic, man. They really wanted UFC Africa, and this is what we got to deal with. Ronnie used the clamps to test his body fat percentage, and they aren't accurate. That's why he was saying his body fat was so low. I don't give a fuck, man. He's still capping. He knows it. What are your thoughts on one championship? It's cool, but they're, they don't test, and they lie about them not weight cutting. If you're really telling me that Adriano Marais weighs 135 pounds. No. Right. That's just not true. They really lie about the weight cutting thing. I think a lot of UFC fighters go over there thinking, yeah, you know, like I'm just going to fight and everyone's going to be at their natural weight class. And then in reality, like they're fighting bigger opponents. There's no fucking way that Adriano Marais weighs 135 pounds. Adriano Marais is like... How big is he? He's like a... Uh... I know, he's a pretty tall guy. You know? He's like a slightly shorter Sandhagen. He's not a 125er. Respect to Colby for not weight bullying. Yeah, respect. Like, he's the only one who doesn't... I think he cuts like eight pounds. DJ was fighting a featherweight. He was. Jordan Gooden impression. Well, absolutely amazing scenes here. Well, well, I go. He's five foot eight. There you go. God, they're so small. They're really tiny people. Marlon, I know it's like average, but like Marlon Vera looks like a tall person when he fights. Marlon Vera. How tall is Marlon Vera? I bet he's like 5'8". 5'8". 
God, they're so small. They're such, they're very small. They're not small, but like they just look way bigger than they are because they're around people their size, you know? I don't have a verdict to count now. Sudo was clearly trying to save his boy Usman from the Hamzat matchup on that podcast. He really was, yeah. I think he should go to middleweight for no fucking reason and fight a contender there, you know? Rather than just like fight for the title after his fight this weekend or next weekend. I think he should like, once he beats Burns and gets a title shot guaranteed at welterweight, just for no reason, risk losing everything at middleweight and fight a top guy there, maybe. Like, it's actually... And then that with Usman uh, training with Burns to help him is actually a very bad sign for how Usman feels about the matchup, I think. Because I honestly think Usman would grind out a decision against Li Jing Liang, maybe finish him in like the later, later rounds, you know? And like, people don't destroy Li Jing Liang, you know? <sighs> Dana looked tiny next to AJ and Edgy, Eddie Hearn. Yeah, Eddie Hearn's like my height, pretty much. AJ's not the height that they list him at. Like, I reckon I'd be slightly smaller than AJ. AJ's a big guy. He's probably like a legit 6'5", but I'm probably like this much shorter than AJ. Read paragraph. Oh, God. Um... What's sad about UFC Africa? They would make so much bank off that. And a bunch of physically gifted fighters like Nganu would come in, win-win. But they wouldn't make bank off of it, though. This is the problem. They would make a UFC Africa, and no one would be able to afford fucking tickets. Unless they did it in Lagos. Maybe they could pull it off there. But it would be a risky one. But it would be good. But the thing that's sad about it, though, is that they're manufacturing it by robbing people blind. Whitaker beat Adesanya. Usman Covington 2 was a draw. Garn beat Ngannou. But they just, nope, nope, nope. Move on. Oh, no, okay. Aspinall said Volkov's actually 6'9". He isn't 6'9". He's actually 6'9". He's not actually 6'9". Like, they're not adding, they're not reducing his height. He's probably a legit 6'7". You know what? He's actually 6'9". He's not actually 6'9", Tom Aspinall. Garn actually... No, yeah, Garn and Garnu was actually close. Like, it needed the criteria, for sure. Next, you'll be saying Ortega beat Volk. Ortega didn't win a round against Volk. He didn't come close to winning a round. Other than round three, I guess. But, like, you can't give him the round. He didn't come close to winning a round against Volk. Round five is not a close round. In any way at all. Volk was like near tripling him with 30 seconds to go. Like just fucking smacking him around like a bitch. And then Ortega lands like two good punches. What a war! Like no, not what a war. Volk knows he's won. So he's taken off the gas for the last 30 seconds. Like RDA Moicano. Thank you for the $5 Sam Cardenas. Um, how long does it take them to buckle you in when you take the bus? I'm not. Disabled, thank you for the $5, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Thank you. Thank you. Just watched Usman take down, Maya take down Usman twice in two minutes. He did get him down. He did get him down. Not twice, once. The first one, Usman never hit the ground. But the second time, Usman's hips hit the ground. He gets taken down, but they just don't count it. 100% takedown defense Usman. Covington took him down. DC and Olympian wrestler. That's two takedowns right there for Covington, right there. Nope. 100% takedown defense for Usman. Like, fucking hell. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5, Sam Cardenas. I love when Timbo calls him Jing Jingaling. Okay. Jingaling. He says uh, Song Long Dong as well. I think he does. Song Long Dong. Tim Welch seems like a decently cool guy. It must be very hard to not be the cunt that overshadows and tries to like butt in like Pat Barry with Rose Namajunas. So he actually plays his role very well. It's actually, it's remarkable that he isn't widely hated by everyone because of the position he's in. And that should tell you that he's doing a good job at it, you know? You mean Canelo? Yeah.
do 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 me 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 colby screwed colby okay fair play yeah but tim welch yeah they won't be able to say 100 percent take down defense when hamzat slams him they will though Oh, you didn't keep him down for 10 minutes. Oh, there's only five in a round. Oh, we, 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 it is the rules. Okay. No, MMA rules are different for takedowns. Okay, but we use boxing rules to judge boxing in MMA. We use kickboxing rules to judge kickboxing in MMA. We use jujitsu rules to judge jujitsu in MMA. Uh, but wrestling, we don't use the wrestling system. Okay, interesting. Thank you for the $5, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate your $5, good sir. This is something for the late stream. Buy yourself something nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the $5. Good, sir. I'm going to keep going on this stream. Keep these donos coming, boys. I'll keep the stream going. <laughs> Guys, I have South America. America, Africa, and Ukraine, and not and Ukraine, and Europe, four choke points. Oh, my. I'm so good at this fucking game. I should actually go pro at this game. I should actually go pro at this game, and I would actually wreck the scene. It's crazy. Four choke points. Africa, South America, North America. And Europe. And before you die to a 99 to 1. To, oh, no, no, no. It's never going to happen. Do, 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 do. Me, 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 me. Screen share now. It's called Strangle Points for I know. But it's, I'm playing it so well. Now I'm just going to watch him squirm as I fucking close in like fucking Germany and Russia on Poland. Do you follow boxing? Rolly Romero versus Tank Davis will be an exciting fight. I We've heard about it earlier this stream. I know the people. I don't know specifically, but uh, yeah, it'll be a good fight. I know they're both very good. Rolly Romero versus Tank Davis. And we've also got Devin Haney versus Jorge Combosos Jr. I think Jorge Combosos is going to win a decision. You know, I think he beats Devin Haney, who I think is the actual name of the person that I meant to just say. Um, who headlined UFC 211? Uh, Luke Rockhold versus Yoel Romero. It's fucking easy shit. It was supposed to be uh, it was supposed to be uh, Whitaker versus Romero. That's probably wrong. That's probably wrong now. I'm thinking a bit more about it. But I think it might have been Miocic, actually, now I'm thinking about it a bit more. I think it was Miocic versus Overeem was 203. I think it was Miocic. I'm, I think Whitaker Rockhold was like 211, it was supposed to be, actually. I think. And I think that it was like Miocic, like JDS2. I think. If Overeem was 203, him, was JDS before over? It uh, was JDS. Okay. There you go. 221. I knew that ended with a one. Yeah. Thank you for the 19 months of membership. G Martin. Thank you. Did they find a replacement for Duplessis? Hoping so. I'm not going to make my full card prediction unless I know, because I'd rather not make the prediction video and then, you know, nothing happens. You know what I mean? Vee boy. Long neck. Get that up here, you dog cunts. Gamrot just responded to Armin Sarukian's tweet. Armin versus Gamrot. Let's go. That's great. I think Armin, Armin third round finish after an entertaining first two rounds, I'd think. Uh, Yo Guru hot take, Manon Fioro should be ahead of Jennifer Meyer in the rankings since she beat her. That's a real hot take, dude. God, you're an absolute 
fucking maverick, I tell you. You keep going against the mold, brother. They'll never slow you down. The Plessis won't get an opponent via Big Marcel 24. Oh dear, that's no good for him. That's no good. However, that is kind of good in a way that maybe we could get it rebooked towards another card. Sometimes I'm okay with that. I mean, the card's going to get a bit weaker now. Let, let's be real. The card's pretty weak now. Um, so I guess they're going to what put Ian Gary on the main card to promote him. Andre Soccer Mum, Lamal. Okay, you're like being sarcastic, I'd imagine now. Um, they announced that Duplessis isn't fighting on 273. Okay, that's fair. Usman Industry Plan. I don't think he's an industry plan. I just think that they like. They really want a UFC Africa really badly. Armin should be higher ranked than Gregor. Oh, yeah, Gregor, yeah, for sure. Gregor's uh, wins that he's gotten, they've lost moving forward. And, uh, yeah, Armin should be higher ranked. And Gregor don't fucking fight. He's a pussy. Fuck him. Fuck him. That mad thing, yeah? That mad rah. Are all of Bellator's stars gone? Has MVP fought Russian boy yet? He's Ukrainian, but uh, no, MVP is not for um, Yaroslav Amosov yet, if that's what you're wondering. Good, sir. That has not happened yet. According to the mitigations and litigations of mitigations and litigations, it has not currently happened, you know. Jolly good show. What, what, and all that, you know. Did you just wake up? No, I've been live for like four hours now. MVP's fine stally now. Uh, I'm going to go Storley. I'll pick Storley there, I think, is what I'm going to go with. I reckon Storley gets that one. That's a tough one for... Uh... I can see MVP just fucking getting wrist control and just taking bottom position the entire fucking fight. Yeah, Storley probably beats him. Storley... Like, I don't think he beat Amosov because Amosov did that total strike game with him. And that's how you win those types of fights where it's grindy. But Storley, like, in a way out grappled him, you know? What was UFC 210? Oh, probably some shit like fucking Home Durandomy or some fucking bullshit like that. I keep memeing, I keep, keep memeing for love. I keep memeing, I keep, keep memeing for love. You cut me open and I keep memeing, I keep, keep memeing for love. You're looking very pale today, my lord. I am a white male, good sir. It's typically how the skin complexion of my species works, good sir. I'd appreciate if you didn't point it out so much, you know. But it's jolly good. Oh my god, what made me uh, proud to be white the other day? What was it? Uh... Fuck, what made... What was it? Oh my god, uh, what's it, uh... Oh my god, it was a. Uh, I was watching WWE walkouts like last week. 
and Seamus's walkout, yeah, they like beam light on him and he's literally like glowing like a fucking, it's weird. Like some fucking ghost. Like it's crazy looking. Like it's in a dark arena, of course, and they like beam the light on him and he's literally like, a, he's literally glowing white. It's so weird, but it looks so fucking cool. I know it's sad that I was watching WWE walkouts, but it just looks so fucking cool, man. And that's how that's how I am when like a light shines on me. Thank you for the two pounds, Jamie Edwards. I appreciate you. Most wasted UFC talent. Mike Perry had a fucking chance before Luke a shattered his fucking nose, man. That is so sad. Mike fucking Perry was a top level MMA fighter at one point, and he lost everything. Once fucking Luke a shattered his nose. Lee Murray. Lee Murray was shit. You've been watching too much Joe Rogan talking about Lee Murray. Like Lee Murray was don't get oh, sorry. Lee Murray was kind of good. Like he was kind of good. But like he wasn't like, oh, this guy's gonna be the champ. There, there was none of that. Like he got a sub against some bum in his debut and People talk about the uh, Anderson Silver fight like, man, you should have seen that Anderson Silver fight. I'm telling you, man, he was on a, another level. Like, he got scored by Anderson Silver and made look like a fool. He looked like a fool. He sub Rivera, cool. Prime Silver to a decision. He got beaten up, though. It doesn't matter if you took him to a decision. I don't give a fuck if you took him to a decision. You got beaten up. Kimbo. No, Kimbo is trash. Ki Kimbo lost to that fucking police officer and they fucking gave him a win. He was cheating the whole time as well. Fucking pussy. No, 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 sorry. He's dead. So I can't say that stuff, but you know, that was fucking bullshit that they awarded him that victory against a police officer. He got fucked up in that fight. And he tried like lifting him on top of the fucking fridge and shit like that. Like really trying to involve the environment and shit. And he's still getting fucked up. Sean Gannon. Is that his name? Yeah. Thoughts on Izzy being hired and Volk on the pound for pound list? It makes sense. He's defended more. It doesn't make sense in a way that Volk hasn't lost. But then again, Volk hasn't tried to move up yet. So it's kind of like a justifiable loss in a way, you know. But it doesn't make any sense <laughs> in any way. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, to be honest. But Volk hasn't got the numbers of the defenses yet, you know. I think Izzy's on four defenses. Dude, if I'm on an interview with Izzy, oh, I can't. I'm going to start doing fighter interviews at some point. I promise you, I want to do it. I'm going to start doing fighter interviews. So you're on your fifth defense, Izzy, right? And he's going to say, sixth. No, you're on your fifth. Shut the fuck up, you child. No, you're on your fifth. You don't get to just count interim belt fights. Shut the fuck up. Like, honestly, it's so fucking annoying when he did that to fucking, uh, who did he do it to? I think he did it to True Jordan. Fifth. Fifth. It's my fifth defense. Like, no. No. It's your fourth defense. End of fucking story, dude. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. I appreciate your free Australian dollars. What's going on with Bellator? Did they die? Um, did they die? Oh, no. Bellator is just like, all their champs are pussies, but no, 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 not, not that, not that. Bellator's cool. It kind of dipped. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of did dip down a bit. Like where's rumble where like Romero's coming back soon, but I don't really give a fuck. I guess if Romero beat Phil Davis, we'd be talking about a different situation, but yeah, we thought you'd think you'd seen rumble again by now, but no, like they have a real activity problem at Bellator, you know, thank you for the $2. Take no prisoners. I appreciate you. Hey, good. How's the weather in Israel? I'm not there. Good, sir. Thank you for the $2 though. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $5, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate your $5, good sir. Do you think people like Tony and Perry who get changed forever from one fight mostly change physically or mentally? Like what makes them suck after? I think there is like a free testosterone that gets beaten out of them in a way. Um, I also think it's a lot mentally as well. Like they just don't want to go. They don't know what they, they don't know what can happen to them until it happens. You know? In a way, 
Like if you think McGregor's ever throwing kicks the same way again, it ain't happening. You know, he's not gonna throw kick. Actually, saying that, I bet you the first thing oh fighters need to take note of this because it's such an easy read. I said he would do a spinning back kick as soon as the Poirier trilogy started, and it's exactly what he did, two of them. The first move McGregor's gonna throw is a solid calf kick off of his formerly broken leg. The first thing he's gonna do is a hard calf kick. Hard calf kick. I bet you any money on it. As hard as he fucking can. Boom. Calf kick straight away. Thank you for the $5. And then spinning back kick afterwards. Why? Because he's that kind of guy where it's like an... People said he was too flat-footed in the in the rematch going into the trilogy. He needs to be a bit looser and throw more kicks and go back to Karate Connor. I said, because of that, McGregor's going to take that in and he's going to throw a spinning back kick to begin the fight. He did exactly that. Like people talking about his legs never going to be the same. I just said he'll never kick the same. He's going to smash a calf kick as soon as he comes back against whoever he's against. Unless it's Makashev. Maybe he wouldn't do it then. He was, but he really wasn't much looser. I know, but you know, he's still free spinning back kicks and shit, you know. He's a prideful fuck you kind of guy. Yeah. He's a very, it's a lot to do with like what people say about him, you know, that like sort of drives what he does. Like Chael said about, um, like McGregor fought Cerrone at 170 because didn't Dana say that he was too small for 170 and he wouldn't fight Masvidal? He's too small. He's a 155er. And then McGregor's like, bet, 170 me versus Cerrone, you know? Almost just to make a point with Masvidal in the crowd. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. I appreciate your eight Australian dollars, good sir. Thank you. If McGregor takes one calf kick to his broken leg, it's over. Not really. I don't know. It might be stronger, but I don't think he's going to be okay to take kicks the same way. You are correct. It's not over, but it's not going to be good for him. Yeah. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. He needs to like. He listen, McGregor. Aldo's at bantamweight. You're probably going to fight at welterweight. You might fight at lightweight. It's weird how many divisions they are apart now. But he genuinely needs to link back up with Alda. I think that's good for him. Like, go see Aldo. Like, nothing's going to happen. Did you watch the Burlington fight? Did he look great? Thank you for the $2. Take no prisoners. I appreciate your $2. Good, sir. Thank you. Do you think Chimea versus Burns will go stand-up fight? How do I think it will go? I think Chimea cracks him on the feet. Burn shoots a bad takedown. Chimeyev like stuffs it, pushes his head down in a sprawl, takes the back from it. Burns tries to scramble back up to his feet. Chimeyev's got a body lock against the cage, lifts up Burns. Everybody smash everybody, bladder. Slam him to the ground, put one hook in over the back. Burns tries to roll over into mount. Chimeyev lands some shots. Burns rolls over to his back. Chimeyev lands some shots. Tries to go for a rear naked, but Burns fights it off and tucks his chin and won't let him have the rear naked. So he goes back to punching him behind the ear and then he just doesn't move from there and he finishes Burns. TKO to the back of the headshots. Back of the headshots, behind the ear shots. Legal, not illegal. Aldo, what the fuck? Aldo perfectly figured out how to avoid all calf kicks. McGregor needs to start hunting out these people. You're not getting good training partners at fucking SBG with those fucking Irish soy boys. Go and find Alda. Go and find Colby Covington and start fucking training there. Fucking annoys me. Yeah, he's got this like national teenager boxer with him to help him with the boxing. Like no one knows these people. Go and train with good MMA fighters. He has not trained with any good MMA fighters. He doesn't even train with Gunnar Nelson anymore. It's like, what's the point? Why don't you do that? You have to have some good MMA fighters to train with. Like, at least Covington's got Miguel Bezer, like a top 30 in the world uh, welterweight, you know? At least something to help him out there. There's a few other guys there as well that, that like, move into the gym now and again. They, like, they have, like, a team of a gym. I saw a video of a couple. I can't remember who it was, though. But, yeah. There's someone else at the gym. Another good name. It's not Mike Perry. I know Mike Perry used to train there. But it's not him. It's, uh... Oh, they team up with... I think Mike Davis has trained there. Um, 
there's a few people that, that have trained there that are in MMA. Not Johnny Walker. No, there's another person I'm thinking of, but I can't quite think of his name. I don't know. Makai has signed fight signed, I think. Good activity. Very good. Nico Price. No, it's not that. It's not D Rod either. What a strange time to have 300 viewers. 324. Are you fasting? Yes, brother. Inshallah, brother. Yes, I am retarded, brother. You know this. Do, 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 do. Ricardo Lamas, he doesn't fight anymore, though. And that's the problemo there. Sean and Tim legit call him Andre Stockermum instead of his real last name. Also, did you see O'Malley on the pod said he wants Munoz next, then Fon, then Yan? Thoughts, does he win or lose those? I think he beats Munoz by decision with some risky moments where like, oh, his leg's going a bit funny in the third round, but he survives, you know? I think he beats Munoz. I'm very confident he destroys Munoz. Munoz is too small for bantamweight, man. Way too small. And like all of these weight bullies at bantamweight, like O'Malley, Aljo, and Sandhagen, they're just going to tune him up. And Aldo as well. They're just too big for him. So, uh... Yeah, he's too small for bantamweight. O'Malley will piece him up, I think, over a decision with some moments where he gets cracked. But O'Malley's got a decent chin. I know he got KO'd against Vera, but I think he more I don't think he actually got KO'd. I think he quit. Like just, oh, stop it. Because he came back so quickly. It was like you got you, you got like you quit in that fight against Vera. Not not to say that he shouldn't have quit. Like his leg was destroyed. Like it's not quitting. You had an accident. But, like, he, after that fact, he was like, oh, just get me out of here. Now I'm on bottom. Get me out of here. You know what I mean? But uh, he got put out a bit. I thought that at first because he went out, but then he went, he came right back to to grab his leg. He was, like, thinking of the excuse already. It's a very good excuse because it's such a fucking fluke, and no one talks about that. It's such a fucking fluke. Vera has fought so many opponents since then, and he's thrown calf kicks, and that's never happened. It was a nasty elbow. It was a nasty elbow, but he was just like, fuck, I'm taking big shots. Get it over with. Okay, oh, my leg. Oh, my leg. Oh, no. Like, you know, but uh, he took good shots. I know it's Terry on Ware, but in the second round, he gassed out badly against Terry on Ware. So bad. Uh, and he took some fucking solid big shots on the chin and he took them really well. I know, I know, like he, people say he doesn't have a chin, but he doesn't have a glass chin at least. Like he can take some shots. Holloway doesn't have good partners either, and he is number one contender. True. But he did to begin with, though. He used to go out to gyms. He did. He went to AKA. He trained with Jeremy Stevens. He did have good partners to begin with. But now he's, like, established himself as one of the top guys. He doesn't need them anymore. But he did have good partners to begin with. He did uh, tra he trained with the Diaz brothers. Um, he went out and found opponents to train with. He trained with um, someone else he trained with. I think it was Bermudez after he lost to him or something like that. But yeah. Holloway like jumped around gyms a bit early on before he found his home, you know. Thoughts on Aaron Pico, future still just 25. Yeah, still just 25. Uh, very good. Um, we'll see what happens to him now. I think he's a bit dumb as a person, so it's quite worrying for him. Like he's a dumbass, but you know, sometimes dumbasses can do quite well in him. Uh, oh, I'm rubbing my eye again, man. Sorry. He's fighting this weekend. There you go. Jeremy Kennedy. Fuck, that's a good opponent. Just beat Gonzalez. Justin Gonzalez, 12-0. Great fucking win there. Really good win. 30 years of age in his prime. He's now fighting Kai Kamaka. That's pretty cool. He beat really good opponents as well. Really good opponents. There you go. That's a good, that's a good op opponent to beat. And then Jeremy Kennedy now, who's also very good. Just beat Emmanuel Sanchez which is a good win. And Matt Bassett, which is a good win. Former UFC fighter, I believe, Matt Bassett, right? Surely.
I'm brain damaged. He was never in the UFC. I guess he's been in some big Bellator. Oh, no, he was, on, he was on tough. There you go. He was on tough. No, he was in the UFC. He did. He got cut after one loss. Okay. He lost to Enrique Barzola by decision. He was in the UFC. There you go. I recognized his name. Um, yeah, this is good. Jeremy Kennedy beat uh, Magomedov, Marat, Marat Magomedov. He beat Bokniak at, in the UFC as well. He was in the UFC. This is cool. He's a good opponent. I reckon Pico beats him, but we'll see. Yeah, Pico's got high potential for sure. Do, 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 do. What's UK weather looking like currently? Um, it's like no wind, low temperature sun. Kind of. It's like sunny, but like none of the things that come with sun that you would normally expect. So it's light outside, but it's not too hot and it's not too anything. It's just like a mild day, but there's light outside. What time is it in the UK? Half 8 a.m. Background in training. Uh, second degree black belt on Taekwondo. Muay Thai on and off for two years. A couple jujitsu lessons. But I genuinely did, man, when I am established and I can reveal some things about myself, I genuinely did travel around the UK doing competitions in Taekwondo when I was a kid. I genuinely did. That's the reason I started paying attention to MMA so much, because I was a little martial arts kid. Like, when I was, like, 10, 11, 12, shit like that, I'd just be, like, going around the UK doing Taekwondo tournaments and shit. That was, like, my weekend. Not, like, every weekend, but, like, a lot of weekends in a year. Cap. It's not cap. There's actually evidence of it. There's actually evidence of it. Online. There's not much evidence, but there's an evidence that's bulletproof that I can 100% prove that I did compete in, in Taekwondo. Valerie Laredo's fine ass tried out for WWE today. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. You got fine ass. Yep. You got fine ass, brother. Me mate fought Guru and got KO'd. Okay. I never KO'd anyone. I dropped someone to where people like stepped in but i never like ko'd anyone my brother ko'd people though he really fucked people up as well when did sui vasa start getting wins is it when he started training in aka i don't know choked anyone out no no, I never, I never KO'd people, but I like dropped people and we were young enough to where if you got dropped, it was like the parents are worried. Let's stop it. You know, I watched my friend get kicked in the head on the ground. I just remember that in my head. That was so funny. He was such an idiot as well. I watched my friend get booted in the face when he was on his, he was on his knees begging for mercy. <laughs> oh, that's funny memory. I've just unlocked there. I'm glad I remembered that. He was on his knees begging for forgiveness. The guy that was in there just punted him straight in the face. As a, he didn't die. No, he didn't even get KO'd. Credit to him, he didn't get KO'd. He was just like rolling around in pain on the floor. But uh, he got like body shot and he like folded badly. He folded like Kamar Worthy against Jamie Malarkey, but to a body shot. You know when the legs go backwards and like he hunched over and he was like... Ugh on the ground it was supposed to stop and the guy just full on punted him straight in the face soccer kick straight in the face <laughs> illegal move just soccer kicked him square in the face when he went down <laughs> he thought it was over he was looking up like <clears throat> and then just got fucking soccer kicked straight in the face but I never KO'd anyone I just dropped people sometimes <laughs> and if you drop them you get like a, a multitude of points I think it was like three points for a drop not f right. Three points if you knock them down off balance. Uh, one point if you just land two to the head or something like that. Maybe it was more than three. For no, I think it was just three for knocking them down. That seems a bit weird, but I think it was three for knocking them down because people would like knock you down with side kicks to the body and it would like do no damage, but you got knocked off balance. Southern Europe is quite short compared to the rest. 
Yeah. I mean, to be honest, though, what's Connor going to learn at this point that he doesn't already know? He's legit one of the best strikers in MMA history, and it's grappling. It's too late to improve to Islam level. It's true, but like, he needs a gym where he's getting fucked up and losing, and he's not getting that. I can guarantee you he's not getting that in a gym. I bet you, in his sparring in the gym, he's doing little pitter patter, pretty looking striking sequences where they're both tuning each other, and after they hit each other, they go, yeah, good man, good man, yeah, and they touch gloves, like, good man, and then they, they do a little sequence again, pull counter, like, he needs a Covington to just fucking run him into the fucking side of the 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 gym, ragdoll him against the cage, beat him up a bit, like, he needs to get beaten up in the gym, so he has that toughness in him in the fight, you know, like, he needs his shins conditioned, he needs his fucking jaw conditioned, his abs condition. Like, he just needs to be fucking tough because he looks soft right now. Especially in the Poirier second fight, his body looks fucking soft. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. Why fist fight when you can take their back and re naked choke them? Well, you don't want to look like a fucking pussy, I guess, but thank you for the free Australian dollars. True story. And also, if you're fighting in the street, like, jujitsu is like the worst thing to do because you just get kicked in the head by someone else. realistically like i can only imagine joe rogan like chill out buddy or i'll choke you unconscious with like some guy and three of his friends and joe rogan tries to fucking pull off like a go-go plaster and just gets his fucking head stomped in like the midget that he is by all these big six foot five fucking jocks <laughs> joe rogan just like starts beef with all these jocks like six foot three six foot four americans he, like, hip-tosses one of them to the ground and goes for an armbar, and the rest of them just fucking stomp his dumb midget head in on the ground. <laughs> Great jujitsu, dude. BJJ is good for 1v1. It is good for 1v1. Perfect for 1v1. But that just never is a case in real fights. It works. It does work. If you're just if it's just you and the person, there's no way they beat you if you have better jujitsu than them. Unless they're just massively bigger. Like, Joe Rogan's quite a little tanky guy, you know what I mean? If Joe Rogan was, like, skinny as a small guy, then he would have no chance against most people. But he's a little tanky, roided-up guy, so he'd have a much better chance. How does Alex Morono match up with the top 15 at welterweight? Um, How does Alex Morono match up with the top 15 at welterweight? I don't know. I don't know. Not very well. He has no power. Ryan Hall's crying right now. He should be. Ryan Hall, I can imagine him doing his blinking, like, and people beside him saying, listen, man, you don't want this trouble with this guy. Like, he's a jiu-jitsu wizard and then some fucking ogre-ish 6'5 fucking roided up guy just fucking headbutts him. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Stop. Oh, and then they're just beating him up. What the fuck is Ricky Tercios? Uh, he was injured. Apparently he was talking about retirement, but he was injured and now he's back. He's training on his, on his Instagram. So he's back. He's looking to come back. <laughs> he just rolls into a leg kick. Yeah. <laughs> or he just rolls to the floor with someone and then just gets stomped out again. Or he rolls and fucking snaps his own neck on concrete because it not everywhere is a fucking padded mat. Tries to Imanari roll on concrete and just fucking ends up in a wet puddle with his neck snapped while people stomp him out. Like the nerd that he is. <laughs> hey, jujitsu nerds. Not everywhere is a fucking padded mat, dude. Crunching up his neck on concrete. <coughs> oh, fuck. Did you watch Burns' interview with Luke Thomas? I have not seen it yet, no. He continues to roll into triangles. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. Lol, lol. Connor's prime was wasted, sadly. Yeah, after the Alvarez fight, that was the time to dominate that division. True. Man, that would have been such a sick era. Imagine who would he have fought next after that, Habib. It would have been Habib, 100%. After the call-out that Habib made at that very same event, 205, it would have been Habib, 100%. Or he would have strategic, uh, strategically just waited anyway, and maybe Habib Ferguson would have actually happened, and then he'd fight the winner of that. 
I need to moustache my beard because it's got Ben and Jerry's in it. It's clogging up. Fuck, where's the good comb? Where is the good comb? I need the fucking good comb. First fighter interview should be Ryan Hall. Nah, I'm good. My first fighter interview is probably going to be, if I could choose anyone, probably um, Sean Strickland. So I could set the tone. Brass Mitchell, brother. I mean, he's a fan of the show. I mean, he probably doesn't watch any more, but he does watch all of my prediction videos on him. Sean Strickland, Bryce Mitchell, double interview. Mm. The fuck, it's 9 a.m. Are you streaming? Why? I'm, it's my job. I'm a streamer, dude. Uh, what do you think? What? Why wouldn't I? New sober guru. No weed. Next level era of the fucking... YouTube game, I'm telling you. After this, I'm going to record like five videos in a row. I won't, but I want to. Usually never stream at this time. Yeah, but it's different now. It's, it's kind of different now. You know what I'm saying, but it's kind of different. You know what I mean? You get me? I really do want to see Dos Anjos versus Conor next. It'd be a good one. I think that has enough history to it and it's good enough non-title bout. I'd like to see if Dos Anjos can win one more top-level fight. Yeah. That'd be good. Sing moment like this. I don't know what that song is. Um, but yeah, Dos Anjos Conor would be cool. Fuck. I'm worried because I've just got off of it, yeah. My dealer's going to message me at 4 p.m. or something like that. Super Silver, duh. Dank Hayes, duh. Fucking Star Dog, duh. Hit me up if you need that. Drop offs, free fives for 30. Like, it's such a temptation. I need to, like, block the number almost. I need to not do it, though. Rob, your last bag from him and he'll stop you. He'll stab me up, man. I'm not getting some at 4.15 p.m. <laughs> Star dog, girl. You know? What color's your dealer? All of my dealers are white. Well, no, one of them. Well, two of them. Yeah, well, half and half. The recent ones I've been using are white. A lot of white dealers because they don't, they don't look as suspicious, you know? But, um... I've I've had two black dealers before, but f three of my five dealers I've ever gone to have been white. Funny enough, how far can Joel Alvarez go? No further after that beatdown because of him slipping. <clears throat> white ones are okay, I guess. Um, no, everyone's cool. I'm big, so black people are cool with me. They don't try anything, you know? I'm actually a unit. In real life. So they're pretty cool with me. Yeah, big son, you fat. No, I actually am a unit in real life. How tall are you? Just under six three. But I'm telling you, some mornings I've been six three. Some mornings. I uh, Andrew Tate said he was six three, and he is not at all in anywhere. I'm not standing up. I'm gonna make it a big thing. Like taking the beanie off is gonna be a big thing. I can't just stand up when I haven't done it for so long. It has to be a big deal. 50K subs, 100K subs, something like that. Everyone taller in the morning doesn't count. Like if I have like a 12-hour sleep, uh, I can be like 6'3". 
Thank you for the free Australian dollars, John Jones's fiance. I appreciate you. What made you quit? How many hours you hire there? That there was a point where I was at high for six and a half hours a day, to be honest. And it would really mess with my uh, schedule because I'd order food and I'd be like, well, I have to like be high for three hours while I'm eating it, you know? And it would like, it became like a scheduling thing, you know? And I didn't want to be like high on stream. I couldn't be high and record videos because it just looked weird, you know, and obvious. So it would become like a, a, not, it never used to be like that. It used to just be, you know what, two hours before bed. That's how it goes, you know? But uh, then it got like mornings, time to do it, you know? Like it used to get me up in the morning. Like I would go back to bed, but if I had weed, I'd be like, oh, I'll get up and get high, you know? I'll get up and smoke some weed and it'll be cool. Are you high right now? No, I haven't been for like three days. <sighs> Fuck your daily chores. Yeah, it really can. <laughs> like it'd be like you get high and then you have to make the most out of it. Like, well, I've got to eat something while I'm high. Well, well I've got to wank while I'm high. Well, I've got to watch like a good fucking series of something while I'm high on YouTube. Well, I've got to watch a good YouTube video while I'm high. Well, I've got to play a bit of a game while I'm high. And then you're three hours later and you're like, oh, fuck. Well, now I'm fucking... Now I've dipped in fucking energy and motivation. Everything's come back to reality. And I'm just sitting there in my fucking room with no videos done. Again, you know, there you go. And I'm like scared to look at my notifications <laughs> and see the members just fucking flooding. Like, he's always doing this. He doesn't care about us. <laughs> fucking idiots. I fucking, I, it's so annoying to me. I, I'm fine now. I'll be fine now. But like. <laughs> I should be on YouTube like uh, should I even comment on this video because they'll know I'm like here <laughs> like worried about commenting on ESPN MMA like they just post a video like one minute ago and I'm like I can get a top comment but like what if they all see that I'm just sitting there not streaming <laughs> and I'd check my notifications and I'd go to like the members community post and they're all like Literally in a comment section with each other, like talking about how he doesn't care about us. He's robbed us of our five pounds a month. He doesn't care anymore. This is the last stand for me. He doesn't even know, doesn't even notify us about it. And here we are paying him. I know uh, I'm terrible. Mm. <sighs> All the show is Tinder pick of you shirtless. How's the progress pick with the girl about your white tees joke? Oh, I actually got her. I I got her. I'm not, I haven't been with her yet, but she's cool. I think I have her on Snap now. I do have her on Snap. Yeah, I was talking to her on Snap yesterday. Remember the shirt off flexing picture reveal you did months back? That was monumental. Also crippled unit. That's like an oxymoron. I'm not crippled though shirt off flexing in the picture reveal yeah <laughs> dude's exposing how lazy he is i'm telling you what was the problem like i was just it's like i just didn't like it was the weed like I, I have to get off of it and fix it and now i've fixed it and here i am but i used to literally be scared to like open my notifications and I also used to be scared at some points because it was uh, not scared, but like I used to be like hesitant about strict. This is another problem that I used to have the members stream. I love the members, but like the members stream. Yeah. So maybe I'd be late to a stream. It'd be like 2 a.m. And I'd be like, well, I can't just go live for a bit because it's going to have to be like an hour and a half. And then it has to be another 50 minutes. Like it's. It has to be a commitment of like two and a half hours, you know? It has to be. Like, I can't just go live for half an hour and then members for half an hour. Like, it has to be like, it's a commitment of two and a half hours. So now I've fixed myself and here I am streaming for four and a half hours already. Let's go, boys. We're taking over. You. Yeah. This guy thinks he's tall while average Zoomers are literally 6'2". They are not. You're so dumb. They claim 6'2". They are not. I was claiming 6'4". 
I was claiming 6'4", almost 6'5". They are not 6'2". They say they're 6'2". They, it's so rare to be. They are not. They are not. Average height is 5'9", and that's white people. Everyone else is way shorter than that. Like, they are not 6'2", man. Everyone claiming 6'4", online, is probably my height. 6'2". A tall 6'2". Like, if you actually measure yourself. People are terrified to measure themselves. I'm 6'2 in a Zuma cope. Okay, cool. You're one of them. Well done. Where the fuck is the average height 6'2? Not even in any Scandinavian country or Iceland. But these people, like, it's literally 5'10 in them countries, but like, whatever. Average height in Sudan is literally 6'6. Six six. That's not, there's average height in Sudan 6'6. Six six. They're tall in Sudan. But that's like one village in, in Sudan, right? Average height in Sudan, 5'8". Shut the fuck up. Literally 5'8". One village in Sudan. One village in Sudan. One tiny village of inbreeding in South Sudan where they're all like 6'5". And everyone's like, they're giant. They're all average 6'6". Six, six. Like 30% are 7 foot. Like, no, that's not how it is. If it's one village, it is one village. It's like one small village of, and tribe in South Sudan. And they're probably all like fucking 120 pounds, six foot six as well. <laughs> like fucking all these rappers in America. They're so fucking light. They're 5'8 on average. Women are 5'3. That's a big difference between the men and women though, to be fair. 5'3 women's height on average. Pretty crazy. <sighs> you showed us you flexed in the mirror, but on your phone, Lamau, remember we had to press you to show us on your phone? Yes. But I did it. How big's your dick? Like, just under eight inches. But it depends on the girl. Sometimes it can be eight. Honestly. Like, sometimes it can be eight. If the girl's the right way, or stuff like that. Or like, at home it can be eight, but typically it's like just under. You were giddy showing us. I know, it was a big reveal, you know. I'm actually 6'4", but a skinny cunt. Fair play. Good for you, dude. Only reason people think 5'9 is short is due to inflation and lying. Dude, 5'9 is not short. Like, you're quite tall if you're 5'9". Well, you're taller than most people you think of in life. Most people are really small, you know. Like, uh, have you guys ever seen Danny, Ch you, you know, um, Machete and, and those types of films, Danny Trejo, you guys ever seen Danny Trejo? I used to think he was a six foot tall man, like a tall six foot action hero, Danny Trejo. Have you ever seen him in real life? He's like five, two. He's like a little manlet, like a little Oompa Loompa man. It's crazy. Like, the heights are so inflated across the world. Like, everyone lies. Again, I used to think I was, like, 6'4", maybe 6'5". Like, no. I'm 5'7", but I also got a 4-inch peen, so I'm good. I mean, well, you know, most pussies are, like, 4 inches, 5 inches. So, you can still fill up some of them, I guess. Small women, probably. If you get a short girl, you probably fill it up. The width that counts, you know what I mean? Um, three inches. You still somewhat fill it up, man. Get in there, you know. You look at least five one stand up so we can see you. No, it's happening like a big moment. I've not stood up for ages on stream. It's happening at a big moment. Rappers in Africa be like, I got two hundred liters of water in my shed. Okay, <laughs> interesting. All right. They like flex in their fucking purification methods. I can see fish in the river of my town. You can't see fish. Your river is brown. You know what I mean? I can see the fishes in the river in my town. You can't see the fish. Your river is brown. 
like a skin tone, you're not black. You want team, but you're under attack. Wanna get it, but you know you can't back it. Want shot, but you're man, man, man. Don't make me make a racket. Thank you for the £4.49. I appreciate your £4.49JS. Nothing important, just appreciate the content. Word up, yo. Thank you for the £4.49, dude. I appreciate you. Do people actually have a three inch penis? Yeah. We'll do this within the next three months. I'll just stand up on stream. Like, and I'll wait for you to pressure me about it as well. So it won't be like I plan a day when I'm going to stand up so that I could like fake it and stand on something tall. Just in like, in like three months, if I get more subs and you guys pressure me enough, I'll just stand up one day. Thank you for the £4.49JS. I appreciate you. I just want to make it a big deal with like a lot of viewers. Like the there's a thousand viewers here, like 500 viewers here. Like it's the big moment, you know? <laughs> no, you won't. I will. I will. Like Dominic Cruz in the press. Yeah, yeah. Just not accepting defeat, you know? Or accepting defeat beyond belief, you know? I gave the opposite problem. I'm 5'3 with a 7 inch pain. Life is rough. That's good, man. You, it probably looks massive by comparison. That's like porn star level. Most porn stars are like 5'3, five 5'2. Five Thank you for the £4.49, Conrad. I appreciate you. How much in donos to make you make and perform a rap about the UFC? Oh, I don't want to. That's cringe, though. <laughs> don't you think? That's just cringe. I don't want to do that shit. Like. £4.49. I don't know. I probably just don't give me any money for that shit. Thank you for the £4.49. What bars would I have? Like some John Jones bars, maybe? Thank you for the £4.49, Conrad. I appreciate your £4.49. Good, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you for the $2 Sosa Man OTF. Prime Rockhold versus Costa. Prime Rockhold versus Costa. Um, probably Costa chins him. I actually think that's a great matchup for Costa, and he probably chins him. Most likely, right? Like, as Rockhold going for a body kick while being pressured, he just gets chinned on one leg. I could see that. I actually think that's a great matchup for Costa. Costa bullies him and batters him. Because Costa's grappling is so fucking underrated, man. I hate that people shit on Costa. He's so good. He had one bad performance. He's so good. He almost beat Vittori. Almost beat him. I know it does not... I mean, Vittori's not, like, the best. But, like, he's tough, you know? Thank you for the £4.49, Conrad. I appreciate you. I hate that people make light of Costa. Thank you for the $2. Blades versus Garn. I'll probably go with Cyril Garn. Likely. You know 8 inches big for 510. Stop trying to make me say it, you fucking weirdo. Uh, thank you for the $2. Sosa Man OTF. Blades versus Garn. Um... Uh, I'd still go Garn, I think. Blades is good, but I think Dorcas is really shit. Um, I'd still go Garn. I don't think his takedown defense is as bad as people think. And Garn is not a dominant grappler. Les. Couldn't even do anything with Volkov on the ground. So even if he did get Garn down, I could see Garn scrambling up and Blades gassing, trying to do too much to keep him down and shit like that, you know? So yeah, I could still see Garn winning. But he's a bit of a pussy, you know, at heavyweight. Like he needs to commit more to his shots at times. It's actually remarkable how little power he has at times. Thank you for the $2 Sosa Man OTF. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you. There's a video of a guy rapping Lose Yourself on the train in the UK. Top level cringe. It's so cringe when people do those rapping videos. You know? You're not good. Anyone can say words fast. It doesn't make you good for being able to do it. What I gotta do to what I, what I gotta do to get it through through you, I'm superhuman. I used to have a guy in my school who used to do that rap god thing. That was when it first came out as well, I think, towards like the end of my school years. What I gotta do to get it through you? I'm superhuman. Elevator, no, 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 elevator. What I gotta do to what I got? What I gotta do to get it through you? I'm superhuman. 
You make a little bit of music. I make a little bit of music. Thank you for the $5, Sam Cardenas. I appreciate you. It's all so cringe. It's all so cringe. Thank you for the $2, Sosman OTF. Prime Hendrix versus Colby. Um, thank you for the $2, Sosman OTF. Uh, probably... Probably like a, I don't know, it's a risky one. But then Hendrix lost to Lawler back then. So I probably, I, pr I probably, st well, he arguably should have beat Lawler, but Lawler was able to stuff him and, and put damage on him. So I'd say Covington still, but it'd be dangerous for Covington. He might get sparked out. So I don't know. Thank you very much for the $2. Over a thousand votes on the poll. And <laughs> the majority, yes. <laughs> I forgot what the poll was. Did Stefan Bonner burn down his own house? <laughs> I know he did. And a thousand poll views well wow. that shows you a lot of people like just in and out in and out on this stream i think we keep about a hundred of the same people and the other 200 is just like every half hour shing, 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 changing in and out play eruption on guitar no aspinall would beat garn i think he would but risky for him garn could still win that one this is paulo costa arm length i have pretty long arms that's a long bicep area. What are you guys talking about? That's a really long bicep area. I have long arms. You know? This is where my elbow joint starts. You know? I have long arms. Don't be coming at me with that bullshit. Or she'll reach like 77, 78, 78 inches. <clears throat> Four years ago today, Tony pulled out against Habib, yeah. Fair play. Were you good in school? Uh, teachers loved me, so I got away with stuff. But no, I wasn't good in school. But I was... I used to like... I don't know. I, I used to like know how to get teachers on my side, you know? Like, I don't know. I've, I've always been very good at communicating with adults. So they would like tell me off and keep me behind after school. And then I'd be like talking to them after school, making them laugh. And they'd like me, you know what I mean? So they like, I got in trouble, but they liked me. And I was kind of smart as well. So they wanted me to succeed, you know? But yeah. Like I was never rude to the teacher or insulting. I was just like a cunt in class, like just talking to people and making noises and shit and not working. You know what I mean? It was never like I was rude to the teacher and disrespectful. Teacher's pet? No, not at all, because I wasn't good in class. I was just, I just like knew how to not get in serious trouble. If you're like, like the teachers could have like done extra punishment for me, but I just, I knew how to stop that level of trouble. You know what I mean? Thank you for the $2, Sosman OTF. Current Weidman versus Shabazian. Shit, probably current Weidman, I'd say. Weidman's looking pretty swollen in Wonderboy's last video that he posted. So I'd probably go current Weidman. Shabazian's garbage. Weidman beat Omari Akhmadov. I think he's actually pretty good at middleweight. And I think if he comes back, he could still give some problems. But, you know, that leg is always going to be a problem. Thank you. I appreciate your $2. And thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Fraser Finnan. Fraser, great name. Um, do you think Connor was the number one pound for pound fighter when he was in his prime? No, no, DJ was you fucking spastic. DJ was champ when Connor was in his prime. DJ was setting records when Connor was in his prime. Are you okay? Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Jones was setting records when Connor was in his prime. Chill out. Connor was like number three. Jones, DJ, Connor, you know. But Jones was kind of in his off period with the OSP shit and the DC drug test, that kind of time. Thank you for the two, uh, five Canadian dollars, Fraser Finnan. I appreciate your five Canadian dollars, good sir. Thank you for the membership, Animesh Sahu. I appreciate your fucking membership, Animesh Sahu. Thank you. Jones was a cheat, though. He was a cheat, yes. He was a cheat, yes. Could Weidman make well to wait? No, never. He's too big. He's got like a big head, you know, and he's got big calves, big forearms. Like he's just built big and he's not a skinny guy, you know. 
Adesanya is like a skinnier guy, even though he's not really that skinny. Adesanya in real life would be considered like somewhat jacked. You know, skinny people don't have pecs like that or arm biceps like that. Like real skinny people in school, like a fucking literal fucking string beans. You know what I mean? Respect to Rod Tang takes balls. Yeah, respect, man. Not many people are willing to do that, you know, cross over into MMA. Big respect. Especially right against DJ. Like, I wouldn't give much respect if he just started doing MMA at a low level and worked his way up. But, yeah. You have tiny wrists. I don't have tiny wrists. My wrists are actually quite wide. It's just my hands are quite small. My hands are wide, but they're not like, you know, they're not big hands. Look at that fucking hand muscle right there, boys. That's that fucking... Eh. 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 Would you do roids? When I'm older, probably if they're a bit safer, but I don't know about... I'm not, I don't know. When I'm older, probably. Ba-ba-da, ba-ba-da. What is that, man? I've got a spot here, man. I can't find it, though. I'll probably be there tomorrow. You get a shed tour when you do a stand-up reveal. This is the shed, though. Like, there's a wall there. And there's a wall... On the other side, this is kind of the shed. It's not very big. There's like enough space for me to walk past the desk, which is like here. Have you seen the size of Connor's left hand? It's fucking ridiculous, the size of his left hand. I understand why people get KO'd by it. Fucking ridiculously massive. And he's 5'8 with them kind of hands as well. Like You can honestly understand why it's, it's actually crazy. Thank you for the $2, Sosa Man OTF. Rumble versus Ty, Holloway versus Gaethje once Max loses. Um, I guess... <laughs> Rumble versus Ty, Holloway versus Gaethje once Max loses. Rumble Ty, I'd probably go Ty to Ivasa over Rumble. They both take big shots, but Ty would be better at gritting down and going for it and probably just KO Rumble. Um, and he'll quit because he's a pussy. Uh, Holloway versus... No offense to Rumble, but he is a pussy, like, cowards. It, well, he, obviously, he's not a pussy coward because he's an MMA fighter, but, like, as far as MMA fighters go, he is, like, the Uriah Hall of the, like, heavyweights. Thank you for the $2, Sosa Man OTF. Holloway versus Gaethje once Max loses. Um, Holloway versus Gaethje. I'd probably go Gaethje chewing up his legs. But I, no, actually, I'd go Holloway over Gaethje. I'd pick Holloway over Gaethje. I'd pick Holloway. Rip up his body after the first round. Fucking piece him up. I'd go Holloway over Gaethje. I really would. I think Gaethje's cardio is overrated and he gas. He gets his body ripped up by Holloway. Holloway takes some big shots in the first round. But I think he'd fucking murder Gaethje. Featherweights are underrated. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars, dude. I appreciate you so much indeed. Um, go to one hour, six minutes of Jesse on fire's fourth vid down. The stream is called Chael's Statement. I asked him about Pat Barry. Just watch like 26. You donated $8, so I will, I guess. Um, Miss Jesse's on fire. Is Jesse's on fire. Masvidal getting a pardon, pardon in Florida. Also, I have a stalker. You don't have a stalker. What is this? I love Jesse on fire, man. But like, KSI doesn't have a stalker. You know what I mean? Like, chill out, man. Also, I have a stalker. Like, no, some fucking cocaine addict was outside your house at 1 a.m. And now it's a stalker, you know? He does not have a stalker in any way. I do not buy that at all. <laughs> but good respect. 
Um, Chael statement. What what time? I think he meant stalk on. Uh, fair play. Uh, one hour six minutes. Okay. Dono, <laughs> he calls it a Dono. What? What did he just say? What did you say? Wow. Jesse on fire. Do you care that Pat Barry groomed Rose? No, I don't. They've been together for a while now. No, I don't. I don't care. What the fuck? His eyes are a bit weird. I was just about to mention his eyes. I thought he was high. Wow. Mr. Anti-Pedophile over here. Will not condemn Pat Barry for grooming Rose Namajunas. Interesting. It's not by accident there's not UFC on WrestleMania weekend. True. It's a big moment, I guess, for WrestleMania. But at the same time, like, Fight Night card would compete with it quite well, I would imagine, no? Jesse on Fire's a nonce confirmed. Okay, chill out. Oh. By technicality, it's not illegal to groom if you... <laughs> okay. Fair play, dude. By technicality. It's still fucking weird to do, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not illegal to groom, technically, if you don't act physically, I guess. But it is a bit weird, though, you know? Because <clears throat> it's kind of like, even if... Even if you aren't like physically acting on grooming them and like coercing coercing them and like giving them money and stuff like that, you're still like sort of admitting attraction to a minor and like admitting sexual intent with a minor at least. You know what I mean? Thank you for the two dollars, Sosaman OTF. Dariush versus Gamrot. Probably Dariush. Gamrot will be beating him and then gas and lose. He seems to gas a bit. I don't know. Maybe it was just a Fahea fight, but. Darius kind of made Fahey a gas. So I think that Gamrot would lose in the third round against Darius. Colby versus Edwards. Oh, that was weird. Uh, Colby versus Edwards. Fig versus Aljo. Colby versus Edwards. I go Covington over Edwards. I really would. I think Covington would beat up Edwards. Edwards hates pressure style and he hates volume strikers as well. Most volume strikers with takedowns that fight Edwards do extremely well against him. Um,. Figgy versus Aljo. I'll probably go Aljo. Aljo's got underrated range and distance management. And against a shorter opponent like Figueredo that doesn't quite have the striking etiquette that Yan does, I think he'd get exposed quite badly and probably choked out in round three or something like that. Yeah. Aljo's really good. It's just people hate him because, you know, he faked a fucking... He milked a uh, knee to the face massively to get a belt. Makes me think of how Moss from MMA Holes groomed his wife. What do you mean? What happened? Oh, they hate me. MMA Holes hate me. I forgot about them. They really, really hate me. Well, I don't know if his wife hates me. I think his wife's like, um, what did he do, though? I think that's what happened to one of them. He was going off on me about me being a terrible person. And she was like, but what did he do, though, in one of them? He was, she was like questioning why he hated me so much. But he hates me. I don't know why the guy hates me so much. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, John Jones's fiance. Um, Jesse Epstein uh, defends Pat Barry. Watch after stream. 
Okay. Jesse Epstein. I've just seen it. Okay. I saw I watched the rest of it, I guess, after stream. Thank you for the uh, free Australian dollars. John Jones's fiance. Appreciate you. Thoughts on Dean Barry? Uh, I think he'll get probably exposed. Pretty overrated. Thank you for the free Australian dollars again. Uh, someone find the video where he goes off on Guru. I don't know when it was, but I remember someone saying, go to this time in this stream on his channel. He goes off on you. He like, someone asked, why do they all hate me so much, man? I don't Shut up, Michael. I'm just getting back on the straight and narrow. Shut the fuck up, man. I'll deal with the rest of it as it comes. Jesus. Let me get some content out first. Fuck, you know. Jesus. Shut the fuck up. Prime McGregor versus Habib. Who wins? Uh, fucking hell. Uh, if McGregor fought Habib three months after Alvarez, he fucks up Habib. Give a fuck. Habib wasn't as good back then. McGregor was better back then. If McGregor fights Habib three months after he fought Eddie Alvarez, he fucking annihilates Habib and KOs him. I don't care what anyone says. You're telling me the pre ally Quinta Habib beats McGregor? You're delusional. You're delusional. Thank you for the $2, Sosaman OTF. Corey versus Yair. Rakic versus Yiri. Yan versus Volk. Thank you for the $2. Uh, I'd go with Yair destroys Corey Sandhagen with body kicks and big shots. Um, plus, it'll probably be a free rounder. So I'll go Yair over Corey. Looked amazing against Holloway. Um, made Holloway look quite average with the boxing and shit. So definitely Yair over Sandhagen. A lot more pop in his shots. So yeah. Um, better chin, I'd argue, as well. Even though Sandhagen's got a good chin. I'm going to relapse, dude. Tomorrow, though. Today. It'll be today. No, it won't be. I'm coming off of it. Thank you. Rakic versus Yiri. Um, probably Rakic destroys his legs and Yiri can't do what he wants to do. People don't like Rakic's style, but the fact is the dude lands a couple of leg kicks on you. You don't want to fight anymore. Simple as. Uh, thank you very much, Jan versus Volk. Uh, probably Volk. He's like Jan, but more powerful. And uh, as technical as Jan as well, I would I would argue. So Volk. He's just yeah, he's Jan, but more tanky, you know. <sighs> How long till he relapses? Why do you have to spam that? I've read it. Insecure much, you know I'm right, lol. Just stop smoking and work out. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Fucking hell. Stop acting like you're telling me to do things I've already done. That's the most annoying thing. My brother used to do that shit so much. I'd think about something and my brother would tell me to do it. And then it wasn't my idea anymore. He's so fu That fucking annoys me so much, man. My brother too, yeah. <laughs> you obviously aren't doing it. Well, then you telling me is not going to change anything then, is it? You're so all over the place, man. Deep down, you're not disciplined or structured. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? It changed then. Fucking hell. You're clearly nuts. Fucking annoying ass people. <laughs> you, you've been here for five hours. Ain't you got Iraqis to fucking kill, dude? Ain't you at war? You've been here for five full hours of your day. You've been here since the start of this stream. Don't be coming at me with your fucking... Uh, you got to have discipline and structure. And what, no bombs gone off on your fucking military fucking site? In five hours. <laughs> I bodybuild, yes. Nationally qualified army SSG. You've been here for five hours today. Five hours today. The start of the stream until now. Five whole hours you've been here. <laughs> Don't be coming. At we, we know about you, man. You got me? Okay. Yeah, we got you. Laugh it off. Fuck, man. Domino's is so low quality, man. 
I should get refunds for this shit, man. That's fucking low quality, man. Like, genuinely, put a pizza in the oven. It's more ab. It's more fucking appetizing than this shit. Not Domino's again, yeah. Let's get a good frozen pizza. I know, it's way better. Like, there's certain pizzas that I just won't touch. Look at this pizza. Ugh. Look at that shit. Look at this crater missing, and then look how it just fucking shows all that fucking inside stuff. Look at that. It ain't meant to bend that way. It ain't meant to bend that way. But that one ain't getting eaten. What else isn't getting eaten? This one isn't getting eaten either. Look at this shit. Fucking hell. That is not getting eaten. You live in the ghetto. I know it's shitty dominoes around here. That is not getting eaten. One of the pepperonis is upside down. This one is not getting eaten either. This one is getting eaten. Look at the difference. See? That's a good that's a good slice of pizza. This is a terrible slice of pizza. How do they both come out the same pizza? This is a great pizza. Fuck, man. Was a pepperoni upside down? I don't know. Thank you for the $2 Sosaman OTF. Prime Mendez versus Ortega. Prime Condit versus Colby. Five rounds. Thank you for the $2. I'll keep answering these for money. Uh, Mendez Ortega. Uh, I'll probably go Ortega. He'd take those shots, sub Mendez eventually with a back take in like the third or something like that. Um, Prime Condit versus Colby fight. Oh, Colby, Jesus. Condit had a wrestling problem massively. He'd get ragdolled. That was a silly one. The second one was kind of silly, but I respect it. Condit did have a massive wrestling problem, though. Covington would just fucking ragdoll him massively. I think anyway. I sound like you won't eat that whole box. No, that genuinely, I'm not eating it. That's why it's still there. I bought this at fucking 10 p.m. UK time yesterday. Upside down pepperoni. Yeah, as in like, look at these pepperonis. There's cheese on the pepperoni. And one of them was just the, up, the other way around with cheese on the other side underneath it. So like, how did that happen? They must have touched it. So like, that annoys me. I can't have it when that happens. Did you even sleep? No. Look at the neck on that thing. I know I've got a big wide neck. <laughs> Brexit pizza. Dude, Brexit was good for us. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to hear that Brexit shit. Go appear in a Sidemen video with them Brexit jokes. Fucking hell. Fucking annoying, man. Literally just... Having sovereign rights to make rules in your own country and fucking people are calling it racist. Breaks it happen, we still got people flooding in. There's nothing about immigration. Get it off my pizza now. Okay. <sighs> Turkey neck up in this beach. I was straining it, of course. <sighs> How'd you have so much energy you didn't sleep at all? Because I'm fucking loony. I'm a psycho. Gobble, gobble. Okay. Who does Gamrot beat in the top 10? Um, I don't know. I need a little desk peddler. <laughs> Fuck it. So sad to say out loud. How much are like little desk peddlers? I want one of them. Burn some calories while I'm sitting here, you know. Keep the blood flowing. Desk peddler. Some fucking middle-aged obese woman shit here. Um, how much do they cost? Two hundred pounds. Two hundred. Oh, okay, that's not that. Okay, what is that? That's a step machine. Two hundred pounds. 
uh, 50 pounds. Little, I'm getting one of them. I'm going to get one of them. Little mini desk peddler. Because I'll be honest, like five hours, it does. you do feel it a bit in your legs. Like Once I'm done with this stream, I'm going to get up and walk around quite a bit. <sighs> Fugly export and MMA drink Coke straight from the bottle. Dude, I'm fucking beautiful. Don't even come at me with that bullshit. Ugly this. Like, I know how I look, you know. Girls want me. I don't give a fuck. And I take good pictures as well, which is good. Joe Joyce impression. Yeah, you know, it's a great fight. You know, hopefully me and AJ can get it on, you know, and we can have a big smash up, you know. Yeah, Billy Joe Saunders is a great fight, you know. How does it feel that people are waking up and you haven't been to bed? I just heard uh, in the kitchen, I heard, I haven't got a glass up here. Ding, 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 ding. That's a finish of a stir for a cup of tea. I just heard that in the kitchen. So someone is awake right now. <laughs> Why don't you, you react to past fights on stream? <sighs> but I don't want to. Sometimes I want to upload them. <laughs> and OBS is shit. We tried streaming with OBS. It's just not solid enough. This stays stable perfectly however long i need it to so this is how it's done is dj more technical than yam um i guess so yeah it's friday what else is there to do don't project your insecurities on well you're in war so i like, get to war brother there's ukraine russia going on what's going on i worked out before stream and i was more likely more productive in one hour than you were a week but i'm like working right now and you're not you're just watching so how am I, how are you more productive than me? I'm being productive in these five hours. You did a couple squats. <laughs> if my cock is actually a soldier, it's actually the funniest thing. I just picture like his team fucking pinned down behind enemy lines. Where the fuck is Agent Ark? Where the fuck is he? Is Mike here? Where the fuck is this guy? We can't, we're under fire right now. And he's just like, you need to structure your life better, dude. In my fucking chat while his team's getting fucking torn apart by Arab fucking mercenaries. <laughs> Behind enemy lines. <laughs> Grenades going off and he's just fucking in here. Fucking typing in my chat while his team gets fucking blasted to shreds. We're outnumbered. They got so many. <laughs> when are you posting the 273 picks? Probably tomorrow, Sunday. When I met you in the summer, 273 picks. I'll probably go with Volkanovsky. I want to fight with Volkanovsky. Why didn't you stream at 9 p.m. UK time anymore? I'm going to now. I can't wait until I pop that spot. See that under the skin spot right there, boys? Oh, fuck, get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to fucking squeeze that shit. So oh, I can't wait to squeeze this spot, man. Uh-oh. Impression of Leon Edwards demanding a title shot after beating Usman? No. Are you fasting? Yeah, for Ramadan. Yeah, I'm fasting right now for like Allah, you know. I mean, I like to fast sometimes because it's just really good, you know. So yeah, I'm fasting right now. Alhamdulillah, you know. Thank you for the two dollars, Sosman OTF. Luke versus Balau, Tony versus Hooker, Magni versus Jorge. Thank you for the two dollars, dude. Uh, Balau beats Luke. Fifth round, rear naked choke. Tony versus Hooker. Mm, probably a Tony 29-28 decision. Magni versus Jorge.
I think Masvidal would KO him. I can see that happening. You realize we're not over here in active war. This shows you all you don't know anything to do with the military because you don't understand the structure behind how we infill into war or anything. I know, like, I don't understand military. Like, clearly the military is just, you know, from the hours of 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., you guys just sit in live streams on YouTube chats. Obviously. I don't understand the military, you know. They just, like, yeah, you know, five hours, you know, have the have the day off to just chill in a YouTube chat. <laughs> I guess you'll get to like the duties of the fucking battle station soon, you know. <laughs> five hours in the morning of YouTube chat, is that what they allow in, in, in the <laughs> in, in the war zone? I don't care if there's no active war, but like, what the fuck are you doing over there if there's no war? Get home, dumb bitch. Then you have a wife. Is she there with you? How do you compete in bodybuilding? Did they just say, ah, oh, well, we've got this raid on this fucking Taliban war base, but like, my cock's got a fucking squat challenge to do, you know? Michael just tells Al-Qaeda to structure their life and they stop shooting. Yeah, <laughs> You guys are being really ineffective with time right now. If I were you guys, so they're just fucking blasting his team while he's trying to negotiate. <laughs> he's using technical words now. No, when we are in a garrison and not downrange. <laughs> he learned the word garrison from fucking Star Wars Battlefront, I swear. And not downrange. We are at work periodically in offices, typically if not training outside or in the field. I'm at home, Lamal. Oh, you're at home now. Okay, cool. We're not always out in the field or deployed. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> MMA crews live. Stop shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got big respect for the ta like, Taliban. Massive fan base out there. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Is he LARPing on the chip? <laughs> He's just deep into a LARP over the past five years. Like, the game's over, dude. Like, no, you know. I can't break fakeade. No. I'm just joking. Like, he attacks my life, I attack his life. Is how it goes. You're probably going to ridicule this, but I'm pass passing through a shitty period. And your streams, videos are some of the f uh, few things that help. Yay! I'm joking though. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that smooth cast. Radical, dude. Thank you so much, man, for the kind comment. Thank you. I appreciate your viewership, good sir. Quality stuff. That guy's legit in the army. Then the US is fucked. Yeah. How did we lose the uh, the military base in Iran? Ah, uh, just the the entire soldier platoon was just in MMA Guru's live chat. MMA guru? Who the fuck is that? Oh, you know, just some YouTuber, you know. They were all just chatting in his live chat and Taliban just swept through, swept through the place, you know. Gilbert Burns is going to manhandle. <laughs> like he manhandled. Oh, wait, never mind. Hamzat struggled grappling against Joanne Calderwood. Okay, dude, that never happened. Both my eyes are fucked now. I just fucked both my eyes. <laughs> now he's defending the military. How we fucked? Tell me, non-military member. Because you're in my live chat. Thank you for the $2, Sosman OTF. Cannoneer versus Sean. Kelvin versus Burns. Smaller Jackery. I actually think Cannoneer looked like shit against Brunson. He looked like a really bad striker. I don't know if I picked Sean to beat him, though. Um... I'll probably go Cannon here. And then I'll probably go with hmm. I'd probably go Kelvin over Burns. Kelvin over Burns. 
at, at welterweight. If he could make it safely, then yeah, I pick him. Watch Strickland throw a grappling masterclass. He's going to. Paheya has been training grappling for three years. He's going to get absolutely ragdolled and choked out. Ideal way to die, heart attack or stroke. Don't even talk about that dumb shit, man. Um, shut up. That's <laughs> how so Taliban took back Afghanistan. The US soldiers left their weapons there because they were enthralled by your stream. Yeah, they just couldn't help it. I've got to see what he says next about that next matchup. God damn it. Let's raid the base. Now is the time, brothers. We must go. The guru has gone live. War, war, war. It is time to raid. Block Asset does a great job promoting Hamza. I know. They're really good. They're really good videos. Amazing. Amazing. A bunch of incel non-military peeps ridiculing me, a military SSG who served six years and getting out the mouth. Funny as fuck. Ooh. Oh, I know he mentioned something about how long he's been doing it for earlier, but it's off the screen now. I wish I could have scrolled back to that and seen some inaccuracies there. He's going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Jesus. I, he said something about how long he's been doing it, and I was just going to double check the time. It wasn't on the screen now. It was just before. He said five years. I think he said five years. Yeah. <laughs> He said six in the new one, so I was like, I'm going to find when he said five years, but, you know, maybe he's just off by a whole year. It was when that grenade went off, you know, he's never been the same. Michael's going to cry. No, this is like a part of the stream to roast him eventually. Once he gives enough life advice, it just fucking... Oh, he just hit six years. Ah. He did say five years before he did. I'm getting out in July. Mm. You know, you know, guys, those uh, six year and three month terms that you do in the military. Have you completed your six years and three months? I've completed them. OK, you're good. Or six, six years and three months. Thank you for the two dollars. So some OTF Jamal Hill versus Santos. Sean versus Vera rematch. Uh, um, Jamal Hill versus Santos. Sean versus Vera rematch. Three rounder O'Malley beats Vera. Five rounder Vera beats O'Malley because he's unfinishable. So he'll finish O'Malley in like round four. Um, oh, fuck. I don't even mind Santos's chances against Hill. But he's such a pussy now. So I'd have to go with Jamal Hill. I have to go Jamal Hill over Santos. Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate your $2. Good sir. Thank you. Lost your virginity two months ago. It went horribly, by the way. Nice. I mean, I just hit 10 years, Guru. Kaboom. Ah, 10 years. Don't roast him that much about pathetic life. Like, he might be telling the truth. It's just funny to poke fun at the uh, inaccuracies of his stories. The constant and, like, consistent inaccuracies that he always goes to. <laughs> maybe I'm not caught up on the chat law, but is Mike got a guy making shit up? No, like, it's just like, he always gives life advice and then you turn it around and it's like, he lists his entire life story. It's just funny. It's just content, you know? Like, he, he gives life advice the whole stream and then you turn it around and then it's, he lists his, he like starts reading off his CV, you know? It's just funny. Uh, 
Um, beware of the day when the shin of Alar is uncovered. Okay, fair play. Beware. What do you mean, beware? Then he'll be complete. He's not fucking Exodia, for fuck's sake. Jesus. The shin of Alar? What the fuck are you talking about? The shin of Alar. Jesus. Like, he's Exodia. Uh, finally, he is complete. <laughs> Drew knows his brother. Is this the bullying mic session I just got here? No, it's just like a couple minutes of bullying him. It just passes the time. <sighs> Obviously, LARPing. He's not LARPing, Jesus. CTE from Shellings. I used to see that molester dude in every single MMA chat getting gangbanged by everyone. Jesus Christ, that's a vivid bit of imagery you've given us there. Well done, dude. When I was a soldier, indeed, when I was a soldier in Afghan. But when I killed Bin Laden, the knee of Yahweh. Mm. Do you know Yahweh? Um, who should Gus fight now that Rothwell got the boot? Um, who should Gus fight now that Rothwell got the boot? Oh, Arlovsky. Arlovsky should step up, I think. Thank you for the $2 Sosman OTF. Prime Hendo versus Jorge. Prime Jackare versus Usman. Um, probably going to go... I don't know why I did that. Probably going to go with... I'm sorry. Uh, Prime Hendo versus Jorge. Prime Hendo. What the fuck is... KO, out cold. Jorge gets hit too easily. You can't take hits off Hendo. Thank you for the $2. Uh, Prime Jackeray versus Usman. Prime Jackeray beats him. Beats him up. Usman, if, with a size, with a big size disadvantage, Usman's going to get exposed. If Covington's rocking you, problemos, I think. I would say anyway. You know? I'm overseas, not saying where, but it's 12.47. Uh-oh. You said like 10 minutes ago that you were at home. Ah, he's at home overseas. Ah, mm -hmm. yes, of course. <laughs> you have a home overseas as well. Man, military paying you well, huh? Two homes. And the, and the house of cards crumbles underneath him. As his web of lies. <laughs> I'm joking. You might be telling the truth. It's just people having accuracies in their stories, but like, that's funny. Who's <laughs> in Dubai? <laughs> I'm right, probably telling the truth. Where are you? What country are you in right now? Let's get like some like, let's get more solid information. No one's going to know where you are, like based on what current country you're in. You're in America. Wait. Why? You're overseas, but you're not. 
How are you overseas then? No, you've rumbled it so bad now. You've rumbled it so bad. Overseas, you're in America. Hawaii? Why would you be in Hawaii? Alaska. That's not overseas. How's that overseas? Why are you in Alaska? Where are you at war? Where are you at war? Where are you at war? Are we at war with Russia? Do I not know? Are we beef in Japan without... Not in an active war? Okay. Same here. When they call up, though, I'll be there. But we're just not at war right now. I'm a soldier, boys. No, I get it. He might be telling the truth. If I can give you the $2, so some an OTF. Thank you. Bones beats gun. Stipe, tire, aspen, owl blades. Um, I don't know. Thank you for the $2. Uh, Bones beats gun. Stipe, tire, aspen, owl blades. Hmm. Mm. Best chance tied to Ivasa with a grapple him. Second best chance. Fuck at this point probably Stepe, you know. Sad as it is. Um third best chance blades and then Aspinal and then Well no, then Gaon. I think Aspinal's the worst matchup for him out of all of them. So I say worst matchup, Aspinal. Second worst. I don't know. Blades, the cardio is good with Blade, with Garn. Garn, the cardio is good. So Garn, Blades, intertwined. I just think Stipe is done and ties too fat and unathletic. You get taken down. Bombing Eskimos. We're at war with the Inuits. They're taking all our fish. Yeah, yeah, hey, brother. These damn Inuits been taking our fish, brother. We gonna bomb the fuck out of them, boy. Drop them nukes on them damn inglues, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at these damn Inuits taking our fish trade. Oh, fat. Why are you saying that, Nabosa? Why are you turn this around on me in the middle of insulting my quark? Let me chuck it in fat. I'm not that fat. I want body fat on me, but I'm not that fat. Sleep is for the week. Mm. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. You just fucking chuck that in there. <laughs> I was stationed at Fort Carson before here for two years before going to airborne school, then sent to an airborne unit. Okay. Fair play. It's fine. I'm simply being bur big boned. That's been said to me my entire life. You're big boned. You'll grow. You're big boned. <clears throat> 25 with two kids. People have kids when they're young. It can happen. You aren't black. I know that. Okay, you're joking. Okay, cool. You don't have children. You're joking. Okay. Your real name is Joe King. <laughs> what the hell? When did you sleep? I just slept on stream. We did a sleep stream. I was 17 when I was a boy, not joking. I think my parents were like 30. Close to that, at least. They were quite old. <clears throat> Fuck, they're getting up there in age, you know. I'm going to have to buy my dad a nice car.
You wear fat person clothes. You only see me in fucking nips up. Five nine at best. Um, oh god, I can't wait. Members, shut the fuck up. I will probably, but like, shut up. A couple of minutes, my cock's gonna start saying he has five kids. He probably just had him. They're expecting pen triplets, you know, pen slips. What video are you uploading? <laughs> I don't know what video. I'm not uploading a video after this. I'm going to have to make videos after this. I'm probably going to make a video talking about how Sean Strickland destroys Alex Bahia. Then I'm probably going to make another video talking about how... Um, fuck, I don't know what I'm going to talk about after. 10 a.m., you psychopath. It's how it be, yo. My, my friends message me sometimes saying, are you okay, dude? <laughs> are you okay? They see me live at certain times. They're like, dude, are you, doing, are you okay right now? <laughs> fuck, why the fuck are you live at 10 a.m.? Thank you for the $2, Sosa Man OTF. Uh, Chandler versus Dariush. Connor versus Justin. Dustin versus Colby. Um... <sighs> What am I going to go with? Chandler versus Dariush. Probably going to have to go with... I'll probably go Chandler over Dariush. I'd pick him. Dariush, fat old man. So Chandler, i go Chandler over Dariush. KO. If Hernandez can do it, Chandler can do it, I think. Connor versus Justin. Justin, at this point, I think beats him. Now, I wouldn't... I probably would have picked Connor a while ago, but now... Justin with the bad leg and Justin's kicks ain't going to go well for Connor. Uh, Dustin versus Colby. Dustin versus Colby. Colby ragdolls and subs him. Rear naked choke third round. Rear naked choke. I think Covington actually gets a UFC finish for the first time in his career. No, he's had finishes, but you know. The oversized shirts. How are these oversized shirts? Look how tight this shirt is. You see that stretch? That's a tight shirt right there. That's not an oversized shirt. Jesus. Better up upload today. I need my content crack. I'm going to upload today. What's your prediction for my fight, Guru? Dillian White. Uh, I think Fury KOs you in like three rounds, I reckon. I think he just finishes you off. I think White's... Uh, I think White's chin is gone and his cardio is not the best. And Fury's just going to... Fury's lying about pressuring you and backing you up. So he's going to make White hesitant early on. And that means White's not going to go forward because he's expecting Fury to go forward. And then Fury's just going to pick you apart and then fucking finish you like Tom Schwartz, I reckon. Thank you for the two New Zealand dollars, Blake Oakden. Appreciate the Giga stream, mate. Have a good one. No problem, dude. Thank you for the two dollars, dude. Mucho gracias, amigo. Alecalente. Is it the Mexico? Does Usyk beat Fury? Uh, nah. I think he, he makes like a close decision with him. But um, I don't think he beats Fury. Close decision with him, though, I think. When you drop a merch, soon. Everything's soon, you know? Never happens. But it's always soon, boys. Soon, brother. Soon, brother. Yes, soon, soon, soon. When I met you in the summer, do, 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 do. watch a couple weeks of me being sober, you'll you'll see a different side of me. I'll be way more productive. Usyk's future go to boxing. I don't think he beats Fury though. Thank you for the two New Zealand dollars, Blake Oakden. Radical dude. Thanks, dude. So much, dude. I'll probably beat Weasel on the Octagon. He looks like five eight. Even if he's good at fighting, like I'll probably still be him. Likely, at least. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Me, 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 me. Fuck you, KSI. You're shit at music. Why is your song in my fucking head? You're my holiday. 
Be 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 me 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 me. You're my holiday. Swoon. Three to one favorite over Weasel. I'll take it. England in the same group as the US for the World Cup. You guys are gonna lose. I don't wanna lose. The thing about me is I don't wanna lose. I don't wanna lose. I'm not gonna lose. Make a diss track calling that KSI. Creature was shit. Why did we have to make three months for it? You said you were evolving, but you didn't do bitch. You just evolved into the first male with tits. JJ, what went wrong? The old KSI will never be topped. And if you fight Joe Weller, you're going to get dropped. Dude, Colby fumbled the Instagram game. Fumbled. I guess he's waiting for his settlement, but once he gets his money, he better have some fucking some heat coming on Instagram for, for Masvidal. See that Masvidal fan going at Colby in the Nelk podcast? I did with the This Is Your Dad with the Usman stuff. Covington's pretty cool about that kind of stuff, though. He could easily fuck the guy up, but he's just like, uh, yeah, you have your opinion, you know, First Amendment. You have your opinion, which is cool of him. But also, yeah, Covington, uh, in a weird, weird way of the way the world works, Covington is like probably the most, at least lightweight above. Covington's probably the most likely to fumble a street fight against some random guy. You know? Kind of. Like, at least in, like, the initial burst of it. It's not like Covington's going to be like, bap, 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 and just pop him up, you know? But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just the power isn't there, and, like, the snap in his shots isn't there. I could see him, even though he would easily dominate anyone on the street, he could, like, fumble a fight against a randomer and, like, get hit with two shots for giving one. You know, just if they've got, like, a bit of boxing experience, maybe. Obviously, he beat him up, but, like, he could fumble it a bit. Bare knuckle, though. And it's bare knuckle, but four-ounce gloves ain't much different. Thank you for the uh, two pounds. I am the belt. I appreciate your two pounds. Gilbert is too big of an underdog. Might bet on him, yeah. Thank you for the two pounds, dude. No one knows wrestling in a street fight. It's not about that, though. It's the street fight in that scenario, at least. He can eat it, though. Yeah, but that's the thing. In that scenario, the person who wins is the person who just gets off a few shots before everyone separates him. There's not going to be time for him to take him down and pass into side control and get into mount. You know what I mean? Colby was so good at the Nelk podcast. I don't care what anyone says. He was quite good at the Nelk podcast. I appreciate it. Uh, they don't understand the sport, though, so a lot of stuff was going over their heads. Thank you for the two pounds. I'm the belt, dude. Too big of an underdog, I bet on him. Good job. You probably bet on him inside the distance then. Put some money on inside the distance burns for a bit more value, you know? Thank you for the two pounds. I am the belt. Or just buy KO, maybe. Look at this. Scoring points in a street fight. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Burns beats Colby. I don't think he does. Burns is trash at grappling. Some fake jujitsu nerdy shit, you know? You get ragdolled. Do, 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 do. And plus, Colby never goes into guard, so you just ragdoll him against a cage and make him gas. I think, anyway. Thank you for the $2, Master Blaster. Thank you, good sir. How much money for you to take a fight versus a weasel? At this point in my life, I do 50 for 50. 50 to show, 50 to win. At this point. 10 for 10 is little too little. 20 for 20 is... A little too little. I'd want to really train for it. So 20 for 20 is a bit low. I, I'd, I'd probably 30 for 30, I'd do it. You know? Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate you. 50 bucks. No, look, I'd actually want to put in a lot of training. And eight weeks of fight camp is like, you know, 
takes a lot. He's soy as fuck. I know I'd probably beat him, but like I'd want to put in the work for it, you know? Imagine like whooping up on him, but he somehow fucking survives and he's trained and I haven't and I gas out. You know, that'd be fucking embarrassing. Is he just end up giving a dude a BJ during a street fight? He just fucking pull his trousers down and bend over. I'm beating him up. He can't stop me. Does Justin beat Volkanovsky at 155? Um, I don't know. Do you, what? Uh, yeah, probably. I think Justin probably does beat him. Yeah, good style for Justin. Yeah, I think Volk could beat Olives, but maybe not. But Gagey's actually a pretty good style matchup against Volk. Like he'd do pretty well. Thank you for the free Australian dollars. John Jones' fiance. But I could just see Volk embarrassing him. Featherweight's a... Uh, you know what? I'd probably go Volk. I'd probably go Volk. I could just see him embarrassing him. Like, I can see Featherweight's truly exposing lightweights coming up soon again. Because they've already done it. They've already ran the fucking division. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, dude. You rather see Colby KO Hamzat or Ty KO Francis? Colby KO Hamzat or Ty KO Francis? I want Hamzat to succeed, so let's do Ty KO Francis for the meme of it. Ty KO and Francis would be cool. But Colby KO and Hamzat? Nah, I'm good. Let's do uh, Ty KO and uh, Francis. Colby KO and Fran uh, Hamzat would do good, but I want Hamzat to rise, you know? I want. I actually like Chimeyev. He's cool. Most people call me like anti-Dagestani, anti-Chechni and all that, but they're just all fucking boring. But Chimeyev's pretty interesting. Thank you for the free Australian dollars. Volk Chandler at 155. By the time it happens, probably Volk Chandler is going to be too old eventually. You feel me? Did you see how Colby said he took a knee for the first responders? He saw that on MMA Island. He does read the comments and use it, yeah. He does, yeah. But, you know, why not? Why not use him? Why not use him, you know? Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Do, 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 do. Me, 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 me. <laughs> he actually barely got rocked. <laughs> you know? When you watch back that moment where he gets clipped, people talk about it as like, ah! but he barely gets like, Rocked at all, like flush shot right on the jaw as hard as Masvidal can. Boing, spins his head around, and he literally gets right back up. Like, like a split second, he's down. Not even a full second, he's down for. He doesn't even have to readjust anything. He's just like zoom, zoom, back up again afterwards. It's actually crazy. His chin, crazy in the moment. No, it was crazy in the moment. Yeah, because you're like, oh, the big moment. But looking back. He actually wasn't hurt at all, really. He did, like, feel the shot. Um, Masvidal actually said afterwards that once he hurt Covington like that, he was waiting to hit Covington with a knee because he thought that as soon as he rocked Covington, Covington was just going to shoot on him. But Covington just never shot on him. He just backed up and jabbed and moved, you know what I mean? Colby deserves Connor fame. No, he's not as good with his words as Connor was. And his performances aren't as good either, let's be real. If Covington was KOing people out cold with all of the shit that he says, then he'd probably be a Connor level star, but he's just not. Let's be real here. Come on. Let's be Madrid. I like Masvidal, which is sad. I like Masvidal. Recently, he's been a bit of a dumbass, but I liked Masvidal. Masvidal's funny as fuck, man. Everything he says is gold. At least back in the day, original Masvidal, man. Some people jumped on Masvidal when he started winning fights on his rise. But I used to like Masvidal way back in the day when he was pre-Wonder Boy, pre, like, lightweight Masvidal was a cool guy. Man, watch Genghis Khan films, man. Watch Genghis Khan films. Awesome interviews, yeah. And not only that, he's got really good lines. Like, I think, what was it after his... Uh... Fuck, who did he beat in 2013? It might have been fucking uh, Tim Means. Uh, 
or was it? I think it might have been Chiesa. I think it was Chiesa. That Chiesa Tim Means era of his career. Yeah, 2013. Tim Means in April. Chiesa in. Wow! Dude, my brain is actually so fucking good. How the fuck did I know that? Tim Means in April and Chiesa in July. Chiesa Tim Means era of his career. Dude, he was so funny back then. I'm going to get that title one way or another. Even it have to be strong arm robbery and all that. That was like, no one was speaking like that in MMA back then. It was so cool. He was a realist. I know he was so real back then. I'm going to touch that belt one way or another, you know. Even if it has to be strong arm robbery, you know. You know, make it happen. Strong arm, strong arm robbery, whatever it has to be, man. I'm going to take that belt. Good little one-liners that he had. And he used to, like, call out... Uh, who did he used to shout out back in the day on his... I think he used to shout out people in his post-fight interview. But I can't remember who he used to shout out. I don't know. Now every response from him is just violence. Yeah. This individual is going to receive violence of a high degree. Dustin on Bully Beatdown would be sick. Yeah, he just loses in front of his wife. <laughs> he just loses knowing, like, knowing him just gets chinned immediately <laughs> dude imagine losing on fucking bully beatdown man I'm gonna expose this dude I'm gonna break his face man I'm gonna show you violence of a high degree man critical condition might not make it I know that was really bad cause uh, Covington's line that he had uh, you ain't never going to be the same after I'm done with you. Like genuinely in the weird way that this sport works out. So fucking true. So true. So true, man. Not in the way that Masvidal is never the same physically, but mentally he is a broken man right now. Like 100% he is a broken man. So it's weird how some of these MMA lines come back to haunt people, you know? Jorge backstage after losing, dude, he was crushed. Fucking crushed. But then again, they were all crushed backstage, to be fair. Dustin would wreck Fiziev. At this point, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he could, to be honest. True. Mm. Colby's funnier than Connor. I don't know what any I don't care what anyone says. At this point, probably yeah, but Connor on the rise was different level fucking gravy. He was different gravy on the rise. You can't deny that, man. Oxo cubes and everything, man. Buck broke or hey yeah. Any other performances from Cage Warriors yesterday you enjoyed? The uh Shelly the Shirley the brothers. Shelly brothers. Was it them? And uh let me have a look at what ones I enjoyed. Tapology. I mean Bonner obviously got his win, but I can't know, it's Bonner in it, you know what I mean? So I didn't give a fuck. Uh fucking What's his fat mush? And there were so many jab KOs. There wasn't there like two jab KOs? The Shelby brothers. That was it, right? Shelby. It's not Shelby. It ain't Shelby. It's uh, Sheehan. The Sheehan brothers. They both won. Great fucking win. Uh, this one, yes. James Sheehan. Brutal KO. It reminded me of Alexander Hernandez versus Chris Grotischmacher. Do you guys remember that KO? Psh, 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 puts him away. Such a nasty KO with the uppercut combos against the cage. Jesus. Quality. They're Northern Irish as well. Represent my lineage, bro. Some of my lineage, some of my lineage at least. Nasty KO, man. And the guy he was fighting looked pretty technically good as well. There it is. Here's the KO. Psh, 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 psh. Oh, so nasty, man. That's a nasty KO. Some of these Cage Warriors KO. Even um, Lona Kavanagh's KO in his last on the last card they had. That was fucking crazy. Poll still going. I want to see how many views it uh, clicks it gets. <laughs> Did Bonner burn down his own house? I mean, it's the genuine questions we need to know the answers to, you know. What the fuck? Five hours long? Indeed, five hours long, bro. Is that a problemo with you, sir? Are you okay with that, dude? Or are you not okay with it? I want to get friendly with ya. <laughs> oh, clicked my neck there, man. Now I like it. Cheers. 
seeing the same 10 questions on this on repeat that's how it goes brother that's how the stream goes if they make connor versus nate free does that make the colby versus dustin fight more likely um i guess so yeah Used to plug his ears and arm flap around the classroom. I was a bit of a retard for attention back in the day, I'll be honest, in school. Like, I used to... I have really good uh, pain tolerance. So I used to, like, run into things and really retarded shit. I was such a cringy... Everyone was cringy as a kid, right? But I think I was extra cringy and stuff. I used to, like, fucking rugby tackle just like a fucking wall. You know? And then just do it. When's TJ coming back? It's been a while now. Yeah. True. Meanwhile, Jesse on fire says it's all a stunt. And <laughs> UFC was in on it backstage footage to set up another match with Masvidal. Yeah. Fair play. Dude, I'm interested in a rematch, though, of everything that's gone on. You know what I mean? Especially if there's like, they're both on the same card moving forward. How much donors did you earn so far from your welfare donations this stream? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't tell me until I end the stream. I would guess. Um, in pounds, probably 200 pounds. Actually, there ain't been many big donors. Maybe maybe just under 200, I think. It's been live for a while, you know. Thank you for the 449 rupees. 20 PJ. I appreciate that very much indeed. Big respect, my brother, from... South Asia, you know what I'm saying? Southern Asian, you absolute Southern Asian legend, good sir. Bloody hell. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate you, Jay. Short for Janesh, I assume. Thank you. I can see Guru making weird sounds in primary. I, I was the impression guy. Do Cartman, do Cartman. Do Kermit, do Kermit. That was, that was my thing. Dude, I was a legend back at school. I wasn't a legend, but like people liked me, I think, a lot. Do Cartman, do Cartman. I used to draw... Pi I don't know what happened to my artistic skill, but there was a time where I used to draw really good pictures and people would tell me to draw pictures of people in the class, cartoonish pictures, and I would do, like, really good ones and, like, insult them in a way. Like, if they had a big nose, I'd make their nose fucking massive in the picture and stuff like that, you know? But I was really weirdly good artistic in the, uh, in, like, cartoony way, in a cartoony way. Like, I used to... Do I had all the drawing books where you do the circle and you map out the face, you know, those like learn to draw books and, and stuff like that. You keeping this up? I don't know. Probably not. You weren't artistic. You were autistic. Same thing. Were they laughing with you or at you? With me. I think I was quite funny. If I wasn't funny, I think it would have been a much tougher time at school, but I was quite funny. Cause I used to float around friendship groups, you know, a lot. Like I, I didn't have a friendship main herd. It was just me and a couple of other friends. We'd float from this area to that area and then go back to this area, then go and fucking mess around with the Somalian kids and then come over there with this area, that area. And then the Indians and Asians uh, would stick together. And then that area, this area, white people that, that just, Roll, roaming around like a band of banter, you know. <sighs> Do Anderson Silver diarrhea impression? Man, it's normal, man. Shit coming out my ass, normal, normal, man. Went to sleep watching your sleep. Just woke up after three hours. Are you on steroids, bro? What an energy! I know it's fucking bonkers, lad. I'm making up for like no productivity over the past couple of days. Join the Asian brothers. I like Asian people, man. They're pretty cool. Somalians are lovely, crazy people. I like Somalians. They're my favorite black people. I think anyway. Somalians are fucking funny. When they're not pirates, they're cool. Yeah. I like so I think Somalians are my favorite Africans. When they're not pirates. Yeah, when they're not fucking aboarding my pirate ship, then uh Yeah, they're quite cool. You know, as long as you ain't on the seven seas with them, I guess. I am the captain now. Somalians have fat asses, no homer. You've just seen a KSI video, have you? KSI clips. You saw that, did you, yesterday or something, yeah? 
I know what you watch, brother. I know what you watch. I'm in these fucking YouTube streets. I know what you watched. Somalian girls wondering where their asses are at. Their brother Abdu. Boom. You know? I know what you watch, brother. I'm in I'm in these YouTube streets. Smashed a Somalian chick. She was thick. Mm. First thing, man brings up Mali cheeks. Nah. <laughs> uh, is Don Wooding a basic London black man? Um no, he's weird. He's a fucking freak athlete. No, he's not an average London black guy. Uh, average. I mean, what does he look like? No, he's not an average London black guy. Not at all. He's I uh, on the good looking side and he's weirdly athletic as well. So. No, he's like the upper echelon, I would say. Most London black guys look like... Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good example. I don't know. I don't know what the the average is. I don't know. I don't see many people nowadays. You know. <laughs> Thank you for the membership, JF. I appreciate you very much indeed. Are you bored? No, I got a full head hair. Is Drickers de Plessis still on the card? Uh, no, he's been pulled off the card apparently. <laughs> this is a morning stream. Yidding deer, bidim deer. Don't wanting steals gurus tin the matches. No way he does. No way around it. Jai Herbert. No, Jai Herbert's like a Arab mix. Somali bunda. Yes, he's got bunda. Swift, Sado Jamaicans. Okay. Not wanting a rematch because knowing UFC math and luck, Jorge will sleep him cold and be like, I knew the first fight. It was his nut hugging. I'm glad I got, I got to end that mistake in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. That was for you guys, even though no one really wanted it, but all of the social media people that don't even watch the sport want it. Fucking annoying, man. <sighs> Ethiopian chips be slapping. Okay. What's a Maya Jammer shit? I'm not really into black girls like that look. I get it though. Who's like the best? Like Latin girls are good looking. Um, probably Hispanic girls. Shame there ain't more of them in the UK. They're pretty hot. White girls, I think, are the best in my opinion. But if I had to go anything other than white, I'd probably go Latin. Hasbro will probably get on my nerves, to be honest. Guy just punches everyone. I know, yeah, like, chill out. But then again, everyone does treat him like a child, like he ain't 20, though. Not English girls, though. Certain English girls, but yeah, not typical English girls, no. You'd have to probably find, like, a Polish girl or a Eastern European girl or something. <sighs> you look good considering how English people can look. Oh, my God. You should see how I look on Tinder. I'm a catfish on a reel. I'm a, honestly on Tinder. I'm a nine out of 10. Even if you don't think I'm anywhere near that now. Jesus. I'm a nine out of 10 on, on, on Tinder, on dating apps in general. Some of the pictures I've got on there. Sheesh. Perfect. Perfect angles. Good morning, my dude. Good morning. That's one of your Tinder shots. Let me see if there's anything that won't expose me. Oh, uh, well, I'm not. This one ain't on Tinder. I'll just show you a picture, maybe. My Tinder ones have like full body. You know, me and the boys and shit. Thank you for the $2, Dylan Reyes. About to work, stream for eight more hours. 
Yeah, maybe we do eight more hours. Keep the donos coming. I'll keep streaming, you know. Thank you for the $2, Dylan Reyes. I appreciate your $2. Good sir, I appreciate you very much indeed. Loki, just a pick of Guru on stream. No, it's not. You, can you, can't you get arrested for a dick pic? Not if it's big. Well, I think you still can. I don't know. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. You're a high six, bro. I'll take it. High six. I mean, it's obviously going to be lower than what you actually think. So I'll take it. High seven. We're in. Punta. <laughs> Thank you for the free Australian dollars, dude. What's your Tinder bio? I need some help. My Tinder bio is. <laughs> oh, there we go. Exposed. Exposed. Actually exposed. Six foot three. Welsh flag English. And then eight inches underneath. Exposed as a liar, boys. I'm rounding up, you know what I'm saying? But they don't know. You're a four at best, okay. You Myron? That's not my fucking bio. It's not you Myron. <laughs> Colby has to fight Jorge second time else. Sucker punch haunt him forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. I hear that still from. You get me? You're Ross on a team. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Nah, this is, no, I can't show you that. That exposes like all the hair. You've got to have some secrecy. I can't, I can't show you many pictures because my hair is out in all of them. I just realized. Thank you for the 25 HRK, Mr. Rock. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, good morning, bruv. Had a good sparring session today. And by good, I mean every inch of my body hurts. Do you train in martial arts or just do gym? Um, I just do Jimmy stuff at this point. I got a gym that I go to now. I'm kind of like a gym rat now. You can't kick me out of there. You know what I mean? I'm just in there, just fucking grinding that iron. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the 25 HRK. I appreciate your 25, good sir. Thank you. Thank you for the 25 HRK, dude. Fuck, I can feel a spot whenever I turn my head to a side. It's coming up. Thank you for the 25 HRK, dude. I'm glad you had a good sparring session. I'm glad you did. I'm very glad. I'm very glad you did. Stretch your neck. <sighs> That's my back, though. When are I dropping predictions? When am I dropping predictions? Uh, probably tomorrow evening. Good evening. Thank you for the 25, dude. Appreciate that 25. Hundo, you feel me? Wants to be a conservative American so bad. Conservatives are fucking left wing, dude. Don't hit me with that fucking dumb shit, man. Fucking soy boys, you know? Conservatives don't say it like it is, man. Respect. Okay, thanks, dude. Do the praying thing. Praying hands below the chin and push up. The praying thing. What do you mean? How does that make any sense? Russell Brand is based. I mean, he's correct. Good thing. Basically, right? Russell Brand... These lot are mugging you off. That's how Russell Brand sounds. The serendipitous way in which the world rotates around. You know, that's how Russell Brand is. <laughs> it's a good Russell Brand. I do impressions. I can just hit voices like that sometimes. Thank you for the $2, Dylan Reyes. 
Mariah's diarrhea impression. No more shit, man. No more inside, man. I'm shitting out my guts, man. No more talk, man. No more belch, man. I can't take it anymore, man. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to get knocked out, man, by the shit coming out of my ass, man. Volk gonna merc Korean zombie second round TKO. Sheesh. Imagine if you one punch KOs him. Wow, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, again, I'll urge you to go back and check. Oh my God, I'll urge you to go back and check. Korean, uh, not Korean zombie. Volkanovsky versus Jamie Malarkey. Oh my God, dude. It's vicious. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking vicious, man. So fucking vicious, man. And he held back his extra punch as well. Which is respectful of him. Fucking vicious KO. Like, honestly, I should have seen this earlier in Malaki's. I knew he lost to Volk, but I thought it was like, ah, Volk TKO'd him. He was gassed out, you know, third round TKO or something. But he fucking literally takes his soul. Oh, my God. I want to see Volk at 155 so bad. Leg kick. And here it comes. Malaki goes forward with a combo, and then here it is. Boom! Oh, shit. Respect for holding back, though. Jesus Christ. I want to see him at 155 so bad if he has this level of power there. <laughs> Fucking vicious, man. <laughs> like, Riddell wouldn't even rock in him like that. Like, And down he goes. I really want to see Volk at 155, man. <sighs> Alex Volkanovsky's listed in that fight as five foot four. <laughs> Alex Volkanovsky in this video is listed at five foot four in Australia. But in the UFC, they say he's five six. I'm telling you guys, height is a myth with men. Everyone, every man's two inches above what they say. Two, in, two, two inches below what they say they are. Volk's YouTube channel is underrated. Yeah, his cooking videos are quite cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah, later today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more UFC, man. No more foot, man. No more money, man. Fuck, man. I'm out, man. No more belch, man. Me versus Cody, man. Only choice, you know. No more belch, man. Not joking, I'm 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, yeah. 5'9". 5'4", beast. 5'4", at middleweight, he was. Yeesh. What's right wing if conservatives aren't? Here's my point, yeah. Conservatives have been in charge, yet everything is still happening. So how are they right wing? Conservatives have been in charge in the UK for the last fucking decade. Refugees flooding in, changing the demographics, race shit going on, race relationship being taught in schools, LGBTQ nonsense being pushed. Like maybe in America it's different, but the, to the evil Tories have been in charge for a very long time, the majority of the last decade, and... Everything's still happening underneath them. Yeah, I'm not Steve. I'm, yeah, maybe not American per se, but even still with American. Just less so, you know? Why do you like red arrows on your thumbnails? They get more views if you have like an arrow click into something. Plus, sometimes with the. Uh, like, I'll have a two of them in the thumbnail and then like i'll have brutal first round ko so i have to like put an arrow to say who the text bit of it is about you know change for the worst with biden yeah i know hopefully he moves out soon ksi's frame is all nostalgia of the old ksi pre-2016 fame is all nostalgia of the old ksi yeah, he just laughs at shit now and doesn't really provide any entertainment, but all good though. Red arrows, red eyes, and tears. a boy. Tears get people emotional because if you're a fan of them and you see me put a tear on them in a thumbnail, you click on it, you know. 
for sure. What are the locks of the card for 273? Sheesh. Main, the main and feature fight, Chimeyev and Volk, I guess. KSI was never funny. He was funny at one point, though. He was quite funny. Can't play FIFA forever. Yee yee. Not true, though. He's constantly making new shit. I'd say that's true about someone like PewDiePie, though. I guess so. Like, they are doing new stuff and, and shit, like, with the new shows. But it's just, like, he's the same guy in all of them. And it doesn't add anything to himself, you know? Although he does new shit, it's still him. Still the same guy. But anyone can say that about anyone. I just think that he's lucky he started so soon. You know? PewDiePie is effortlessly funny now. PewDiePie is just often correct on a lot of takes, so no one ever turns against him, you know? Very, like, PewDiePie said the M-word as, like, a Scandinavian white person. Blonde, blue-eyed, on stream, in, like, a negative way, and people are still rallying behind him, like, respect, you know? He's like a politician way, you know? He's a politician in that way. Like, he knows how to win over people. Like, he's very smart as well. You have, you can't deny he's pretty fucking smart. More views than PewDiePie in his second account. There you go. The bridge, indeed. PewDiePie promoting uh, fitness, very based. Mm. Stoicism and shit like that. I saw that video. Remember getting like insanely raging boners in the middle of school and always would have to tuck that shit in your waistband and getting up and stuff. Worst shit, bro. Also voice cracking at the worst. Yeah, I know. I know. Vo I actually never had voice crack problems. My voice like isn't naturally that deep. But I never had voice crack pop uh, problems. Never. Like some, some rare occasions, but it was never like an... A lot of people had them a lot. Like all the time they had voice cracks. But I had like a a couple of them, you know. Mine cracked bad as fuck at the worst times. Yeah. That kind of shit. Yeah, I never I didn't really used to get voice cracks. Like occasionally, in like some rare occasion I would, but no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, I miss school so much. I wish I could go back and start again. And I wish I could see school as like a part-time thing. You know, because you do impressions. Yeah, I always have, a, have had good vocal range, you know. So I don't think my voice is ever set at one tone. But uh, man, I wish I went back to school and saw it as a part-time thing and like would hustle on the side as a job. Like I wish I would treat it like, I wish I would have started, but if I would have started this back then, back then, you guys wouldn't have liked me at all, I don't think. I'd have been so annoying. I'm kind of annoying now, but I I just find myself so cringe back in the day, man. Wish I could go back to school and pass. Sheesh, I did pretty good at school. I got like a shit ton of GCSEs. Like early teens GCSEs. Amounts of them. Pretty fucking good. I, I just, I have a really good memory. Maybe you can tell with the way I can remember UFC events and shit. But if I read something, I can just, I'm not even that smart. I just, if I read it, I can remember it. And yeah, I'm really good at like bullshit and answers and shit as well. Like for English tests, when you have to write about what you've just read, I'm really good at making it sound like I'm saying some genius shit when I'm not even covering any points, you know? Don't appreciate school until it's done. Yeah. Now I'm 23 and like, even if I start again in my next life, like I should have been fucking slaying Panani in school, but I just, what if I don't come out at all? Or Big Peened, like what, like even if there is a next life, what's the odds that it's, that I get dealt a decent set of cards, you know? What if I'm blind next life? Like there's some real bad cards you can be dealt. Fuck. Redo, redo school with what you know now. Or redo school with what I know now. Uh, if I go back in time age-wise as well, 100%. Dude, I, I spoke about this on stream many times before, but dude, there was girls giving me so many signs and I'm just so fucking dumb. I didn't even fucking see it, man. I actually messaged one of them a couple of days, uh, not a couple of days ago, a, couple, uh, a week ago. I messaged one of them just asking, you know, did you fancy me at school? And she said, I don't even remember back then. Oh, you fucking, you, I 100% uh, she did. 
You believe in reincarnation? No, I'm just saying in the off chance that it might happen. Um, is Alexander the Great Macedonian? Uh, yes, he is. He's Macedonian. Message all those girls for show. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come back in like a chad, boys. I'm going to swoop back into their lives, you know. Favorite years of school? Uh, the last two. Like, the last two. I never went to university, but you finish secondary school and then you do a two extra two years. So those those last two are my favorite. Because then you start drinking house parties, that kind of stuff. And even though, oh, my God, my friends hate this as well. Because I always use this. If I ever, if there's ever a vlog moment or if that friends ever come on stream in any way, if they ever try and call me like a loser at school, like I got them invited to every party. Every party, man. Every party. <clears throat> Guru waking up in a cold sweat eight years later, realizing she was flirting with me. I know that's how it is. That's how it is, man. British flirting, do you fancy me? No, that wasn't it. That was just what I messaged her afterwards. I was like, listen, we're both adults. Did you like fancy me back then? Just out of curiosity. Uh, I'm not trying to pursue anything. I was just asking. And she was like, I don't even remember back then. You fucking remember. I know for a fact. There's no way she would have done the things that she did unless she did. School was a lot worse for me. Yeah, people had a fucking rough deal at school, man. Even some of the people in my friendship group had rough fucking times at school. I had a rough time at school, but I could have not had a rough time, you know? At least you didn't peak at 16. Kind of sad for those people. Yeah, true. True, I guess there's there's a point in that. You're still, We're still young, you know? We can still make stuff happen. I was watching... Uh, I love... I, Genghis Khan Films has reinvigorated my brain. I was watching uh, Masvidal and Covington on that and how they're just around in Vegas looking for pussy and shit. It's just such a cool scene. You know? Never regret the past and live every day to the most. No. Always regret the past and think about it nonstop. School is either you love it or you hate it. I hated it when I was going through it, but I could have really loved it, man. It was such little time of the day. School was six hours. Six hours. And like an hour and a half of that was a break. Six hours. Nine till like three, I think it was. Or like just before nine to just after three. Six hours. Seven hours. Maybe it started at eight. I don't think it started at eight though. I think it was like six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. I could have been, I could have been fucking, I've just been live for that amount of time. Like six and a half hours. And then, oh, fuck, man. I could have been working on the side, making bank, like Punani. Like, it's so fuck. I'm going to go back and, God, I can't wait to fucking bust back into the world. It's happening this year, boys. Caring about popular shit is the gayest thing you can do. But it's so not, like, life just happens and then it's gone, you know? Like, if you're young right now, get a part-time job in school. Men don't peak till late 30s. Yeah, I know that. I know. I can see that. Because money means more if you're a man than it does if you're a woman. So even looks-wise, we do. But financial-wise as well, it's a big help. Those who forget history are bound to repeat it. Brood about your mistakes. Remember them and don't let it happen again. Thank you, Andrew Tate. Radical. But yeah, I know what you mean. If the zombie was to be champ, do you think he would be good? No, I think he'd just lose to Holloway right away afterwards. Jesus, my score was from eight to one. Jesus. You, what, are you fucking retarded? How eight till one? Thank you for the 20 uh, euros, Palaki. I appreciate your 20 euros, good sir. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much indeed for the 20 euros. Thanks. I didn't know Tate was half black. Yeah, but there's different, like, it, it depends how, like, just how alpha the white fucking genes are, you know? Like, typically, he probably has a white dad, I would imagine. I don't know, though, but he probably has a white dad. Because, uh, like, he doesn't look half black as you normally would, you know? Thank you for the 20 uh, euros. Balki, I appreciate your 20 euros, dude. 
My score was seven to four. Okay, you were in prison. You were in prison. Seven till three. No way school started at seven. I feel like school was like half eight till three, I think, man. High school's from 8 a.m. to 4 or 5? What? Genuinely, I think half 8 until 3 was the school time. They do it because they don't like school rush at the same time as work rush. So they want all the buses to be filled with kids. And then the workers can start getting on the buses afterwards, you know? My dog's just been let outside, so she might start fucking barking manically. Most blacks are half white nowadays. Not really. Well, it doesn't make any sense. And how are they black if they're half white? Good point. It's different school districts and what they decide on, I guess. You could leave school early to work. Same here. But I didn't do it because I was just fucking playing games. Oh, video games are the devil, man. So much time. Oh, my God. So much time. Oh, konnichiwa, so much fucking time. Oh, oh, my League of Legends, man. Fucking hell. Call of Duty, League of Legends, like fucking hell, man. Konnichiwa. So much fucking time on games that got me no, no productivity at all out of them. Gmods. I <laughs> know, Gmods. Prop hunt, just fucking dumb shit that just doesn't do anything. Why did Yogg's cast have to influence me to play games? No way you were a league player. Dude, I used to be so good. I was like plat two, a <laughs> league. I was grinding for diamond with my boys. You don't know about the league hustle, man. You had the time, you don't anymore. That's the point of youth. Yeah, but I, I should have set I shouldn't have gone to school. I should have dropped out and labored. And I'd have so much more money right now. Same for FIFA. I played a bit of FIFA. GTA a lot. GTA 5 when it first came out. Come on. That was crazy. Fuck having fun as a child. I know, right? Fuck it, you know. Who did you main? Who did I main on league? I ma I went through phases of different roles, you know. When I was ADC, I used to main Lucian. Because I was very diverse and I wasn't racist at all. I'm not now either. Um, Lucian, Jinx, used to main. Uh, who else I used to main? Jin, when he first came out. Used to play him a shit ton. Anyone who took a high level of skill I used to play, <laughs> essentially. And no one who used to have lock-on shit. That was fucking bullshit. Only high-level skill shit. And uh, Jungle, I used to do... Gragas jungle levels to the game levels to the game bit of Gragas jungle my my e flash the e flash where you can connect it at the end mid flash that's the levels i was on boys um who else elise jungle as well quality at that that type of shit you know did you play siege rainbow six siege no no, no. my friends started playing that but that's when i sort of fucking went off on my own for a bit <laughs> Fat ginger man, no wonder. Good one, dude. School was a huge waste. It was a social setting to learn about yourself as a young adult around others. The classes were retarded and didn't teach anything crazy important. I haven't used anything from class. They should have taught me how to do fucking taxes. I didn't learn shit at school. Have you played God of War? You no, know, I haven't played God of War. I've seen people play God of War. I've watched someone play the game. That's even sad. Hours of that shit. I've watched people play God of War, but I never played God of War. You uploading this? Probably not. <sighs> Thoughts on Jesse on fire? He seems cool. Does everything, anything for content, but he's cool. I respect it. OG Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was the game, yes, for sure. For sure, dude. Red Dead Redemption, yes, 100%. Yes. Yep. Undead Nightmare as well was great on that as well. Basically wanted to go to Yan route of growing up, labor work at 14 and fight for bitches. I guess so. I don't know. I mean, hey, things wouldn't have... Maybe I wouldn't have started an MMA channel and started doing what I enjoy for a living if I went that route, so... 
maybe I needed the years of like, I regret everything. I need to figure it out, you know? Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Heroes versus with Mos Osley. I remember that. I don't know why I remember Mos Osley, but yeah. I remember the heroes versus villains thing now. Just I used to like just play. I didn't even pick the hero whenever I got it. I used to just like playing as the fucking. Here comes supers. Super battle droid. Droidikas. You know what I mean? Super Smash Bros was fire back in the day too. Yes, for sure. Taken for granted your current situation. It's not as simple as you can go back and do it better. I am very aware that I can't travel in time and do it better. Very aware, dude. Thank you for letting me know. Smash Bros. Melee, the amount of hours. I love that game. Love that game. Great game. Lost a command post. Take it back. Yeah. We're running out of reinforcements. We're all out of reinforcements. Darth Maul is on the field. Ooh. Huh? Looking back now as adults, you realize how sad our teachers' lives were and how much they hated teaching, to be honest, lol. As students, through being young and happy, we all walk in class and all chipper, unlike them. True, yeah, all laughing and stuff. They're like, stop having fun. Stop having fun. Oh, my God. They used to sit me in front of the teacher because I couldn't fucking stop talking in class. And I used to kick the wires under their fucking desk. And yoink their fucking keyboard. Um, I, I, it's crazy how much you just get away with at school. You know, borderline assault with like throwing. That's assault. Like that is assault. That is assault. That is not a type of assault. It's assault to throw something at someone. But we used to throw shit at teachers all the time. All the time. Onion rings with ranch? No, I don't know what ranch is. Video games are a total waste of time. Joe Rogan's right. It is, but it's fun, but it's, oh, it is a waste of time. I saw a clip of uh, Covington and Masvidal playing Modern Warfare 3 together. Why are these clips not all over social media? These are great clips. No one's seen these uh, documentaries of them. I've got, I have got. saw a video yesterday of uh, Masvidal and Covington talking shit to each other while they're next to each other in front of a screen playing Modern Warfare 3. Where did you watch that? Genghis Khan Films. Genghis Khan Films has like so many, so much footage of them. So much footage. That's why I want to do vlogs because I want to, when I'm 30 something, I want to look back and see all my, me and my boys hanging out of it. So hopefully that happens. And plus when you video stuff of vlogs, think like cool things happen anyway. Just naturally cool things happen. Is this your full-time job? It is now. Yeah. Good way for virgins to get dopamine. I guess. True point. Probably the worst student nerd kid who was funny and people were like, he smells. No, I wasn't nerdy. I was pretty cool. Thank you for the $2 striking Viking. Ranches, blue Doritos, yeah. I was pretty cool in school. I was just fucking... I had no confidence in myself because my brother hit me when I was a kid. So I had no self-confidence at all. But when I look back at pictures of myself, I was like, fuck, you were such a chad. You could have slayed Punani. You could have slayed Punani at school. But uh, my brother just tortured me like, so badly. Uh, yeah, really badly when I think about some of the stuff. Not like that level of stuff, but like some of the stuff my brother used to do. I've already told you about him pinning my arms behind my back while his, while my friend fucking bam, bam with a cricket bat. Like That gave me CTE 100%. Maybe not because Thai kids that do Muay Thai might seem quite well. Ranch is blue Doritos. Okay. I don't know what the source is. Thank you for the $2, dude. Call original, yeah. He molested you? No, nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. But, like, he used to just fucking... I was... He just used to violate me. Not in, like, a physical way. Mentally, he would just fucking torture me, man. Like, I could never be seen as cool or anything because he'd just fucking shut it down. Ruin my self-esteem. Kai, your biggest underdog. 
Um, Tim Elliott to get what this year maybe, but to Giro and Beckoff, Tim Elliott is um, was that as well? Is that Street Beef's striking Viking? Is that is that what it is? Uh, which video on Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan films. Let me check. He mugged you. That's sad. Actually, it was fucking sad. What's your relationship with him now? We don't speak because we don't speak at all. Don't speak at all. You're bigger than you're way bigger. And it's a weird dynamic because I could fuck him up so easily. But uh, we don't speak at all. Like one word passed. Don't say words. Like I, when I look at him, I just know all the things that he fucking did. And it's just like, I can't, I can't. Blink if he touched you inappropriately. He never did anything like that. I'm not doing nothing on that level at all. But anything up until that, like he never went past that threshold. But everything up in like mental torture as a kid, man. He really fucking like he used to really beat the shit out of me. Uh he, my mum, way later in our lives, because I didn't grow up with my parents, but way later in our lives, my mum used to be outside talking to one of her friends. And she used to hear my screams from in the house. And she would come running in to, like, save me. Did you deserve it? I did not deserve it at all. I did not deserve it at all. It was an infinite loop of he would do something. I would call him out for doing it. And he'd do, a, do something else. And then it was just a confident, uh, like, a constant loop of it. Rolling around school with his heelys. No, I never had heelys. I never had that. My parents wouldn't give me heelys. Wait, you didn't grow up with your parents? No, I grew up with like other family members. My parents uh, bought a house they couldn't afford. So like they had to work two jobs, both of them. Uh, so I had to grow up with like my nan, my auntie, with this, that. So I, I barely, I just used to jump between houses, friend's house, auntie's house, cousin, nan, every day. And then like between like, Eight and ten, I'd be at home some nights of the week, like half the nights of the week. Your brother put you on a wheelchair? No, I'm not in a wheelchair, guys. I'm genuinely not in a wheelchair. I'm, I'm not disabled in any way. I would milk it so much for views and fucking subs and shit. Top three worst things he did. The cricket bat thing was really bad damage-wise. Uh, he pinned... I'm not going to tell you all the things he did. He literally pinned my arms behind my back. And my, and my friend rained shots on me with a cricket bat. <laughs> over and over again. Like, he just wouldn't back me at all. He, like, wanted me to get... He almost wanted me to, like, to kill me. Almost at certain times. Being extremely Jewish is not a disability, sadly. I know. Friend, ah, friends have them arguments and shit, you know. What the fuck is this a therapy session? Well, it's people asking me questions, I'm answering the questions. Is your friend not your brother? No, my, my friend was doing it, but my brother was pinning my arms behind my back. Why do you think he did it? I don't know why he did it. I think he got like bullied at school and he just took it out of me, maybe. That's what I guess, in a way. Another thing is, uh, man, how much did I rat out my brother here? Uh, another thing, he like robbed me once, no word of a lie. He robbed me for like a lot of money, a lot of money without me knowing as well for years, robbed me bad that like, I don't know. I don't know. He was just a menace. I think just an absolute menace. Everyone's life seems tragic. If you dwell on it, it's true. It's true. It's true. But he robbed me blind for money like i didn't even realize he not not that's pretty normal as in he took cash come on man just uh proper like robbed card wise without me knowing for like years of cars like yeah man, I just, there's like a thousand uber things i've never had an uber before you know like and it was oh okay well there's all my money gone never got that back Never got an apology either. But then it's just like, hey, you know, be friends with me. I can't do that shit. You deserved it, to be honest. I would do it too if I was your bro fair play. Nan should never be raising a young man. No, it was rarely my nan. It was more my auntie and my cousins and stuff like that. Sometimes a friend's house and shit. Uh, 
What time is it in the UK? Like 11 a.m. Resentment is on 100. No, it's just, just telling it how it is. At least expect it from your bro, yeah. I ever stole my life insurance money when my dad died. Sheesh. That's tough, huh? How much older is he? Like four years older? What does he do now? I'm not going to say what he does now. Holds a mighty grudge. You can't not. You can't not hold a grudge. I can't just be cool and act like nothing happens. You know? You, you can't not. You have to. I can't not hold a grudge. Thank you for the two pounds, large anus. Okay. Post a stream for two minutes so I can download it, please. No, I'm good. Thank you for the two pounds, dude. He's a cop? No. Not a cop, no. Nowhere near. Nowhere, nothing like that. He does like a normal job, a regular job. You hear the sadness that you want an apology? We should get him on stream to apologize. No, I just know that my life would have been so much better. Maybe I wouldn't have ended up doing this, but my young life would have been so much more confidence-filled if it wasn't for him. Drug addict or a former one? Hey, a lot of men in my family go down certain roads of crime, let's just say. Not like addicts, but criminal shit. What the fuck we got to do for you to leave a stream up for once? Oh, I can't, man. I get banned if I leave streams up. I said like so much anti-fucking certain things in the st in the first hour of this. I can't do that. How old are you? Twenty three. How come you don't leave the streams up? I'll get banned if I leave them up, man. You don't. Some of the like people. How untame? Are I'm being tame on stream, but if you can't compare me to what other people are talking about on stream. It's so different. Like, I will get banned off YouTube if I leave these streams up. They all get flagged and reported and shit, and then they get, like, under review, so I just fucking panic and take them down. You related to Eddie Hall? No, not related to Eddie Hall. How's KSI famous? Back in the day, I used to do YouTube vids. Very funny ones. 30 at least. I'm 23. I actually am. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hesky time, yeah, that stuff. Slavery, FIFA, that shit. A stream with Guru and his brother sitting next to each other and he's emotionally apologizing. He knows about it. He actually, this is what he does. My parents would never have known about this if he didn't show them. He, I told him not to, and he left it open on the big screen for them to see. So, like, it's, he's that type. Like, they wouldn't have ever known about this for, like, an extra year or so. But uh, he, like, left it open for him and shit. Even now, but especially when I was younger, it was so hard telling if girls were flirting with me or just being nice. I feel, I feel like I was, I was like, uh, I used to think I was fat, but I was like 200 pounds. So I was like, imagine me now, but 30 pounds off. Chad! But I didn't know, because my brother just made me think I was fucking some degenerate. Thank you for the 449 rupees, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you. Women do that because they're very naive. So you hate the friend that beat you with the kebab. I don't speak to him anymore. But we were cool after that, though. Me and my, I've always had, like, friendship groups where you, like, beat the shit out of each other a bit. Fight each other. You still fuck mad bitches. I know, I know, I know. Listen, I know I'm a chat now, guys. Like, listen. Hey. You know, we're doing good, you know. If he came up to you and sincerely apologized, could you reconcile? It depends what influence he was under when he did it. Uh, if I really make some good money, I'll probably give him some money. Not even as like a help you out thing. Just like, yeah, fuck you. I've fucking done so much better than you, dumb bitch. Something like that. <laughs> he doesn't know. Stop lying to him. I don't know what you're even talking about. Um, You developed into a funnier adult. Fair play. Well, why would he? Bully beat down with his brother as the bully on the show. We can have Ryan Hall fight him. Yeah, petty. It will be. It will be petty. Listen, I've got rights to be petty. 
He didn't do anything above that line of like weird shit. But he used to really mess me up, man. Really mess me up, man. He didn't do anything beyond that line. I promise you he didn't do anything beyond that line. But up until that, he used to, he didn't sodomize me. Jesus Christ. He didn't sodomize me or anything like that. But like pull my beard hairs. No, I didn't have a beard or anything bad. And I was like baby faced. But he used to like fuck me up. What's the most fucked thing he did? He, he like, uh, <laughs> this is, this is just like my nose should be so much more fucked up than it is. It's actually a miracle that I don't look like Arlovsky right now with my nose. He uh like just lay down, just lay down on my back. Why would I believe him? Lay down, just lay down on your back. So I'd lay down on my back. He said, oh, just you trust me. And he would straight up just jump on my nose, like full force, both heels. <laughs> jump on my nose. Like hard. Like real. Boom! Fucking jump on it. Boom! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fucking hell! Like real bad, fucking terrible shit. Really bad shit. He was. I. I think he's being bullied at school, and he took it out on me. One hundred percent. My brother fucked me up. Up. He fucked me up. A serial killer shit. I know. Really bad shit. You have serious brain damage for sure. I've got salmon. No, not sit on my face or anything like that. Fuck off. Read my donor. Uh, okay, you donated. I didn't realize. Thank you for the two dollars, Dylan Reyes. You recorded him, M leafing you and showed them. Recorded him, M leafing you and showed them. No, 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 no. He didn't showed who. No, 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 no. He showed my parents the channel. They didn't know about this. No one knew about this, and he showed everyone. Basically, thank you for the two dollars. My girlfriend wife for revenge. I don't know who he's with. Molesting. No, he never did anything like that. No, he wasn't that weird. Live in the same house now. Is he a psychopath? He comes in and out. He dips in and out. He's out. He like, he basically, he's basically like, a, it's weird to say this about your own brother. Yeah. But girls would, let's just say this. If my brother's around your girl. She ain't your girl. Simple as. He is a Chad, like a Chad beyond belief, a Chad. Weird to say it about your own brother, I understand, but I'm just being honest. Like if my brother's around your girl, it's weird. So what he does is he doesn't pay rent or live anywhere. He just gets with girls that are rich and he just stays at their place for as long as he can. And he'll be, he'll be in a mansion. He'll be in a nice apartment, a sky rise. You know what I mean? Brother guru, greater than guru. Hey, like... Not physically, like in size and mass and, and all that stuff. But like, if my brother's with your girl, like she ain't your girl. Simple as. <sighs> How tall is he? He's like 6'1", I think. Just under six, just over six. I don't think he's six one. He's like six foot, like a tall six foot. My brother's so hot. No, it's not that. I just know how girls act around him. Ever fight with sticks? Yes, 100%. How much does he wear? Oh, I take him. I, I took him like the last five fights and he stopped doing shit to me. Like easy as well. He weighs like, uh, he's different from me. I got like, he got like my dad's genetics. I got my mum's men. All my mum's men are like big ogre, fucking freakishly big ogre people. And my dad's side are all like tadish, chadish, tall, lanky people. So uh, he got like those genetics. So he's like, uh, he's like six foot, probably about. Fuck, who would he? What would he be like? Like one eighty, one eighty five. He's pretty slim. Does he look Welsh? No, no, he doesn't look Welsh. He looks like Scandinavian. He looks a lot like. And he actually like re he like seeks out to like Vikings cast. He actually looks a lot like 
Uh, this guy here. Who did he play on the Vikings? The cast of Vikings. Um, fuck. He looks like, uh, fuck, where's the full cast of the Vikings? Characters. Okay. Um, He looks like not him. No, that's more like it. Alexander Ludwig, but with like a beard. Like a, a decent beard. Alexander Ludwig. That's actually what he looks like. There's a picture of him on Google Images with like a black leather jacket and a white furred collar. That's exactly what he looks like. Very similar. Very similar. I'm telling you, we've got like Scandinavian genetics in our family. There's a lot of blondes. But that's what he looks like. There's a picture of him with a black leather jacket with a white collar. That's what he looks like. But with more of a beard. A better beard than him. <clears throat> Alexander Ludwig, yes. Ludwig. 22. My Dude, my bro sucks. Six years, motherfucker, but an asshole. Okay. Ragnar Lothbrok, the greatest character ever. I haven't watched it. I know. He seems cool, though. I am Ragnar. No. No, I don't think he is. No. I haven't watched it enough to know that, but I like the uh, character of, I've seen some scenes of it, you know, I've seen, uh, what's your brother's name? I ain't telling you my name. Why would I tell you my brother's name? Uh, I've seen a scene of the, I've had a boneless. I am a the boneless. I cannot be killed. Spoilers. I'm not going to say what happens after that. Chad always bullies nerds. No, I wasn't a nerd. I was never a nerd. He was quite nerdy as well. No, he never did anything like that, OG Michael. Never. Never like that level. I thought your brother looked more like Roy, Roy Nelson. Okay. I'm a nerd. I can't lie. It's good to be a nerd. Fun life, you know. Why don't you whoop him next time you see him serious? Give him a heads up and just lay it on him. You'll feel better. I did that last five times we fought each other. I've already said. Last five times he fought each other, I fucked him up. Last one of the times he get he got so angry about this. Let's reveal more. Uh, I uh, he was like I I felt like such a Chad. It was my biggest Chad moment. The first time I, the first time I fucking fucking like took him down almost. Not took him down. I didn't even fuck him up this time. He wailed at me with punches and I laughed dead in his face about it. I was actually hurt him. He actually hurt me. But I was laughing at him to like fake a laugh as like a posture. And he fucking flipped about it, man. He flipped. I was laughing as he was fucking wailing on me. And he flipped about it. Flipped out like rage, pure rage out of him. Your brother have a good relationship? No, no, we don't at all. Not, not at all. Not a relationship. Always thought one of your family members would just come on stream and just troll. He's done something. He's been in my room. I think. I think he's been in. He's done something. I don't know what he did in the stream, but he's snuck in. I know. I don't know what he's done, but he's checked to see what's going on. He's snuck in once. While the uh, whatever it would be, a sock or whatever was be would be over the camera whenever I would go, he snuck in once, one hundred percent, like a couple of months ago, or like six months ago. How tall is he? Like tall, six foot. He claims like six two, but he's not. 
world record for live stream yeah sock over what the uh the camera while i go to the toilet or something whatever the bit of fabric would be i don't know probably a sock most of the time your brother looks like alexander ludwig but you look like tanabosa i don't know one of us got dads one of us got mum's genetics you might in brew breath indeed if he's a chad how do you get bullied and take it out on you um because he was like really skinny I guess. Really, really skinny. So I guess he got bullied in that way. He said your name is Ramsey and you beat your mom. I thought it was you. I, mean, I don't beat my mom. My name's not Ramsey either. I definitely don't beat my mom at all. Jesus Christ. Love my mom. Welcome to Bully Beat Down. True. Mike is crackling. Sawi. Would you ever go into color commentary or anything in professional capacity within the sphere of MMA? They'd have to pay me a lot of money. I wouldn't do some random regional uh, show, but, you know, maybe. Maybe I'd get into it. Do you say you do if your brother burst into your room right now? He wouldn't. He's not here. But uh, he wouldn't even burst into my room. If he burst into my room, I'm not there. So if he burst into the shed, I just see me here. Hey, how's it going? You know? Hey, dude, how's it going, dude? Would you get a fight on stream? No, no, we're cool enough to be neutral and he can't fuck me up. He knows he can't. But, you know. How'd be? Can we talk MMA now or seriousness? No one's asking about MMA. Thoughts on Gastelum pulling out. There you go. Um, My thoughts on Gastelum pulling out. Uh, It's sad. You know, you're not used to it. Hopefully Kelvin Gastelum will step in in his place, you know. Save the division, but uh, it's sad. Hopefully they rebook that matchup, the Plessis Gastelum. That's a much better matchup than Gastelum and Mavov. But honestly, if they're going to rebook anything, they should rebook him Mavov Gastelum. So that'd be cool, maybe. And then we could get it on what card? What card could we get it on? Luke Mohammed is done. That's a done card. That's a decent card. Bahalo Omar Gadziev, Zaleski Lazez, Sabatini Laramie, Garcia Ronson on the main card. Jesus Christ. Uh, Uriah Hall, Andre Meniz, Luke Mohammed. That's a great card. Drakkar Close, Jenkins, Landsberg, Kianza, Barnett versus Bidet on the prelims. That's all right. Beza versus Fialho on the prelims as well. That's a great fight as well. Clark, William Knight, heavyweight. That's good. What's after that one? Oh, add it to the Lemos and Draj fight. Co-main event, Gastelum. That's that's perfect. There you go. Lemos and Draj is at the end of April. Let's just try and rebook it to there if we can. You know? Because that needs help, that card. It needs a strong co-main event. Suma Dwerji versus Manel Cap is not a co-main event. It's decent, but with a main event like Lemos and Draj, we need a stronger co-main than that. You know, just checked back in the stream and it's pretty intense. Huh? But now it sounds pretty rough. Hope you're right. No, I'm good. It's just brother shit, you know. How much have you trained, if any? No, I was fucking savage Taekwondo guy when I was a kid. Like, uh, second degree black belt Taekwondo. I did it for ages, like eight years. And I competed as well. Most people don't compete to get black belts. I competed. Most people don't compete to get black belts. You don't have to compete to get black belts, but they made us compete at the place I was at. And it's under, like, if I said the name of the person I was under to Joe Rogan, he'd recognize the name maybe as well. What's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Um, He speaks nothing but facts. I respect him. He does speak the truth. 
that he, he's got he's very insecure i think he lies about his height uh he acts like he wanted to go bald and he chose to go bald not the case um and another thing i think i think he had like a a get rich quick thing where he got a million he acted like he's a multimillionaire but he's not really a multimillionaire in any way i think he's become a multimillionaire over what he's been doing recently but i think when he first started it he in reality probably had like 100k in his bank he's got a bugatti now he does but you know that's how it be got off his chest what off my chest ain't that bad i'm not saying it's not fucking that bad of a life jesus people have a lot worse You have your brother and friend reenacted, teamed up to reenact a cricket incident. I don't know. That wouldn't happen nowadays. I'd fuck them all up. All my friends from primary school, I'm way bigger than all of them now. Yaya versus Volk is so much more hype than Volk TKZ. Mm. I hear that. I hear that still. But, you know, it's all good. TKZ is a cool fight. And, you know, TKZ was beating Yaya and, you know, it's all good. Streets need you to observe Ramadan to lose weight. Okay. That doesn't mean any finger is bro. Looks better and gets girls easily, but it's shorter. But he's still six foot though. So you near Camden last week? No, I near Camden. Not six two. I am. You think I go to Camden like a regular human? I don't go out. Rarely I do anyway. Which is why I want to start vlogging stuff because it will force me to go and go places, you know? Zombie could sub him 10% chance. Uh, I don't think he subs him. If Ortega can't, it's very silly to assume Zombie can. Plus, Volk's a bit too small to Twister. He's a bit too compact to Twister. You ain't 6'2". I actually am 6'2", guys. I am 6'2". Jesus. I meant Croydon, actually. Nowhere near there either. 90% chance Volk smashes his face in, yeah. This dude got stretched out after a wicked head kick on Raya's El Dorado. It's on Beyond Kickboxing's Twitter. Shiro versus Ibata. Jesus fucking hell. When they're getting wheeled out like that, it like hits home the like reality of the sport, you know? There's a chance you're probably six foot even. No, I'm not at all. I'm way taller than that. With shoes on, I'm like six four. Maybe a dumb question, but how come Muslims can't don't fight during Ramadan? Because you can't eat until sun up or sundown on, on Ramadan and you can't drink. Well, you can drink, but only certain things and uh, weight cutting. You know what I'm saying? You can fight during Ramadan. Bilal Muhammad used to do it when he was like not on roids and way smaller uh, as a welterweight. But uh, it just messes up the weight cut because they have to time their food. And you can't be doing that in the middle of like a most Muslims cut like 30 pounds, 20 pounds. You know what I mean? No, you can't drink anything. There you go. Well, there you go. So that's why. You have to water load, and if you can't drink, then how are you going to do it? I also don't know how Bilal used to... Uh... So good for weight cut. I know, because you have to drink a bunch of water and then let it all go. You can't just not drink water, or you won't lose anything, because you haven't got no water in you. You know what I mean? But, um, I don't know. Ramadan's a bit weird because it says, like, no certain things. There's a massive list of things you can't do. I, don't, I assume violence is one of those things as well, right? I'm not saying anything, but I think Bilal might have broke Ramadan by fighting through Ramadan. In my opinion. You can't have entertainment. You can't have sex, I don't think. You can't, all of this stuff. Surely you can't commit violence under Ramadan. That must be sacrilege. So I actually think that's probably why he doesn't do it anymore. True? Is it true? Yeah, there you go. I'm not trying to start anything, but like I think that's probably quite bad. And that's probably why people you don't hear people like massively praising him for it, you know what I mean? Like Khabib. What do you uh, think Bilal's on? Some Ali Abdulaziz stuff. The stuff that made Gaethje way better when he signed with him. Cejudo way better out of nowhere. Remember when Cejudo was a little soy boy with no muscle mass whatsoever and then all of a sudden became massively ripped? The, the Olympian athlete Cejudo. 
who was a little soy boy with no muscular genetics whatsoever, who suddenly became ripped when he signed with Ali Abdelaziz. Same thing that made Kayla Harrison so ripped all of a sudden. Blah Mohammed Usman all of a sudden has amazing cardio to go with his muscle mass. Like, you know, the same the, the same as Ottoman Azaitar, who was sneaking potatoes into Abu Dhabi. So, you know, some of the Ali Abdelaziz pack, I, I imagine. Look up old pictures of Cejudo. How do people not mention that? Henry Cejudo. Young. He looks so much different. Like, how can an Olympian finally figure out how to get in shape? I don't understand it at all. He looks so much more jacked in his recent... Look at old Cejudo in the gold shorts that he used to wear before Reebok. Look at this soy boy. Look at him. That's a gold medalist Olympian. It's not like he doesn't have to work out or train. Look at the old Cejudo. Before he signed with Ali Abdelaziz. Look at this man. Soy boy. No good genetics whatsoever. Then you look at him when he's like fighting for belts and stuff. Dude's fucking jacked. Look at old. That's crazy. The old Cejudo pictures, man. I might just put up a I might just put up a fucking video saying fighters before and after signing with Ali Abdulaziz. I'm six one but close to six two, should I lie about it? To girls, probably yeah, you gotta kinda even the playing field, but with the boys, you know, be real about it. You're gonna get called out. Dude, what the fuck? You see in the pictures of old Cejudo, like dude has no genetics at all. And an Olympian athlete. An Olympian athlete. Come on. Stand up next to the background next year. No, I'm not going to do it. No. I will do, though. Eventually. Finally, you got the last. Mom is 5'3, dad's 5'8. I'm 6'1. Parents, some short losers. Nice. What a fucking bunch of pussies, huh? Maybe your mom's men's side of the family are very tall your dad's female side of the family are kind of tall that could happen you know get a little bit of a mix up on jeans see a lot of these nba players like six one nba players old nba players get with like a five one women kid comes out six five you know probably looking at like the men of the family rather than the women that they get with Dana's voice changing in his 30s. Oh, my God. Dana's voice has changed so much. So much. Garam got fight signed. Garam? I kind of want to listen to some music now. I'm going to keep going with this stream. Fuck. Garam doesn't have a fight signed. You lied to me. All these things I said I wouldn't do. You lied to me. What I said, what I said. You lied to me. All these things I said I would not do. You lied to me. What I do, what I do, do, do. Turn up the man and once again. Turn up the make up. Come on. Here I go. Here I go. The last thing Full Violence posted, this Simhotep stuff, like they just list things that he never said. It's fucking crazy, man. Simhotep, I'm waiting for people to attack me and tell me I'm wrong, but may I remind y'all that everybody loved when Jorge hit Leon Edwards with a free piece and a soda. Completely different situation. He didn't creep up on Edwards wearing a mask and hoodie, though. Edwards knew Masvidal was headed his way. Not the same. Totally different scenario. Just fucking, why are they so dumb, man? They need to get out of their wreck, like their mindset like that. It's so dumb. Or whatever. He just had no opponent, yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, do, do. He didn't track him down behind his back. I know, it's fucking dumb as fuck. These guys are so dumb, man. It actually annoys me. Remember, remember when I joined that random guy's channel that was saying Adesanya beat Blahovic? You remember that shit? Dumb. 
do 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 who said that on full violence he reposted some shit about masvidal being right to go after the kids when he never said anything about the kids simhotep is preaching never at all I just find it weird how Colby was saying they could never be called to the point next time they see each other, they fight in person. And then Jorge kept his word. They didn't see each other in person. Jorge was notified where Colby was and then sucker punched him wearing a hoodie and a mask. Like, that's so different. Pussy energy crossing boundaries and getting mad when you get caught. Bro suing another fight for fighting. It's not fighting. Like, these guys are actually exposing themselves as cowards. Like, Jesus, man. It's actually so sad. So sad that they keep going with this shit, man. If Colby had his mask on and hood on and sucker punched Masvidal from behind after losing, imagine the outrage. I know. I know. Actually, some comments are roasting him for this. They're so dumb. Why are they so dumb? It's pure out of hatred for Covington. They can't get over it, man. People are forgetting how good Garn is. I mean, Garn, uh, he, beat, he beat Nganu. End of. He beat Nganu. Not almost, not could have. Like he beat Ngannou on paper. According to the rules of MMA, he beat Ngannou. So he's amazing. People act like that's a bad performance, you know? His grappling didn't look the best, though. Eh? Some of his like willingness to be on bottom. And he also looked quite weak in some of those real strength moments. But it's Ngannou, so, you know, he's going to be quite strong in those moments, you know? do 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 Let's do... Pink Floyd. That's some good shit right there. Good. Garn just doesn't seem confident, yeah. Bro, you got a hair or something on your gear? No, it's my, uh, it used to go across. It's the wiring. It's now acting as an antenna. It's not a hair. Can you tell me where it hurts? There is no pain you are receiving. Is this your longest stream ever? Uh, I think I did a fight stream that was a bit longer than this. Do, do, do. I hate when I tell people that, like, Usman, Ad Usman Covington 2 was a draw and Adesanya Whitaker was a draw, or Adesanya lost to Whitaker and Nganu lost a gun. They tell me that's your opinion, though. Like, there isn't like a criteria that clearly dictates who won. 259 was eight hours long. We're going to beat it then. Two balloons. In a crisis at the moment, Guru thinking of doing carpentry after school. Good idea. Yes, work after school, bro. You won't realize how much free time you had at school until you're done with it. Go and do work after school, man. Don't play no fucking games. I mean, have some fun, but like if you want a part-time job, two days a week, three days a week, go and work after school. Get some money up, you know. Have a couple grand to your name after school. Don't go to uni as well. Or if you do go to uni, don't go to uni and actually want to have the job that you want to get your degree in. Try and figure out something else. But, you know, everyone does their own thing. Maybe you do want to have a job doing something like that. I went to bed, woke up, he's still here. Grinding. Most millionaires have degrees. True, it's just a lifestyle they're bred into, though. Most millionaires have rich parents. Most people with rich parents have parents that also really want them to go to university. If I went to uni, I'd be the first person in my family ever to go to uni. Ever. Of all time. Cousins, this family, that family, this. I'd be the first one ever. Most people who are millionaires have rich parents, and they likely went to university and, and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That's crazy. It's quite crazy. But instead, my younger cousin was the first one to go. But I'm older. So if I went, I would have been the first. You don't get to bring friends. Indeed. Is there apprenticeships in England? Yes. Or is it all just college? Ireland is all about apprenticeship at the moment. 
No, there's apprenticeships at the moment, but I think apprenticeships are scam, man. I think, I mean, most employers with apprenticeships, they're paid to take apprentices. They don't need you. They are paid to have you. They they don't have you employed and think, I need him to put in work so he can get us profit. They're paid by government systems to have you, at least in the UK. So they don't care. They'll just have you waste your time all day as long as you're there doing something and being somewhat useful. Like they get paid to have you and then they give you wage out of that and take profit. It's like a system to encourage the apprenticeship program. So I discourage apprenticeships if I have you. If I was honestly you and you don't know what you want to do, labor, man. £10 an hour. £70 a day, £80 a day. Come on, man. That's some next level stuff right there. Thank you for the 50 SAR. I appreciate you, Mohammeds. More MMA guru tier lists, please. Uh, I'll try. I'll try and do some tier lists. I don't know what I'm going to do it on, but maybe I'll do a tier list for biggest draws of the company. That's something I could do it on. Yeah. Biggest draws in MMA right now. Next level slavery. No, like, I think laboring's underrated, man. You get good workout. You stay in good shape. Like, I remember laboring. It was, it was a good time. I used to be like a malt, like a, a cleaner for a laboring place. Like, all the shit they needed moved, I moved it. All the rubble they left, I cleared that up. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. Just some little fucking grunt for labors. Laborers. No education, just a grunt. Move this. We left this behind. Move all that, you know? Thank you for the membership, OG Mike Walk. Guru, thank you for the hard work and dedication. I know you're. I know I troll you and give you a hard time. All love, mate. Keep up, brother. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate you, dude, and the memes you bring to the table. Do you know what currency is the SAR? I don't know what currency that is. South African Rand? South African Rand? That's a guess, and I think I'm right on that as well. When did I look up desk peddlers? Oh, yeah, earlier. That's got to be South African Rand, you know? Oh, it's a Saudi Real. Okay. Isn't it Rand in South Africa? Are you from South Africa or Saudi Arabia? South Africa's Zar. Ah, Z-A Rand. Okay, Rand. Zar is a banterous currency. Oh, it's so bad. The currency's fucking ruined. I watched that. The, uh, I want to do charity when I'm older a bit and feel like Jesus to people. I watched that B. Pakati on YouTube. I don't know why I pronounce his name Indianish. It's just such an Indian sounding name. B. Pakati. He like he walks around South Africa just giving out money. Pretty cool. Surprised you didn't say rupees. No, it's a rand, you know. A rand, you know. B. Pakati. Indian's so funny. B. Pakati, Pakati. You want to Pakati, you know. What other songs are good? Let's do some Muse. Stereo. Classic. Absolute classic. Do, 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 do. I want that. That'd be a good walkout song, Muse. I want it all. When you come out of the tunnel. I want it now. Give me your heart and your soul. I'm not breaking out. I'm breaking down. Thank you for the $2, OG Mike Ock. Yeah, my shadow band. Can you check what's up? No, I can see your shit. Thank you for the $2. You're not shadow band. I read your... I don't know if I'm not reading your paragraphs, but you're not shadow band. No. Thank you for the $2, though. Oh, you're not shadow banned. Unless you're trying to type now. You might be swearing. I don't know. What's the most technical fight ever? I think Jan Sandhagen or Volk Holloway 2. Thank you for the $2. Just unable to send four messages out of nowhere. I don't know what that is. I didn't ban you. I, I can't even ban you for that. Maybe that's you. Stop sending so much. I don't know. I don't. I haven't done anything. Thank you for the two dollars. At least I'm getting donos now. 
No, I don't know. I can't. I can't see your messages if you're sending full paragraphs. In Ireland, you get over eight hundred euros a week for a fourth year apprentice at twenty years old. Decent money. Well, that's decent. Eight hundred euros a week. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's good money. That's good money, actually. Yeah, really good money. But that's fourth year apprentice, man. It's good, but that's it's good money. That's good money. But I feel like apprenticeships, you should want to do what you're doing your apprenticeship in afterwards. I did an apprenticeship for like a couple of months and thought, fuck this. They were paying me like, I want to say they're paying me like 150 a week, nine to five. And I'm not even over exaggerating on that. Nine to f I think I did like 40 hours a week, 150 pounds a week. I said, fuck this. I'm not doing this. Like a couple of months in. Fuck off. Actually, uh, actually 600 a month. 40 hours a week. About right. That is about right. Yeah, that, that is what the UK fucking wages for like a first off apprenticeship, I think. 150 a week. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm laboring. Thank you for the $10, Rob Fiok. I appreciate your $10, good sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm still here live. How's it going? Thank you for the $10, Rob Fiok. I appreciate you. Guru banned my cock. I didn't ban him. I don't know why you won't be able to type. Why would I ban him? He said way worse shit than he said in today's stream. Thank you for the $10, Rob Fiok. I appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It'd be annoying. Maybe you sent so many that YouTube just thinks you're a bot because you were spamming paragraphs at one point for a while about like defending yourself on the military shit. I don't know what it could be though. Sorry. Thank you for the $10 though, Rob Fiocca. I appreciate your $10, good sir. Good morning, your ass. And I think morning. <sighs> Yes, he's gone. No, come on. He's a part of this commune. Apprentice Jew. Yes, I was a trainee Jew in the making. They're training me up, you know. After your fourth year, then you go up to over a thousand euro, depending on your employer. I mean, that's very job to job based, though, right? People can't afford that if they're like not a good business. Sad. Well, I can see that one. I can see that one. Guru's been lacking on the streams ever since he's had to walk all the way to the shed. His parents told him to earn money for the household and locked him in the shed all day. True. True story. Yeah, actually, I can't get out. Stuff. That slavery it is. But it's something I have to do. I think you're still talking about the apprenticeship thing. Do you have a bed in the shed? No. No bed in the shed. I have a little chair in the corner. Not a chair, like a little stool. Like a little black stool. I would like, if it was a bit closer, I'd reach my feet on it and rest them there, but I can't. Fuck this stupid song. Uh, fuck this stupid song. Let's watch some. You know what? Let's listen to some chill songs. Paolo Natini. I don't care if anyone hates. Paolo Natini is a good musician. Just give me some candy. Really good chill music. Grab my last request and just let me hold you. Don't shrug our shoulders. I don't care what anyone says. It's good music. Thank you for the $2. It's only letting me send single word messages. I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. That it's only letting... Just type all your stuff with like a comma in between it. So weird. That's two messages. Use a comma as a space and I'll read it exactly the same way. How about that? Thank you for the $2. It's me then, nonetheless. Ram Ranch. Welcome to Ram Ranch. No, I'm not going to listen to that shit. <laughs> Ram Ranch. People used to prank us with that in a computer room. Like the younger years. That was like a little bit uh, after my year group. But like the younger year group used to put that on everyone's computers. Welcome back to Ram Ranch. Just give me some candy. Thank you for the $2. Before I go. Sam Cardenas, thanks for the stream, mate. Maybe the best one ever. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. We're going to keep it going. 
me nonetheless. Just give me some candy. Alex Oliveira versus Sean Strickland. Um, <sighs> Irish or English fangs better. Probably Irish because they have less to like, they have less stars. So when they do have a star, it's like more condensed. Like this is the moment, you know, whereas English people, we have like a star every now and again. With, with the Irish, it's like, this is a once in a fucking, because they're a smaller population. It's like, this is a once in a decade time, you know? Whereas with us, it's like once a year, we have a big star come up. Thank you for the $2, Sam Cardenas. Appreciate you. Just give me some candy before I go. Dude, marathon stream, you bet an Aljo. I'm not betting Aljo, no. But I guess I am doing a bit of a marathon stream, I guess. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. I didn't stream over the past two days, so I thought, why not do a bit of a stream now, you know? Low fee is depressing. It's just chill music, you know? I don't mind chill music now and again. Please listen to Scribble, Scribble, Scribble. It's a good song. You do know I cannot read that. So how am I, how am I going to type it in? I can't even type that. Am I, what am I going to do? Lofi music. Mm, that music that's like that bread, you know what I'm saying? That bread, that yeasty music. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Trendscape Landscaping. More in bread than yeast. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, dude. Caitlin Chukagian is Armenian. What the fuck has their flag in our IG bio? I mean, surname Chukagian. Yeah, I could see that. It's not like a. I I, I consider Europe. I could see a French Chukagian, but I'm not surprised that she's Armenian. A lot of Armenians in America since the genocide. You know, they all fled. Respect. But she is blonde. You know, her dad, her mum might be Armenian. Her dad might be fucking German. You never know. Thank you for the two pounds, Michael Kane. I appreciate your two pounds. Show your face challenge impression. Thank you for the two pounds. I'm totally not snitching on myself right now. Show your face challenge. Thank you for the two pounds, dude. Could you go down to Paulo's tweets and scroll down a day ago where he calls Brunson a bitch and see his reply? Uh, I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Closer. Is that all right? Closer. Tonight. Grant my last request and just let me hold you. Shrug our shoulders. Lay down beside me. <laughs> what has he been posting on Twitter right now? What has he actually been posting on Twitter? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> that is Sean Strickland one. Photo or painting is the... Oh, he's going nutty on Twitter. Guys, Paulo Costa's going crazy. His Twitter game's been on the A game recently. Brunson is a bitch, haha. Uh -huh. These guys are shame of this division. UFC fag fighters. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Paulo man. My god, what is he doing? <laughs> He's asking to get terminated on Twitter. <laughs> UFC fag fighters. Like, how is that not more of a headline? <laughs> Funny though. Respect to Paulo Costa. Based. Let's time, let's go there. My shadow banned. I don't know. You got shadow banned, I guess, off YouTube. I didn't do nothing. You have to change accounts, maybe. I'm sorry. I was feeling so tired before and wondered why until I realized that a video with Brian Ortega taken talking was playing in the background. Yes, true. Welcome to Brian Ortega ASMR. So I was walking down the road and these guys they came up to me and they didn't seem like they were riding low enough and they had no white tees on 
So I realized I pressed them to see if they were about that life, and we found out they weren't about that life, you know? Why was Ben Rothwell released? Um, oh, he was the end of his contract. They just released him. They, like, signed and negotiated a fight with him, like, thinking that he would renegotiate and sign again on their contract, but I'm assuming he thought, fuck this, this contract ain't good enough, so they just got rid of him. Carolina Kovalkiewicz got cut. No way! Of course she did. She's shit and she keeps losing. What the fuck? She got cut ages ago. O'Malley is a massive weight bully. Not not as big. No, no, no. You can't say that with Sandhagen in the division. He is a big bantamweight. Sandhagen's not as skinny and he's like the same height, if not taller. Ortega in London not being able to find a Shake Shack, so goes to five guys instead. Come on, kids. Like, we got to go because, like, there's no Shake Shack and I haven't seen you in a couple of years. We got to go, man. I'm Ali bigger than Sandhagen. I don't know if he is. He doesn't seem bigger. He seems a lot skinnier. Sandhagen seems to have a bit more of a chunk of the waist, you know? Yeah, nonetheless. I'm not typing your stupid uh, song. I don't want to listen to some shit like that. Okay, I'm trying to relax. He can instant. No offense, but like I, I'm not into that. I'm not trying to listen to that song, dude. I've been getting high past few days, and I'm watching compilations of my idol Masvidal getting brutalized in brutal fashion. Okay, interesting, dude. That seems like some masochism there. If that's the word I'm thinking of, or you enjoy the pain. Massive weight bully, yeah. It'll make you want to go to Syria. I never will want to go there. Thank you. O'Malley saying he's tired of training on Theo Von PC podcast. Yeah. It'd be like that, bro. He's just honest, man. Every fighter's like that, realistically. Obviously, they don't enjoy it after a while. It's like a job to him, you know? Size reach bully, yeah, in a way. Frame bully, as we call him. A frame bully. It gets me there nonetheless. Just give me some candy. Hands on Obama phone, Masvidal. Hands of Obama phone. True. Wish us an easy Ramadan this month, Guru. Sorry, that's uh, Hebrew. Um, got my Arabic's a bit off. Uh, good luck with your Ramadan, dude. Good luck. Alhamdulillah, you know. Inshallah. Malak shawla, you know. Is Oliveira losing the belt? Um, no. That ain't gonna happen. Never. It, we are in the Olive era. Has Colby said anything since he was humbled? Humbled? Uh, no, he has not said anything since he was humbled. Guru, will taking damage be a problem for Burlington in the future? But you, Gaethje got there in the end, you know? Like, it can work out. But, yeah. He takes shots. He's the UK Gaethje. Like, it's going to work out or it's not. He's really good. He might take the wrong shot sometimes, like he did on the Contender Series. You know what I mean? It's one of them ones. We'll see. He needs to switch on earlier. If he could switch on a bit earlier, he'd be a fucking monster. But I think he'll get better. I mean, he just, he beats good opponents, you know, like he's not fighting bums. That bear guy that he fought in Cage Warriors before this last one was very good as well. Johan Liness is a dangerous guy, you know, he's not getting like spoon fed a UFC career here. Like most other guys do it. Like sometimes you see these matchups on the contender series, like, okay, they want this guy to win. Costa's Twitter is great. I know I saw the Sean Strickland thing he put on. Bear Bills. No, uh, David Bear or something like that. His surname is Bear. And his nickname is The. No joke, The. David The Bear. <laughs> Have you seen the legless MMA fighter dude swinging? I know I did see him, yeah. Some little Geo dude fucking looking weirder. Imagine training your whole life to be an MMA fighter with all your limbs and then that fucking Geo dude just comes fucking rock slams you out of the way, you know? Super effective. Seismic tosses you out the fucking way. The Polish guy was good as well. Yes. There you go. Yeah, the guy he just fought. Yeah. That's what I meant. 
I was just going back on other opponents as well. But yeah, very good opponents, non-stop. Terence McKinna. What do you mean? My idol Masvidal is a weak man. He has no power like that. Hardly any KO in 51 fights gets bitched by any half decent fighter. Hence Masvidal. Yeah. Why? I don't know why you're shadow banned, dude. I have no idea why. I, I don't. I can't control. Like only let this one man send one message. New account. Try it out. I don't know. It's annoying because you rack up like a membership streak, right? And it, you kind of want to keep it, but. I don't know. You were spamming a lot of paragraphs. I think YouTube just fucking got onto you about it because they're like trained to get rid of them. I don't know why. Turn your computer off and on again. Fuck this. What other songs are there to play? Paul Odentini's gotten gay already. Um... Curtis Mayfield. Is there a slowed version? I like it slowed. Slowed? There it is. Slowed. Okay. I like it slower. Ba, 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 ba. Too slow. Needs to be a bit faster. Fuck it. Move on up. Ba 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 do we? Do 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 do. Clash of Clans theme music on repeat. Yeah. Not Clash of Clans theme. Do 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 do. No. Do do. Bam 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 bam. The Halloween one. Listen to Nirvana. Have some self-respect. What, and slip my wrists to it at fucking 12 a.m. Noon. Get out of here, brother. Get out of here. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Gay. Type commas between your things, I guess. Use a comma as a space bar. Good work. What's the ideal age for a man to have kids? At this point, I think 30. With like a 25-year-old woman, so the kid might not have Down syndrome. Older the woman is, the higher chance the kid has Down syndrome. So try and get a younger woman. Five years lower. Typically okay, I reckon. 25-year-old woman. A little bit more mature. You don't want to get like a... Oh, she's 22, but she's like some dumbass bitch, you know? Do you have a girl? No. I think Till might ruin Hamzat too. He could do, yeah. He could soyify him. If he loses, it's all Till's fault. Let's be real. No way around it. Explains why I'm down here. Down syndrome isn't that common. Yeah, because most people before our generation had kids like at 20. So like it never happened. But if you look at Down syndrome people, you'll notice they have really old parents, which is really selfish of the parents to risk that on their kids. Like the 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 percentages fucking multiply as the years go on. Multiply. Like not just increase by 0.1% and stuff. Black people can't be Downs. Black people can be Down syndrome, but I've never seen a Down syndrome black person. Just saying. Can we see your flip cover case? Yeah. Do 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 Except Anthony Smith. Now Anthony Smith is like the melting pot human, and it's scary that that's what people want. Let's just be real. He looks like the Red Skull, but just fucking chalked up. I have all races can have downs. Okay. I guess white people have kids a bit later just because of the first worldiness of them. And richness in general. It's weird fighters are pressing charges, but actors are not. Listen. Okay, everyone. Chris Rock is a multi-millionaire. Will Smith walked up to him and slapped him to his face because of something he said there and then. Masvidal hid on the streets in disguise after losing 50-45 to Covington. 
Covington is not a millionaire. He is not a millionaire. He's made 500K in his last two fights. Before that, he was making like, I think, 300K against RDA and then like 70K against Maya before that. So that's not the case. He's not a millionaire at all. Okay? He, Will is Richard and Rock. That's not the fucking point. Shut the fuck up. Masvidal hid behind a car with a mask on and a hood up and attacked Covington from behind with multiple punches. It's not the same situation at all. He full on attempted to hurt him badly. Not some slap, man. Like, I hate the people making these comparisons. And I wish I could go on their show and fucking force feed this information down my fu down their fucking throat. Actually, so annoying, man. He just broke calm down. I'm sick of it. That's what Josh Thompson said. So fucking annoying. <laughs> His little fucking laugh that he does after the chat. Blau has the worst fan base in MMA alongside Paddy and Connor. Paddy's and Connor's fan bases are not bad. Everyone hates them. Don't be acting like they have fan bases. There ain't no social media comments sticking up for Paddy Pimlet, and you know there ain't. Don't be acting like they have fan bases. Paddy Pimlet's fan base is silent on Instagram. Let's be real. They are silent. Same with McGregor's. Every post is nothing praising them in any way. Don't act like they have fans. You people are going after invisible enemies nowadays. The worst fan bases in MMA are African fan bases and Muslim fan bases. 100%. They're everywhere in the comments. And they live vicariously through their fighters. At least first world fan bases have lives of their own. Thank you for the two pounds, SDG. I appreciate your two pounds, good sir. Finally at a UK time, but you haven't, bet you haven't slept. Yeah, true. Thank you very much for the two pounds. No, I haven't slept. No, we've been live for seven and a half hours. Well, racist, not racist at all. Muslims, not a race. It's a religion. You can be a white Muslim. You can be a black Muslim. Muslim. Muslim bots have insufferable takes. I don't know. Fucking annoying. Um, but Rock made a mild joke. Colby said some mean shit. No, he, he didn't. He's fighting. Masvidal said worse about Covington. Masvidal said he's going to kill him. He's going to take his life. He's going to be in critical condition. He might not make it. That's so much worse than Obama phone and you're a deadbeat dad. So much worse. Fuck. Fuck. It's so annoying. He threatened his life. Fuck. Man. It's so fucking annoying. How do people have these takes? It's so beyond me. Oh, but the Obama phone stuff, that was too far, man. Covington gets death threats off these fighters and, like, calls them deadbeat dads and, like, frauds and, like, he's the bad guy. It's so fucking crazy to me. Usman made it about race. Covington just insulted his dad being a fucking criminal because he is. He is a criminal. Dustin should have punched Colby instead of Jorge. True. But then again, what has he said about Dustin's kid? You're, you use your kid as a prop. But he does go after his wife. There you go. He goes after his wife. So that would be justified. Does Joel Alvarez beat Ferg at this point? Probably, yeah. He probably finishes him. I mean, I don't mind Tony's chances, but I could see him like being rocked and shooting into a ghillie. 100%. Jezebel of a wife, yeah. Kid's Irish. Yeah, but that's like a joke on Dustin. It's not like your kid's ugly as fuck. Like, you're not doing that stuff. Thank you for the 15 Australian dollars. I appreciate your 15 Australian dollars. Good, sir. Thank you. John Jones's fiance. There's a black suit that builds up in old light bulbs. Next time bro is over for dinner, lace his mash pot or something with it. It's tasteless. He'll live, but it will go to hospital and they'll never be the same. It, no, I'm not trying to do any of that shit. It's just horrible to me when I was younger, but I'm fine now. Thank you for the 15 Australian dollars. Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? No, we're fine. We just coexist. He was young as well, you know. He's obviously changed a bit, but I just remember it. Thank you for the 15 Australian dollars. Thank you. That's sadistic. Yeah, I'm not going to go that far. Jesus. My brother used to torture me, but I'm, I'm not trying to get revenge at this point. I'm fine. I'll get revenge with my success, you know? How the fuck did you understand that? I read it. It's English, right? Mycock, start a new account. Get it over with, mate. You've obviously been shadow banned by Google for some shit that you've said on a post somewhere about some racy stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Thank you for the 15 Australian dollars, dude. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate it. I'm not going to poison my brother, though. He may have tortured me, but he's over now. That's over. Taxi drivers in the UK are rude. No, people in the UK just don't speak to people. If you're an American, don't try starting random conversations with people from the UK. You're going to get ignored. He's a millionaire and you live with your parents. Who's a millionaire? My brother's not a millionaire. He dates like millionaire girls, but he ain't a millionaire. Will you ever be successful though? I'm kind of successful, I think. No, if I do more streams like these most days, I'll be more successful, 100%. You ever been cheated on? Never had a girlfriend. Colby said that prop of a kid, Dustin, and deadbeat dad, Masvidal. Colby got his just deserved. Not So not from Dustin. Deadbeat dad. You there's not does not equate you can be insulted. You know what that is? If you are insulted by being called a deadbeat dad, you are a deadbeat dad. That's what it is. And if you stick up for someone and say, that's too far, you can't go there, you're a deadbeat dad as well. If you gen if an insult only means something and, and it hurts you, if it's true, if there's an essence of truth in it and it's too far, fact, if you genuinely were a great dad, if somebody called Weidman a deadbeat dad, he'd laugh it off. And he would not even give a fuck about it whatsoever. Because he's probably a really... If someone called DC a deadbeat dad, he'd be like, oh, ho, ho, come on. Really? Like, no. Not at all. Would not affect him at all. If you really get in your feels about being a called deadbeat dad, you are a deadbeat dad. And the fact that you attacked Colby Covington when you're 37 on a school night, when your kids have school in the morning, in the middle of the night on the Miami Strip, and risked 15 years in prison, you are a deadbeat dad. End of story. Sick of it, man. If somebody calls you a nonce and you're not a nonce and get angry at them, you're a nonce. That's not the case. Not the case in all of those cases. But it is, though, typically, right? If you get fully angry about being called a nonce, don't ever call me that again. Then you are probably a nonce on a reel. Like, if something means nothing to you, you laugh it off like it's nothing. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I'm a nonce. Oh, good. What did you call me? I am not a nonce. You probably are. Let's be real. Usman took it well. Usman did take it well. Because it was true as well. Usman had to take it well. He can't counter, you know what I mean? His dad is a criminal fraud. Like, the UFC just paints this narrative that his dad's innocent. Even if his dad is innocent of the fucking hundreds of thousands of fraud that he committed, he still isn't innocent on the two charges that he actually got arrested for in the first place. Theft and, like, uh, some other driving thing. ways to defend Colby and Connor, because most of the time they're in the riot and these people can't take it and they overly attack them on it. If Covington, after losing to Usman, after Usman said all the shit about Covington, if Covington, after losing to Usman, ran up behind Usman and sucker punched him three times, he would be outcasted from society immediately by people. People don't like Covington because of who he is and what he stands for and what he believes in. It's all it is. So they're sticking up for a criminal over him. Just imagine if Colby said always bet on Wyatt in the 268 press. He would be outcasted from society. Simple as. Simple as. He'd be outcasted from society. Simple. Connor goes far against Habib. He does go far against Habib. That was too far. But at the same time, it was true. Ali is a former terrorist. That's simple as. I don't know what else. Oh, no. the wife, your, your wife's a towel thing was a bit too far, though, right? Fair play. But he did say a lot of truth with all the like real personal stuff. It's true. But you can't go there. It's too true. Like, it's fucking annoying, man. It's true. I know it's true. His wife has no choice in the matter on anything that he does, as she does. She's no choice. But, like, you can't go there. Heaven forbid, heaven forbid Paddy Pimlet thinks he'll be the best in the world. He gets roasted by every Instagram comment. Khabib justified murder got no backlash. Fucking hell. Literally called him a backwards cunt. Okay. 
How is that too far? Backwards cunt? What? Khabib said, why you speak English? English change your people language. Why you don't speak Irish? English change your people people's language. How's that not too far? Let me coming at me. End the poll. I'm not ending the poll. Stephen Bonner burned down his own house. <sighs> Have you seen the 272 post fight in the locker room with when my idol Mazvich is crying and Abe? Ape bitch what is saying, bro, he came to wrestle, you came to fight. I have seen that, yes. I have. It's very sad to see. Konasatatu, Tomakambole, Ambrua, Tomakambole, Konasatatu, Bola Ambrua, Tomakambole, El Nepe, Dolimari, Konasatatu. Hi, how's it going? Another one word. Dan Hardy impression. Oh, snapping front kick to the hand. What's the GOAT press conference? Adesanya Vittori was good because of Vittori. GOAT press conference is... Askrins, I think. I, I think it's either McGregor's go big. It's any of McGregor's, but outside of McGregor's, it's... <sighs> Ben Askren on stage with Woodley and Usman and and uh, Lawler and Garbrandt. Imagine if Masvidal was there. That'd be so much better. Lovely day. Lovely day. At the time, I wasn't laughing at fuck all Vittori said. I know, but it was just funny to laugh at Vittori, not with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? I'm your fucking nightmare. You know, it's crazy. Tyson Fury impression. 100%. Deontay Wilde is a boom and a dossier. Obliteration of a dossier. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, you big dossier. What if he marries a millionaire girl? Will he become more successful? Maybe. But I don't know about that, yeah. Colby versus Usman 2 was the best of 2021. It was a decent press conference. I want to see Covington on stage with other people on stage. I know Gaethje was there, wasn't it? And Wei Li Zhang. And that was a good press conference. That was a good point. Yeah, that was a good one. But I want to see Covington on stage with other people that can talk a bit of shit. You know, Gaethje's brain dead. Chandler's going to be nice to everyone no matter what. And fucking Rose Namunas is just a fucking autist. So I feel like we need to see Covington on stage with like a McGregor there. And also like a, uh, a Kevin Holland, maybe. A Sean O'Malley. Someone who's probably going to go for him a bit. You hear me? Did my fucking playlist just change from Bill Withers' Lovely Day to Abracadabra Spin That Coop? What is going on right now? I, I was just listening to Lovely Day, Lovely Day, Lovely Day, Lovely Day, and then all of a sudden this. I'm going to hold that Spin That Coop. I'm going to go make it up, boy, please. Don't worry, I'm a buber. Don't care where you come from, buber. Jesus, these playlists be fucking up, I swear. Don't they tell my vibe I'm in right now? Lovely day to spin that coop by fucking Abracadabra. You and your alter egos are a pack of bombs and dashes. 265, you can't, Louis. What was 265, Louis? Though? I don't remember that. 265 was him. Um... What was 265? La Candela cover impression. La Candela! Wild. Make a new account. Simple as. I don't know how. I don't know how to fix it. Sorry. Make it quick as well. Other people are going to make sub accounts of you and act like they're you. So I'd fucking claim a OG Mike Walk 2 real quick if I were you. Dumbass. I don't know why I called you dumbass, but still. Still my boy! Gone, Lewis. Mmm. Yes. It was. That wasn't a great press conference. Shut up. Great press conference gone, Lewis. Who was even the co-main event in that press conference? Justin is over. He's overhyped and just sounds like a douche. Mm. Skidoosh. TKC chins Volk. Trust me, daddy. Trust me, daddy. 
Pardon my French. Well, pardon my French. Pardon my French. What fuck you doing? You know why I'm making him look bad on the news? My dear Lewis, do I say this old man? Oh, you do dead old. You do I say this old. Fuck Putin. Donald Trump in this old. Donald Trump done call me. Told me beat that Russian motherfucker's ass, making him look bad on the news. Making him look bad on the news. Wasn't it Alda? I don't know. I got a feeling Zombie will start Javolk, but he's he's not as good as Ortega or Max, but he has more power. All right, then. He has similar power to Ortega, I think. I think Ort I, I think Ortega has some good power in his hand, yeah? But uh, the Korean Zombie's got a bit more precision in his shots, yeah? I think he's just too simple and he's too old. And also, let's be real. Bloody, bloody, bloody. The reason it's in April and not March is because the Korean Zombie was too injured to return. Mmm. Hot take. This was supposed to be in March anyway. It was supposed to be in March anyway. But, and Jan Sterling was supposed to be in March as well, but Jan Sterling couldn't headline on its own, so they moved it to April because the Korean zombie was not ready for March because he was injured. He needed an extra month. TKZ is going to drop him in round one and Volk's going to come back and beat the shit out of him. So, Blaz. <sighs> lovely day lovely day how good is cater um i don't know the rumors were he was injured so it's true very true featherweight is very competitive love the state of it right now featherweight is great right now i mean you say competitive the next title fights he's minus a 700 favorite but he is still competitive the odds are fucking retarded go to bed you can stream tomorrow no i'm not going to bed i'm staying awake Fick off, yeah, we well, can't, yeah. What's the best UFC quote of all time? <sighs> the best you. I'm rolling imaginary zoots, boys. This is really bad. This is getting bad. I'm just look down at my hand. I've rolled a zoot out of my fucking headphone wire. Um, Jesus. Oh, what is... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, shit. How do you feel about Drake trying to sound English on tracks? I don't know. I'm trying to say my zone. More the bad bitch saying my own. And she gone. Yeah. More the bad saying what you bet how often you smoke. I used to smoke every day, but now I haven't done it in three days. I'm trying to quit. Let's let's al kid. Let's let's al kid, yeah. Don't sleep on Zombie. He's a tricky fight, and he beat Dustin, yeah? He did beat him. He supposedly did beat him, yeah? He really did beat him, you know what I mean? Gaethje and Dariush being top five is proof that lightweight is not the best division. True! Lightweight is not the best. Bantamweight and featherweight are better. By far as well. Let's be real. Bud or backy? Bud. I used to do backy, but... Bud. Never seen you smoke? Because I'm not 12, and I don't need to prove it on camera. Okay, it's sad. <laughs> guys look you know like I don't need to fucking do that shit on camera come on no way you're still going to the mound getting ready for work I read it as no way I'm just a genius you don't need to correct it you know what I mean I'm bonkers lad let's go for 10 hours eh what do you think ban me sir you shall never be banned as long as you're paying me 5 pounds a month you got to fucking stop that shit yourself. You feel me? JK. Oh, no, I'm banning you now. No. Cold turkey. Yeah, I went cold turkey. That's why I haven't been doing much the past two days. I've been having a mental breakdown. I woke up drenched in sweat in my bed. I had to clean my sheets. Drenched in sweat in my bed. I woke up in bed like... <laughs> like my brain was like, what? Sleep? Actual sleep? Not weed sleep with no dreams? Actual sleep with dreams? Oh my God, we can't take it. So I'm going to chill and then probably smoke once a week. I'm trying to quit completely. It's bad for you, isn't it? Smoking weed's bad for you, obviously. It makes you unproductive and it ruins me. Like... Two days off weed, I'm doing an eight-hour stream for no fucking reason. No fights on. I'm here for eight hours. I've been chatting the whole time. Have I been... I've, I've never, like, dead-timed this stream. Eight hours. I've been chatting. 
Once a week is chill, to be fair. Yeah, probably once a week. Joe Rogan's 55, takes one puff of a, of a spliff and goes, weed's not bad for you, man. Of course it isn't, dude. But when you're doing it every day and you've got a tolerance and you need a whole fucking King L to get fucking zapped, then it's bad for you. Joe Rogan's 55, like, oh, oh, that's enough for me. You know, like, of course it is, dude. Fucking child, honestly. When you're fucking near enough six three, two thirty pounds, okay, it takes a bit more, and you got to keep going, and then it fucking gets worse. Um, unbelievable. Stream later. I'm gonna stream later. Yeah. Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Also, when I leave these streams up sometimes, which is sometimes why I don't want to leave these streams up, I leave these streams up sometimes, I lose so many subs because people realize what a fucking nutty cunt I am. Like, people watch my videos and I'm like, wow, this guy's really well put together. And then they're on stream and I'm like, yeah! and they just unsub. So I don't like leaving the streams up. I lose so many, fo uh, so many subscribers whenever I leave them up. Like, within the first half an hour of this stream, I bet you I was a homophobic. Logical, otherwise known as. Appreciate the chuckles before I head into work. Good, sir. No problem, sir. They call me Chucklesworth McGee. We got chuckles on deck, you feel me? Last time that I checked, I'm on back in your dick. Off of my pride and respect, I bought my man a tick. Thank you for the two pounds, SDG. I don't know. I smoke my studies and it ain't bad. It's because you haven't done it for not a couple of days. You stop it for a couple of days, you'll realize how bad it is. I'm telling you. Your brain is only as good as it is you only know how you feel based on how you've been feeling you know what i'm saying if you stop doing it for a couple of days you'll realize how much it affects you got chuckles on dick ride round with the tech off my pride and respect and i don't give fit ever watch chuckle vision I confusion of the highest order. You are a foolish man. Chuckle vi You just asked someone from the UK if they watched Chuckle Vision. Are you mad? Of course I watch Chuckle Vision. To me, to you, to me, to me, to me, Barry. Barry! To me, to me. That was a joke after Barry died of cancer. To me, to me. To me, to me, Barry. That was all. That, that was the joke around school at the time. It's not good that that was the joke, but that was the joke. What the hell is a chuckle vision? Chuckle, chuckle vision, chuckle vision. Down, 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 chuckle, chuckle vision, chuckle vision. And remember, no slacking. That was a great show. It was basically like a modern day. Uh, what was the hard Laurel and Hardy? You guys know that show, Laurel and Hardy. That show back in day. Remember way back, back in day when man used to make matic spray. You know what I mean? That's basically what it was. Yeah, yeah, on that blue shit, you feel me? On that blue shit, you feel me? Seven hours, eight hours. Don't diminish my work. When you have a break from weed, it's nice to get those mad dreams. So many stored up, yeah. For sure. For sure. Wild stuff. Mm -hmm. Mike Ock, two edgy comments. I assume YouTube has noticed a slight edginess trend in some of your comments. <sighs> Smoking weed genuinely makes you stronger for a few days. It's not just me that thinks this a pro strong man agreed with me on this. Shut the fuck up. People who smoke weed are going to agree with you that smoking weed is good because they're in denial because they do it every day and they're addicted. 
I have been there. I understand it's not good for you. You're literally breathing smoke into your lungs. Smoke does not belong in your fucking lungs. It's as simple as that. Should you do it? Yes, life is fucking boring in general. So a little bit of fucking puff now and again is not bad. There is no way you can convince me in any world that inhaling smoke directly into your lungs is good for you in any way, no matter what you're doing it from. Shut the fuck up. Do edibles instead. Exactly. Do edibles instead, something like that. Vaping's better than cigs. No, vaping is not. It leads to erectile dysfunction. No. Your beard's weird. Somebody grab me some clippers. This fucking beard is weird. Tough talk from a rapper paying millions for security a year. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. Tough talk from a man in the studio yelling at the mic. You better be 56 years old, dog. What the fuck you talking about? I'm going to call up Trip Trip. I mean, you sound like a bitch, bitch. It's the withdrawal that sucks. Just stay high. But I mean, that's healthy. <laughs> it's when you're not on it that it crushes you emotionally and mentally. Just stay on it. I smoke laced weed only. I like I like my weed velcroed. You know what I'm saying? That's that next level lace, bro. Dude, that was a, I sound like Theo Von there. That's such a Theo Von thing. Theo Von, you can take that shit. I bet you Theo Von's going to say that within the next two weeks. That is such a Theo Von thing. Yeah, I like it laced. I like my shit Velcro. That's that next level lace, bro. That's 100% something Theo Von would say. You need to be telling me. Official OG Mike Wok, Indica be hitting diff. I mean, all weed in the UK is an Indica. No, there's no sativa in the UK. I'm yet to find a sativa in the entirety of the UK. Let's be real. That was Theo as fuck. Indeed, it was. My boy Billy Conforto used to have laced weed till it crashed into an embankment. I never seen him again after that rape. Some Theo Von shit right there. There is. There's no in, There's no sativa in the UK. I've searched far and wide. There's no indica in the. There's no sativa in the UK. I'm going to be in a cringy 16-year-old. Like, mm, yeah, but like, mm, I prefer cheese over Ami, though. Like, there's no difference in the UK. In America, there's probably massive differences and shit. But like, in the UK, there's no difference. Everyone acts like, yeah, there is, man. You don't know the right plugs. Dude, we're getting laced, fucking grinded up, crushed up shit, dude. Steve is way better. Mm, yeah. No difference in the UK. I'm slowing down because of money, let me fail. Nice. That peas them dear, brother. That spice will mess you up good, brother. Some of that skunky shit, you feel me? Some of that grounded up glass, you feel me? You can be mad productive on sativa. Yeah, but I can't because I have to be on camera if I'm productive. And if I was on, if I was high on camera, it'd look weird. I don't want to be on camera while I'm high either. I'd probably just want to switch it off. Bath salts. Yeah, yeah. I got that bath sugar, bro. Up that fucking nasal passage, you feel me? UK, USA, and Dutch weed is super strong. I don't know if UK is in that mix. Dutch, USA, fair play. Don't be bringing the UK into it like we're something in a weed game, man. We get some fucking reject shit. Let's be real. Like, fucking US and... Uh, Dutch weed grows in like a fucking scientific facility and laboratory. UK weed grows in some tramps bathroom. Let's be real. It grows in some tramps bathtub with like fucking red lights all over it. UK weed is very strong to the point where it gives me schizophrenia. It's laced. I'm telling you, it's all laced. Jamaica weed overrated and thing. Jamaica's an overrated place, brother. Danger, danger, danger mouse. 
Who wants to talk with Rasta Mouse and the Easy Crew? Airy. Chilling with President Winsley Deal. Airy. Paul Craig impression. I wanted to take my time and give my chance to land a shot so I could lap up the sub. Triangle. My Jiu Jitsu is great. Like a wet fish rubbing around on my body. Yeah, you prack. Taking this dub for you, guru. Mm -hmm. This dab. Don't dab for me, brother. I hope you choke to death on it. Jamaica's just another country, but it gets aggressively spammed in all UK media because we own that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like mentioned a lot. That's where America fucked up, you know, doing all their slavery on home turf. Walk out song tier list? No. I hate your dad and I want him to die. Why the marathon stream? This ain't a marathon stream. This is light work for Sober Guru. This is light work for Sober Guru, boys. Light shit. This is the light crew. This ain't even my full potential. Sober-minded guru is different. Different stuff. How did black people reach the UK? Um, we set up a pension stream. We set up a, uh, a pension system in the UK, which required people who were older to have a certain amount of kids. And we just stopped having so many kids because it's dumb to have a lot of kids if you're in a safe place. Um, so we need more people to come over to fund our pension system, essentially, is what happened. That's how it originally started, anyway. The pension system only works if there's a certain amount of more people at the bottom paying in to the lesser people at the top receiving off of the pension system. So you need to ship a bunch of random people in um, to keep the pension system going because people in the UK had, like, two kids per family and shit because why would you have a bunch of kids if there's no predators because we killed them all off when we were, like, medieval times? And there's no illness. Like, we have good hospitals. Like, why would you have a bunch of kids? Just have two kids. It's cool. You know what I mean? They don't work like that. So now we must be replaced. Spitting facts about Windrush. True. Windrush is... The whole thing was a pension scheme. They fucked up with a pension scheme, and this is how they recover from it. It's sad, but it's how it be, yeah. You've been alive for eight hours. You, you... Ah, yeah, you boom. Zombie is shit. Volk beat the BJJ out of Ortega, the striking of Holloway and the wrestling of Mendez and the legend Jose Aldo. True. I don't think zombie beats him. We will never be replaced. We're a minority in every major city in the UK, dude, in our own fucking land. Come on. Don't be acting dumb about we'll never be replaced, brother. Don't be, some, don't be on some dumb shit, man. So now you're a politics guru? No, I'm just paying attention to the world. Just give me some candy before I go. Mm -hmm. What's some more good black music? Um, fuck. Let's do some fucking outcast, but some real outcast. Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make it out a cry. I apologize. The fault is mine. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Real Outcast knows one song. No, I know Roses. I know fucking Hey Ya. That song about karate. Hey Ya! You know? It's a bit of a weird one. There's a bit of a Japanese remix to it and stuff. But uh, Miss Jackson is also a really good song for Outcast and shit. There's other good uh, songs for Outcast like uh, fucking Rosa Parks. So fresh, so clean. Fucking... Bob, uh, Aquamini. There's a few good outcast songs. 
Yeah, I'm saying I'm cultured, bro. I like Miss Jackson, but the rapper in it ruins ruins the whole thing. Listen to dark music. I listen to real black music, bro. Not the current stuff. That's all shit. The old stuff. The soul, brother. Some of that fucking earth, wind, and fire. You feel me? Curtis Mayfield shit, bro. You feel me? Stevie Wonder, bro. Some Sir Duke. Some real shit. Hmm? Some of that black, blackity black. You know what I'm saying? The zombie knockdown Volk, there could be some nice prop money in, in that. Yeah, true. Oh, it's Redden. Exactly. Some Otis Redden shit. Real deep shit like Coldplay. I don't listen to Coldplay. Coldplay's cool though. I like some of their songs, but not really any of them. But their song, um, that was when I ruled the world. That's a good one. Bob Marley. Mm. I don't know. Bob Marley's cool, but I'm over it. I've listened to a few of his songs. It's all right. I'm not too into it, though. I'm not really too into reggae. Reggae's cool. I like the offbeat of it, but I ain't into it. Damn, girl, you're cultured. What do you know about Curtis Mayfield at 23 years old? I know Curtis Mayfield. I like good songs. Listen, I'm a, I was a musician. Like, I can play guitar. I can play piano. I can play drums. That's definitely Sun 42, bro. <laughs> Cause we're in too deep and we're trying to keep hatred of our parents instead of going under. Cause we're privileged and we're trying to keep degeneracy instead of going under. That's not even Sun 42, is it? That might not be. <laughs> Cause we're in too deep and we're wide as freak. Khalil crying was so embarrassing. It was real embarrassing, bro. Real embarrassing. Sun 42. Mm. Sun 41. Is that? Yeah, Sun 41. I was thinking it was a bit weird. How are you live for eight hours? I'm sober, bro. I got that energy. Under the bridge just one time. The guitar's in the room, but I'm not going to play guitar right now. Don't make your doubt a cry. I apologize to fault of my diary, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Blink-182. What's Blink-182? We're losing viewers because we ain't talking about MMA or something, but no one wants to talk about MMA. If you read, if you'd say MMA questions, I'll fucking read out MMA questions, but no one's doing it. Delete my old account and ended the membership. Going to sign up for new members on account tomorrow night, bro. Good night. See you later, dude. What's Blink 182? That's some gay shit. I am for real. All the small things. Okay. I like, uh, what's my favorite one of them type of songs? Oh my God. I used to do, I used to like, uh, the, I used to do some fucking cringy shit to pretty fly for a white guy. Oh my God. That used to be my fucking jam. All a girl he says, pretty fly for a white guy. Potential for Derek Lewis. He was doing well in that tie fight until he was elbowed. Shut up. Potential for Derek Lewis. He's been around for a decade. The potential. He's a top guy. He can fluke a win. Every oh, my fucking alarm's going off. This is my... <laughs> this is my high guru alarm. So that's a, that's a weed smoking guru alarm right there at 1 p.m. Exposed. Those times have changed. I've already been live for eight hours by 1 p.m. White guy, be me, 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 me. Should I smoke when I get home, girl? Nice no, devil. It's the devil, brother. It's gonna hold back your productivity. 
Gary Volk, Hamzat Yan. I'm believing in all of those people winning. Yes, I do believe they will win for sure. Yeah. Throw in Hernandez and maybe Torres. Yeah, Torres, I think, is a lock. I think Torres is a good odds lock. You know what I mean? Like most of those fights you just listed aren't even locked, so don't even put them in. Uh, no, aren't even good odds, so don't even put them in. Not at all. No way for you, no way. I'll probably say Yan decision, Torres, TKO, and then like a fucking Chimeyev first round or something. Mix that in. Who's your favorite fighter, Vicente Luque? Most consistently entertaining pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the roster. No one can say otherwise. Simple as that. Simple as that. No one can tell me otherwise. Is he homosexual? Yeah, he came out. It's all good, though. <sighs> Smell which weed. Most entertaining. Yeah, he is. As simple as. Shane Burgos, not true. No. Not enough performances. Luke ain't going out cold like fucking Shane Burgos, brother. Never. Luke don't get put out like that. You can't be. But Burgos is also up there. Good point. Just if you know, you can always go on Ricky Lake. Thank you for the two pounds, Colm O'Donnell. Prohaska and Ankalaev, how does it go? I'll probably say Prohaska fucking makes it messy and fucks him up. Probably. And Clive won't like it. Oh, but my check hooks and fucking leg kicks at range. And he gets beaten up. Thank you for the two pounds, Colm O'Donnell. Wait, wait. Yuri, you're throwing more than one strike a minute? Ugh. And then just seizes up and loses against a cage. Cinco, cinco says... You know he really doesn't get it anyway. Light heavyweight, deadest division of all time. With Glover as champ, it's dead as fuck, yeah. From now on, your stream has a flying soda can. Ah, yes. Of course, the legendary flying soda can. Thank you for the two pounds. Fuck this fucking song. What other great songs are there? Um... Fuck, I can't think of any good song. Let's just do some fucking Earth, Wind, and Fire, you feel me? Can't go wrong. Ugh. Boogie Wonderland. Blame it on a boogie. Damn, damn, damn. Blame it on the bed. Da, 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 now. Da, 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 da. God moves. Yee, yee, brother. Marvin, you don't have moves. You just know when the right parts of the song hit. Dum, 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 bum, 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 bum. You know what I mean? It's not even about being able to dance. You just got to fucking know the right. People like people dance to melody. You have to dance to like the beat, you know? Bum, 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 bum. Marvin Vittori's good looking. With hair, Vittori is quite chaddish. Just having rhythm. Exactly. It's just rhythm. You just got to listen to beat, not melody. It's easy to dance. Anything you do, if you do it to a beat rather than a melody, you look good doing it. Unless you're like fucking doing some fucking. If you're doing this at any point in 2022, that Snoop Dogg shit, fucking. I'll disown you from being white. Thank you for the 25 HRK. Mr. Rock, I appreciate you, bro. You still going, Lamal Props? I am still going, yeah. We're dying out. We're, we're running this stream down to 100 viewers. Don't you worry, but we're still going. Moreno! Why are you up so early, you freak? Don't be giving me that. I've been up, I've been up for 8 hours and 20 minutes. I've been alive since 4 a.m., brother. You any good at dancing? I am. I used to be quite bad, but now I'm quite good at dancing. 
but you don't do too much, you know. People do too much with the dances, like the fucking Fortnite dances and shit that they do. But I ain't trying to do that shit. I just bop well. Truly a white boy summer. Apparently so. For me, it will be. I'll be slanging. What's the special occasion for this long stream? I quit weed. So now I have energy to do the long stream. <laughs> Chair dancer, yeah. That shit's cringe. Mm. Yesterday by the Beatles. I'm not in the mood for Beatles. Beatles accents kind of annoy me at times, you know? Yeah, baby. Did MMA hit its peak in the last couple of years? It's downfall from here in terms... The viewership's going up, apparently, but I think MMA is at its peak in the McGregor era, like... McGregor Diaz Alvarez era, my opinion. Jones was coming back against DC. McGregor Alvarez. Uh, Till came up. You know what I mean? Like, we had a lot of shit going on in that era. <laughs> Stipe's reign began. Like, it was a great era of MMA. Dillashaw Garbrandt was that era as well. You know? End of DJ's era came up. That was a good era. End of Connor's. Just after the end of Connor's era, while he was doing the Mayweather shit, that was the fucking peak, man. Covington's rise as well. That was a great era. That two, that UFC 200 to UFC 230 era was where it was at. Thought you was 12, mate. They call me Ringo Starr, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah. Thank you for the $2 date, Mike. I want to sleep last tonight to your stream and you still on. I'm still on, baby. Now we have Mexican fighting spirit. True. Thank you for the $2 date, Mike. Why do I keep doing this to stream? It's a new thing I'm doing. Goofy by axe and the hatchet, man. I bet it's bad. <laughs> This is some fucking lame ass. This has 6.1k views. Go and fuck yourself. Why would I listen to this? How about no? We aren't listening to this. We're listening to... Earth, Wind and Fire. Classic, 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 classic. Fuck, why don't you do the most popular upload anymore? That's so dumb. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, fucking September, whatever, man. Let's just do some September shit, you know what I'm saying? Do, 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 do. Do you remember? And they peaked at Fight Night Home versus Aldana. Um, no, it didn't. But like, it was up there. That was the that was the highlight. People asked for a performance bonus for Holly Holm in that fight. You know, no joke. Where was Holly Holm's performance bonus? That was the comments after that fight happened. No joke. She had an okay performance, and it was where's the bonus? Fucking degenerates. Review of Red Hot Chili Peppers' new album. I ain't listened to their new shit. I don't want to be ruined. Their old shit's too good. I don't want to listen to their new shit. Paddy or O'Malley, most likely to be champ. Um, probably going to have to be uh, old Paddiff Pimletiff. No, O'Malley. Let's be real. O'Malley could genuinely be a champion. Let's be real. He could be. He's fucking good. Uh, Pimlet gets too much adversity early on. And O'Malley lives, which is crazy, but they're both white, so they ain't going to have too much dedication or discipline. But, like, it's it's crazy. I was about to say that 
O'Malley's more disciplined, but he's like out cold on like a Vegas strip every fucking weekend after a fight. O'Malley versus Yan in a kickboxing match. Who wins? O'Malley's winning and then Yan chins him out of nowhere in round three because he's figured him out. Bet you that's how it happens. O'Malley's looking amazing. He's amazing. How does he do it? And then, oh, he's out cold. Yan figured him out. Simple as. Yan will do like a step through shot on him, figure out his movement, track him down, and kaboom. Down goes O'Malley. If you were to put a men if you were put in a mental asylum and one of the only and only one genre of music could be listened to for the rest of your life, yodeling or emo. Oh, emo, because I'd already be depressed, so let's just fucking add to it. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to be depressed in a mental asylum and have like yodeling counter attacking my depression. Let's just embrace it, you know. 1,500 votes. I know. We're keeping that poll up. I'm telling you, he burned down his own house. The odds for 273 are fucking ridiculous. Fair play. Fucking ridiculous. If Darren Till's a black belt in grappling, I'm... Oh, black belt in grabbing defeat from the jaws of victory. True. <laughs> True. Favorite UFC game? UFC 2 was the only one I really played, so that one, I guess. All right, it's time to do the next hour, leaning forward a bit more. Wow. What a change. Grant McDonald, you won't forget it. You won't regret it, sorry. What kind of gay yeehaw in our shit is this? I ain't listening to this shit, man. Grant, get out of my fucking recommendations immediately. How dare you tell me to look that out? Bros on Adderall? I'm not. There's no Adderall in the UK. I wish there was. It sounds like a fucking blast. What's on your mind? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Shut up about whatever dumb song you were suggesting. Because I'm listening to Come and Get Your Love. Dun, dun, dun. Hey. Hey, 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 no, O'Malley, no, O'Malley doesn't compete at featherweight and lightweight. I think he's too small and he's too brittle for those weight classes. So that extra power would like put him in his place a bit more. Whereas at Bantam weight, you can take a few shots if you need to, you know. But I think that extra power, like a, a Gaethje chopping at his calf is going to be a problem, you know. Even if he does school him in terms of like technical skill. Thank you for the two pounds. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for the six months of membership, Omar Peoples. Damn, dude, you're still going. Nice work ethic. Thank you. Fell asleep to this at like 3 a.m. last night. And I'm still going, baby. Eight and a half hours strong. You feel me? Aren't you hungry, big boy? I mean, I had a slice of pizza in the middle of this stream. I've been drinking at my Ben and Jerry's melted shit. But I haven't eaten in a while. I'm cool. Gastelum pulling out. We're going to have to replace him with Kelvin Gastelum. He's going to have to step in on short notice and save the day. <laughs> Some Jackson 5. Let's get some real hits on. Let's get some real hits. I want you back. I want you back. No, 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 no. I want you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guru Triple C slash Mo Channel Thoughts. Yeah, cool. They're doing their thing, you know. Good for them. I get more views, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's all good. I think we'll beat Jessica Penne in a fight. Oh, so easily. It's actually a fucking joke that you even suggested that that might be a problem for me. How fucking dare you, dude? Seriously. Fuck you. I want your back. 
Mr. Blue Sky is a banger. It is a banger, Mr. Blue Sky. That's a good one. I don't like much of that type of like electronic music, but Mr. Blue Sky is a classic. Always makes me happy. Arnold Allen versus O'Malley. Uh, I can see O'Malley beating him. Thank you for the $2 VO share. Why have you been streaming for eight hours? Bored, isn't it? Might as well. Thank you for the $2. Keep those donos coming. I'll keep streaming. You feel me? Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate you. I want you back. I want you back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's your current favorite fighter? Mine's Ian Vicente Luque. But I think he's going to lose his next fight. So when he loses to Bilal, it'll probably be POTM. Likely, anyway. Recently watched your Ben Rothwell and Chris Barnett reaction. I was crying. Dude, it's so fucking funny how fat he is. <laughs> he is, though. I'm telling you, I'm getting a desk peddler. I can't be doing these long-ass streams of these legs, bro. Dance for me, whore, was my go-to pickup line in clubs. Dance for me, whore. I, you're from Australia, right? Dance for me, whore. I don't think that'd work. I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm no koala, but I sure can give like give you chlamydia, mate. I don't know how you guys, maybe the Australian pickup lines are a bit different. I'll tell you what, honey, I'm ready to go down under on you, love, all night long, mate. I'll tell you, I fuck you so hard, I might start a bushfire, eh? Oh, no problem, mate. Want to get your information hacked by China? Um, what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. I was going a bit too far there. Sorry, love. Uh, this is your last warning. Rub your eyes again. I'll be deducting a point. I'm preparing myself for the eye pokes of my adversaries. I want you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please stop. Or you might get sick or have severe cervical issues. I'm saying this because I care. Dude. I am making productivity. Okay. When I'm off of this, I'm going to go and work out. Okay, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to do a workout. Leave me alone. Okay, there are people who are 500 pounds, literally jab at the huts and they are alive at like 40. Like I'll be okay for a bit to do this for at least a few years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Give me some time, you. Usman flute KOs Canelo. True, <laughs> flute KOs him. Like misses the punch and lands with the elbow and KOs him. Some fade or early fight losing shit, you know? As you wish, brother. Indeed. I'll be absolutely fine. You do not tell me because I will be absolutely fine. I'm... What the fuck am I doing on this stream? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Sorry. That wasn't my actual death, guys. Just a heads up. Wings of Guru. Do not call me Wings of Guru. Wings. Holy shit, Wings. Wings of Guru. <laughs> if Wings is alive, I'll be fine, boys. Okay, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Jesus. What's this spirit in the sky? The spirit in the sky. Do, 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 do. Pepsi Boy Guru wangs, some wangs and shit, you feel me? Still going strong, my outlast is the son of Zion himself. Yeah, okay, fair play. I don't know what that means. Guru 2988, that's some boogie, is that boogie? Is that his numbers? Guru 445. They're on to me, boys. Have you seen the WWE EDP 445, the Predator? Have you guys seen that? Uh what workout program do you do, Swole Guru? 
Here's the fucking workout program, bruh. I go in, I lift fucking heavy shit, yeah? And I pray to Ziz, bruh. You feel me? You myrin, bro. I go in, I move heavy shit, bruh. The Y-E-D-P, you got me. Just works out his glutes. Yeah. You think you can take a four-inch pin? Shut up, you fucking weirdo. From from experience, though, most girls' punanis are only like four inches. I can only get half mine in. Sometimes five, though. Sometimes you'll stretch it to a five, five and a half. But like on the regs, it's like four, four and a bit. Thank you for the two pounds, loquacious. Hello, sir. Here is a month's salary in India, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, please, sir. Thank you. A month's salary. Okay, dude. Very good. T-Series, their fucking basic wage. Two pounds. I appreciate that. Thank you for your a thousand rupees plus five goats worth of money. Loquacious. Rotted, bro. You bloody benchord, you. You fucking benchord. You stopped saying V B. Well, now I've said it again. Well done. Um, more like six inches. I don't know. I've never been with like a tall, big girl, but I'm assuming they're going to have like. What the fuck is this in my ear? Ooga chaka, ooga chaka. What kind of fucking click click? Hooked on a feeling. Okay, this is good. Never mind. Weird start of the song, but hooked on a feeling is a good song. Ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga. What the fuck is this intro? Ah. Hooked on a feeling, ba ba da ba. Tall, fit girls are the tightest. No, they like deeper punanis, you know. But I've only been with like five, four girls, five, five girls, so they all got like fucking four, five inch punanis. Unfortunately, punch them in the cervix, bra. No, that's illegal. Please no, sir. Please not my hand, sir. Henry Sudo is a massive CTE. If you've listened to him on EFC commentary, then you know. There is a level of CTE there, yes, for sure. In that cervix, yee, yee brother. Thank you for the eight months of membership, dude. Colin A, my man. Mad respect for the long stream today, Juru. No problem, dude. It's good to hear from you. My man, for eight months. <laughs> Thank you for the eight months, dude. I mean, I didn't stream the, uh, the other two days, so I thought I might as well do something big, you know. Something big. Hooked on a feeling. Ba ba da ba. Ba ba da ba. What are you doing if a family member tries to enter the shed? There's nothing in here now other than my stuff, so they shouldn't want to enter here. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price of your blind eye? The Riddler, if you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price of your blind eye? Michael, what is Michael Bisping? I don't know what, what we're talking about. They aren't turned on his four inches if they are six inches deep. It's not the case, dude. Trust me, it's not the case. I'm telling you, you can go from like three and a half to like five, but it ain't that fucking deep in there, man. Like, I, I've felt the difference as it goes on. You're talking about maybe an inch of difference. People watching too much porn where they, like, prep with fucking massive dildos beforehand. You know what I mean? Way too much porn. Need to get off watching porn, guys. It's not realistic. You're still streaming. Damn, it's unhealthy. Don't call me unhealthy, brother. I'm doing just fine, brother. Is Justin Berlinson a future UFC contender? Last time I said that, he got fucking sparked out cold on the contender series by some guy that he should have destroyed and probably would destroy in a rematch. So I don't know. Probably. He beats Mateus Figlak, who's the next best welterweight in Europe. Kind of. not Well, not really, but like the next best achievable matchup of a welterweight in Europe. He ain't going to fight Soldich next, you know? Oh, do you like pinning the coladas and getting caught in the rain?
Have you watched Snowfall, LA-based show, but the actors are from the UK? I have not seen that, no. Would Prime Connor beat Makashev? Yeah, probably. Bryce Mitchell probably dates his sister. He don't have no sister, brother. He might do, though, to be fair. Porn is awful for young men. It really is, man. Really is. Plus, they push a lot of propaganda in there now as well. So you got to veer off of that shit. If you're still watching it after, like, 21, you got to, like, veer away from that, man. You're a virgin. No, I'm not a virgin, dude. Jesus. What's the time for you now? Could fucking throw a middle finger at my camera to get it to focus. Um, time for me now is 1 p.m. Do you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain? It'll be a sad day when Makashev is champ. Yee yee. Um, Kelvin versus Colby. Um, fuck, I think Kelvin beats Usman and Colby. He just needs to get down to welterweight. But you know what? He's a fat disgrace. So he'll never do it. I think he beats Usman and Colby. On some real G shit, you feel me? Are you watching Cage Warriors tonight? It's more stacked than the one FC card. It is a good card on Cage Warriors. I know Christian Leroy Duncan's fighting. I know um he's fighting that fucking African champ that we got in the uh, in Cage Warriors. Uh he beat Stefan Bonner. The fact that Stefan Bonner's a middleweight champ just tells you all you need to know on regional fucking heavier guys. Um have a look at this Cage Warriors card, eh? I'm getting caught in the rain. Do, do, do. Luke Riley's on the card versus Jack Eglin. Okay, that's a decent fight. I reckon Luke Riley's got that one in the bank. No, let's be real. Um, Pina Coladas. Getting caught in the rain. We've got... What else on the card? Dylan Hassan. That's decent. Um... Weak ass card, man. This ain't a great card. I don't think this is a great card. It's got a good main event, but other than Luke Riley, I ain't really paying attention to much else on that card. Maybe Adam Cullen if he wins. The, the winner of uh, El Haji Nidiae versus Adam Cullen. That'd be cool. But Aaron Abbey versus Gerardo Fanny is just like, who's going to get fucking. Who's going to lose to Luke Shanks? What happened with Stefan Bonney? Burned down his house. Any underdogs you like next card? Um, any underdogs I like next card? <laughs> Let me have a little look. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Probably Vince Piquel against Mark Madsen. That's a good underdog. Maybe, uh... Let me have a look at the odds. Things are going to get easier. Vince Piquet was a favorite. Ugh, never mind. What the fuck are these odds? Ugh. I mean, I agree with them, but like, give me something. Give me some mistake. You know what I mean? Honestly, Mickey Gall ain't bad against Mike Mallet. We don't know much about Mike Mallet, but I ain't going to fucking pick him. I am picking Mickey Gall. Uh, Gerardo Fanny. No, that's the fucking Cage Warriors card. Ian Gary's a fat favorite. Fuck's sake. Um... I guess Lad against Pennington, but I don't think she wins. Uh, Torres is evens. There's your money. Torres is evens for some bizarre reason. So get some peas them down on her, bruv. 
And then Rosenstreich is good odds. Oh, come on. What are these odds, man? No fucking spice to these odds. Fucking annoying, man. Whatever, man. That's so... These... I hate the odds nowadays, man. They don't let you make any money. Torres it is. Yeah, she's evens. And I I, I think she's going to win, like, 65% chance. No money to be made. It's the same every card now, though. Like, everything. you have any cravings for peen at this point? No, good sir. McGregor versus Volk at 170. Conor McGregor, yeah. But probably Volkanovsky somehow fucking wins it, yeah. My word. But back when I was streaming for eight hours, yeah. I know. Yeah, but you aren't even streaming for 10 hours, are you? What's that wire thing on your headphones? It's, guru, it's annoying as fuck. It's, it's where there used to be like a little... Uh, there used to be like a little wire that would connect to like a little padding thing that goes underneath these bars, but it broke. But now it's just my antenna to reach my, my race back home at fucking... Guru Omada and the 10th Battalion of Stars. Thank you for the $2 VO chair. Dustin is fighting Gilbert Burns, right? Thank you for the $2, dude. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is fighting Gilbert Burns. Looking forward to that matchup as well, yeah. Thank you for the $2. Really looking forward to that one. Fucking crazy matchup. Thank you for the $2, dude. Can't wait for that this weekend as well. Crazy how quick it is. I can't believe they gave fucking Chimeyev... They fucking gave him Brian Barberena. Yeah. So uh, we'll be looking forward to Poirier Burns. It'll be a good matchup. Baby. These are nothing but hits. You're in a hurry. You don't have to worry. Baby, there ain't a mountain high enough. River love and love. Longest stream you've ever done for sure. Oh, yee. Yee, bruh. Thank you for the $2 VO chair. You futuristic chair, you. Yeah. High enough. What playlist is that? Guardians of the Galaxy has the best soundtrack of any film potentially ever. Fact! Guardians of the Galaxy playlist. Best soundtrack of any film ever. I'll put it on anything. You cannot find a better film with a better soundtrack. Guardians of the Galaxy. Nothing but hits. Every single one. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you for the $10 Zen Toaster. Props for streaming eight hours straight. We're about to hit nine, brother. Thank you for the $10. I appreciate your $10, good sir. Thank you. Very much indeed. Thank you. So much for the $10, my man. Zentoaster, you've been around for a while, dude. I appreciate you massively. Legendary shit right there. Yee -yee. Thank you for the $10, man. It's either that or I love you, man. I don't know what that is. Um, I rewatched your old Shemayev versus Burns early prediction, and you were like, I expect Shemayev to be a slight favorite or two to one. So thoughts on the current odds? I don't know. It's fucking retarded, isn't it? But... It this is how it is, you know. Like you're not allowed to make money on MMA any day, any day soon. Where are you from? Which country? I'm from England. London, England. Biggest dick in South London. Most people say that. Uh, not many, but uh, some people in my close circle have been calling me that for a while. The dick of the South is another thing that they go for. Um, just, uh, you know. It's just had, you know, typically. Ain't no wheelchairs low enough. Okay, calm down. Ain't no ramps high enough to keep me from getting to a hospital. Yeah, I'm not in a wheelchair. You have a uh, love-hate relationship. You and I have a love-hate relationship. I don't fucking know you. I do know you, but well, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't remember what you did last time. Most people hate me at some point and then love me in the next point. I have a very polarizing personality, you know. You love me for a bit and then you hear too much of me and it's like, this guy's a fucking annoying piece of shit. 
216 viewers. You know what I'm saying? Happy Ramadan. Ashalam. Thank you, good sir. The penile gland of England. Yes, indeed. That's true. Big, big Dickus McKee, indeed. The Thames Todger, they call me as well sometimes. The Thames Todger, they call me that as well. The Brixton Bully Peen is, is another nickname I've, I've got. You should try fasting in Ramadan if you can. <laughs> Sounds like something a retard. I'm joking. I'm so sorry. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Inshallah, you know. Um, it's all good. No, I'm not going to do that. Sounds weird. The Brixton Bully Peen I went with. The Brixton Baby Peen. That's not what it goes with, no. The London Anaconda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also call me that pale Ecuadorian as well. Sometimes they call me that. The Brixton nonce. Thank you for the two pounds, SDG. Donos or ad revenue better? Listen to the joints. <laughs> I don't get ad revenue. Donos. I'm funded off donos. So if you want to pay respects to the stream, let's dono it up. Dono it up, boys, because I don't get paid no fucking ad revenue. So dono it up if you want to get me paid. The Brixton nonce, yeah. Wasn't there like an Australian thing, like the Melbourne Pooer? Some guy was pooing everywhere in Australia, the Melbourne Pooer or something like that. I don't know where I know that from, but I've heard that somewhere. Any Australians can verify. Trendscape Landscaping, the Melbourne Pooer. Thank you for the two pounds. Some guy pooing everywhere in Australia. Any Australians know about that? No, dude. You're old. You wouldn't know. Under <laughs> long boy. Yee, ye, brother. The Southern Serpent, they call it as well. No one's pooing here, bro? Okay. This guy's got no food because you live in a communist utopia. You're going to own nothing and you're going to like it, you fucking absolute disgraces of Aussies. Thank you for the $2 VO chair. It only lets me donate $2 at a time. It's not fucking good enough. Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for the $2, my main man. The peen machine, gaping vagines. They also call me the uh, Punani violator in some areas of, of South London. You know? The Punani violator. You have Yan winning. I do have Yan winning, yes. The bricks and sex pest, yeah. That was in New York. Okay, the New York pooer. Oh, that's not a fart. No, no, it's not. Let's leave it. Sometimes they call me the womb colonizer as well. Depends on the flavor of woman I'm going for. The British tripod. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes what it goes for. Thank you for the two pounds. I appreciate your two pounds, Conrad. The jogger in Owls popped, pooped this on his morning runs. There you go. Pooped on his morning runs. There you go. Ah, morning runs. Get it? Runny poo. Oh, God. Losing more viewers, boys. What's going on? What's going on? No one can take the nine hours. Fake, fake news. No, it's actually true. I'd have the biggest dick in South London. It's a fact as well. If you equate girth in as well, like some people might have longer, but they ain't got the mass. You know what I mean? <sighs> the Southern Spastic. Okay, this is no longer about pins. This is just insults. At this point, at this point the Royal <laughs> the royal Rump Destroyer. Yeah, the Rump Ravager. The Royal Rump Ravager. The Muff Marauder. They call me as well.
The Bulgarian brick. Okay. Bro, go to sleep. It's fucking 1 p.m. Why are you telling me to go to bed? I woke up. No. How long do you plan on, how long do you plan on going? Not too much longer. Probably about 10 hours. Ah! Oh, that was a fart. The Poon Berserker, indeed. Womb Raider, they also call me as well. Guru Croft, Womb Raider. <clears throat> Pakel or Madsen? I'm probably going to go Vince Pakel. I think Madsen's overrated and he's fucking old man, so I don't trust him to win at all. Get out of here, hairline. Is this your full-time job? It is. It is. The halal heart frob? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> the haram heart frob. Martial arts of the... No, I'm good. Martial arts of the white Christian guru. Okay. South Long Dong was named after guru. True. True. It didn't, it didn't used to be called London. It used to be called Long Dong. Um, but, you know, I had to change it after I fucking used that name up too much. They also say I have, like, the pecker of Peckham is another thing they say sometimes. They also say the elephant trunk of Elephant Castle as well. Another place. God save the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The East London Virginity Eraser. Okay. They also just call Guru an elephant. Yeah, that's another thing. The Rolling Predator. Okay. The Wheelie. Mm. I watch you for my anxiety. <laughs> They're coming to get you. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Calm down. But seriously, though, you could die any minute. Thank you for the five pounds. I appreciate your five pounds. SDG. Anytime I see free initials, I think EDP. Thank you for the five dollars, uh, five pounds, even better than dollars. SDG, I appreciate your five pounds, good sir. Do long streams more, Guru. Also get socials so we know when you're streaming. To be fair, chat's being ashamedful with the lack of donos. Listen to Joints 2K Trap. Joints 2K Trap, thank you for the five pounds. People have been donating, I don't mind. Joints 2K Trap. Blade Brown and K Trap joints too. I don't like this fucking new black shit. I like old black shit, man. I like classic black music, not like current shit. No offense, like it genuinely is their music, but I like classic. What's this? Joints two. Okay, it's a good, it's a decent song. I knew he was going to rhyme Hatton with Patton. I just know UK Drew enough to know he was going to rhyme Hat. He's one hundred percent going to rhyme Hatton with with Patton, and he did. He did rhyme it with Patton. And then he might have mentioned Floyd, maybe. You know what I mean? The nonce of Nottingham. Yeah, true. Current black stuff. Yeah, I like classic black stuff, like some fucking Curtis Mayfield and that type of shit. You know. Stevie Wonder. And you can feel it all over. Which is your favorite Premier League team? None of them. They all deserve death. They deserve cataclysmic death. Who is the greatest women's UFC fighter ever? And why is it random Marcos? The tits. Let's be real. Oh. <sighs> A great white disappointment. Okay. Can you drive? No. I ain't going to learn how to drive until I have a driver. You have to make statements in life. You'll be remembered for your 
morals that you have. I will not drive until I have a driver. That is a fact. I will stand by that. Cars are not worth money. I will employ a driver. You have to make legacy in life, boys. You have to make statements, legacy, morals, live by them. I have never kissed a girl. I've ran through many of their punanis. And that will continue. And that will continue for ages. And at 25, when I'm on JRE, I'll mention it and it'll be cool. You gotta stand by these morals. You have to you have you have to have your things. I said when I was 19, I'm never gonna drive until I have a driver. Simple as. Oh my god, you are in a wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair. Good sir. If I was, I'd fucking milk it for money. Like, let's be real. And also, true fans of the channel have seen me stand up on stream. Just going to say. True fans, like first 1K of people, have seen me stand up on stream. A couple of times, I think. Twice. Three times. You have both legs. I have both legs. They're long legs. They're thick legs as well. You haven't moved for eight hours? No, I haven't. It's all good, though. What you're saying is you're not going to ever drive? Why would I drive? You can't be drunk and drive. You can't be on drugs and drive. Why would I drive? Just ask him for trouble. You drive, you have to pay insurance. You drive, you have to maintain things. You drive, it costs you more to keep the car than having the car in the first place. You lose mass amounts of value by buying the car in the first place. You'll never sell it for the same cost. It's not worth it. Petrol skyrocketing in price. What's the point of buying a car? I'm in London. I can walk everywhere I need to. Simple as, man. If I was in the middle of nowhere, I'd... sounds like you're just lazy. Yes, choosing to walk over driving is lazy of me. You got me. Wow, I'll never recover, boys. He's, he's slam dunked me there. All facts. Like, the price of cars rise. The price of maintenance of cars rise. You're all going to buy a car and then they're going to say nothing but electric allowed in the inner city. And you're all going to be like, uh, and then congestion tax, rise it up. There's no point owning a car in a city. If you own a car in a city, you're flexing and you better know that you are. Otherwise, don't fucking buy a car. Buy a car to flex, nothing else. I'll have a driver. That's what I'll have. I'll hire a driver at some point. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Other than that, I'll fucking Uber exec my way around. I don't give a fuck. You own a car for suburban life. You live in a city, so you don't have to. True. There you go. That's some that's some good stuff. The kosher crusher. Yes. Drink some water. I have drank water this stream. I have drank water. I just drank some. Ride a bike, you mung. No. Never. Bro, you live right now? I'm live right now, Lionel Christian. I am. Do you think Ankliev beats Yuri? I think... Um, Probably no. I think Yuri will be Ankliev. I can see Ankliev winning, but I'll go Yuri. He's a bit more savage, I reckon. Ankliev's a pussy. Who smash Valentina? She's not that hot. She's got nothing going on. No ass, no tits. Face is a bit off. But for the reputation of her, yes, you would. Yes, you would. For the reputation that she has, 100%. Yeah. And plus, she's probably way smaller in person, which makes it a bit hotter, I guess, in the short term. How's Gastelum versus Duplessis play out? It's not happening anymore. It's cancelled, but Duplessis, I reckon, would have beaten him mounted guillotine. Duplessis is too tricky if it goes into later rounds, and Gastelum ain't been finishing people early recently, so I ain't going to be taking him if that does happen. Was your first girlfriend on TRT? No, she was not on TRT. Will you have multiple wives? Well, I ain't gonna have. I don't, I'm gonna get married. No, so not wives. But I might have like a little group thing. I'm gonna create an army of soldiers, an army of them. Field of Ghast just said, "Fuck it, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out." A cult, not a cult, but like uh, a harem. You know what I'm saying? One of them things. A harem, a harem. How have you pronounce it? Hey, Rim. Where is your 270? God, that's deafening silence. There ain't no music playing in my fucking ears since you told me to put on Blade, Brown, and K-Trap. Where's that fucking classic songs I was listening to? Here we go. No, not that. 
Um, fuck, these last few songs are pretty dead. Oh, Fox on the Run is a good song. Oh, the same again. Do a picking up girls video. Make sure you have someone else film so you can run away carrying them easier. Okay, very funny, dude. Good point. I know your name. Same. When do you think John Kavanaugh... Don't put it on Connor in training camps. Ego clash. I don't think John Kavanaugh has much to do with his training camps, man. Connor McGregor's in fucking America for most of his training camps. John Kavanaugh's in Ireland. I don't think he has much to do with it half the time, in my honest opinion. Tabitha Ritchie lives by me. Wow. Good for you, dude. Fucker. No, don't. No, you could if you if she accepts it, of course. It has to be consensual, you know. Would you beat Valentina in a fight? Yeah, I'd headbutt the fuck out of her. Cave her head in. I admire your almost autistic like level of dedication, Guru. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Not almost, though. Let's be real. I'm all the way there, boys. Don't be downgrading my tisms. I remember a poker streamer on Twitch. He forgot to turn off the stream and he watched role playing rape porn. How the fuck do you recover from that one? You don't. You act like it was a meme, maybe, and like, haha, got you guys. That's the only way you can get away with it. But even then, it's weird. Role playing rape porn. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do you even find that? Ask him for a friend, you know? No, I'm joking. You got to go real weird sites to find that level of stuff, you know? Like some real specific searches, you know? That dark web shit. Don't you ever descend into wings of guru with all that Pepsi guzzling to the point where you have to make a sub rate to roast you like Brennan Shaw? No, I'm getting, I'm getting healthy, boys. Don't worry. Hentai, mate. Oh, God, yeah, hentai. That's all pedo shit, though. Let's, if you watch like that, if you're into anime, you're kind of a pedo. Thank you for the $2 scrap legends. I understand there's some of it that isn't like that, but if you're into any of that hentai stuff, you're kind of a nonce. It's all child. It's all children. All the women in it are children, essentially. Really, they are. Thank you for the $2 scrap legends. I appreciate you. Like, maybe not if you're into anime, but if you're a weeb... You're a pedo. Thank you for the $2 scrap legends. If Burns beats Chimaev, who does he fight? Um, Probably Coving Covington will probably call him out then. Like, me and Burns, let's go. Like, he'll actively want that matchup then. And he'll start shitting on Brazil. And Usman had welcomed them two fighting in the meantime as well. So I reckon that's what's probably going to happen. If Burns beats Chimaev, Covington will fucking die for that matchup. Because he might beat him. You know? Thank you for the $2, dude. And thank you for the $2, two pounds, SDG. At what age is it not acceptable to shag 18-year-olds? 18? If you're like over 60 or over 50, let's say, you should be trying to look for like some of the older models. Over 50? Because then you're like, you don't wanna, I don't want to fuck some girl's world up at 18, you know what I mean? If I'm like a 60-year-old shrinkled dick. Fucking ruining them. Fuck that. Start feeling guilt at that point. You know what I mean? Like, God, she don't want it. But like, I've got such power over her, you know? Like, fuck that. Anything over like 40, 50. Don't be going after those young girls. But if you're in your 20s, 18's cool. I mean, 16's legal in the UK. But if, if, if you're in the UK, 16's legal in the UK. But if you are like 20 my age and you get a 16 year old in the UK, you will be called a nonce by all of your friends. If you have real friends, thank you for the $2 Omar peoples. I appreciate your $2. Good, sir. Taylor Santos runs through Valentina. Yeah. Thank you for the $2 Omar peoples. I appreciate you very much. Indeed. She doesn't though. She doesn't run through her at all. I think she just loses, but she has a solid chance. So we'll see how it goes. I wish you would have had one fight in the meantime to get it done. 
uh, and then maybe like built it up a little bit more. But you know, they're making it now because it's fucking terrible. Thank you for the two dollars, scrap legends. Thank you, dude. If Chimeyev wins a lackluster decision, what happens? He still gets a title shot. The hype's there. He beat Gilbert Burns. But it'll be sad. So they might not do it. But if that happens, then he'll volunteer to be a short notice replacement for Usman versus Edwards and Sharp on the scale, and that'll secure his title shot. They ain't giving a title shot to Colby unless he wins three in a row. But maybe they might go with the winner of Luke Mohammed. Like if Luke sparks him out cold and really calls for it. Usman might do him a favor if he beats Edwards. Like he's a teammate of mine. I'll respect it, you know. He earned it and act like he's choosing a deserving guy when really he's just trying to duck a tougher matchup, maybe. But to be fair, if Chimeyev takes Burns to a decision, he might not be as dangerous as we think. So it's one of them things, you know what I mean? I think when you reach an age where you can viably have an 18 year old kid is when you should stop being 18. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Good point, dude. So when you're like over 38, like when you're hitting 40, I get what you mean. A very good point. Ever watched a video of Brendan Shawberg Green with Joe Rogan? <laughs> it's the diciest. The diciest, dude. Oh, the most dicey. Mr. White. His hand is on your shoulder, Mr. Blue. Sky is living here today. Living here too. Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Where did we go wrong? You're right about hentai. How many friends weirdo son was heavy in hentai anime? And at 20, uh, years later, at 28, he ended up doing six years for raping a... T six years? We from California? Six years for raping a 10-year-old girl. Jesus, six years. Rape. Not even like caught going for it. Like actually did it. Six years. You from California? You from California or the UK? It's denuncius, indeed. Denuncius. Six years. Man, that's light. That should be like... I don't know what it... I don't know. There's no excuse in 10. So, like, I don't know. Like, I can understand if she, like, lies about her age and you get, oh, fuck. Oh, no. She said she was this. And then you're, like, fucking... Maybe then the sentence should be different. But if they're under 14, you should fucking know the difference. Like, that's different. When they're 10, it's like, you know what you're doing. You should be getting, like... I don't know. Half of life sentence. At least. Electric chair, yeah. Half of life sentence, like half of a hundred, like fifty years. I don't, know, you know? I don't know if that's how life sentences work, but yeah. Should get a death penalty. True, actually, yeah. Then no one would actually do it. That's a good point. She said she was twelve, Your Honor. That's still illegal, sir. <sighs> electric chair, too easy. Not even electric chair. You should just be like raped. I don't know. The inmates will handle that. Yeah, I guess so. That's a good point. Wasting resources, keeping them alive. Yeah, like, it's just morals, I think. It's just, like, you got no fucking morals, man. What the fuck happened to you? To where you think that's okay. Some dumb shit, man. People act like it's some illness twisting their mind. They can't help it. Like, shut the fuck up. No, it's not. You have no morals. And you have no self-respecting qualities at all to do some shit like that. Fucking pathetic. Raped by Nganu until death. I mean, Nganu might not want to sign up for that. Let's not sign him up for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think he's going to have to, you know, sign some paperwork to commit to that. Every time there's a crime, he must have, he must be ready to do it. No willpower. No, not willpower. Not like there's an urge to do it and you have to hold off. But it's like, have some fucking morals, you disgrace of a human. They're so pathetic. Like people are so easily manipulated at that young age. Like you're just a fucking piece of shit at that point. Thank you for the $20, Ficky Fickerson. I appreciate your $20. Good sir. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Long time watcher. I've made a lot of money off your picks. Here's some of it. 
Thank you for the $20, good sir. I appreciate your $20. I'm now going to sit forward a bit. It's the most pathetic it is. Thank you for the $20. Thicky Thickerson, I appreciate your $20, good sir. Thank you so much indeed. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. I do appreciate it. I'm glad you've been watching for a while. I'm glad I can make you some money, boys. The predictions have been getting a lot better last year. So, you know, I'm hoping to hit 70% by the end of the year. That'll be a good a good move for me. Thank you for the $20, dude. I appreciate you very much indeed. Do a 24-hour stream. Now, I'm going to have to move my legs at some point. Thank you for the $5, Warden West. Great name, by the way, if that's actually your name. Just waking up for work, haven't been watching, but damn, you're pitting it on tonight, I know. I'm putting it on, brother. We out ya. Thank you for the $5, man. Thank you for the $5 so much indeed. So much indeed. I appreciate both of your donos. Um, cool, edgy profile picture as well, Ficky Fickerson. Hell yeah. Edge. You think you know me? <laughs> On this day, I see clearly. Um, who do you think wins in a rematch of Nunes Pena? Well, no one knows. Pena probably because I hate that she acted like she did something for winning. Like Nunes is trash. Like let's be real, that performance was absolute garbage. Edge Lord is my middle name. Edge Lord, the Lord of Edge himself has arrived. It's me, Lord Edgington the first. Now, are you like edgy as in risky with some of the stuff that you say, or are you edgy as in like you bring people to the point of cooming? You know what I mean? Is that your is that your thing? There's different types of edge. Edge spears in Garnu. See. How old are you? 23, yeah? 23 years of age. That performance was disgraceful. Remember, you still can't beat Nunes in a fight. I'll beat Nunes easy. Let's be real. Easily beat Nunes. How many uh, clicks has this poll got? 1,600, boys. We're rallying them. Thank you for the $2, Omar Peoples. I appreciate you. More expensive to execute because of court appeals. No, just like brick him in the head and then have him dead or something. You know what I mean? Thank you for the $2. Or human slavery forever. Like, I know killing them would be a good idea, but like mandatory you're a slave now for humanity and you'll be the person unpacking all of the fucking food into this place. That's way better. I think that's a better idea. Sure, we could kill them off. We could also put them frontline. Hey, uh, we'll give you your freedom if you kill enough Iraqis. <laughs> Good luck, dude. It's you three versus a tank. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you clog up those wheels. You know what I mean? Like, that's what that's what they should do. At least use their fucking worthless bodies. Slavery's illegal. <laughs> yeah, but you are. Yeah, but, uh, uh, gray area, you know. Not in some. Not in like most parts of the world. In white parts of the world, it's illegal because we're so racist. But not in the other parts. <laughs> that don't give big sentences to encourage the rapists to not kill the kid. <laughs> Jesus, like, yeah. If you're getting 25 years, might as well kill. Then less chance of getting caught because the kid can't tell. I get that because they did that in Jamaica. I, that, that don't. No, 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 no. Let them kill the kid. You have to take a couple of deaths early on to instill that it's not okay in society. Simple as. We're all slaves. Yee, yee, brother. But I saw they did that in Jamaica. Jamaican homicide rate is fucking ridiculously high because the sentence for killing a tourist is the same as the sentence for robbing a tourist. So they rob a tourist and they kill him. So they can't tell. Which is stupid, because that's a different type of fucking crime. They shouldn't do that. But, you know, I get what you mean in that case. A little bit, I guess, in some way. I'm going to cosplay in Bre as Brendan Shaw and just agree with all your takes like he does with Toe Rogaine. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. It's the best. The bestest. Where's that, South Africa? No, Jamaica. Jamaica does that. Islam was a good guy, am I? But Khabib and Ali corrupted him. Let's be real. 
I don't think he's that bad. I still think he's okay. Islam's cool. I like Islam. He's a cool dude. You going to WrestleMania tonight? Yeah, I'm 12. Imagine you gave out weekly WWE predictions. And imagine I like turned 11 years of age and stopped watching it. Wouldn't that be crazy? Right? <laughs> oh my God. That would be wild. Like if we were all 10 years old and watched WWE. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Kill yourself. Um, thoughts on York and DeCastro and Maurice Green being John Jones's main training partners. Jesus. Uh, we're going to need some new training partners. Yuri was training with him, though. He's got some other training partners. But that is quite bad. York and DeCastro's fat ass. Maurice Green's decent. Well, I don't know. He's a good training partner, but that's not good. When did you stop fapping? I never stopped fapping. Fap to different things. I fap to like girls agreeing that they'd have sex with me. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Anytime you want. Oh, that's enough. Block them. You know, you know what I mean? That's the level we're at sometimes, boys. It's getting rough out here. Sometimes I can't be asked to even go and meet him. So I'm just like, so you want to take it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'd love it. Ugh, and then fuck it. Block. Never seen again. <laughs> Maurice Green is so bad. He is very bad, to be fair. One eye on his coaches, one eye on the fucking fighter, you know? You'd think it'd be revolutionary, but his depth of field is way off. During the Vietnam War, rough criminals were let out. If they fought in the war, they got released from prison. I think it's a bit risky. Green isn't near decent. Dude, he lost to Greg Hardy. He's somewhat good. No. Oh, I did over a year of no fap, and it's not good for you mentally. You feel like shit constantly. You need to bust that demon out of you now and again, to be fair. I get what you mean. What kind of prisoners? Deathly prisoners. Dangerous prisoners. Who do you think can beat Nganu? Tom Aspinall or Cyril Gunn, who already has, if the rules were followed and they didn't want to do a UFC Africa, or a man by the name. I actually think Tui Vas has got a solid chance because he's bigger than I expected. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I thought he was like a short, fat, heavyweight, but he's quite tall. He's like a proper six. There's a picture of him and Whitaker backstage, a video of him and Whitaker backstage, you know? I don't know. Who do you think can beat Ngannou? Um, who do I think can beat Ngannou? She. Uh, I don't know, man. I just answered that, didn't I? Didn't I just answer that? Tanks of jizz. Yes, a, a spare tank on supply, boys. We got to change tanks. I'm out of ammo. That extended mag coom. Busting nuts with an extended mag. And sleight of hand as well. <laughs> Do you see the UFC avoiding making the Usman versus Chimea fight? Just don't feel like Dana and the UFC want it for some odd reason. No, they won it. They, that's why they made the Burns fight. Winner gets a title shot. They'll have him weigh in on short notice for the uh, Usman and Edwards fight, though. That'll give him the title shot. I mean, who else? They'll probably try and do Covington versus the winner of Bilal versus Luke, eh? likely. Thank you very much for the two pounds, Conrad. Thanks. Piotr Jan at 145 versus Max Holloway. Um, Holloway too big for me. Pick him apart. Holloway had sand Hagen in with a bit more effectiveness and a bit more toughness as well. So I'd go with Holloway. Good to let's he said he'd be fighting soon. I saw that. Good luck to him. I hope he's fighting um 
someone good. I don't know who he's... Who, who do I hope he's fighting? I thought about this earlier. Uh, they're going to do Gamrot versus Armin for some reason. So I think... It, I hope it's like Gregor. Dude, Gregor needs to fight. The Punani, man. He needs to get on the fucking fight now. Gillespie? Yeah, I'm thinking Gillespie. He missed his fucking chance. He should have fought Armin. Fight Armin, dude. Armin versus Gillespie and... Gamrot Kutlezi 2, actually. Oh, but no, Kutlezi's last fight was Gamrot, so you can't do that. I don't know, dude. Jarlin Turner versus Garam. He's a winning lightweight right now on the rise. That'd be good. Winner gets a ranked opponent. I think Volk could, could could contend at 155? Definitely, yes. 100% yes. The fuck is this dumb shit? Some fucking country shit? All right, let's do some fucking. Yeah, let's do this. A fucking advert. Never mind. Dude, these songs are shit. Um. Let's listen to some fucking ZZ Top. Why not some Lagrange? Lagrange. Bum, 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 ba, na, 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 na. Let's do that. Bum, bum, ba, bam, ba, bam, ba, bam, 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 Volk too small for 55, too stumpy. But he's tanky, though, so I don't know about that. That can be a problem to a lot of guys if they're good at striking, you know? A good striker with long arms at that kind of fucking density, it's a problem. Especially, what if his chin improves and you can't knock him down? Problems. Thank you for the $2, the split decision. I appreciate you. Aaron Marillo by morning, George Strait. Oh, why? I just thought of a song that I liked. This is, is this the way to Amarillo? You don't get to suggest songs anymore. Is it by? Morn? I think it is. Is this the way to Amarillo? Are you kidding me? No, terrible. I'm listening to Paulo Natini again. Thank you for the $2 split decision. I appreciate you. Just give me some candy. Always with that same shirt. Room smells like yeast by now. I have like 10 shirts. How many fucking shirts do you guys own? You fucking capitalists. You bloody capitalist, you. Mm, you're buying shirt. Don't you buy a shirt. You don't want shirt, good sir. I have like 10 shirts. Can't I have 10 shirts? Leave your skin. Show clothes. Just give me some candy. Before I go. Prediction on how Zabit would do at 155, he'd get molly whopped. He has no power in his hands. He'd get fucking ran through. Bokniak defended his takedowns. I don't think Zabit's that good. He's a good striker, but five rounders are going to massively expose him. And at 155, most top 10 bouts are five rounders. That's just a problem with 155. At Featherweight, you can sneak up to the top five without five rounders at times, but top 10 at lightweight, five rounders typically. When you're hitting 10 hours, uh, half an hour. 
Piotr Jan is the pound for pound, not Usman. I mean, he's the best technical fighter, but Usman beat the same lightweights twice in a row. And he got gifted the Covington decision as well, so, you know. Just got a whole eight hours sleep and you're still live. Weed effects are real. They are, dude. The productivity is on another chain. You've not been for a piss or nothing in 10 hours. According to you. I've been for a shit while live. You guys didn't even notice. Another one down the tube. I'm joking. Just give me some candy before I go. Darling, now feel your skin. I'll even fold your clothes. Just give me some candy. The shit bottle and piss bucket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 brother. Men with waist over 40 inches are at risk of heart disease. I don't know what my waist is. Zabit doesn't fight for three years. All his fans act like one fight back and he deserves, he does deserve a title fight if he wins his comeback fight though, to be fair. If it's against a right opponent, no. If he beats like a random guy, then no. But if he comes back and beats Yair, then he kind of deserves a title shot, yeah. But he probably won't get it because if they do Alan Cater and Zabit versus Yair, they'll do the winners versus each other, likely. Who does McGregor still beat in the top 15 of 155 and 170? Genuinely wouldn't see him as the lock versus anyone anymore. Yeah, I don't know. He's not a lock against anyone, but he could still beat a lot of them. I think he could beat Chandler. It would be If he loses, it'll be rough, but I think he could like chin Chandler. Oh, Tune has come on. Slow down. Lie down and me. Guru Volk versus Gaethje, what are you saying? It's a good matchup. Uh, Volk might embarrass him. I could see him getting chinned, but Volk might embarrass him technically. Get closer. Is that all right? Baby, let's get closer tonight. Grab my last request and just let me hold you. Don't shrug our shoulders. Lay down beside me. Volk is going to scorch him. Are you kidding? I could see that. It's time. Let's go down. Lay down beside me. Oh. Volk is going to scorch him. Are you kidding? Uh, how would Giga do at 155? Get embarrassed. He has no power. He has power, but at 155, it'd be diminished and he'd get walked down and beaten up, I reckon. He could still do good, though. Listen, Featherweight's are way better technically, but you've got to have the right physicalities to move up, you know? Like Volk. He has, like, a physical presence that you can move up with. Giga don't have that. If you're getting walked down by Kata, Poirier and Gage, you're going to walk you down. Simple as. Tonight... Grant my last request and just let me hold you. Don't you think Costa's being ducked by the other middleweights or they think he won't make weight? Won't make weight? The UFC don't want him at 185. Like, that's what I think. He's like trying to bully his way through by like getting a guy to agree to it. So like, like look, he agreed. We can just make it. But the UFC aren't offering people Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa's offering himself to people. I don't think the UFC is offering a Paulo Costa fight to people. But I would love to see Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockhold at 185 for the comeback fight. He's still ranked top five. Fort Paulo's back on the heroin, according to local sources. Ah, okay, he's a good musician. Um, long time no see. Have you gained weight? Looking like a bloated... Bo- oh, for anarchy. What's up, dude? Um, looking like a bloated bloke. Thank you. Also, what's the odds on Joe Rogan? Got similar DMs to the Geordie DMs. Very likely. Let's be real. Joe was sweating on the podcast that he had a security that security expert on. Yeah. 
He, uh, Joe Rogan definitely has some DMs very similar to the true Geordie. He's got that similar fetish, that podcaster fetish. You know what I'm saying? Very strange that they have it, but that's how it be, yo. Porn can do things to a man, brother. One last time, let's go there. Costa looked dangerous against Marvin. He did. Bro was gassed at the end of the first and proceeded to win the fifth round. Fucking nutty. Fucking absolutely nutty. Um, Paulo looks great. He wasn't injured in that fight. He claims he was injured and that's why he missed weight. That's not the case. He tried to benefit from a weight miss. Let's be real. But uh, he wasn't injured. I don't think. You can't be injured and have that performance in the fifth. Better than he looked in the Romero fight. He's injured. Come on. Don't, don't be giving that shit. But um, I think Paulo Costa can still hang at 185. I think he whoops Strickland. I think he actually has the... I think he has the best chance out of anyone in the top 10 outside of Adesanya to beat Whitaker. Yeah. Out of anyone in the top rankings, period, of 155, of 185, Costa's got the best chance of beating Whitaker. You don't, you laugh at that, he can bully Whitaker. Whitaker's not that big and maybe beat him up. Song's gay as fuck. Shut the fuck up, man. It's a good song. Let me find a better Paul Onatini song. New shoes. <sighs> Better man. This is a good one. I'll even fold your clothes. Just give me some candy. Are you streaming today too or you must sleep? No, I'll be fine. I'll keep going. I'll stream today as well. How much joy do you derive re-watching Ryan Hall get effort by Topuria? I love it because I said he would KO him in the first round as well. No, let's do new shoes. Paulo Costa, that's a good one. It's a low view song, but I like the song. My mum likes the song as well. So I'll like it. Tuesday. When's the album drop? I've got to be famous in the YouTube scene on like certain things and I've released the uh, rap out other than that, I guess I'm going to do. But I still got raps ready to go. I've got, I've got them ready to go. Still perfecting a couple of them, but they'll, they'll be out soon. I'll, I'll break the scene with them. The scene smasher, bro. The scene fucking smasher, lad. Shoes. Shoes. Hey, I got some new shoes on. It's suddenly everything's right. I said, hey, I put some new shoes on. Something piling is so inviting on. Out on money, a long on time. Slowly turning in the sweet sunshine. I don't know. Uh, Muniz breaks another arm next weekend. I think he beats your eye hole. Yeah, same way. Um, yeah, I think he beats your eye hole. For sure. For sure. Meniz has got it in a bag. Your eye hole's a puss, you know? Thank you for the two pounds. I'm the belt. Huge Yan fan, but due to odds, I might bet on Aljo. It's good to bet on Aljo. He's good odds, yeah. Worthy underdog, but I'm going to go with Yan. Winning, of course. Bye, the blues. Hey, I put some new shoes on. Suddenly, everything's right. I said... Hey, I put some new shoes on, everything smiling is so inviting on, short on money but long on time, slowly turning in the sweet sunshine now, need an excuse, cause I'm wearing my brand new shoes. Reckon the slap was staged, could it be some insider Illuminati public stunt to move up the totem pole in secret society ladder, now that the Oscars and Hollywood people are relevant to the masses again? I mean, Hunter Biden's laptop just got confirmed, and this would be a real good diversion if Biden had it up his sleeve. Let's be real. Um, no one's talking about the Biden laptop anymore, and that was big news. Like, wow, it's all exposed. It's all real. Oh, Will Smith slapped someone. Never mind. Let's talk about that shit. Thank you for the two pounds. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. The idea of that. That's like, that's possible. I could see it being staged. It was a real slap, though. He really slapped the shit out of him. But, uh, yeah. Like, what laptop? Hunter Biden's got a laptop with so much incriminating evidence on it. It's unreal. So I wouldn't be surprised if they, like, staged a massive world event to take all the headlines. It's typically what happens. 
Please sleep now. I don't need to sleep. It's fucking 2 p.m. Shut the fuck up, you my mum. Fuck off. That's right. People are delusional thinking Aljo has no chance when he was dominating Yan until he gassed after round one. Oh, I'll dominate until after round one. You can't. He was doing good in round three. That's a fact. But here's the problem. Aljo must keep that pace to win. He can't keep that pace. If he tries to slow down that pace, he'll lose. End of. If he tries to slow down the pace that he kept, that he needs to keep, he'll get picked apart easier and Yan will figure him out quicker. Because that'll be at Yan's pace. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Picking the shots. He'll find the shots easier. Jenny, don't be hasty. I'm picking bangers. I'm, I'm going through memory lane with some of these songs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Jenny, don't be hasty. If Hamzi, if Hamzat wins in spectacular fashion and takes no damage. <laughs> Let's choose. Uh, he hasty. What, what, what's the second part, Hader Ali? Will he fight for a title next? Yes, he will. He'll be the uh, short notice backup for Edwards versus uh, Usman. And he'll get into an altercation with one of them backstage as well. Can you beat up Kaikara France? Probably not. He'll probably leg lock me like some fucking bitch. I'll try and bash the back of his head in, but he'll leg lock me like some pussy. Good for him, though. Vandira versus Olenek. Who do you like? I've got Olenek. It's not about who I like. Load size for 273. It's decently large. It's like two bursts and a dribble. <laughs> yeah. I've never described loads like that, but like two pops and a dribble, I'd, I'd say. Medium viscosity. Is that the word for thickness of liquid? Viscosity. <laughs> Um, good morning, Guru. It's 6 a.m. in America. Radical, dude. It's 2 p.m. here. Marlon Vera versus Rob Font. Um, Marlon Vera breaks him. It's a five-rounder. If it was a three-rounder, I'd probably take Font to just fucking bust him up. But Vera is unfinishable, and he's a fucking weight bully, and he's going to batter Font in the later rounds, I reckon. So I'll say, like, fourth-round dash choke Marlon Vera. Far out, Matt. Far fucking out, Matt. Dude, imagine if Till manages to drag Hamzat down with him. <laughs> now when he's going to... We were talking about this earlier. Now when he's going to be in Hamzat's corner, fuck's sakes. I mean, Burns is legit, so he obviously can win. But man, Till, for fuck's sakes, he would have softened him. Westernized him. <laughs> Stop talking about your ejaculate. You're the one bringing it up. Till was just not that good. He's not the best, no. Which card has given you the biggest load ever? For me, it was 259 or 245. Mm, yeah. Those were good cards. Biggest load ever, though. Sandhagen Marais was fucking nutty. That was a great card. Um, There were some other good cards. I can't remember, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UK card, UFC London. That's recency bias, though. Let's be real. Izzy versus Yan. Dead. Izzy Yan was a dead fight because it's an Izzy fight. They're all fucking shit, even if he finishes them. And um, that also had Rakic Santos on the card, so that can't be it. That ain't it, coach. You feel me? Oh, 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 oh. 259 was really good. It was a good card, to be fair. 259. Good point. You think Tybura can muscle Rosenstruck and avoid the big shot? Um, no, I think he will be out muscling him and winning, and then he gets cracked like by a, an elbow frame off, frame off elbow in the clinch. He puts him away with it. Rosenstruck wins. Too much power. Yan only won because of the takedowns. Yan outstruck Izzy in round one and two. Round three, you can give to Izzy. Still a close round where Yan outnumbered him, but. Yan clearly won rounds one and two in hindsight. In striking. Only striking. I mean, yeah, round two is clear as day. Round one is like a close round, but he beat Izzy on the feet in rounds one and two. 
Didn't beat Izzy on the feet. He did. He out jabbed him. He out kicked him. He out power shot him as well. Izzy did nothing but faint on the outside like a pussy. Izzy's got to have a massive range advantage over his opponent, or he's fucking useless. What a great kickboxer. Out jabbed by a reach disadvantage. Amazing. Must be why he never won a fucking belt. Thank you for the $2, Salamander Man. I appreciate you. Morning from Texas. Guru. Thank you very much. Good morning, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, brother? Morning, you bobbly bobbly. Should Hooker retire? I mean, listen, when, once the hole gets too loose to satisfy the fucking customers, then you've got to hang it up, you know? You've got to hang up the Johnnies. <laughs> I'll never tell a prostitute when to retire, though. That's on them. That ain't my business. Should Hooker retire? No. If Hamza gets caught in a rear naked till, we'll be screaming from the corner. Hamza, tap! Live to fight another day! Give up, it's okay to know your limits. He's the better man tonight. Yeah. It's all about losing, mate, and coming back. Like me, mate. You can be like me and a loser. We can be losers together, mate. When it's time, it's time, brother. Yeah, I don't think Dan Hooker should retire. He's making bank. Dan Hooker makes, like, quarter meal for a loss. Like, let him continue, mate. Till's going to be a scapegoat if Hamzat doesn't perform, yeah. Those Cliff fanboys going to spam comment sections with it. You just know it, yeah. Fuck you, Till. You ruined everything, making him gay. <laughs> I knew they were gay together. Holy shit, you're still streaming. Respect. I'm still streaming, brother. I'm still here, brother. I'm still here doing my fire. You hear me? That shit don't sit well with me. That shit don't sit well with me. This surgery fucking blows. Mm, is it a blow surgery? You're on coke. It's that that coke that lasts ten hours. Yeah, I'm on it, brother. I got that sweet pure shit. That 10 hour lasting coke, boys. We're on it. Watch out. I'm going to fucking pump my head for a wall. Ugh. It doesn't help that fucking white powder just flew up when I did that. Um, what's your pick for fight of the night at 273? Volt Korean Zombie, because Korean Zombie will drop him. But other than that, I'll go with Aljo Yan. Yeah, main and co-main are likely going to be fighting the Knights. People act like Yan's going to destroy Sterling. You're so dumb. I hate it. <laughs> How far can Ilya Tapiria go? Um, Pretty far, dude. Pretty fucking far. At featherweight, he's already ranked. He's already ranked at featherweight. Don't fight at lightweight, you midget with short arms. Go to featherweight, you almost got finished by Jai fucking Herbert. If that's Garam or any of the top lightweights, you're done, Ski. Go to featherweight, you dwarf. You aren't a big man. End of story. A little fucking chunky little chode of a man, Ilya Tapuri. He needs to go to featherweight. <laughs> You've been live on that. I've been live on that, brother. I've been live on that. You know how I do, brother. You know how I be. It's how it goes, brother. Why are you up so early? Why am I working so late, you mean? I've been live for nearly 10 fucking hours, brother. Don't be coming at me when I'm there. Hee haw, shit, brother. Yee hoo. How about a hoo bye? Hee haw. <laughs> We're recalling Ilya a chunky child. That's the BP car, isn't it? I am six foot two point nine. Do not call me a child of a man. I'm not. Francis, you hurt me with the left high kick. Left high kick. You don't remember? Francis, connect with me. You are now lying, Francis. Connect with me. Connect with me, Francis. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that did not happen, Francis. You know this. Huh? We train. This ah, uh, Francis. I am sorry. You are lying. <laughs> Eerie. French laugh. <laughs> you know what happened when I connect? Indeed. Connect with me, Francis. Connect with me. Um, why was Yan so bad versus Glover, but good versus Izzy? Because Glover's a monster of an old fucking man who's not even in the game full force anymore. It's a sad, sad time. Because middleweights are trash. 
And Izzy's only good if he has a fucking seven inch reach advantage over everyone he fights. If Izzy has any, Whitaker was out jabbing Izzy with a six inch reach disadvantage. He's not good. He's a middleweight. Let's get it correct here. Okay. Plus 150 versus year, he's disrespectful. I'm picking Glover as an underdog. I don't give a fuck what the odds are. Well, I do because I said as an underdog. It's because Glover moved to Connecticut. True, that changes everything. Phone charger to my phone. You know what happened when I connect? Indeed. Connects with me. Connects with me. I'm back and Costa is based. <laughs> Costa might be the most based man alive right now. Reach bully, I've heard Izzy haters say. Major coat, free kings. Free fake kings with free fake decisions. Free 49-46 scorecards to all of them that make no sense. Um, But, you know, reach bully. It's not a reach bully. It's just like if you didn't have it, you'd be fucking schooled by these people. It's weird, really. <laughs> I've got Yuri just blitzing him with up, upward uppercuts and elbows. Mm, Izzy can't box. Izzy's his weakest part of his game is his boxing. Izzy should ideally not box anyone and just fucking throw leg kicks at range for five fucking rounds. That's his best move, like he did to Vittori, you know? Make him miss, throw leg kicks at range for five rounds. Don't do anything else. Aljo said he's going to avoid striking at all costs, push Yan to the cage, and treat the fight like five rounds of BJJ. He's looking super in shape, thoughts? Push Yan to the cage and treat the fight like five rounds. He's going to get smashed up if he does that shit. That's stupid. He's not going to do that. He's going to be patient. I bet you he's going to be patient. Aljo wins a five-round BJJ. He doesn't know because he's going to get kneed and out-risk controlled. Yan's stronger than him. Aljo has fake soy boy fucking pumped up muscles. Yan is a solid brick shit house of a man. Like, genuinely. You're not going to out-grapple Yan. Different strength, man. It's just different levels of strength. Yan has no BJJ. He... Oh, you're so dumb. Whoa. What I said, what I said, what I said. <clears throat> Aljo's muscles for sure. Yeah, there's different muscles. They're like pumped up, looks good muscles. Then there's brick shit house built for war muscles. You know what I mean? Like, Yan has that brick shit house built, but, like, Aljo's got those pumped up chest muscles. Like, you don't need those muscles. There's no strength behind them. You know what I mean? Thank you for the two euros, the Rodentry Resistance 95. I appreciate you. 10 hours live stream. What the fuck are you doing, Juru? I'm being the Juru I know I was destined to be. Of course. The bigger muscles would make him gas even quicker, lol. Yee yee. Kadyrov gonna put a hit out on Till if Hamzat loses. Till will go on Instagram live with Kadyrov and call him a bully boy and then get killed. Loser. I've been stabbed in me back, oh fuck. You fucking bully boy loser. I'm fucking exempt. I've been fucking stabbed in me back, oh fuck. Me coach sent me to Chechnya because I got stabbed in me back in Liverpool in the club. Oh fuck. How does Till versus Hall go down? Till minorly outstrikes him to a five-round decision. It's the worst fight you've ever seen in your entire fucking life. <laughs> Let's be real. Till minorly outstrikes him for five rounds. It's the worst shit you've ever seen in your entire life. It's never a good in any way whatsoever. You know what I mean? The two best fighters in the UFC today are Volk and Yan. I can see Aspinall getting there if he becomes champ. He's got good skill. They have no major advantage physically like Nganu, Usman, and Izzy. It's just skill. Yeah, yeah. Volk does have physical advantage. No, they have physical advantages. They all have physical advantages. But they don't have the judges' advantages. You know what I mean? Like, Nganu gone, 49-46 Nganu. We get it. It's rigged. You know what I mean? Like, he clearly loses to Gan. Three rounds to two, 49 46 in Ghana. Okay. Um, Adesanya clearly loses three rounds to two to Whitaker. 49 46, Adesanya. Rigged scorecard again. Jones clearly loses to Reyes three rounds to two. 49 46, Jones. Rigged scorecard again. And then you go fucking Usman. Loses the last three rounds to Covington. 49 46, Usman. Again, rigged. Like, you can't beat these rigged scorecards. They want fucking UFC Africa and they're going to get it. Simple as. That's how it goes. 
49, 46, Francis was absurd. I, like they gave him rounds one or two for that. That's a rigged scorecard. End of story. Four Kings, let's go Aljo. Well, you're claiming Aljo. You don't want to claim Aljo. <laughs> Even if you want four Kings, you don't want to claim Aljo. Let's be real. Um, Jan almost leg locked Sandhagen. He did almost heel hook Sand Sandhagen, to be fair. That's a good point. I watched that the other day. UFC Africa won't sell in person or on pay per view. It's not about if it won't, like, yeah, top, the majority of the population of Africa can't afford a UFC ticket, but the just the event being there will create like a spectacle for them enough to like push the market a bit more. You know, it's going to be a while until you can fill a stadium, like a big stadium in Africa, you know, but you mean an empty arena? Yeah. It's like going to be like five princes in the front, front row and nothing else, but. I've, it's more about the push of the market and the uh, in, and the image of it. And if they do it in Lagos, Nigeria, there are enough rich people to do it. But it just depends where they do it. They'd have to do it in Lagos. They can't do it anywhere else. Shavkat Wakimov. Okay, Wakmanov versus Phil Fagner. Confirmed next. Who you got? Is it confirmed? Where is that confirmed? Darling, I feel your skin. I'll even fold your clothes. Just give me some candy before I go. So, darling, I feel your skin. I'll even fold your clothes. Just give me some candy. Before I go. Um, you think Mickey Gall or Mike Mallet? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Pedo keeps singing about candy. If anything, I'm a victim of pedophilia by singing about candy. Just give me some candy. Come on. Just come, just come get some candy in the back of my van. Darling, I'll snatch your kids. I'll even rob your son. Just come get some candy in the back of my van. Y'all just scared of the takeover? Dude, it's been like so many decades. You finally got champions and none of them came out of actual Africa. Like, we get it, dude. You guys have tripled the population of anywhere else. You got free champs finally. The takeover has begun. Watch out, everyone. You still live, motherfucker? Yeah, you. Did Aori Kualen go back to China? I believe he didn't because he's from Tibet. But that is a part of China, to be fair, in the south of Tibet. Technically, because they just take whatever the fuck they want at this point. <laughs> Garn was crying, bro. He knew he lost. Coach Ferdinand consoled him like a boyfriend to his girl. He won the fight, though. It's not about who thinks what, who thinks this. He won the fight according to the scoring criteria of MMA. There are no opinions. There's a scoring criteria of MMA. Doesn't matter who thinks they won, who thinks they lost. There's a criteria of MMA. Garn won. Simple as. And Garn, who did nothing in round five, other than breathe heavy because he's shit. I lost that fight, Garn. It does not matter what he thinks a minute after the fight is over. He has no idea what's actually happened. Simple as. He won that fight according to the rules of MMA. Damage and close to finishing trumps all. And he did that. Same with Whitaker over Adesanya. There's no argument. It's confirmed. It's in the rules of MMA. Same with Usman Covington too. There's no argument. It's confirmed in the rules of MMA. And Wonderboy beat Burns. No, he didn't. He clearly lost. That's your, oh, whatever. If that's your argument back, it's over for you. You have no argument. I'm Wonderboy beat Burns. That's not even an argument. No one argues that. No, no one argues that at all. When will gambling companies stop fucking up MMA? I don't know. So actually close in terms of scoring Wonderboy Burns, but Burns won. You don't count John Jones' second win over DC because of roids, but you count Dillashaw's win over Cody. He was on roids. What the fuck is that? He wasn't on roids. He wasn't on roids. They went back and tested him. It came up negative. Why do people think that? 
Everyone says, oh, they went back and tested it. It came out positive for the Garbrandt fights. No, it didn't. They went back and tested him for the Garbrandt fights. It came up negative. A and B samples. I'm not saying he wasn't on them, but it's not confirmed that he was, like it is for Jones against DC. Why do people think that shit? Jesus. So fucking annoying. They never tested for EPO. They went back and tested once he came up positive in the Cejudo fight. They went back and tested. They keep all of the samples. Jesus. Thank you for the $2, Dylan Reyes. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're a victim of pedophilia to your big bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Not at all. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate your $2, good sir. He just tortured me when I was a kid. That's all. Not in any weird, creepy way. He just beat the fucking shit out of me on a regular basis. Cody fans still trying to cope three years on. Yeah, fair play. Because Cody admitted to taking steroids with TJ, so that's why idiots think it. I mean, that is pretty damning evidence to be fair. Cody is just a thick as shit piece of dump. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking Cody Garbrandt, man. He's such a... <laughs> like... Oh, Cody fucking Garbrandt. He's so fucking dumb. That sentence should never be even said, but like, because of Cody Garbrandt, it's just like, okay, fair enough. You're the one who showed me how to do it. I mean, what? He's on it. I'm not on it. What? What? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Is my based retard? Exactly. Exactly. What? Exactly. I'll do something about it. What? Wedge him up like an eagle. Exactly. You're on steroids, Cody. Exactly. Exactly. What? Uh, all right. I guess that confirms it. You're on steroids. I watched you take EPO. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking Cody Garbrandt's dumbass, man. Hang in with the boys. Look at it from the broy side of Louis. Chimea, Usman, Pahea, Izzy, and Aspinall and Garnu in Africa. We get three new champs. So great. Don't have a good track record and home film historic home field historically. Historically, there's never been a UFC Africa event. I only said Wonderboy beat Burns because it sounds stupid like Garn beating Francis. You can go and look at the rules of MMA. Garn in round five against Nganu. Got the takedown in the first place. Had a leg lock attempt, a knee bar. No, let's go through it. Outlanded in Garnu on strikes, significant strikes. Outlanded in Garnu on total strikes. Dealt the more damaging strikes to Nganu in that round. Got the takedown initially on Nganu easily and ended up on top. Had an equal amount of control time in that round to Nganu. Had a knee bar that was in in round five. Okay, a knee bar that was in in round five. Hill hook that was in in round five. And Garnu laid on top of him and did nothing but heavy breathe. You can diminish the leg taps to not significant strikes. And Garnu did nothing. Nothing. Garn did no damage and the subs were not even close. Diminish what Garn did. Tell me what Garnu did in round five. I beg of you. Tell me what Nganu did that gave him any way of scoring that round to him. Seriously. Diminish what Garn did like you all diminish what Whitaker did. Tell me what Nganu did in round five. Top control. So we're scoring top control. Well done. I win the argument. Well, top control. Oh, that thing we don't score. I win the argument, and Garnu wrestled Garn, and Garnu didn't wrestle Garn. He got taken down in round five. He didn't even get the fucking takedown. Fuck! The sweep! The sweep! Oh, the deafening sweep of Nganu that Oh, he almost KO'd Garn with that one, boys. Oh, I can't take these absolute spastics, man. I can't take it anymore, man. They're ruining the sport, these people. Four kings. Like, I can't. These spastics. He really said top control, the sweep, the sweep. He didn't even sweep him in round five. He had, and Garn went for a leg lock in round five. He didn't even sweep him. Garn went for a leg lock. That's why he ended up on bottom. Because he had a close submission attempt that was almost in. Ugh. 
Two more strikes, dude. That doesn't overcome three minutes of clock. It does. The submission attempts do. Don't act like they didn't happen. The submission attempts happened. Oh, I hate these degenerates. It's so annoying. And it's always with Usman, Adesanya, and Nganu. It's actually crazy how many robberies have happened over the past few months. And no one's allowed to say anything. Fucking BLM shit. You matter. We get it. Have some fucking champs for the first time in UFC history. Fucking hell. It's so annoying. Fuck it. I can't. And Garnu's control time counts, but Wirkus doesn't. Don't even. Let's not even bring up how hypocritical they are, man. Yes. Failed subs win fights. What did Ngannou do? You said top control. I win. It's how it is. It's so sad. It's so sad how dumb they are. The truth will be told in UFC history. To beat the champ, you got to beat the champ. To be the champ. To what? Beat the camp to be the champ. Ugh. Okay. You'll probably say Holloway beat Volk in the rematch as well. Who do you think won the rematch between Holloway and Volk? Masvidal beat Colby, then damage. No, he didn't. In round five, he got almost got finished. In round four, he almost got finished. In round five, he got dominated. Round three, he almost got 10-8 rounded, blasted with elbows on the ground. Round two, he might have barely won. Round one, he got dominated. He dominated and lost a round, clearly. Colby did nothing. He nearly 10 8 him in round three. And he almost finished him on the feet in round four. Colby did more damage. You're dumb. You're a stupid degenerate. Fuck! Holloway actually beat Volk. Oh, you're retard. To beat the champ, you've got to beat the champ. Holloway beat Volk. Shut the fuck up. Volk clearly won the last three rounds. There's no fucking argument. <laughs> that Gan did not win. He did! He won the fifth round according to the rules of MMA. Max dropped him twice. That doesn't mean anything. He was losing those rounds. Hey, J. John, who won Moreno Figueredo free? Who won Moreno Figueredo free, J. John? In your opinion. 48 47. You think Holloway won any of round three, four, and five? Insane. Insanely stupid. Okay, Figgy, at least you're consistent with your retardation. Figgy did win the, the Moreno fight in round three. Um, but at the same time, Holloway did not beat Volk for knocking him down twice. Did not beat Volk for knocking him down twice. He lost the last three rounds. 48 47 Volk. And in the first fight, in the first fight, Volkanovsky embarrassed him. He dominated him. He embarrassed... Holloway was posturing after exchanges. Feed me like he ain't getting embarrassed. In the first fight. Oh, my God. Between Volkanovsky and Holloway. Oh, my goodness. You seem to not score cage control because the judges don't score it. It's not a part of the criteria unless everything else is even. Oh. He dominated him in the first fight so badly. And Bisping thinks that he won. Bisping thinks Holloway won the first fight, and so does Chael. Oh, it's so annoying. At best, Holloway won the fifth round of the first fight. He could have actually won the fifth round. Thank you for the two pounds, Daniel Myers. Argument for Holloway winning the fourth, Figgy won. There is, an argu there is not an argument for Holloway winning the fourth. The third round is the debatable round. <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds, Daniel Myers. These people are so dumb. And they ruined the sport. The first fight was close. It was not a close fight. He got domin Holloway got dominated in the first fight. He got completely outlanded. Holloway was fucking trying to posture and mock after exchanges. Because he was getting completely outlanded. He was getting pieced up in exchanges and embarrassed in MMA. And he would do something like, yeah because he couldn't do anything. He was frustrated as fuck. He like, he would eat, oh yeah, feed me, and then Volk would fucking feed him some more and land again. Fuck! I fell asleep during their first fight. It was a great fight! 
fell asleep. I fell asleep. You watch Adesanya's fights, they're dead. Adesanya's fights are trash. Every one of them are trash. He spams leg kicks at range, single digits, like a style bender of MMA. Fuck! I hate this shit. Thank you for the two-pound squeak. You're going to be watching Cage Warriors tonight? Yes, I'm going to be watching Cage Warriors tonight, because I'm sad and I have no life. <clears throat> thank you for the two pounds, Daniel Myers. Um, and thank you for the two pounds squeak. I am watching Cage Warriors here. Volk equals white is he? They're just from the same gym. They both throw leg kicks. Volk does way more inside work. <sighs> thank you for the 14 Zar MMA ref guru. Don't listen to this guy. It said Gaethje was up in Ferg. Uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Thank you for the 14 Zar. Thank you for the two pounds, Daniel Myers. Holloweezy got dominated in the first fight badly. Holloweezy? Okay, yeah, he did get dominated in the first fight pretty clearly. Missed my donor, you fat cunt. I got you. Thank you for the four pound 49, Michael Kane. I don't know why it didn't show up at the top. You donated just under the amount that would do it. Thank you for the four pound 49. Mazvabitch, the best boxer in the UFC? No. Looping punches beat straight punches. Okay, the weasel. Chin up, not chin down. Spam, same strikes when lost. My idol is Finn. Okay, you're just having a mental breakdown about Masvidal losing. I love Masvidal as well, but the fact is he's become a degenerate over the past couple of years. Thank you for the four pound 49, Michael Kane. I appreciate your four pound 49, good sir. West Saeed for my black brothers, you feel me? My white brothers, sorry. West Saeed, you know, of the hemisphere. West Saeed. I love how you always ignore the two knockdowns and act like it didn't happen. What fight are we talking about with the two knockdowns that I'm ignoring? No one wants to admit how close Tony Gaethje was on scorecards apart from Guru. No, the scorecards weren't close. But Ga Ferguson won the second, and he could have won the first. That's my argument. Look, half the punches that Gaethje landed in round one didn't even land. Max dropped in twice. Yes, and that wins him those rounds. And they were the weakest knockdowns in UFC history. Volk was outclassing Holloway in rounds one and two. Holloway knocks him down. In the weakest way possible, he gets the round for himself. He does not get 10-8. He does not win the fight. He barely gets the round for himself. Not 10-8 rounds. Oh, my God. They're so retarded. I can't handle it. They're so retarded. Volk was winning the first and second round. One, He literally went to one knee and went, oh, fuck it. Easy win. Fuck. I don't even know what noise I just made then. <sighs> Holloway did not win the third. It's been broken down. He did not win the third. <laughs> I know. He did, has not. He, he trains with the CKB guys, though. So he's still a part of the team, if, if, even if he doesn't train at a gym. You know? Well, barely outlanded him in the first and second round. He was winning the first and second round before getting dropped. End of. Doesn't matter if he barely out. He still outlanded him, even after being dropped with follow-up shots. Still outlanded him. So clearly he was comfortably ahead. Rewatched the third round. I have watched the third round. Broken down in slow-mo. Every shot that's landed. And judged on light, medium or heavy strikage. Volk won. According to the rules of MMA. There's no opinion. Stop watching BT Sport highlights. Just shut the fuck up. You are. You are a, I hate you. I don't want you in this sport. You're ruining the sport because you're a disgrace. Remember, guys, it's about damage. It is about damage. And Volk won on damage in rounds three, four, and five. It's also about rounds. Uh... Literally outlanded him in the third. He did not outland Volk in the third. He did not outland... Ruining the sport, these Down Syndrome people. Down Syndrome. That's the only explanation, Down Syndrome. They can't, it's just, it, it's one direction every time, and I notice the direction it's always in, but it's just Down Syndrome. There's no other explanation. Volk's gay kicks are not damaged. He landed the more significant punches in round three, four, and five. He rocked Holloway with a big shot. In, he landed a heavy strike in round three. Holloway never did on him. My goodness.
He beat Charles Oliveira. He did. Oliveira broke his esophagus or something. He didn't. It's been broken down. It's not leg taps. He landed more significant punches as well. On top of breaking up his legs. Leg taps. Leg taps equals significant strike. Oh, so who won Adesanya Whitaker then? Because Adesanya didn't land no punches past round one. Who won Adesanya Whitaker if leg taps don't mean significant strikes? J. John? So you think that Whitaker beat Adesanya then? Because all Adesanya did was spam leg kicks. J. John, right? Whitaker beat Izzy then, right? Izzy dropped Rob. In round one, that means nothing compared to the last four rounds. Izzy has effective leg kicks. They did nothing to Whitaker. Holloway was limping more than Whitaker was after the fight. You're a, dis you're a retard. You're a retard. You're a retarded person. More effective leg kicks. He landed half as many as Volkanovski did. Knockdowns only count in the rounds there, Gordon. End of story. And I don't know round by round scoring. They're spastics. Volk threw hard leg kicks. Volk had Holloway limping around in the fight. Why do you think Holloway didn't just tee off on him like he did against Cater? Because he couldn't fucking walk. His legs were done. Volk's leg taps aren't damaged. You're right. Holloway just chose not to destroy him like he did Cater because his legs were so fine. Just like Whitaker's legs were fine. He didn't feel anything. He actually got better as the rounds went on. Round five was his clearest round. His leg must have been killing him. Oh my God, I hate these people, man. It's the casual era of MMA. They started watching when Habib came along in the Khabib McGregor fight, and it's just, this is what we get now. These retards. Volk was running. Oh, my God. Adesanya never moves forward. Aljo looks shredded. Aljo always looks shredded. He's Aljo. He's in good shape. Why the fuck do people do this? Go back to MMA Island. Indeed, go back to go back to full violence. That's even a worse insult. Go back to full violence MMA. That fucking bullshit there. Darling. Dear darling. Please excuse my writing. I can't stop my hands from shaking. I was loose. I was gone tonight. And when these tears come through the world, last come at your door. You actually never score a fight, right? I always score fights, right? You're a dumbass. You don't deserve to speak to me. Garn lost, Volk lost, Moreno lost. Moreno lost, Volk won, Garn won. There's rules. There's a scoring criteria. It's easy. I use it every fight, and I'm right every fight, other than Sandhagen Dillashaw, where I couldn't really see what was going on because it was a crazy fight. It's like a score in fights. I just used a criteria of MMA that all of the MMA fighters know it's being scored by. My bad. You know, maybe I should use, like, your imaginary mindset of a casual MMA fan. You knocked him down. Oh, that's how you score round five when it happened in round one. Fair play. Fucking retards, man. This is why society's crumbling. These fucking dumbasses. Fucking eradicate them. Thank you for the 10 HRK. Mr. Rock, I appreciate you. Still grinding. Thank you. Rewatch it casual. I've watched it. St I've watched it 10 times. I bet you I've watched it 10 times more than you. And I'll put down a lot of money. 10 times more. If we to meet up and there was a lie detector, how many times you've watched it? I bet you I've watched it 10 times more than you have. I literally do this for a living. I watch these fights for a living. Don't just shut. Oh, fuck. I hate these degenerates. The West has fallen. The West has fallen, boys. These degenerates, they've ruined it. We're crumbling. But you disregard control time and cage control because the scoring criteria disregards it in the case that every, unless everything else is even. Everything else was not even. So why do you go to it? Because you're a retard. End of story. You have Down syndrome. You have an extra half a chromosome. I don't even know if that's possible. But you have it. Mm. 
Thoughts on Zhang Rose scoring? Originally, I thought Zhang could win. I watched it back. Rose can win. I don't mind Rose winning that one. I watched it back. Wasn't a bad, wasn't a bad decision. Thank you for the 5,000 Wuhan dollars. I appreciate you, Joey dear. God, that exchange rate must be tough. Who has received most damage amongst Ortega, Ferguson, Dorcas, and Cater? Oh, fucking Ferguson. Could you shout out Perry Caramello? You have a good streams, Joey. Hey, Perry Caramello. How's it going, dude? You have good streams, says Joey. Hello, Perry Caramello. Ferguson has taken more damage. Ferguson's taken more damage in wins than some of those other guys in losses. If top control means nothing, then Colby lost. To who? To who? Which, what Colby fight are we losing now because of no top control? Because it can't be the Masvidal one because he out-significantly struck him. Masvidal? Oh, so... Covington outstruck him in round one, significant and total. Doubled, over doubled him in total strikes, 218 to 90. We don't need top control. Had more submission attempts, had a reversal, had the takedowns in the first place, more significant strikes, more effective striking, and more total strikes. Masvidal can win round two. Covington damn near 10 8 him in round three because of elbows smashing into his face. Round four, Covington still wins that round. It wasn't even an official knockdown for Masvidal because Covington didn't make three points of contact. Did not make three points of contact. So it's not even a knockdown for Masvidal. Covington still wins that round. Round five, Covington decimates him. I don't need control time to say Covington wins. <coughs> Colby deserved the draw. Oh, that's the Usman fight. Covington clearly won the Usman fight. Ignoring knockdowns. It wasn't a knockdown. And even if it was, Covington nearly finished him against the cage in round four. Like, pure, purely nearly finished him. Not like, oh, he could have finished him. Really nearly finished him. Like, had him done against the cage like a bitch. Fuck. They counted his taps on the ground. That's BS. Because that's... What did Masvidal do? Nothing. Oh, these are brain-damaged people. That's all they are. They're little brain-damaged fucking idiots, man. This is why the West is falling. Keep voting Biden. Fucking hell, man. They're actually ruining Western society. I'm telling you, China's been working on human-animal hybrids for a very long time, and they're here, boys. They're here in the society with us, 100%. They're here. And they vote this way. They vote that way. They put these social media comments out. They jump in my live chat. This is what they are. Human-animal hybrids, chimeras, half goats, these fucking people. Thank you for the two pounds, SDG. Masvidal, 10-7 in the streets, though. Jorge won. Masvidal... 7-10 in the streets. He's a coward. He attacked a man from behind because he knew he can't beat him up. And he jumped him with multiple people. And he still couldn't knock Covington down. Three flush blows. Three shots from behind. Covington doesn't even know they're coming. Still can't knock him down. 7-10. 10-7 Covington in the streets. And he's going to get sued as well, dumb bitch. Some fucking coward pussy. Masvidal did win street fight. There was no street fight. There was a coward bum, deadbeat dad attacking a man from behind and still not putting a guy down. Thank you for the five pounds, Daniel Myers. I had Holloweezy winning the fourth round because of the better strikes. Nope. Volkow landed with leg kicks, which weren't effective. They did. Wait, they were effective. They do do damage. No damage with takedowns. It doesn't matter if there's no damage with takedowns. It's not about the takedowns. The takedowns happened. He scores the takedowns. You can't keep saying leg tappy, no damage. Holloway couldn't walk forward. He couldn't pressure him. Volk won. Volk won the fourth, fifth, third. End of. How do you think Holloway won the fourth? Holloway lost the fourth round. Everyone's arguments was the third round. And then once that got disproven, everyone jumped to the fourth round. Oh, well, it was the fourth then. That hasn't been disproven. We'll go with that. These Holloway fans, man. Thank you for the $2 gold mindset MMA. These people make me want to stop watching MMA. I know, it's fucking retarded. They, there's literally, there's no opinion on scoring in MMA anymore. There is no opinion. Some rare occasions there might be. But other than that, there's no opinion in the scoring of MMA. It's written out 
word for word. These people can't follow the fucking rules. Thank you for the five pounds, Daniel Myers. The third round is clearly Volk because he had Holloweezy's head snapping back with jabs and left hooks. Whitaker won the second fight. At least you know that. I don't know how you think Holloway won the fourth round against Volk. It was a close round. Maybe it's because Bisping at one point of the fourth round screamed out on a commentary. Let's go, Max! Genuinely screamed out on commentary. Maybe that's why you think that. Thank you for the five pounds. Because Bisping genuinely on commentary screamed out the words in round four. Let's go, Max! Fuck! Thank you for the four, uh, $5, Ron Mancini. I appreciate your $5. Why are people thinking it's a dumb statement that Colby goes to face up, up to face Izzy? I'd love to see if Izzy can handle that constant pressure. I think Izzy would KO him at middleweight. Covington wouldn't take the power, and the leg kicks would be way more devastating. So I think he would just get beaten at 185. But if Covington moves up and beats a contender, looks great, and can still muscle people around at a weight disadvantage that he's typically at, it'll be great for him. So you should try it. Thank you for the $5, Ron Mancini. Thank you. Thank you very much for the £5, Daniel Myers. Not saying that you're definitely wrong. I just think there's an argument. You think there's an argument. Okay, so you don't think he won. It's just an argument. Okay. All good, though. Thank you for the £5. Healthy discussion, but I just think that it's wrong. Same people who scored the fight for Ngannou scored the fight for Holloway because takedowns have no damage. No, no, no. There's not, it's not even, I know what you're trying to say, and it, they are hypocritical in that fashion because they're retards and they just side with whatever's going to get them less backlash on social media. It's how it is. It's how the world is. Um, but like, he didn't even need the takedowns. He won the fight anyway. <laughs> Rewatch it casual. I've watched it so many times. If Colby can't outmuscle Usman, then he can't up 15 pounds against bigger men. But if he bulks up even more for himself, then he probably can. Usman has better wrestling than a lot of middleweights. Let's be real, you know. But yeah, I don't think Covington does well against Vittori, Costa, any of those guys. But he might beat Whitaker, maybe. I don't think he does. He'll probably lose. Uh, but there's a chance. And he could beat Strickland. So if he could get Strickland, perfect build up, white trash, white trash, and then have the winner fight Covington. Uh, Adesanya, sorry, that'd be cool. Just give me some candy. Look at what Izzy did to Romero's leg. His leg kicks do actual damage. Look at what Izzy did to someone's leg in a completely different fight than the one we're talking about scoring to use as evidence to what he did for damage. Dude, look at what Volk's punches did to Mendes. They did crazy damage to Holloway. They're so dumb. They're dumb people. They're trying to get. They're trying to get a rise out of me. I'm ignoring them. He was literally dancing after the Izzy fight. I know, but the swelling. Even though Romero put him off balance with a big shot in round two, landed more significant strikes in round two, landed way better in the first round, and landed more in the first round, and landed more and better in the fifth round as well. Romero won the Adesanya fight. There's an argument for it. Adesanya got given the Romero fight based on round five, where he didn't do anything. Based on round five, he got given the Romero fight. He was losing the Romero fight on all judges' scorecards. They gave him the Romero fight based on round five. Based on round five. One failed sub attempt. He has two sub attempts. A knee bar and a heel hook. Those are two different sub attempts. Even if they're on the same leg, you're dumb. Well done. Diminishing what Garn did. Still can't say a single thing in Garn who did in round five because he didn't do anything but heavy breathe on top like a clown because he's shit. He's not shit, obviously, but he is. He's just bigger than everyone. Even at a 20-pound weight advantage, he's still getting beaten by Garn. Fucking crazy, man. My God. <laughs> Should I smoke this weed? I still have a whole ounce. Do whatever you want. Poison your fucking brain, dude. Top control. We're going to be okay. We're going to ignore it and we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. 
Top control. I want to be okay. In five years, I'll go. I'll go on JRE and set the record straight with bulletproof arguments, and the whole world will know the truth about MMA. It's going to be okay. Just got to play the long game with these retards. That's how it be. Failed subs don't mean shit. They do when the other guy does nothing. They do when the other guy does nothing. Keep diminishing everything Garn did to score points whilst providing no evidence of anything that Nganu did to score points because he didn't do anything. Now, I'm not breaking... It's already been broken down. I don't need to break down Garn and Garnu. Thank you for the $2, Ron Mancini. Paddy back up to £200 already. I've seen it's ridiculous how heavy the fucking guy is. Failed subs don't mean anything. Keep diminishing... Failed subs don't do anything, so sub attempts don't do anything, but top control wins the rounds. Cool. Garn had similar top control time to Nganu in round five. He even got the takedown in the first place. The only reason Nganu ended up on top is because Garn dived for a fucking leg like a spastic. In hindsight, he shouldn't have done it. He should have just won. But whatever. He won anyway. But you can't do it because 1.8 billion population hundreds of years of the sport not hundreds of years 50 years of the fucking sport they finally got champs let them have it you know what i mean like as simple as that like you, they got to have their champs you know simple as they just jesus 1.8 1.6 billion population or something like that like 40 years of the sport now they finally got some champs let them have it like you know what i mean like feel bad for them finally they got some champs Watch kickboxing if you don't score takedowns. I do score takedowns. Garn got the takedown in round five. Garn sucks back to Bellator. He was never at Bellator. You've exposed yourself again. He was never at Bellator. Darling. Was reversed. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't reversed. Garn went for a leg lock. And Garn reversed him in like round four. Garn had a moment on top. He got swept. He went for a leg lock. Thank you for the 25 HRK, dude. Dorcas quicks his job as a policeman, gets KO'd by two black dudes in a row. If this man goes back to his job, I predict a police brutality incident. He's going to take it out on them criminals. Maybe. It could happen. Aspinall smashes everybody, but I do indeed. Aspinall, Francis held on top for two full minutes, though. It's not scored. It's not scored in the criteria of MMA. But you've got three champions for the first time in four decades with a population of triple that of most other places. Have your champs, dude. It's fine. It's okay. You can have your champs. Triple the population. Four decades. Finally got some champs. Just have them. It's fine. Like, it'll swing back around. Just have some champs for once in four decades. Five decades, really, if we're talking about them, let's be real. We just have the champs, you know. It's fine. If it's not scored, then why did he win? Because the judges are incompetent and the UFC wants to go to UFC Africa. That's why they keep sneaking in 49 46 scorecards in every African champ's favor. Adesanya against Whitaker. You can't do that. It's impossible. 49-46. Nganu versus Garn. You can't score 49-46. It's literally impossible. 49-46. Usman Covington too. You can't score 49-46. It's literally impossible. 49-46. You got to beat the champ to beat the champ. Three kings. You finally got champs. Triple the population. Four fucking decades. Well done. Have the champs. Finally. God. It's called control time, which isn't scored in MMA until all other things are equal. All other things were not equal. Therefore, control time is not scored. You're a spastic. But this is how it is, man. Uriah Hall is out of the Andre Min... Uriah Hall is out of the Andre Miniz fight. Luke Mohammed card is dead. Uh, they're going to do Duplessis versus Maniz. They're going to do Duplessis versus Maniz and cancel out two contenders. 
for no unknown reasons, you didn't give reason. Your eye holes out of the fight. Your eye holes out of the fight. And now they're gonna do they're gonna do Miniz versus Deplessis, and they're gonna cancel out contenders. Till versus Hall. I don't care. Fuck, man. Darling, breathe your skin. I'm back after sleeping in the same poll as here. How many votes has this poll got now? 1.7 thousand votes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Majority, yes, I see. UFC Africa is a dumb conspiracy. They've literally openly said it, but okay. Very dumb conspiracy. Conspiracy is just delayed truth. They're not conspiracies. Fuck you. Do, 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 do. Just give me some candy. You've been kicked out of the house? No, I have not. I'm just going live for fucking, you know. Round one was close. 49-46 is possible. Please mention what fight you're fucking talking about. Please don't say Garn and Garnu either. That's the worst one you could mention. And don't say Usman Kovic. There's nothing you could... No, wait, there's... It's one of the... Francis Garn, you think Ngannou won round one? You got a free chance for the first time in UFC history. Just have them. Just have them. I'm done arguing now. Just have the champs. Triple the population. First time in UFC history. You got some champs. None of them did it out of there. They all left to go to somewhere else to do it. Just have the champs from there. Have the champs. I'm done arguing. We're, we're done. Like, just have the champs. Triple the population. Didn't even do it from there. Went elsewhere to do it. Finally, after fucking decades and decades, you have some champs. Like, just have the champs. I'm done arguing. Let's move. We move on from the argument. I. I'm done. Free kings. Free kings. We was kangs, you know? Like, we was kangs and sheet and stuff, you know? Like, you know, all that stuff. Like, yeah. Just like, yeah, how do you win? You win, man. I'm done with these fucking degenerate people. I'm dumbass. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. I was wrong. You're right. Yeah, I was wrong. Scoring criteria of MMA is wrong. It's all a meme. It was written on April 1st last year. It's, it's a joke. It's just a joke and stuff. Kangs and shit, you know what I'm saying? We was kangs and stuff, you know? All that shit, you know. Free kings, yeah, I know. Free kings, man, yeah. All fake champs, but like, I mean, sorry, no, no, no. They were all legit champs. Just like if you ignore the scoring criteria of MMA, it's true. You got me. I know. You're such a duck head. I know. Quack. He's racist, he can't stand it. And that's what it is, man. That's how it go, you know. Yeah, you're right. I'm racist by sticking up for Garn against Ngarno. Yeah. It's just, you know. Garn, my fucking white brother. You know, I've got to stick up for him, you know. That Caucasian man. For Cyril Garn, that Celtic warrior. Gotta stick by my boys, you know. Just me being racist, boys. That's how it goes. Garn, my Celtic warrior, you know. It's how it goes, man. It's just this is how it be, man. I'm sorry, like I've just got to stick with my white, my white brother, you know. How many more hours do you think you'll last? I don't know. I got energy, you know. Have you been streaming for ten hours? Is there a stream tonight? Yeah, I'm doing streaming again tonight for sure. It's only three p.m. Go kiss a girl, bro. I don't need to. I still get punani. Don't need to. It's not an insult. It makes me more badass. You don't realize that. It's crazy. I fucked so many girls. Well, I haven't fucked so many girls. I haven't fucked many girls, but I fucked some. I ain't had to kiss any of them. I'm taking it. That's a lie. It's not a lie. 
Have you not kissed a girl? Never needed to. Hamzat's going to get rid of two of the African Kangs. I don't care what Chimev does. You're a liar, bro. I'm not lying at all. Why would I lie about that? Why would I lie about that? Get head first. Exactly. Don't touch the mouth. Exactly. I'm trying to kiss after that shit. <clears throat> Hamza ain't white, though. Who? What? Is it ain't a white and black thing? Why are you seeing race and everything? You're just saying Shemaev's going to beat him. What do you mean Hamza ain't white, though? What's it? This ain't about that. We're just talking about fights. Jesus. Guru Bill's Aryan over here, I know. It's a great flex, to be fair. It's a fucking solid flex. Do you hate Shemaev? No, I don't hate Shemaev. He's cool. Sometimes that's literally Caucasian. Yeah, he's not white, though. He's Caucasian. It's differences, you know. It's like me saying, oh, he's Indian, he's black. It's the same thing, same color, similar times, but it's not the same thing. The great white hope. There's no such thing as a great white hope. Look at boxing. Come on. Expose Dustin again. I don't need to. He keeps doing it himself. I need to get my swatches out to see who's white, who's black, racism's hard. You, you. I meet all racists against Muslims, the religion of people. Ugh. TKZ pulls off the upset. Will Holloway make a joke on Twitter? No. I don't know. He'll probably just say congrats, TKZ. Respect to Volk. You'll be back, champ. Or something like that. The place has got screwed, he did. A lot of people call Jews a race. That's, that's something that you can do. Jews are a race. Jews is like an F ethnic religion it's based on hereditary genes it's not based on belief system you can subscribe to judaism but you cannot be a jew unless you're ethnically a jew simple as that jews identify as non-white because hitler considered them non-white so they owned it to stick it to the man you know same thing as black people call themselves the n-word so they, they, you you own it you take power away from it essentially Uh, respect to you. I went to bed in America at the three hour mark last night and you're still beasting. I know, dude, I'm going fucking hard. We're going strong, brother. Um, you must be ethnic Jewish to have an Israel citizenship. Okay. Citizenship. Fair play. Um, Jews were never considered white. They never considered themselves white. <sighs> but they're white, though. Take power away from the M word, like I doubt it. I know I made it worse, but it's the, it's the idea at first. You know what I mean? Just give me some candy. Black people are the real Jewish people. Yeah, you guys did history stuff. It's fine. You you had a role to play in history. It's fine. We'll let you have that as well. Just keep taking it. Yeah, it's fine. All good. We was Kangs. We was Kangs and shit, you know? Mexican and Indians have the same color. They do. No, that's not true. Indians can be real dark. There's some certain dark Indians, you know? Look it up. I'm sure at some point there were black Jewish people, dude. We get it. You was Kangs, you know? Like, you have history and stuff, but we get it. It's fine. You can have that. Poll has 2K votes. 2K? Not 2K. There's no way 2K. 1,750. It's not 2K. People don't get the Jews weren't the only ones in concentration camps around the world. I know. They weren't the only ones getting genocided or killed. It's crazy. World War II is all about them. I know. My ancestors were fucking forced into fucking enemy lines. They didn't have a fucking choice. But, you know, we didn't fucking whine about it, so our bad. You got to whine about shit to get, like, power today. That's how it is.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm still going. I'm still going, yeah. That's how it be, yeah. Six trillion died. Okay, not six trillion. Jesus. Asians too, right? Asians, yeah. Eastern Europeans, Polish people. Even Russians in certain cases that was Russia back then, but might not be Russia now, like some of those USSR countries. Southern Europeans. Caucasus people as well. Northern Africans. Like a lot of people. But like it's all about them. So like just worry about them and how it was for them. Stephen Bonner burning down his house impression. What am I doing? Thank you for the five dollars. Thoughts on Moon Knight. Thank you for the uh, five dollars, Salamander Man. Moon Knight. Television miniseries. I mean, the fact that I'm looking up means that I don't know about it. Oh, is this a superhero? I don't know. I don't know anything about this guy. Moon Knight. Looks pretty shit, but I don't know. I haven't seen it, man, so I'm not the right guy to ask, you know. <laughs> Darling, I feel your skin. I'll even fold your clothes. Just give me some candy before I go. I don't know about that show at all. Thank you for the $5. Stephen Bonner reminds me of Green Goblin. Okay. And he does have that look to him, to be fair. I know. I can't stop singing that song. It's a good song. It's one of my favorite songs. Change the poll, no way. Thoughts on WC Draw? Come on, England. I don't know. I don't know what that means. World Cup Draw? Oh, really? I don't know. Paul Onatini back touring. Let's go. Uh, he's a good he's a good artist. My mom likes him as well, so I like I like him. He's good. My mum used to play him a lot when I was younger, so it's cool. No, I did not look into leverage trading. I did not. Predictions video coming out tomorrow. I'm going to see what they do with some of the fights on the card. They might fill in some fights, add some matchups and stuff. Maybe they push Miniz a bit forward for this weekend's card. Like, So we'll have to see what goes on. And then we'll give that a day. It's today. And then we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> But it gets me there nonetheless. Just give me some candy. I know Hall is out. I know he is. Favorite Middle East food? Um, favorite Middle Eastern food? Those little pastry things. Papitza. Pap Paprices. Papitzas. Paprices. Papfses. Those little pastry things. They're pretty cool. <laughs> Middle Eastern food. Middle e I don't know about Middle Eastern. Like Mediterranean food. Like stuffed vine leaves and stuff like that. Baklava. It might be baklava. Not falafel. I don't know what that is. Baklava. I think it's baklava. Yeah. Yeah, baklava. They're quite nice. I like baklava. I'll have some baklava. Baklava. You know, to give it its native name. Thank you for the two dollars. I appreciate your two dollars, Rob Fiok, Jamaican UFC commentator impression. Ooh, be them dear, be them dear, be them airy, be them ting, you know. He's smacking them up real good, you know. Right in the mush with a jab and a ting, you know. Right with a right hand, right and a chin, ras and a ting, boom, ras and a ting. The fight has not started yet. My bad. My bad, youths. My bad, youths. Me, not, me, me get excited for the fight, you know. Me get very excited for the fight. Thank you for the $2, Rob Fiat. Hummus is awesome. I don't like hummus. Doesn't Blagojevanov look like a guy who sells falafel on a street corner in New York? I'm not from New York. Um, but he could be a falafel seller, yes. Uh, potentially, I don't know, though. Be them dear, be them dear, be them dear, be them my youths. <laughs> Why did Gastelum pull out? I don't know. I don't know. Because he's he 
got injured, apparently. How do you know so much about Rasters? You a gambler, girl? I'm like, gambler? Why would that make me know about Rasters? I used to watch Rasta Mouse and the Easy Crew back in a deal with me little cousin, you know. But other than that, a lot of Jamaican people in the UK. A lot of the slang in London right now is Jamaican-themed. So, you know, you got to know your airy, them. Ross and the thing plants him and them deer, but them deer. Waste youths, man. It's a waste. You're a fickle youths, man. Can you just step out so I don't get the full Middle Eastern experience? True. <laughs> Vsauce, if he was making MMA content impression, I have no idea what he sounds like. I can't remember. I know who he is. I can't remember what he sounds like. Curtis Blades impression. Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades. Curtis. Curtis Blades impression. <laughs> He's gotten better with his start, to be fair. He has gotten better with his start, to be fair. Respect where it's due. Respect where it's due. Jewish. Just tuned in, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, I have a real bad start, my bad. You a hoe for that? That's how it is, man. I get to insult everyone. Shut the fuck up. It's Jimmy from South Park. Come on, guys. Let's go fast. Do I guess fast pass gets there fast? Come on, Eric. Let's go. Come on, Cal. Let's get there fast. Um, give an Aspen lad. Okay, coach. Okay, coach. No problem, coach. Aspen, you fucking trans bitch. Get over here, you fucking freak. Okay, coach. Sorry, coach. All right, coach. You fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> I'll bite your fucking nose off, you stupid fucking dyke. I killed your nan on the way to the arena. She's dead. Okay, coach. Sure, coach. I'll do it, coach. I'm going to fucking stick my fucking fingers up your ass after this, Aspen. Okay, coach. Sorry, coach. I'll keep trying, coach. That's all I got for the Aspen lad impression. <laughs> Leon Edwards getting cucked about fighting for the title. Oh, uh, oh, tell me I won't fight for the title. Oh, you'll never fight for the title. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. It's been nine times in a row. I still won't get it. You're never getting a title shot. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's nine times in a row. Yeah. That's nine fights in a row. That's nine fights in a row. I believe I deserve to fight for the title next. I feel like you've been doing impressions for the last four hours. <laughs> it's been 11 hours. 11 hours. Oh. I believe I deserve the title shot next. You don't. Oh, tell me again. You'll never fight for a belt. Oh, God. I'm not going to have to fight another contender first. Yes, and it's Luke K. Oh. Thank you for the $2 pulse reloaded. Chris Eubanks, senior impression. Yes, quite. Yes, he speaks like in this tone, you know. Very well-spoken guy. Yes, quite. Yes. Mm, yes, fried. Mm, yes. Of course, the first shot you land must be the best shot you land. Um, Have you not gone crazy, Lamal, 11 hours? How have I not gone crazy? <laughs> I'm imagining Leon Edwards being pegged. How have I not gone crazy? I just acted out Leon Edwards getting pegged. 
I am. I've gone crazy. Steve Pay impression. Um, darling. I know. <laughs> Eddie Hearn's impression of Eubank Sr. is great. Eddie Hearn does do a good Eubank. Quite, yes, of course, yes, of course. But the big shot you must consider is a great shot that you have to go for. Mackenzie Don and Pierce and Pony's men. No more talk, man. No more belch, man. Mackenzie, you're from Texas. I don't know, man. You talk no Portuguese, man. No more talk for me, man. Okay, Mackenzie. You keep going with this random fake accent you're doing. Darling, I'll be your sins. I'll even fold your clothes. Gareth A. Davis, I don't know how he sounds. Just give me some candy. She needs to calm down. She does. Kel Brook calling Amir Khan a pussy. Listen, Amir, you're a fucking pussy. And when I land the timing on you and land that timing, I'll catch you on the chin and put you out. You're too chinny, Amir. You're too fucking chinny, Amir. And when I get that timing on you, you're going to realize you've done and bit off a bit more than you can chew. Uh, I want to find that timing of my right hand. You're going to start dropping, dropping your guard and down your goal, lads. Once I find that timing. That's all I got for her, thingy. Joe Joyce impression. Uh, yeah, you know, um, it's going to be a good fight. You know, uh, me and Billy Joe Saunders have been training for this long time, you know, so really supporting the Gypsy Boys, you know, um, I've already started loading up my jab to land on Joshua when the fight eventually happens. And, um, yeah, so hopefully we can get it on if, uh, you know, Frank Warren wants to make the fight happen, you know. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate your $5. Brody Deets. Do you think that Hamzat deserves the title fight more than Leon if Hamzat destroys Gilbert? He's unconscious. Yes, he does. No, well, you can't overtake Leon, but they'll probably try and do that. <clears throat> Wouldn't be surprised. There's a reason I ain't been booked yet. You know what I mean? Figgy impression. Quiet baby. Brenda Moreno, quiet baby. Quiet baby, Brenda Moreno. You know, he talk about you. I will kill him tomorrow. One round, cow him. You will knock him out, man. Brenda Moreno, cry baby. Cry baby. Nate the Train News. Nate the Train's got a fight. Is he pulled out? Don't tell me he's pulled out now. That would be absolutely dastardly, so it will be. Don't tell me he's done pulled out of the fight. That would be absolutely fucking blasphemous, it will be. Don't tell me it. Don't you bloody tell me that. <sighs> what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know anymore. We're well, going to have a pull about. We're going to have a push and pull about. That's Carl Frotch. We can all have a pull about. Push, pull, pull, pull about. You know? I'll try 75 in Wembley. I don't know how to do that one. Thank you for the $5, Brody Deets. I'll have a push. I'll have a pull about. Quiet baby, Brenda Moreno. Quiet baby. In December. Thoughts on Burns saying Colby is avoiding welterweight contenders with Poirier call out. There's no welterweight contenders right now, though. Other than Sean Brady. Number one versus number nine. That doesn't sell. Called a contradiction frotch. Mm. John Gooden impression. Oh my word, out oh, here. Yeah. Could you imitate Forrest Griffin? No, I don't think I could do that voice. Let that animal out, Matt. Let the animal out. Dad and Tillmate. It's fucking Dad and Tillmate. It's farm. So let's fight. He was a better man on a night. Me daughter, you know, mate, is fucking farm, mate. Me and Shamir have training hard. Um, I'm I'm leaving to train with Chimea for like six months. You know, it's been a couple of months and that. Uh, Darren, don't you have five daughters? Yeah, mate, but I'm fucking training for me fight. So, um, fuck them. I don't give a fuck. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars, sir, Psycho. I appreciate you. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. What the fuck? I could have sworn that I went to sleep and you're still streaming. How are you still going? 
for I am psychopathic. Thank you very much for the five Canadian dollars. I appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you. Not only am I still going, I'm going with levels of energy that you can't contain. Let's be real. Do Moreno singing? Escuela tu Torino. Voice is starting to lose it now, boys. Escuela tu Torino. Jesse on fire impression. Um, this entire arm. Like, if you saw the tattoos on my arm, it basically reads like, "Don't fuck with my family," you know, because I'm a pretty tough guy, you know. So, if you see this arm. And you look at it and you see the artwork that I have tattooed on my arm. It basically says, if you touch my daughter, I fucking kill you. You know? So anyway, to the title of the video. <coughs> That's Jesse on fire. <laughs> Jesse on fucking fire, man. <laughs> I fucking love it, man. Impression of Tom Aspinall being attracted to Gunn. He's an attractive man. He's a very attractive man. He's a great guy. He's an attractive man. But I'm looking for Blagoy Ivanov. He's a great fighter. And I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to be a hype train or nothing. I'm trying to work my way to the top. Nice and slow, nice and steady. And I'm, I'm trying to really take my time out here. I'm really earn it and grind for the title. You know what I mean? I'm going to be a world champion. I know I am. But Cyril Garn, he's a great fighter. He's a handsome man. I can't wait to fight him. But I'm looking. I'm not looking to be a, hi a hype train, a hype train from the UK or nothing. Uh, Stephen Craig, go and pub impression. Don't be bastard, you bastard. I'm not looking to be a hype train or nothing. Uh, Sergey Spivak, he's a great fighter. I've been looking to fight him for a long time, but sometimes when I make a call out, I don't get it. I don't know why. Sergey Spivak, he's a great fighter. Bro, the impression, man, you know, he's a very old Brazilian man, yeah. I am older than him, you know, so hopefully I win the belt and I take year off when I take no damage, you know, and ruin the whole division, man, you know, and Alex Pereira coming up, I teach him the way, and Gonna be great fighter himself, you know. Impression of a brain dead Islam Makashev. I don't know how to do anything other than that. Get the pubs open, I'll be bothered. Impression of Paul Craig debating with Till. Listen, man, you can't. You, 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 you can't. Yeah, you, you, mate, it's not a fucking equation, mate. I've got five daughters, mate. I don't fucking care. I'll fucking fly away now, mate. I don't fucking care, mate. Hey, but you got to kind of care about your daughters and that, you know. So what fish waiting about my body and that, you know what I mean? I believe that you save it and find a way to win, you know I mean? That's how it goes, man. Pussy just on your lips and that, yeah. You, you, you know. Yeah, mate, but I don't fucking care, mate. All this talk about daughters and family and being a dad. I don't fucking care. I'm leaving, mate. I'm going to Brazil. Fuck me daughters, mate. But till you have five daughters, like, seriously, maybe start being a dad. Mate, I'm flying around with Chimeyev, mate. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for me daughters, mate. I'm fucking messing around paying pool with Chimeyev, mate. I like Jesse, and that was good, yeah. I looked away and thought Till was actually talking. It's a decent Till impression. I don't love him, mate. It's fam. He was a better man on the night. It's his fam, mate. I got stabbed three times in my back. I kind of coke in my backpack or stab times in my back, mate. Is Sean Brady's grappling good and, a str and strong enough to make up for his bad striking against the top guys? Maybe, but I don't know about Usman or Covington, you know. They've got, like, a good grappling background. Or Bilal Muhammad, you know. Like, it's going to get tough for him moving on, but if he makes the improvements, he can do quite well. He's a good fighter. He's a strong guy. He's a physical freak. Strong guy, you know. He's a very good fighter. But it's just, like, there's too many weaknesses to be seen so far, you know. When I actually deep hit, when you actually deep hit Till's a shitty deadbeat dad, he is. Yeah, I'm like, let's play pool, mate. Dad and white, you do not have two daughters, brother. You you have three daughters at home. You sure you can come around with me like this? Yeah, mate, I don't fucking care, mate. I'm just leaving him, mate. Ben Askren impression. Boom roasted. Hey. See, this is the thing. I, I, gotta, go, I gotta go prove I'm tough. Payow, I am tough. 
Boom roasted. Huh? Boom roasted. I gotta go prove I'm tough. Pie yow. I am tough. Boom roasted. Huh? Chael Sonnen. Just talk to my shoe, lady. It's gerble, gerble, gerble. Mr. Sonnen. Fuck, I'm running out of voice. Uh, how good is Shayan Delizzi actually? I don't know. Changing her surname already. Impression of Sean Strickland, man. I, I know how to do a Sean Strickland impression. It's similar to this, though. It, it, I can't do it, but it's similar to this. <clears throat> yeah, man. That's, you know, like, he talks like, like that, you know? Like, it's, it's a real, like, Simpson y voice of an American, you know? Little man always from Little man Tung. This being being questioned about Izzy's gyno impression. Uh, stop asking me questions about uh, uh, raspy ash, indeed. More like a, a more clear Stipe Miocic, true. Yeah, it is. I kill everybody, brother. I like my heart. I'm the king. I'm the champion, brother. Yo, Guru, please answer my MMA question. Oh, MMA question? What do you think, you, what do you think you're doing? Do you think Makwana Mekani can beat anyone 10 to 15 in featherweight, or will he stay unranked forever despite his evident talents? Um, I just think the uh, top 10 to 15 area has a lot of survivability ratings. So I don't see him finishing them. And if he can't finish them, he will gas immediately and quit. That's the problem with him. Um, I think he could beat them, but he won't. I would never pick him to beat him. He does have talent, though. Like, he, you can't deny Maquan is physically gifted. He's weirdly strong. And he has really good submission skills. And some decent power early on as well. No heart, no grit, no cardio. Like, it's hard to finish at featherweight. Featherweights don't get finishes. Holloway, Keita, you know, like, it's tough to get finishes at featherweight. Zabi, uh, Yair. Let's be real. Go through the list. Very Brian Ortega typically did get some finishes. Not recently, though. Uh, Volkanovski himself. Like, it's tough to get finishes at featherweight because it's like the typical meeting point of power, speed, toughness, goodness. Like, it's it's tough, you know. Arnold finally got one after nine. You know what I mean? After eight wins, sorry. He finally gets a finish. And that was against the lightweight. Pretty sure there's a stat that backs that up. I wouldn't be surprised. I didn't know that, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think featherweight is the most decision-heavy division. Thank you for the $2, Brody Dietz. Never forget Guru laughing at Grandy's dad. I didn't know he was dying. I just thought he was a crying fat man in the crowd. Dern will submit Torres. When do we get UFC 273 predictions? Tomorrow evening. Good evening. Good evening. Impression of Sean Strickland, please. Yeah, well, you know, it's one of things, you know. Maybe we need a good war or something, you know? <clears throat> Fuck, I'm losing voice here. I don't have any liquid up here either, so... There's going to be a problem. <clears throat> um, um. Don't have no liquid, yeah? No liquid out here. There's no fucking liquid out here, yeah? Get some? No, I'm going to go soon. I'm going to go real soon. Impression of the schmo. Go get some pep Pepsi. I don't have any Pepsi. Paddy asking Laura Sanko on a date impression. We don't do if buts or maybes. I do absolutes, lad. That's actually a famous phrase from Liverpool from a meme. He didn't even make that up, by the way. This Arsenal fan TV. We don't do if buts or maybes. We do absolutes, lad. Matt Hamill impression. What did you say? Sorry. Huh? Won't say anything. Okay. Huh? Mind smash impression. You know. To find a job on Max Holloway, you must first travel to the mountains of the Himalaya and fuck a pelican right in his ass. And if you want to land calf kicks on Max Blessed Holloway, you gotta first go to the bed and Beat up a monk in the streets of shiny Hia, Tibet, and find out the secrets of life. You alone. Mexican MMA? Impression? 
impression of John Jones, apologizing for beating his wife. Guru, fix your voice and take a Pepsi potion and heal your HP. I just woke up and Guru was still up. If your aunt had balls, she'd be your uncle. That's TJ Dillashaw, right? That Hamill impression literally made me laugh out loud. Huh? What'd you say? Hmm? Hmm? You think Ronda gets KO'd by Charlotte Flair? I don't fucking know. It's scripted. What the fuck does a prediction mean anything? Angry Habib impression. Don't make me do crazy ones, because I'll lose a voice here. It's the rest of the meme. Ah. Okay. It is actually a TJ Dillashaw one, though. Oh, that's the Liverpool meme. I know, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, yeah. He did say that in the Liverpool meme. That's facts, he says. That's facts. Like Tony Bellew. That is an absolute fact. That's a fact. You know what, mate? I'm just trying to get home to me wife and kids, mate. Don't interview me, mate. I'm not. You're not going to see me for a year, mate. Even though I'll be on every camera ever in the world, mate. You'll never see me on camera, mate. I just want to be in me wife and kids, mate. That's a fact. And that's an absolute fact. I can fight. And that's how it is, mate. That's Tony Bellew. That's a fact. I have a live to live, so let's go to the Will you stream the Cage Warriors card? No. When do you... I'll watch it. Though. I, will, I will watch it. <laughs> Till on deathbed impression. Tell me, daughter. I don't care about him. I don't want him to die. <sighs> he passes away. Ariel Hawani, the type of guy to make predictions for WWE. What? Come on. You're coming at me now. I'm practicing the aerial one. It will get there, boys. What? Come on. You're really going to pull this on me? Huh? <laughs> aerial one. He's fucking annoying voice. <laughs> He's such a hard voice to replicate, but I get there, you know. I'll get there. How does he have a wife and kids? I mean, geez, Louise. Yeah, higher pitch with a wine of tone. Yeah, I need to. That, was, that last bit was horrible, but I'll get there. I'll get there. A higher tone, yeah. <laughs> you still have a pill up from 10 hours ago? A pole up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he burnt down his house. What? Eddie from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Okay. What? I mean, gosh, Ali. I don't know. Now we're getting crazy. I need to just stick to the few phrases. Enjoyed Ariel scoring a 10-7 over Graham Boylan. I didn't see that bit. I know I heard about that, but I didn't see it. No fat chicks. Tell Mrs. Halloweeny, yeah? I mean, geez Louise, Connor. Blueberries. Fucking delicious. That was original McGregor accent. But now it's more, Do something to build it, you fuel. Do something to build it. Ariel defending Masvidal with his life impression. I mean, come on. So, you know, you know, mate, nine times out of ten, I, I was a better father to me daughters, but it just wasn't their night. So I left them, mate. I abandoned them. <laughs> That's even his little laugh that he does sometimes. That beard and beanie gives nightmares to Luke, Thomas, and Ariel. I'm coming for them. And that's just when I'm wanking over him. Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars, Ty Drukin. 24-hour stream has got to happen now. At best, I'll do 12 hours. I can't do a 24-hour stream. That ain't happening, brother. I appreciate the moxie, the spunk that you've come with there, but I don't think it can happen. Thank you for the seven Canadian dollars, though, dude. Still to his fatherly duties. I'm fucking exempt.
Guys, I have this energy to stream 15 minutes past 11 hours in. Give me money. Ron DeSantis better not let George off the hook. He probably will. But that doesn't mean he's off the hook from Covington's prosecution, though. That's the difference. People are saying, ah, he's going to get off the hook. He's in there with DeSantis. DeSantis, but he can still get prosecuted by Covington. You view me? Thank you for the two Canadian dollars, Master Baggins. Paddy is great. Sausage is a funny insult. He's a fucking sausage, lad. You get cabbaged. He's a fucking sausage, lad. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars, Master Baggins. Did you see that karate hot? He has a Karen hair. She looks terrible. And I think her husband needs to tell her, like, I am fucking you if you have that fucking haircut, you disgrace. Here's what happened, yeah? Her forehead is getting really big and she's tried to cover it. She's ruined herself, I think. Her forehead's getting pretty big. You know what I mean? I hate the profile pick meets. Who the fuck is that on the profile picture? Who is that on your profile? Someone face down. But I can't even tell what direction it's in. James Vick. What KO though? The Gaethje KO? After the upkick? Oh, maybe after the upkick, yeah. Yeah, 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 true. Forgot about that one. The Hooker KO? No, he was on his back for that one. Nico Price one, I guess. Because he was in that position, hunched over. Gaethje? Oh, all right. Paul Craig versus Anthony Smith? Probably Smith. Craig can't keep winning. It's not allowed. It's Iron Man himself, James Vick, mate. He's fucking fan, mate. He's fan. He's a fucking bloody blammer, mate. He's great. He's a great fighter, mate. He's a fucking great one, lad. It's how it goes, lad. I'm fan. Craig overrated Brit, mate. He's not overrated, lad. He's just overperforming, mate. No one rates him that highly, mate. It's just he overfucking performs, lad. That's how it goes, like. He's shite, but he keeps fucking winning somehow, mate. Somehow he keeps fucking winning. And I'll tell you this, mate. He don't have a bad chance against Glover, mate. He doesn't. He fucking doesn't. This fan stabbed in my back. <laughs> he did win a boxing match. Good point. His opponent's corner threw in the towel after round two. Yeesh. That's when you know you've been vicked. You've just been James Vicked. You know what I mean? Get pwned. Get fucking pwned, dude. Still live, get a life. This is my life. The stream is my life. Thank you for the $2, real MMA casual. Back from sleep, Burns will be sleepy round one. I think he'll get finished in round one as well. I do believe so. People are acting like, dude, the skill, the this, the that. Chimeyev is 10 pounds of muscle bigger than Burns. He'll ragdoll him like a bitch. Even if it's close, he'll ragdoll him. Simple as. And he's in his prime burns. He's like 36. 35. Thank you for the $2 real MMA casual. I appreciate you. If you can do 12 hours, you can do 13. If you can do 13, you can do 14. If I can do 14, you can do 15. And I'll die. Um, do you think Colby would fight Adesanya instead of Jared Cannonier, or would Adesanya decline the fight? Um, no, Jared Cannon is more worthy of a contender. And Cannon is black, so Adesanya would rather give him an opportunity than Covington. No offense. He probably is hoping Cannonier wins. Adesanya, that is. Till training so hard to be a champ so he can make enough money to pay his daughters and baby mums off to get the fuck out of his life. <laughs> I know. It feels like that sometimes, you know. 15 rounds up to 20, then you're close enough to 24 hours. No. Then I'm close enough to that devil. You know what I'm saying? The devil will come for me, brother. The devil will be coming for me. Whispering in my ear, brother. Till after the Branson loss impression. He was a better man on a night. 
What can I say, mate? He took me down. He beat me up. I fucking fumbled, mate. I'm a fucking spastic, mate. I deserve to die that night when I was stabbed in me back. It's fine. Fuck me daughters, mate. I'm fucking bad, mate. I can't fucking do it no more, mate. I'm fucking scared, mate. I'm just, just gonna fucking hit me daughters with a fucking truck at this point, mate. Why'd you have to kill your daughters, Till? They're nothing to do with this performance. It's too late, mate. I've only fucking shoved them in a wood chipper, mate. It's fun. I can't handle it anymore, mate. But Till, like, you losing to Branson is nothing to do with the daughters that you've had. Yeah, but it's fucking, they're a bunch of fucking bloody mess, mate. It's over. They're dead, mate. I can't fucking change it now, mate. I've killed them all, mate. Thank you for the $2, Brody Deets. I appreciate your $2, good sir. Do you think Hamzat puts Gilbert to sleep or TKO? TKO because Gilbert can't advance from his back taken. Gilbert will be so focused on not being subbed by a rear naked choke, he'll give up too many ground and pound shots and it'll be a TKO to back mount. Thank you for the $2, Brody Deets. I appreciate you. I'm fucking swung him around off the wall, lads. It's fucking heavy, man. <laughs> Thank you for the $2, Brody Deets. I appreciate you. What an impression to wake up to. Like, everyone needs to wake up to an emotional Darren Till impression. Will Burns protest? I think Burns will not protest. No, he just won't be moving. He'll accept it. I've got a daughter in a wood chipper. Don't really care. <laughs> I just want to be the best in the world. Did you see Bisping's top five cheaters in the UFC? Put Vitor at number one because of personal reason. Oh, Vitor at number one. I mean, he was cheating, but if we're going to add Roids, let's add some fucking Adesanya on the list. Hey, eh? eh, Bisping? Hey. Eh? Who else did he have on the list? Pau Jarez, Um, I assume. Jones. I assume. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh. Mm. No Jones. He didn't have Jones on the list. That's interesting. No fucking way you're still streaming. It's only been 11 hours, lad. Paddy versus Azaita. I don't know. No Usman. Usman's cheated in a lot of his title fights recently. Well, only the Covington ones. To be fair. Only the Covington ones. Where it's okay to cheat massively and obviously. Omega walking some Jew getting chased by birds. Some guy put a video up and called that. Thank you for the five dollars. PSSA thirty one. I appreciate your five dollars, good sir. Ian Gary versus Weeks. Who wins? Um, I don't know, man. Probably, uh, probably Ian Gary. I'll trust Ian Gary to win that one. I think it's a good matchup for him. Weeks is pretty simplistic and simplistic in his striking approach. It's not like he has big KO power either, either. So as long as Ian Gary switched on early, which I think he will be because it's not his debut anymore. He's had that moment. Um, I think he'll piece apart Weeks and probably get a decision. Weeks is tough as fuck. So I'll probably go decision Ian Gary, 30-27, maybe 30-26. He like really batters him one round in round three or something, trying to go for a finish, you know. Thank you for the $5. PSSA 31. But the first round might be close. Second round, he starts to pull away. Third, he starts to pull away even more. Ian Gary's got solid fucking cardio. If you watch his fight against Jack Grant on Cage Warriors, Jack Grant was walking him down the entire fight, just asking to be hit, hoping that he would gas out, and he just never gassed out. So you've got to give Ian Gary some credit there. He's got a sick cardio. <laughs> I'm not doing a members stream after this. Shut the fuck up. Usman, maybe later though I'll do one. Usman, Raw Dog, and D Devlin impression. I'm a problem. I don't know. That's all I got. As Itar has the worst takedown defense. What, what do you mean? As Itar? Abu? You mean Abu, not Ottoman? I've not left the street, uh, the seat since I started streaming. No. What do you think I am? Some normal human? Eh? Mm. I love chocolate too, but I never eat the Kit Kat. 
Baby girl, I ain't got time for no chit chat. She keep telling me to rewind and kick back, but I be out here till I'm pitch black. Lean on Bob, lean on Bob, lean Bob, lean Bob. Now we lean on Bob, lean on Bob, lean Bob, lean Bob, 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 Bob. And if you're feeling the vibe, put your woolly hat, lean to the side. I'm in the back of the BM, blasting out reggae, pass me the zeggae, now you're not ready. All I need is guap, smoke another bowl, then we lean and bop. Lean, bop, lean, bop, J5. <laughs> you're still streaming bars, 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 it's J Haas, it's not my own bars. Even when we never had a penny, here we were that spirit. Ottoman Azaitar, he gets taken down very easily. Take a look at his brave fights. Mm. Potent, eh? Potent, the grappling problem, or you know. Uh, maybe that's a good matchup for Pimlet. Potanos, eh? Pass me the sweet Potanos. Uh, do you pee in a cup? No. Ball in a cup? Throw your ball in a cup. Ball in a cup. Darren Till reacting to his sixth daughter impression. Yeah, mate, I just wanted six daughters, mate. It's fine. It's fucking fine, mate. I just was wanting six daughters, mate. It's not like I want a son or anything, mate. It's just, you know, mate, it's like nine out of ten times I get a son. But, um, no, the better sperm one a night, you know? It's not like I want a son or anything, mate. I just wanted six daughters. Thank you for the two dollars, Opt Optimo Sapien. Smith versus Ankliev, who would win? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably Ankliev. Magomed Ankliev. Coming up next, Magomed Ankliev in the UFC light heavyweight division. Magomed Ankliev. It's a great name to say in John Anik's voice. Magomed Ankliev. Entering the cage now. An ominous presence from the Czech Republic. Yuri Prohaska. Uriah Hall got saved. I've seen him, brother. But have you been saved? It's not the question he asked. You've been saved? I don't think you've been saved, brother. Love hearing him at Brits do American accents. But have you been saved? You ain't been saved, brother. No neck like you have. You know what I mean? For real, brother. You feel me? Yeah, yo, if I can you kindly, sir. No problem, old brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo, come on, Roach. I wish I could whistle. Come on, Roach, just get on with some real time, brother. Uh, did you hear Bryce Mitchell's rap song? It's sick. Fucking do dark and saw. Gripping up under me, loving me, hugging me, yeah, but don't want something real. Not money and fame, I want something real. I am afraid to get pegged on my grandmother's grave. I am afraid to touch. Oh, I'm going to calm down with those lyrics. I am afraid to get pegged on my grandmother's grave. I am afraid to beat women that's on my ma grandmother's grave. Rose and Amunis diagnosed with alopecia. Pray for her. Oh, no. Bryce Mitchell getting pegged on his grandmother's grave impression. Now, let's chill out with the impressions of it. Um, Yi Yong Kim versus Kakarou, the worst robbery this year so far. It's a war. So, like, yeah. But, yeah, Yi Yong Kim clearly won. Let's be real. I need to hear your sin. Darling, I fold your clothes. Just give me some candy before I go. Guru, has your older brother ever had a top mount or side control on you? Yeah, but I fought out of that shit, brother. You feel me? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo. 
when you're getting those monitors running, mate. What fucking monitors, mate? Are you talking about lizards, mate? Darian Weeks won against Brian Barbarena. No, I don't think he did. Barbarena could have won that one. It's a close fight, though. <laughs> Hall pulled out because he accidentally cut his fingernails too far back. That's not the reason. If Paddy called out Jim Miller, do you think the media would have spun it to where they're calling Jim Miller washed and old? Yes. Even though he's still got it. Yes, they would have. I just hate, like, if there's, like, a, a European star, they like, yeah, not top 25, though. Like, not top 15 opponent, though. Like, like no one else fights contenders. You know? Like, Paddy Pimlet makes his debut. Yeah, not top 15, though. When is it going to be top 15? Like, do you not know how this sport works? He doesn't get just get a ranked opponent when you join the UFC. No one does. At lightweight, they have to go, like, 5-0 and oh to before they get a ranked opponent. Unless they're, like, Gamrot, where they're way up there. Way up there. You know what I mean? From their, like, regional scene. Undefeated, like, on a tear. I think he was, like, 19-0. And even then, he didn't get a ranked opponent. He got Garam. And even then, he didn't get a ranked opponent. He got Holtzman. Then he did. Chandler did. Chandler was a fucking world champion. Why do people act like Chandler was not like a multiple-time world champion at Bellator? 17 and no double champ at KSW. There you go. Those are the numbers I'm looking for. And even he didn't get ranked opponents until two fights in. Chandler was a Bellator champ. Multiple-time world champion in Bellator. And he has a huge name value as well. He's literally a legend of the sport. Most people didn't know him, though. I'll even fold your clothes. Yuri did. Okay. Yuri was a rising champ. He beat so many people at Ryzen. He beat King Mo. He beat CB Dolloway. Not the greatest names, but they're names at like heavyweight that would normally be in like the unranked area level of names. So Yuri jumps right in and fights Ozdemir. Like, it's how it works. He was a defending champ at Ryzen. I think he was like 27 and 3, 26 and 3, something crazy like that. Like, you've got to jump up the rankings. Not 20 something. It can't be 20 something. Fabio Maldonado as well. He did beat him. Originally supposed to take on Armin in his debut. I don't know if Armin was even ranked then, though. You know, 25 and 3. He was 25 and 3 when he was. That's crazy record when you're at light heavyweight. Come on. Fioro. Manon Fio. Okay, I don't, I'm not saying that ever. It's Manon Fioro. <laughs> Try and do in a realistic American accent. Try and do a realistic American accent. Was Lawler ranked when Askren debuted? Um, I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure he was, yeah. Ortega and Till having a conversation about how they see their kids' impression. I don't know. It's doing impression within an impression. You're kind of messing me up a bit here, in my opinion. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, you know. If Bean beat Robbie in spectacular, f spectacular fat, Jesus, that's a tough word to do in an American accent fashion he would have got a title shot but he won by dodgy stop that's not true you're dumb simply how it is sorry um my bad you've been live for 11 hours did you take a shit i didn't take a shit no i just kept going you know americans have the worst white people accent no i wouldn't say so i don't believe that's true they don't say opinion like that opinion opinion Opinion. Opinion. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars. But wasn't Patty also a champ at Cage Warriors? Cage Warriors is not at the same level as KSW or other regional shows like Bellator or LFA. Cage Warriors is very low, and also he wasn't a champion at Cage Warriors. He wasn't. He's a former champion at Cage Warriors. He never became a champion again. Opinion. Sip a Pepsi? Maybe I will, man. They wasn't A-Rab enough. You feel me?
Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, oh, you fucking joke off. Mixed Molly Whopper impression. Robert the Wh- oh, fuck. Robert the Reaper Whitaker is a fucking murderous row of the middleweight division. And he fucking Molly whopped his way to the top before Molly whopping the fuck out of his ass. Robert Whitaker. Molly whopped the fuck out of his ass. And sometimes that's okay. Conor McGregor, one of the greatest fighters you've ever seen. Until he got Molly whopped the fuck out of his ass. Um, hey, that's the Gabagool. Mm. Robert Whitaker was wiping his way through the murderous row of the middleweight division. Until he got to the top, nobody knew how good he could possibly be. You're talking about a time when Jacare fucking Souza was number fucking 10. And Yo Romero was number fucking 5. And he molly whopped the fuck out of his ass. Robert Whitaker is up a murderous fucking row of a division. Uh, Jones says coming back in June, July, okay. American Southerner accent, you feel me? Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, brother. My name is Papa Chop, Great Body Cheese, and Sir Cousin. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got for American Southerners. <laughs> They're the best accent. I don't give a fuck. Southern American accent's the best fucking good. He's the best fucking reason, brother. Yeah, yeah. You do talk like that, brother. Don't act like you don't talk like that. You talking real cheap, brother. On him realness, brother. You feel me? You've gone insane. No, I'm not, brother. This is how you talk, brother. You know it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bitchy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the two pounds, Sam Osborne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for the two pounds, Sam Osborne. Paddy robbed the decision against Juicy J, fake champ. No, back then scoring was different. Control time meant more, so it genuinely wasn't a robbery. Um, it's a close fight though. But if it was scored now, it probably would have gone to Rose's way, I'll be honest. He's only 21, though. You got to talk slower to slow down there, brother. Most of my southern accents come from the film Rango. I walk into town like a Rango. <clears throat> hey, Sammy. What do you want, Sammy? The Black Pearl is mine, Sammy. Johnny Depp, you know, in Rango. He shot Rattlesnake Jake right in his damn face, he did. You know, that's how they speak. Texans don't talk like that, bro. I sound normal. <laughs> no, you don't. You sound exactly how I'm making you sound. Need may you take no goddamn water from us, brother. I need to calm down. I get it. Moreno looks like you want to punch him hard, yeah. Some southerners talk fast as fuck. Some talk slow, depending on the region. Let me do like a subtle southern accent. Weasel impression. I know about that, man. I ain't gonna go for that. Sound like my uncle from Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So Danny Till doesn't want to see his daughter. His big whoop want to fight about it. I don't know, man. You seem like a pretty tough dude, so I ain't gonna go against you, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I need to calm down. That was really loud. The frog girl in Rango was cute. Okay. Charlie Z got his ass legitimately beat. The goat is fallen. Mm-hmm. African leaders still to this day sell out their own for... Pro what am I reading? Okay, let's not go for this fucking propaganda. It's not propaganda. It's probably true, but either way. Yee! Give me your best yeah. Let me mount you, you fucking sexy hog! Don't squeal, Bessie. It'll be over nice and slow, baby. I don't know. I just think, think they all rape pigs. Yee! Come on, Bessie. Stay nice and still, baby. It's gonna be over before you know it. Just treat you like my cousin. <laughs> Don't squeeze, Bessie. I'm gonna feel nice and slow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, southern accents. Sounds like those from the water boy, and I don't be told any different. <laughs> what am I doing, man? <laughs> I 
Somerset accent is from down here in Somerset, I suppose. Who don't suppose you've seen a... Well, Sergeant me, I don't suppose. Somerset accent is the accent from Hot Fuzz, if you don't know what Somerset is. Well, that's Sergeant Major. Sergeant Angel's come to down to yours. No problem, AJ. No, that's how they sound. At what point do you call it? I don't know. We'll, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Blaming Africans for European slavery sounds about right. I mean, you taught us. You know what I mean? We didn't even know about it till we came down to the Africas. You know what I mean? Who the fuck built these pyramids? We have this slave, you know. You have to uh, enslave the people and make them work for you, you know. That's a great idea. Well, that's an absolutely great idea. We'll take this idea and run with it full force. Thank you for the free Australian dollars. Doesn't coach, just wins. Yeah. Hamzat picks Usman up and I dump him on his head. No. It doesn't happen. Jolly good. Do the old man from Hot Fuzz. Well, Sergeant Major. I don't know how. I don't know. Sergeant Angel. Can you keep them pressing and stuff, you know? You know, it's going to be great fighting and stuff, you know? Katie Kayla and stuff, and I'm gonna beat her ass, and you know. That's I don't know. She's got a weird voice. She minds, so he does. Big impression. <laughs> Your well impression. Hey, Dana! Hey! See you soon, boy! You've watched Ben 10. Ben 10! I did watch Ben 10, yeah. Jack Della Madalena looks like a mole rat thing from Rango. He does! I said that. I actually said that. He looks like a thing from Rango. I did say that. I've said that before. Exactly that before, I think. Right? I've definitely said that before. How long have you been live for? Yeah, 11 hours, 40 minutes. Waterboy impression. I don't know what Waterboy sounds like. Can't convince me Masvidal and Romero are both Cuban. Wait till you hear me and, Le me and Leon Edwards are both English. Bonkers, I know. It's the world. Go outside, bro. You ain't gonna tell me what to do. Sit there with your teeth and stuff. You think you're all high and mighty with your full cell of teeth, brother. You don't get to talk down to me just because you have more teeth than I do, brother. You may have less chromosomes than me, but you don't get to talk down to me, brother. On my grandmother's grave, Danny Dyer impression. Basically, I'm fucking shitting it, lads. Do my fucking nutting, yeah? Fucking nuts. He's doing my fucking nuts in. A bag of sand, you know what I mean? Uh, Tony Montana impression. I don't know what he sounds like. Scarface, is that? Say hello to my little friend. Still streaming, what the fuck? Yee yee. Yee yee. Yee yee. Yee yee. How's your year? Yeah, we get it. You add some history, dude. Good job. Me don't care about that, you know. Loser Pav. Loser. He's a loser Pav team. He's only losing side. Me Russ. Still going, girl. Respect, man. No problem. I think Cockney is the coolest English accent. So it may well be. But a shootout is a fucking shootout. Like a western. What are you going to do? Bake me a cake? Thank you for the 14 czar. I appreciate you. MMA ref guru. Hezos, 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 Hezos. Works on. Thank you. Least biased MMA guy on YouTube. Thank you, Jonathan Chirac. What are you going to do? Bake me a fucking cake? Uh... <laughs> What do you think of Francis Ngannou's massively improved wrestling and his insp amazing inspirational ragdoll performance? Oh, shut up. I mean, you're, you're baiting me. Um, have you seen Scum with Ray Winston? Classic British film. 
We took gambling to a whole other level with Ray Winston. We are the ones who brought you in live sports betting. Now, that ain't that some even if it's an absolute fucking unit like Ray Winston. I've got fucking autism, but you can't tell because I'm hard as fucking nails. I'm fucking Ray Winston. For the means he brought you in sports fucking betting. Yair versus Cater prediction. I don't fucking know. Cater breaks him. Yair is breakable. Forward pressure. Hates it. Walking with your toes pointed outwards and hands pockets acting hard. Acting fucking hard, lad. What's going on? Oh, hey. Excuse me, excuse me. We're coming in. You, my love, are different gravy. Eddie Hall. No, Eddie Hearn. I think that is. When we, you smoke again. I never probably. Garbrandt in the bar impression. So while will it be to drink, Garbrandt? Exactly. Eddie Hall impression. I don't know how to do it, Eddie Hall impression. You know what, right? I've been fighting pro boxers. I don't know how to do his voice. I don't even know what he sounds like, to be honest. Here I go. Africa had empires when Europeans were living in huts, and then those Africans left those empires and started new ones. Elsewhere, didn't they? They left. And they they moved on, and then you were left behind with your huts. It's all good though. Let's not start beef about history, because you know we don't want to get too offensive. Great empires they were. Mm, so great they were instantly vanished, and no evidence of them. So amazing those empires. Watch out for those empires. You ain't spent so long building them fucking pyramids. You might have started winning some stuff. You know what I mean? Eddie Hearn is a great storyteller. He is. He is a great storyteller. Manson also the richest man in history. What happened? How'd you fumble it? How'd you fumble that lead? Crazy. Every 15 minutes about race. He keeps mentioning it. It's not about race. Africans are different races. Um, Figgy versus Kai prediction. I'm going to go with... No, Kai Cara France, maybe I'll probably go with. I think Cara France can win that one. I'm a big fan of Figgy. Figgy's my favorite flyweight, but Cara France, I think, has got a solid style matchup to get it done. I could also see Figueredo just fucking guillotining him immediately, though. I could see that, but I think Cara France beats him. Kapink catches him on the chin too much. When are you doing interviews? At some point. <laughs> Guys, stop. You're embarrassing him. Let's chill out. Moreno playing with Legos and Nganu laughing menacing while watching him thinking he's a small child. <laughs> I want to do the, uh, the pegging on you. I want to show you uh, my penis. I want to make the Legos into a nice set of people to play with. I want to show me the way, you know. I like kids. Yeah, man, I like Legos, man. You like Legos too, man? You like Legos, man? <laughs> I really like the way you play with the Legos, man. Keep playing with them. I like watching you play. I have never been seen with a woman before. I am normal. I call myself the Predator for a very good reason, you know. Keep playing with the Legos, man. Uh, you know what happened when I connect, indeed. You really like watching me play Legos, man? I have plushie dolls, man. Yes, man. Get the plushie dolls for me, man. Let me watch you play with them, yes. The age of consent in Cameroon is very low, man. I keep going back there for some reason. Yeah. The age of consent in Cameroon is very low, you know. I like to go back as much as possible, eh? I'm a tour of Cameroon, you know. 
Ah, yes. Mm. Uh, imagine Bruce Buffer announced him as the child predator in Garnu. Yeah. The age of consent is very low in uh, the age of consent is lower in France than anywhere else, you know. That's why I chose to go to France. Eh? Uh, flyweight is the worst division in the lighter weight classes. Yeah. Well, there's only like three or lighter weight classes. So, yeah. Flyweight's the worst. Flyweight's similar to lightweight, but it doesn't have the depth. But skill wise, it's quite similar to lightweight. Just give me some candy. Are you still up? It's 4 p.m. Why do people keep saying, why am I still up? Here I go. You're just exposing yourselves. Dude, we get it. You're a salty loser, Pov. Like, we get it. Like, we're sorry we kicked your ass so hard. Like, it's, it's my bad, man. I can't control it. My ancestor didn't do it. My ancestor just ran headfirst into armies. Like, so sorry, man. You know? So sorry. That's how it went. Like, it's just how it goes in history. Like, you've got to get over it, man. Stop being so salty, you know? David Amber impression. They claim we stole it. Stole it. Also known as won it, which is more applicable when discussing human history, as we are indeed a territorial species. Thank you for the £4.49 Ultimate Fighter. I appreciate your £4.49, good sir. Is it me or your Covington head shape is actually changing? Look at his temple literally sinking in. Where? Where do I... Why I got black shit on me? Oh, it's the fucking... Chair. Um, £4.49. What about his head shape? It's denting in. This chair's fucking squeaky, man. I need to feel you. I'm telling you, Covington might be on EPO. Just saying. He keeps up with Cam Haynes with all his MMA training going on as well. Cam Haynes is on roids and a marathon runner. What dent in his head, though? I ain't seen no dent in his head. His hairline's got worse, though. That's for sure. He keeps, like, tucking it up to, like, make it look like it's a controlled recede, but it's, it's going, you know? Jesus, this chair is squeakers. This chair's a fucking 12-year-old in a cod lobby right now, boys. It's squeaking. <laughs> your favorite continent con to control on risk? Don't say Europe. Mine is Australia or Brazil. Um, I like Brazil because you can take North America and Africa from it. Australia, you have to take Asia from it, and it's much more difficult, though. You're all white, though. No, we're not. There's a lot of black people in the stream. MA is black. Racist, but his only reply is you're white. I know. But he's sort of, you know, loser pov. Sucks to lose, you know. Oh, like we get it, you know, like it's tough, you know, outnumbered 10 to 1, you still like outnumber us 10 to 1, you still lose. It's, it's fine though, like you get over it, man. It's history, you know, it's tough, it's tough stuff. Jack Commanson, fishing impression. I want to go fishing with him. Thank you, Philadelphia, for coming from me. Thank you, Philadelphia, for fighting for me. I appreciate you, Philadelphia. Thank you. I'm not arguing. He's just, I'm just giving him some retort. Like, he's got to get over this if he wants to function in society, you know? Like, you can't just hold the salt of your, like, ancestors' failures. Like, it, it's okay, you know? I have, like, some Irish ancestry. Like, that's got some tough history. I don't, like, hold on to that salt level of, like, massive amounts, you know? It's fine. UK was one bisping. Not like 50, 60 million people, you know? It's not bad. Look at boxing, right? We got Fury, you know? Top guy, you know? Uh, MMA Island Post, Aljo on roids. Let's have a look. Darling, Fury. They haven't posted nothing on MMA Island. <laughs> oh, no, they have. He's shredded. Someone said Aljo looks to be in really good shape this time. Yan in two. Flex all you want. You're taking the L. 
Dude, Aljo is always in this level of shape, though. This is just like, he's clearly just got out of the sauna because he's dripping in sweat, you know? He's a giant for 135, man. Look at them skinny, uh, skinny calves, you know? Do, 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 do. And here I go. What's the argument, anyone? There's no af there's no uh, argument or anything like that. It's just some guy's saw it. Fury's a gypsy, ain't British. He's an Irish gypsy. He is British. It's 